This class 3 weather away 9 class teachers, but the school leadership also do not dare to deal with them in the slightest, just because they are all the son of the powerful and wealthy, so the school leadership to offer extremely high treatment, the teachers also no one dares to take orders, but I was excited to hear the wow, just because I have the strongest teaching system, I only need to make a slight move in order to get rid of this group of students. Chapter 1 The Strongest Teaching System Jung Nan City No. 1 High School Director Sun The homeroom teacher of class 7 was so angry that she had a heart attack and was just sent to the hospital. Director of Instruction Sun Guoming was pacing around in his office with a headache, and the counselor beside him was also filled with despondency. This year, the school expanded. The 7th class is a special class. The score line is pressed very low. The result is to recruit a group of grandpa in. Many of them are the sons of powerful people. Their families are rich and powerful, causing these students to be afraid of the sky and the earth, and they can't afford to mess with them. In these two months, class 7 had already changed three homeroom teachers. Director Sun, what should we do? The counselor asked with a sad face. Sun Guoming sighed. Call all the teachers who don't have heavy teaching duties to a meeting. The counselor laughed bitterly. I'm afraid no one will be willing to go right? The seventh class is a per capita prick. Who dares to manage it? It has to be managed even if you don't care. Sun Guoming said helplessly, if the school doesn't care, who's going to care? After a pause, Sun Guoming also hastened to say, by the way, call over the ones who are still in the internship period. Ah, this, the counselor froze. These intern teachers who just came are too young and inexperienced. No matter that much, Sun Guoming helplessly waved his hand. Go, all right, I'll go now. Halfway through the morning, teachers who didn't have classes rushed to the conference room, including the 10 or so trainee teachers who had just arrived. At this moment, Sun Guoming also came. The conference room was suddenly quiet. Sun Guoming didn't bother to beat around the bush and said right to the point. Everyone, the head teacher of the 7th senior class was hospitalized due to ill health, and the 7th class now needs someone to take over. I know that managing the 7th class is very tricky. I hope you all can put yourselves forward. As long as whoever can manage class 7 well, I guarantee that I will apply to the top for a great merit. The treatment will be favorable. The bonus at the end of the year will be doubled. And the internship period can be directly converted to a full-time job. Is there anyone who is willing to do so? Upon hearing that it was the 7th class of the first year of high school, the old teachers all sat as if they were Tarzan. Without any movement, no matter how good the treatment is, they won't go. The internship teachers were a bit moved. But once they heard the name of the seventh senior class, they instantly lost their nerve. Forget it, can't afford it, can't afford it. Who does not know that the seventh class per capita pricks? And family distinguished. The first class teacher was even threatened by the seventh class pricks, and then simply resigned from the job. Chen Chu in the corner is indifferent, although the internship transfer makes him very moved, but he also knows the great name of the seventh class, do not want to find their own sins. However, at this time, a bizarre voice suddenly sounded in his head. The strongest teaching system has found the host. Whom? Chen Chu's entire being was instantly confused. Phantom hearing? Binding successful. The voice resounded again in his mind, causing Chen Chu to go into a trance. He who was familiar with reading web novels was not a stranger to systems at all. He just didn't expect that he would be selected by the system. Could it be that I am the legendary son of fortune? Strongly holding back his excitement, Chen Chu hurriedly gave a silent system chant. Host, Chen Chu. Skills, none. Teaching points, zero. Ding. Task released. Current task, please become the class teacher of class 7 and go through the handover procedures. Successful task rewards novice luxury gift package. 100 teaching points. Open sign in. Lottery function. Task failure without any reward punishment. Seeing that the system's first task was actually for him to become the class teacher of class 7, Chen Shu could not help but feel a bit torn. The seventh class is a teacher's training ground. The scum of the amusement park. On his current ability, to go to either angry myocardial infarction committed hospitalized, or forced to resign, but only these two results. Chen Shu really doesn't want to be the class teacher of the seventh class. Forget it, it's better to see what's in the newbie pack first. If it really doesn't work, just give up on this mission. There's no punishment for failing the mission anyway. System, what's in the newbie deluxe gift pack? As soon as the words left his mouth, item data appeared in Chen Shu's mind. Elementary teacher's eye, can observe students' basic data, can be upgraded. Elementary teacher's overbearing aura expend a large amount of stamina to release the overbearing aura, shocking the students and allowing them to gain a state of awe for one hour. Upgradable. If the stamina is exhausted it will cause the host to faint. Please use with caution. Chen Chu was confused. Good guy. Not to mention the others, even the hegemony. Isn't this effect? 
the overlord color hegemony inside the king of thieves? After reading the introductions of the two skills open from the novice gift pack, Chen Shu's heart totaled up. If equipped with these two skills, especially this, beginner teacher hegemony, this class teacher of the seventh class he really may have the ability to be competent. Moreover, the sign-in and lottery function in this mission reward. This sounds very bullish, okay? What, no one is willing to go? As a people's teacher, don't you even have this kind of commitment? Seeing that there was a delay in someone coming forward on the stage, Sun Guoming's face immediately darkened. At this time, Chen Shu didn't have any entanglements and hurriedly stood up and said, Director Sun, I'm willing to go and substitute for class 7 and be the class teacher of class 7. Although going to class 7 had the life-threatening risk of gasping out a heart attack and blood pressure pulling up all over the place, and one might even lose one's job. However, Chen Chu, who had the system, had no waves in his heart and was even looking forward to it. As soon as those words left his mouth, Chen Chu instantly became the center of attention in the room. However, there wasn't much admiration in the crowd's gaze, but more pity and regret. There were also a few moments of teasing. They, the experienced veteran teachers, didn't even dare to control the seventh class. So what can you do with a little guy who has just interned for less than half a year? You really don't know the heights of heaven. Zhao Yijou beside Chen Shu even had a look of having seen a ghost. Chen Shu didn't make a sound, but it was Sun Guoming on the stage who was filled with great joy and hurriedly said, Good, good, then it's decided. The next teacher Chen will be in charge of the seventh class. Everyone can adjourn the meeting. Teacher Chen will go with you later to do the handover formalities. Just as the crowd dispersed, Zhao Yijou whispered, no, old Chen, how could you be so thoughtful? Chen Shu couldn't tell him about the existence of the system. And with a straight face, he patted Zhao Yijou's shoulder and said, Old Zhao, as a people's teacher, you have to be courageous. Even if class 7 is tricky, I'm going to go forward. If I don't go to hell, who will go to hell? Zhao Yijou, old Chen, speak human. I want to be transferred. Chapter 2 New Tasks Soon after, Chen Shu followed Sun Guoming to complete the handover procedures. Sun Guoming handed over the documents to Chen Shu while patting Chen Shu's shoulder and said, Teacher Chen, I'll leave the seventh class to you next, so feel free to speak up if you have any difficulties. Okay. Chen Shu hurriedly smiled and said, I will do my best. As soon as Chen Shu left, the counselor walked in and said with a bitter smile on his face, Director, just handing over class seven to Mr. Chen, he doesn't have any experience at all. In two days at most, he definitely won't be able to take it anymore. I can't do anything about it, Sun Guoming said in a good-natured manner. Isn't there no choice? Just let him try it out first. Besides, he's young and there's not too much of a generation gap between him and the students, so he might be able to do it. The counselor shrugged helplessly and didn't say anything more. Chen Shu was taking the information and preparing to go to his new office. On the way, he was full of excitement. Congratulations to the host for completing the mission. Obtaining the Newbie Deluxe Gift Pack, 100 Teaching Points, and activating the lottery and sign-in functions. Chen Shu first opened the novice deluxe gift pack, and after learning all the skills, he immediately used the teacher's eye on the passing students. Because the other party is not your student, you are unable to view them. Please raise your skill level. Chen Shu was stunned and relieved. After all, it was only a beginner's skill, so one could not expect too much. By the way, Chen Shu then researched the lottery and check-in functions. Daily check-in succeeded, obtaining a learning Pokemon. Whom? Chen Shu's eyes glazed over. There was a pet? Hurrying to the item bar, he took a look at it. Study Pixie, Grade C, Evolvable, will play in the middle of the classroom after being released. There is a certain chance that it will grant the students a frenzy state and increase their learning efficiency by 200%. Note that the pet will not be able to be recovered once it is released. It will always exist in the bound classroom and can only be seen by the host. TSK, isn't it simple to manage class 7 after having this little elf? Taking another look at the lottery, nay this lottery required at least 10 teaching points at a time. In fact, without the system's explanation, Chen Shu also knew that these teaching points were the most crucial. Skills, pet upgrades, and so on, all of them definitely required a large amount of teaching points. System, where do I get teaching points from? The host can obtain teaching points based on teaching efficiency when teaching, and students have a certain chance of generating teaching points when learning. Chen Shu nodded slightly. Basically having figured out the system's functions, his confidence doubled, and he was even already impatient to go to class 7 and start teaching. At this moment, Chen Shu had already arrived at the entrance of the new teaching office, and before he even went in, he vaguely heard the teachers inside talking. The one who took over class 7 is an intern? Yes, named Chen Shu. Ha, really out of his depth. Who says otherwise, 
It's good enough for a rash youngster like him to lead a normal class well. How dare he take over class 7's assignment. He'll last for a week at most. He'll definitely be screaming in agony by then. You also think too highly of him. I think it's at most 3 days. Chen Shu naturally felt a bit unhappy in his heart when he heard this, but he couldn't get mad. At the time of the meeting, Sun Guoming had thrown down a sentence about people's teachers, not even having that kind of commitment. He stood out at this moment, naturally hitting others in the face, as if to say, in addition to me, all of us here are not worthy of being called people's teachers. It was only natural that the crowd would have a problem with him. However, it doesn't matter. When the time comes, I'll slap you all hard with practical actions and see if you still dare to talk about me behind my back. Zhang Nan no. One high school's teacher king. I'm going to be it. Chen Shu pushed open the door and walked in expressionlessly. When the crowd saw that Chen Shu had arrived, the murmurs immediately disappeared without a trace. And instead, they greeted Chen Shu with smiles. Yo, little Chen. Courageous. It's still young people who have the drive to face challenging difficulties. Unlike us old guys who can't toss and turn anymore. Stretching his hand and not hitting a smiling face, Chen Shu naturally would not give the crowd a face, not to mention that they were all seniors, and hurriedly laughed, in the future, please ask all seniors to criticize and correct me more, that's natural, just come and ask if you don't understand anything, alright, next time for sure, Chen Shu answered in hurry to his new desk, not to mention, the environment was indeed much more comfortable, glancing at the class schedule, the second class of the afternoon was his own, luckily, he didn't have to attend class today, so he didn't need to prepare for class. He first had to hold a class meeting to understand the specifics of the seventh class. Just as he was thinking, the system suddenly released a new task. There are a total of 48 students in the seventh class of the first year of high school. Please try to raise the overall score of all students as much as possible within three months. The rewards will depend on the degree of completion of the task. When all the students' comprehensive scores reach grade C, reward random equality pendants, Pendants can enhance learning efficiency and give students special status. The higher the quality, the stronger the effect. Random advanced skills, 1000 teaching points, and the difficulty is normal. When all students reach grade B, random grade S ornaments, random advanced skills, random advanced pills, random advanced student templates, random advanced pets, 5000 teaching points. Difficulty is hard. When all students reach grade A, random SS grade ornaments, random epic grade skills, Random Epic Grade Elixirs, Random Epic Grade Student Templates, Random Epic Grade Pets, 10, 000, 000 Teaching Points, Difficulty is Epic, When All Students Have Reached S Grade, Award Random SSS Grade Ornaments, Random Legend Grade Skills, Random Legend Grade Elixirs, Random Legend Grade Student Templates, Random Legend Grade Pets, 100,000 Teaching Points, Difficulty is Legend, When, Sorry, With the Host's Current Ability Cannot Be Completed, cannot be displayed, Chen Chu, looking down on Hu, Chapter 3 Teacher Bullying, although he was inexplicably humiliated by the system, the rewards were truly gluttonous, the three major illusions in life, the cell phone vibrating, her liking me, and me being able to kill back, so what if it was legendary level difficulty, Chen Chu felt that he could put up a fight and counter kill the system, took the roll book with him and left the office, heading towards the seventh class of the first year of high school, not long after the bell rang, all the other classes had quieted down, but only the seventh class was still noisy, and there were even people playing music, making a lot of noise, but no one dared to go and persuade them. After a long time, Chen Shu finally came to the entrance of the seventh class. When ordinary students saw the teacher, even if they were a bit more skinny, they would quiet down and sit back down honestly. Good guy. Chen Shu just arrived at the door, but ushered in a burst of booing. TSK. Change so young class teacher. I also don't know if it's resistant to being messed with. He looks like a fool. A hey, goo. Our new homeroom teacher is a bit handsome. TCH. You're the sluttiest. You're so annoying. Chen Shu swept over with a glance, either smiling playfully at him or with a teasing face. And even more detestable was the one with his legs resting on the table and charging at him with his middle finger compared to a bright face. Chen Shu couldn't help but frown. The seventh class of the first year of high school was really living up to its name. Not to mention the classes. Even the discipline could not be maintained. No wonder the previous homeroom teacher had a heart attack. If it was usual, Chen Shu would have been the one with a stern face shouting out silence. However, this is certainly not useful for the seventh class of the first year of high school. Do not even need to try. Therefore, Chen Shu simply didn't bother to shout, entered the classroom and stood directly on the podium, picked up a piece of chalk and wrote his name on the blackboard. Chen Shu, a gu, laugh me to death. This name is too common. The street a grab ah. Luckily he still teaches language, 
Is it so easy to pick a name? Ha 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 ha. Good guy. Three words directly pulled Chen Chu's blood pressure all over the place. No. Hold it steady. Chen Chu forced himself to hold back the fire. Hurriedly pulled out a smile and said loudly. All students. From today onwards. I am your new homeroom teacher. Surname Chen Chu. There was a burst of booze at the bottom. And no one cooperated at all. I. No. Cannot burst foul language. We are the people's teacher. Just. This simply does not listen to people speak ah. There is no way to open the class meeting. The bottom of the chatting chat. The play cell phone play cell phone. Pressure no one put Chen Chu in the eyes. Some people even secretly said. Work harder. Soon we'll be able to set a record. Try to force this newcomer away in the first class. Ha 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 ha. Interesting. Chen Chu couldn't help but darken his old face. Okay. Playing this game with me. Right? Originally. I just wanted to get along with you guys as ordinary people. But I didn't expect to get this kind of treatment in return. No more pretending. I'll show my cards. No big deal. From today onwards I'm going to teach you what it means to respect your teacher. Chen Chu's eyes flashed. And he shouted in a deep voice. Quiet down. With a movement of his mind. His domineering aura was fully opened. In an instant. Chen Chu felt that his originally abundant physical strength was rapidly flowing away. And actually felt his body begin to feel a bit limp and weak. Boom. In an instant. An invisible and terrifying hegemonic aura swept out in all directions, enveloping everyone in class 7. The students who were originally still talking and laughing, their bodies abruptly stiffened, and their expressions were wooden, even with a few moments of panic and unease. It only felt as if they had fallen into boundless darkness in an instant, with only a pair of huge scarlet eyes staring fiercely at them. The entire scene was so silent that one could hear a pin drop. Chen Shu was also tired enough, secretly reached out his hand to hold the lectern to not show any abnormalities. A glance. All the people in the seventh class didn't dare to move, so scared that they didn't dare to breathe a breath. The deterrent effect is very significant. Chen Chu coldly snorted. Everyone returned to their seats immediately. At this moment, the entire class seven crowd was in disarray, rushing to move their bodies and return to their seats. Only that quite a few of them did not dare to raise their heads to look in Chen Chu's direction at all. What the hell? Why should I be afraid of this guy? It's just a new guy. Many people were resisting in their hearts. But once they remembered the despair and panic that they had just experienced, their resistance was instantly suppressed. Chen Shu coldly swept a glance at the crowd, took out the roll call book, and said in a deep voice, Below, the class meeting will begin. Start the roll call. Those whose names are called call out to arrive. Su Tianhao. Su Tianhao in the corner originally did not want to agree. But in the end, he could only shout a hard to. Chen Shu immediately catalyzed the teacher's eye. Name, Su Tianhao. Gender, male. Age, 15. Status, aversion to learning. Reverence, lasts for one hour. Vices, laziness. Smoking, drinking, racing, swearing, fighting, watching small videos. Too many vices to show. Talents, none. Learning efficiency, minus 147%. Comprehensive evaluation, F don't even want to give. School slag fighter. Chen Chu. Holy shit. It's just as well that there are so many vices. This Nima learning efficiency can still be negative? Chen Shu named again. Sun Jiajiu. A svelte looking girl carefully raised her hand and answered. Chen Shu was pleased. A look at the growth of a school bully look. Certainly not too bad. Name, Sun Jiajiu. Gender female. Age, 15. Status, extreme aversion to learning. Ah, lasts for one hour. Vices, laziness. Smoking, drinking, early love, clubbing, wastefulness, aggressiveness. Too many vices to show. Talent, F rank dance. Study efficiency, minus 247%. Comprehensive evaluation, tired. Destroy it, hurry up. Chapter 4 Parodies. Ah, this. Chen Shu still couldn't believe it, and simply swept over all of them one by one. The class has more than 20 vices per capita. Learning efficiency minus 130% or so, and the highest learning efficiency minus 78%. Mom yeah, this class is not prospering to teach ah. The system evaluation was divided into 9 grades, SSS. S S S A B C D E F. However, the comprehensive evaluation of the whole class couldn't even reach the worst F. No wonder the system rewards were so generous. This seventh class was simply hopeless. Chen Shu's self-confidence that had been accumulated with great difficulty instantly fell apart. No, no, no matter what, we are also a people's teacher. We can't give up lightly. Not to mention the matter of rewards or not. Chen Shu's awareness wasn't high. But since he had chosen the line of a people's teacher, the bottom line was to be responsible for the students. 
Shen Chu didn't want the students he taught to be all useless scum when they entered society. With great difficulty, Chen Shu felt that these little ones could still be salvaged. At the end of the roll call, while the effect of the teacher's dominance had not yet passed, Chen Shu first let the crowd study on their own. One by one, they reluctantly took out their textbooks for each subject and read them. Study Pixie, it's decided that it's you. With a thought, Chen Shu immediately summoned the study Pixie, and what came to his eyes was a small white ball of fur that could fly and began to wander around the classroom. Chen Shu silently observed with great anticipation. And after the study Pokemon had wandered around for almost 10 minutes or so, he saw the Pokemon suddenly stop at the top of a student's head, and immediately afterward, a faint white shimmering light appeared on the surface of the student's body. Frenzy state? Chen Shu immediately utilized his teacher's eye. Name, Luo Hao. Gender, male. Age, 15. Status, aversion to learning. Awe, lasts 1 hour. Fanaticism, lasts 10 minutes. Vices, negligible. Talent, none. Study efficiency for 7%. Comprehensive evaluation, F. Luo Hao was originally resting there boredly flipping through the language textbook. Suddenly and inexplicably felt that the article was written quite well, and actually read it carefully without realizing it. At this time, Chen Shu's mind sounded a system tone. Gained one teaching point from Luo Hao. Gained two teaching points from Luo Hao. The frenzied state lasted for a full 10 minutes, and Chen Shu also obtained 18 teaching points from Luo Hao while the learning pixie seemed to have rested about as much as it could, and began to wander around inside the class again, while Luo Hao's state returned to normal. The article that he was reading carefully just now was given a direct flip in the next second. You can't eat fat in one breath. Chen Shu shook his head slightly and quickly put his mind on the lottery. He could now draw prizes a total of 11 times, and as long as his character was good enough, it wasn't impossible for him to come out with a SSS mythic great prop. Drawing in the lottery. Thanks for your patronage. In the lottery. Thank you for your patronage, in the lottery. Congratulations, you've won a globe. Globe? Chen Shu hurriedly checked the item properties. Globe quality E, when placed in the classroom, it enhances the learning efficiency of all students in the classroom by 10%, and can be composed of an E-ranked learning set that can be upgraded, all boosted by 10%. This is still only an E-rank item. If this were a SSSS Mythic Rank 1, it wouldn't just take off. Chen Shu continued to draw, drawing in. Congratulations on obtaining the item Disciples Rule Mural. Disciples Rules Mural, Quality D. When placed in the classroom, there is a 3% chance that the students in the classroom will obtain a special status. Can be composed into a D-ranked learning set. Can be upgraded. Another piece. Chen Shu's eyes lit up. It was already starting to appear as a D-grade, showing that his character wasn't too bad. Take a shot at it, and turn a bicycle into a motorcycle. In the draw. Thank you for patronizing. In the raffle. Thank you for your patronage, in the raffle. Congratulations on acquiring the skill imitation. Chen Shu was stunned and rushed to check the details. Mimicry special skill, enter mimicry state after releasing. Can mimic any character and gain all of their abilities? Lasts for one hour. Cool down 24 hours, can be upgraded. Mom, isn't this a divine skill? Within one hour, you can imitate whoever you want, and you can also gain all the abilities of the person you imitate. Now, it wouldn't be easy to clean up these little guys? This wave of lottery blood earned no losses, and Chen Shu suddenly felt that he could kill the system again. However, the abnormality in class 7 had attracted a lot of attention. According to the usual, the 7th class has never been quiet in class, but today it was quiet and a little weird. Was this still the 7th class that was known as the teacher's playground and the playground of the scum? A teacher pretended to pass by and took a glance, and immediately looked like he had seen a ghost. The little guys in class 7 were honestly sitting in their seats reading books. This is outrageous to the extreme, if he hadn't seen it with his own eyes, he wouldn't have been able to believe it, a short while later, the class bell rang, Chen Shu returned to the office in a relaxed manner, however, as soon as he went in, he felt that the atmosphere was extraordinarily weird, everyone was secretly staring at themselves, how could Chen Shu not know what was going on, he simply pretended not to see it and returned to his position to think deeply, because of the system, his future was currently bound to the little ones in class 7. Teaching points were the top priority, but the prerequisite was that these little guys could honestly learn in class. Teacher hegemony was certainly good to use, but it was never a long-term solution, and because it consumed too much physical strength, using it once a day was already Chen Chu's limit. Thinking about it, the most effective way was to attack the heart. Well, later on is gym class. Have fun with these little guys, and by the way, try out how effective the mimicry skill is. Chapter 5, Sealed Caps. Gym. It happened to be the 7th class's turn for gym class. 
there were 12 seventh class sports specialists who started playing half court. The others were sitting outside the field playing with their cell phones or chatting. The physical education teacher didn't dare to care and sat at an old distance drinking tea. This new guy today is not easy to deal with. Obviously not much older than us. His aura is so strong that it scares people. I heard it's still a fresh intern. I don't even know why I'm suddenly so afraid of him. See ghost. A group of people are still a little shaky when they think back now. The practicing students playing on the court were actually talking about it, and most of them found it baffling as well. They had never put any teacher in their eyes, but when they encountered Chen Chu, who had just arrived, they actually wimped out, and they didn't even dare to resist whatever Chen Chu asked them to do. Right at this moment, Chen Chu appeared in the middle of the gymnasium. When the people of class 7 saw Chen Chu, they couldn't help but frown. The boys who were playing half court also stopped, but they saw Chen Chu come straight to the edge of the court and grinned. Each and every one of you is quite skilled. Someone asked in a cold voice, Teacher, this is gym class. What are you doing here? Chen Shu smiled faintly. I'm bored. So I've come over to play some soccer. The crowd couldn't help but sneer. Don't you teach language? You can also play ball? Teacher, with your small body, don't embarrass yourself. Class 7 was a special class, and the average height of the boys practicing physical fitness was over 1 meter 8. Chen Shu was only 1 meter 76 so he was indeed considered a small body. In the face of the student's mockery, Chen Shu smiled instead of being angry, who says language teachers don't know how to play ball. Play a game? The crowd was happy to hear that. Play ball with us? Aren't you looking for abuse? Teacher, are you sure you want to play with us? We won't give in to you. A group of people squeezed their eyebrows and smiled. There's no need to give way. Chen Shu shook his head and said, but it's no fun to just fight dry. How about some bets? How do you want to play? Bullfighting? One on one. Just three balls, Chen Shu said with a straight face, the loser will give me an honest lesson in the future, and if you win, the conditions can be raised at will, how about it, do you dare to play, this is what you said, Zhou Feng, who was holding the ball, directly passed the ball to Chen Shu, grinning, I'll fight you first, the crowd took a look at the fact that it was Zhou Feng and immediately felt that this wave was stable, Zhou Feng had grown up in the lighthouse kingdom and had a specialized basketball coach, so his skills naturally had nothing to say, not to mention that he was in the seventh class. He was considered top notch in the entire school. Physical quality that is not to mention. Nearly 1 meter 87 big. Long tiger back and waist. Playing with Chen Chu is not the same as playing. Don't say. Chen Chu was really a bit weak. He also played when he was in college. And the level was average. And he didn't touch it much after he joined the workforce. Now all hope could only be pinned on imitation. The crowd hurriedly made room for Chen Chu and Zhou Feng. And Zhou Feng immediately opened his stance and said. First, I'll let you serve. All right, then I won't be polite. Chen Chu took a deep breath and moved his mind. Imitation. Kobe Bryant. In an instant, countless images flew through Chen Chu's mind. And even more miraculously, every part of his body seemed to be filled with an indescribable feeling. The basketball in his hand was no longer unfamiliar to touch, but instead was permeated with a wave of affection. Come. The words just fell. Chen Chu immediately dribbled the ball and directly met Zhou Feng. Zhou Feng was disdainful and immediately defended. The sense of oppression was full. Chen Shu did not panic and turned his back to continue dribbling. Just at this time, Zhou Feng eyes a glance. See the right time to fierce probe hand to steal. Only this hand just stretched out. Chen Shu suddenly turned around and dribbled around Zhou Feng without any delay. Reaction is so fast. Zhou Feng was slightly shocked. Frozen for a moment Chen Shu had already scored a quick layup. The outsiders were watching the game. But the insiders were watching the doorway. The students practicing outside the court could not help but be a little surprised. Just now Zhou Feng's hand speed was so fast. According to reason it is unlikely to be able to avoid it. But Chen Shu actually did not say. And the whole set of actions can be described as a running water. Smooth as a batch. However, the girls who had gathered around did not know what was going on. Zhou Feng, don't give in to him. It would be a shame to lose to him. Zhou Feng abruptly came back to his senses and turned his head to look at Chen Shu. Chen Shu passed the ball. It's your turn to serve. Zhou Feng received the ball and said in a deep voice, Looks like you're still skilled. I won't let you next. Little guy. It's not certain who will let who in. Chen Shu shrugged his shoulders and signaled Zhou Feng to serve. Just as soon as the ball was sent, Zhou Feng dribbled and charged strongly without saying anything. He had a strong physical advantage, and it was naturally impossible for Chen Shu to block him. In a trance, Zhou Feng has easily pressed to the rim and suddenly jumped. It was too late. Chen Shu's legs violently built up their strength, and with that, he jumped up, and afterward, his right hand ripped upwards and pressed down fiercely. Snap, with a powerful smash. The ball in Zhou Feng's hand was ruthlessly slapped out by Chen Shu before he could even make a move. 
Crap, sealed the cap. How is this bounce so outrageous? The entire stadium was in an uproar, each and every one of them wide-eyed and full of disbelief. As soon as he landed, Joe Fongman was confused. He had never imagined that he had been capped, and the other party was still his homeroom teacher, a language teacher who was even shorter than him. Chapter 6, Traitor, Joe Fong, don't just stand there, go up and defend him, don't let him score. A group of people shouted anxiously. Joe Fong abruptly came back to his senses and hurriedly rushed up to defend Chen Shu. Chen Shu made a crotch dribble and swayed to the left, seemingly to break to the left. Joe Fong subconsciously took a step to the left and was about to chase after him, but he saw Chen Shu pull back with his left hand, expressionlessly, a false start. Shit, Joe Fong cursed and stared at Chen Shu with a serious face. If he really lost today, it would be too embarrassing. I didn't expect Chen Shu to be so good at the ball. His dribbling was even more stable. It was almost hard to find a break. The next absolutely cannot let Chen Shu pass. Zhou Feng stared at Chen Shu with a deadly stare. His hands were already open, ready to fight with Chen Shu to the death. Chen Shu grinned and suddenly accelerated to the right. His speed was astonishingly fast. Zhou Feng subconsciously chased after him to the right. And in a trance, Chen Shu suddenly jumped up making it impossible for anyone to react. Backward jump shot. A ball shot. Swish. The basketball rubbed against the net with a sound that made people quite comfortable. It went into the net. The whole court went silent for a moment. Thumping. The basketball landed on the ground making a regular knocking sound. Chen Shu hurriedly stepped forward to pick up the ball and passed it towards Joe Fong, saying, Young man can work harder. If I score another point, you'll lose. Joe Fong received the ball and his face couldn't help but look a little ugly. The boys couldn't help but remain silent, looking at Chen Shu with some suspicion in their eyes and even numbness in their scalps. Whether it is explosive power, elasticity, reaction speed is very horrible. This ball skill is so good that it is even a little outrageous. It is clearly a professional basketball player. Ah, someone could not help but open his mouth to inquire. Are you sure you are a language teacher? Chen Shu laughed. What else? You graduated from a physical education school? The corners of Chun Chu's mouth twitched and he couldn't help but roll his eyes. What are you thinking? I must have graduated from the teacher's training center. How can I still come to teach you language after graduating from the gymnasium? Then why are you so good at soccer? Zhou Feng also looked curious. Chen Chu grinned. Want to learn? The crowd said almost without thinking. Yes. Whoever practiced ball games didn't want to learn a superb skill. As long as you give me honest obedience in class from now on, I'll teach you guys to play ball every weekend. How about it? Chen Shu grinned and waved towards Zhou Feng. Zhou Feng subconsciously passed the ball to Chen Shu. Chen Shu took the ball, moved in place for a bit, suddenly dribbled and accelerated, and just arrived at the inner line and leaped. One-handedly slammed a buckle. Boom! A ball went through the basketball net and smashed hard on the ground. Crap! Coward! Teacher! I want to learn this. As long as you're willing to teach me, I'll definitely be honest in class from now on. A group of physical training students were instantly conquered by Chen Shu's handsome foul shot and immediately surrounded them, and were all over Chen Shu. Teacher, teach me now. Teach dribbling first. You dribble too steadily. Zhou Feng stood in place with an embarrassed face. This group of traitors, too boring. The group of girls turned around and left with a sudden curse. The other boys frowned. Zhou Feng, you don't want to be a traitor too, do you? Ah, this. Zhou Feng swept a glance at Chen Shu, who was surrounded by the front and back, and then looked at the others who were leaving, and made a decisive choice. I. Want to learn to play ball? Shit. The crowd immediately raised their middle fingers in contempt, glared at Joe Fong, and turned to leave. Joe Fong hurriedly farted around and joined the practicing students. Sure enough, they were just a bunch of brats. So nice to coax. While the mimicry effect was still fresh, Chen Shu also temporarily took over the gym teacher's job for a bit. This foundation of yours is not solid enough. Dribbling is not stable. The movement is too slow. The center of gravity falls on the left foot before turning around. When Chen Shu pointed out the problem one by one against the weaknesses of the crowd, suddenly a voice came from not far away. Xiao Chen. Xiao Chen. Chen Shu froze, turned his head to look at the original physical education teacher Li Ku, let the crowd in accordance with what he said and then practiced, hurriedly came to Li Ku's heel. Teacher Li, sorry sorry for taking up your class time. Li Ku but witnessed all the passage, hurriedly smiled bitterly, say what sorry. I want a class cannot go. They press not listen to me. These little guys in your class. I cannot serve, but you can really have the ability. The ball can be played ah. Not bad. Not bad. You are also too modest. If I didn't know that you graduated from the teacher training center, I really thought that you were from the gymnasium. Li Ku hurriedly said, Next month, the Jiangnan College Staff Basketball Competition. 
you should come along too. If you come, our school will definitely be number one. Ha, Chen Shu let out a bitter smile. I'm still on internship. I'm not considered an official employee, so I can't participate, right? These are all small problems. If you come to participate, leave the rest to me. Lika smiled and joked. You haven't found a girlfriend yet, right? Chen Shu scratched his head in embarrassment. No, no, I've only just joined the workforce. How can I have the time to find a girlfriend? Then this you can't miss. Lika laughed. Our school can have a lot of beautiful female teachers. Other schools are even more quite a lot. We'll certainly come to see the game at that time. You do a good job. Maybe the girlfriend will come? After all, not too young. Indeed should find a girlfriend to talk about marriage. Chen Shu immediately and quickly agreed. Okay, I will participate. Chapter 7 Looking Away Lika simply stopped attending classes as well. Handing over all of his students to Chen Shu and busily going to open up about Chen Shu's participation in the staff basketball competition. Chen Shu continued to correct the movements of Zhou Feng and the others. Gained 5 teaching points from Zhou Feng. Gained 7 teaching points from Yang Tianyu. The system's beeps continued to ring out, causing Chen Shu to be somewhat surprised. This could also gain teaching points. Quickly, he used the teacher's eye to look at Zhou Feng. Name, Zhou Feng. Gender, male. Age, 15. Status, aversion to learning. Concentration, special status, greatly improves learning efficiency, duration unknown, vices, negligible, talent e-level basketball, study efficiency 133%, comprehensive evaluation, F, concentration state, Chen Shu smiled indistinctly, roughly poking at the preferences of these little guys, if he remembered correctly, Zhou Feng's learning efficiency should have been around minus 184% before, so it seemed that learning efficiency was actually not static and would change based on mood preferences and such. Now that Joe Foam and the others were allowed to go to the classroom, the learning efficiency would definitely drop back immediately. Taking advantage of the fact that Joe Foam and the others were highly enthusiastic at the moment and their learning efficiency was extremely high, Chen Shu was also teaching as meticulously as possible, frantically harvesting teaching points. In a flash, the bell rang for the end of class. Although the crowd was full of intentions, they were ultimately urged by Chen Shu to go back to the classroom. Once the people left, Chen Shu did not hold back his laughter, including the more than 100 teaching points that he had produced while teaching, this wave had actually gotten more than 300 teaching points, this was intended to be used directly for the lottery, but Chen Shu still endured it, lucky draw was too much of a fight for character, and it was possible that all of the teaching points would be thrown in for nothing, Chen Shu hurriedly checked the two props inside the item bar, the globe and the disciples rules mural, system, what do I need to upgrade the globe? 100 teaching points and an E-grade ornament of the same quality. The higher the quality of the ornament, the more teaching points and the number of ornaments of the same quality required. What about the set effect? There are a total of 6 E-grade pendants. Collecting all E-grade pendants will activate the set effect, causing all students to increase their learning efficiency by 50%. Chen Shu nodded slightly. The globe would require 100 teaching points and another grade E pendant to upgrade to grade D. While the Disciples Rules Mural would require 1000 teaching points and 2 grade D pendants. Currently, the source of the ornaments could only rely on lucky draws or signing in, and later on the system should open up a store or something like that. For the time being, I'll use these two ornaments and put them inside the classroom tomorrow to see the effect. Chen Chu grinned, and with his hands behind his back, he headed towards the office in a happy mood. However, just after arriving at the door of the office, as soon as the imitation effect passed, Chen Shu felt that his entire body was aching, and for a moment he couldn't walk, his thighs hurting. This could have startled Chen Shu. What? What's going on? Can't it be that the imitation has side effects? The system explained. The host's lack of exercise and the use of the mimicry skill for high-intensity exercise will naturally cause intense soreness in the limbs, which is a normal phenomenon, and it is recommended that the host exercise more. Chen Shu cried and laughed for a moment. Why didn't you say that earlier? I wasn't prepared at all. The host did not ask. Please mention it next time. Okay. After slowing down for a good half a day, Chen Shu forced himself to endure the soreness and entered the office. This time, many of the teacher's gazes again coincidentally converged on Chen Shu. Chen Shu had just sat down not a moment before Li Ku returned. Little Chen. It's done. Li Ku carried a thermos cup and smilingly slapped Chen Shu's shoulder. Practice tonight. This slap hurt so much that Chen Shu almost didn't roar out. Li, teacher Li, there, is a little something to deal with tonight. Chen Shu hardened his head and forced a smile. Tomorrow. No, the night after tomorrow is okay? Okay, okay. Li Ku did not notice the abnormality and smiled. Then I'll go on to teach the other classes. Good. Chen Shu answered. Only then did Li Ku turn around and leave. 
causing the other teachers inside the office to become even more curious, but they didn't have the heart to ask, after all, they weren't too familiar with Chen Chu, in a flash, the afternoon class was finally over, everyone went to eat, leaving only Chen Chu to stay in the office, the old teachers couldn't help but talk as soon as they left, little Chen is quite good, it's been an afternoon of reading materials in the office, and he hasn't even touched his cell phone, Yes, I've been back from two classes and he's still sitting there reading the materials. How patient. No wonder this first day was able to overwhelm that group of little guys in class 7. You're pretending, aren't you? A new official has to perform. Just in case there's an inspection. You're just being petty. You can't even pretend. Anyway, I quite like Xiao Chen. Young and responsible, but also patient. In time, will become a great man. TSK, don't jump to conclusions so early. The road is far to know the horsepower of the day to see the people. Time is long to know. Listen to this sourness. That is, cannot see others better than you? Is not it? Come on, come on. What can be argued? See no one in the office. Chen Chu only revealed a face of pain. It wasn't that he didn't want to move. It was really that moving his body was incredibly sore. He could only stay like this for the whole afternoon. At this moment, his stomach was starving. So he thought about it and called Zhao Yijou, asking him to bring food over. Not long after, Zhao Yijou came in carrying a lunchbox with a stunned look on his face. Old Chen, I've heard all about it. You actually suppressed those little guys from class 7. Bull Bacha, how did you do it? Chen Chu frowned. You're a teacher now. Watch what you say. Don't move and lie down on the bullseye. Ha ha ha. Okay, okay. Zhao Yijou laughed out loud and slapped Chen Chu on the back. Chen Chu's entire face instantly squeezed into a ball of pain. And he couldn't help but squeeze out two words through his teeth. Crap. Chapter 8, can't say completely similar, can only say exactly the same, Zhao Yijou were confused, seeing Chen Shu with a pained expression on his face, he hurriedly said, what's wrong, nothing, it's been a long time since I moved, and today I played a little ball, Chen Shu smiled bitterly, you know, with others Chen Shu is embarrassed to speak, but to Zhao Yijou it does not matter, for years of college roommates, after graduation and together they were admitted to Jiangnan first middle school as a teacher, the relationship is needless to say, iron in iron, Zhao Yijou didn't care, and continued to ask, you tell me how to suppress that group of little guys, by reasoning and moving them with affection, Chen Shu blurted out, Zhao Yijou raised an eyebrow, physical reasoning, the movement of action, Chen Shu rolled his eyes, what are you thinking, it's also true that the group of little guys practicing physical science in class 7 are all like they're on hormones, they're big and thick, you might get punched first if you try to make a move, Zhao Yijou grinned, forget it, I'm not the homeroom teacher anyway, it's useless to know. Cafeteria. Zhou Feng and a group of physical training students were about to eat with their classmates after taking their meals as usual. However, the rest of class 7 resolutely took their trays and walked away, not bothering with them at all. Zhou Feng's complexion was a bit ugly. Brother Zhou, it seems like we're being isolated. Another person said fearfully, isolation is fine, but I'm afraid of being targeted. After all, the class was full of pricks, and there were many ways to fix people. Once targeted, it would be troublesome. Why don't we apologize? One person whispered. It's not necessary to offend so many students for the new homeroom teacher. Someone else disagreed and angrily said. Do you have any fucking backbone? Do what you want to do. Why are you looking at their faces? Seeing that there was about to be a fight, Joe Fong said in a bad mood. What's the point of arguing? I'm going to learn how to play ball with Old Chen anyway. The crowd was stunned. This new homeroom teacher has only just taken over and you're even shouting such an intimate name as Old Chen. Brother Zhou, it's not necessary, right? Although the new homeroom teacher is indeed great at playing soccer, it won't be easy for us to be isolated in the future. Zhou Feng frowned, awesome, what do you guys know? Old Chen plays better than a professional. After all, Zhou Feng's family was rich and powerful, or returned from the lighthouse kingdom, and had always been the backbone of the crowd. And once they heard Zhou Feng say this, the crowd froze. The coach I hired in the Lighthouse Kingdom is a retired professional player from NBA, and none of them taught as well as Old Chen. Zhou Feng said seriously, Old Chen took a look at my palm and knew that I would throw the ball to the left. I asked the coach did not have this kind of eyesight. Old Chen also taught me how to correct. I tried the Old Chen's approach. The inside of the three throws in three, the ball feel a lot better. On the basis of this ability, this class teacher I am absolutely convinced. In the future I want to mix with the Old Chen, not to say into the NBA into the CBA should be no problem. I don't think it's a problem. When Zhou Feng mentioned it, it was as if the crowd was waking up from a dream. Don't tell me. Today the new homeroom teacher asked me to adjust my center of gravity when I turn around. I tried it out. And the turnaround was so smooth. 
there was no sense of stagnation before. Hey, put it this way, I'm unstable when I backward jump shot. He let me. As if they had opened the box of words all at once. The crowd was surprised to find that the improvement effects of the method Chen Shu had taught them were all extremely obvious. Now do you understand? Zhou Feng skimmed his mouth. Not to mention the rest. The coach I hired costs 300, 000 dollars a month. Mixing with old Chen. Not 300, 000 dollars. Not 10, 000 dollars. We'll be more disciplined in class. And old Chen will be willing to teach us how to play. Where can we find such a good thing? After saying that, Zhou Feng glanced at the others and whispered. I play well with them, and I don't see any benefits from them, why don't I mix with old Chen? Could it be that they are willing to spend $300,000 to hire a coach for me? It's true that you're from a business family, and you're smart with your money. He he, this is called future investment, in English it's called. Forget it, you won't understand even if you say it. Zhou Feng scratched his head, it's just that old Chen's style of play is too familiar. The crowd watched NBA every day and naturally felt a little bit, kind of like Kobe? Yeah, super similar when dribbling, Joe Foam nodded. I've been to the Lakers live games. I can't say it's completely similar. I can only say it's exactly the same. It's too ethereal. Anyway, that's all I have to say. I'll listen to old Chen from now on. If you guys don't like it, go play with someone else. Then I'll definitely follow you. Those previous homeroom teachers were boring. Just blah 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 every day. Annoying as hell. Old Chen is different. I'm willing to listen to him too. The crowd quickly reached a consensus. Firmly embracing Chen Chu's leadership and not caring about other people's opinions. In a flash, it was time for the evening study hall. Although it wasn't Chen Chu's class, as the class teacher it was necessary to stay at the school. In the evening math class, the math teacher, Wu Ying, had just returned to the office after an evening study session to find Chen Chu. Everyone thought that Wu Ying had come to find Chen Chu to spit on him, but as soon as he opened his mouth, he laughed and said, Little Chen, you've done well. Normally at this moment, the 7th class is almost as noisy as the gongs and drums, but when I went in today, although it was noisy, it was too much quieter than before. The moment Wu Ying opened his mouth, all the teachers couldn't help but look surprised. Presumably, they were shocked by the teacher's domineering aura today. Although the awe effect had disappeared, it definitely still left a psychological shadow. These little guys naturally didn't dare to jump too much. Thank you, Teacher Wu, for the compliment. Wu Ying laughed. It was the right choice to let you be the homeroom teacher of class 7. You are also a young man. Being able to communicate with that group of little guys is the only way to control them. A female teacher in her 40s also couldn't help but snicker. That's true. Little Chen is tall and handsome. Those little girls in class 7 will definitely listen. Ah. This. Chen Chu's old face turned red. Don't stop. Continue. I love to listen. Chapter 9. Dog Trust? It was hard to survive until the evening study hall was dismissed and the teachers left separately, although slowed down for the afternoon, but Chen Shu still hurt too much, and finally took advantage of the lack of talent in Zhao Yijou's assistance on the electric car, packed back to the faculty dormitory, looking at Chen Shu's miserable appearance, Zhao Yijou cried and laughed, in the end you hit the ball or the ball hit you off, Chen Shu laughed bitterly, hurry up and bring me your fascia gun to use to relax your muscles, after tossing and turning for half a day, bathing and soaking his feet was much better, it wasn't like the evening self-study wasn't rewarding. After all, the learning pixie was hanging out inside the classroom 24-7 and 24-7, randomly selecting a student to grant a frenzy status, and every once in a while Chen Shu was able to receive a small amount of teaching points from the student's output. After taking a glance, there were already over 470 teaching points. Chen Shu instantly felt that this whole body ache today was worth it. First, he asked the system about the upgrade conditions for the two basic skills. What conditions are needed to upgrade the teacher's eye and teacher's overbearing aura? Teacher's eye requires 100, 000 teaching points. And teacher's overbearing aura requires full proficiency and requires 200, 000 teaching points. Farewell. Excuse me. The six-digit teaching points directly dissuaded Chun Chu. Forget it. I'll just draw a prize. Nearly 50 chances to draw. It should come out good. Lucky draw in progress. Thanks for patronizing. In the raffle. Thank you for your patronage. In the lucky draw. Congratulations you have won the item globe. In the raffle. Congratulations you won the item globe. In the raffle. Congratulations on winning the item globe. What's that? Chen Shu was flabbergasted for a moment. Winning 3 E-grade quality globes in 10 draws. This winning rate. Didn't seem too bad. Counting the fact that I have another one here. Setting up 4 globes. The class's learning efficiency increases by 40%? Chen Shu was thinking prettily. When the system immediately poured cold water on Chen Shu. Only one globe can take effect. 
and the same goes for the other pendulums. Chen Shu let out an O. Oh. Currently, we have accumulated 21 draws, and by accumulating 1, 0, 0, 0 draws, the system will increase the probability of winning an item or skill that is above grade A. Chen Shu froze, then how high is my current A rank winning probability? The current probability of the host being able to draw an A rank item or skill is 0. 0.7%. Eh? Chen Shu frowned, then what is the quality of my imitation skill? S rank. System, the host is very lucky. Chun Shu could not help but be happy. I have good luck with this. Continue to continue. Strike while the iron is hot. Lucky draw in progress. Congratulations on obtaining the SS rank skill epic education skill. Chen Shu? System? Damn it. Dog trust. After a long time, Chen Shu slowed down, excited and flustered. I'm not going to use up all my luck in this life. Am I? What if I can't find a wife? Mom and dad are still looking forward to me passing on the family name. Hurrying to check the skills. Epic education skill directly grants two states of reflection, ah, for 24 hours when educating others. With a 48 hour cooldown. Upgradable. In the state of reflection, there is a certain chance of self erasing of ice. The longer the time, the higher the chance, just by glancing at the attributes. Chen Shu could not help but suck in a breath of cool air. The SS rank skill was simply heaven defying and could unconditionally and directly grant status to the other person. More importantly, the word others. System, if I understand correctly, I can educate anyone, even if it's not my student? The system gave an affirmative reply. Yes. Chen Shu blinked. Then with SSS level education skills, wouldn't it be possible to educate even plants and animals? System, the host does not have enough authority to answer. Last question. Do vices affect learning efficiency? There is a certain impact, but it is not absolute. Chen Shu nodded slightly. Both schoolmasters and school dregs might smoke and drink. There really wasn't much of a connection. However the next hand started pulling crotches. Two more globes came out and were gone. Chen Shu suspected that the system might have fine-tuned the probability of winning. But unfortunately he had no evidence. However, it is already blood earning his mom opened the door to blood earning. Blood earning to the home. Took the remaining teaching points and upgraded the globe. Upgrade successful. Globe, quality D. When placed in the classroom, it boosts the learning efficiency of all students in the classroom by 20%. It can be composed into a deranked learning set and can be upgraded. Although 20% learning efficiency was a drop in the bucket for class 7. The road had to be taken one step at a time. The meal had to be eaten one bite at a time. And there were still 3 months left until the end of the mission. So it was not too late. As for the upgrades to the imitation skills and epic education skills, Chen Shu was too lazy to look at them. The primary skills both required 6 figure teaching points. The upgrade conditions for these two skills were even harsher. And at the very least, they had to start with a hundred million teaching points. The key right now was to let class 7 attend classes honestly. Teacher hegemony can be used or try not to use it. The slightest mishap will lead to fainting. Clearing his thoughts, Chen Chu's eyes narrowed slightly. Tomorrow morning class he will first clean up the most jumpy one inside the class. To make an example out of him. Chapter 10, you're on the wrong side of the gun. The next morning, Chen Shu barely sort of regained his mobility and although he was still sore, it was much lessened. The first thing he did when he woke up was to sign in. Signing in was successful. Congratulations on obtaining an S-ranked part. Gathering a 100 S-ranked parts will allow you to synthesize random S-ranked items or skills. The sign-in rewards were also random, purely based on face. However, Chen Shu didn't ask for too much, and after having breakfast, he took the globe and the disciples' rules mural with him and headed to the classroom. The other classes had already started reading in the morning. But the seventh class was still noisy. It wasn't until Chen Chu appeared at the door that the people in class seven instantly stopped and returned to their seats. Although they were very upset with Chen Chu in their hearts, their bodies were extraordinarily honest. After all, the impression of Chen Chu's use of the teacher hegemony last time was still fresh in their minds. Chen Chu walked to the podium expressionlessly and placed the globe and the disciples' rules mural. What's he doing bringing a ball in the morning? Playing with a ball. The three words caused the crowd to snicker. Chen Shu frowned slightly and followed the sound to see that the little guy who had just made fun of him was sitting in the last row, leaning on his seat with his head in his hands, his two legs resting on the table and swaying, with a dangling look on his face, yesterday through the teacher's eye, and read the afternoon student information Chen Shu on the seventh class people already have some impression, this guy is called Li Yi Yang, one of the trickier characters in the class, the family is really rich and powerful, from other teacher's mouth to understand that roughly black and white have to give face to the kind, he has received 12 demerits in 3 months, 3 serious warnings, and 1 detention. The detention was for assaulting a teacher. Change other people are enough to expel 10 times. However, this guy still stay inside the school, 
see its background how strong, the school authorities do not dare to put him how, then sorry, you hit the gun today, Chen Shu gaze a cold, staring at Li Yi Yang said, Li Yi Yang, with me out, Li Yi Yang did not move much, still hanging out the words to contradict, how old are you, if you tell me to go out, I'll go out, wouldn't I lose face then, when the crowd looked at them, they couldn't help but look at Chen Shu bloatingly, to choose anyone but Li Yi Yang, isn't this asking for trouble? The first homeroom teacher of class 7 was beaten up by Li Yang. Zhou Feng secretly laughed bitterly, it was not easy for him to fall in love with old Chen, but now he is in trouble. Li Yang is not a good person. There were only a handful of people in the entire class who dared to call Li Yang's bluff. However, all of these people were watching the show, so naturally, it was unlikely that they would help Chen Chu. Not only Zhou Feng, but the other physical training students were also slightly worried, fearing that Chen Chu would get beaten up. This guy Li Yang was so ruthless that the first homeroom teacher had been beaten by him to the point where he was covered in blood. Facing Li Yang's outburst, Chen Chu sneered. What, afraid of me? Don't dare to go out? Hiss. The crowd's scalps immediately went a little numb. It really dared to talk to Li Yang like that. Boom. Li Yang rose up with an open hand and smashed the seat on the wall with a fling of his hand. His eyes were on fire. Chen Chu had already walked out of the classroom. And in no time, Li Yang aggressively walked up to Chen Chu glaring viciously at Chen Chu, what do you want? Li Yi Yang's fists were already clenched, Chen Chu's mind moved, epic education technique, with that, he glared coldly at Li Yi Yang with a flinty look in his eyes, have you ever talked to a teacher like this, after reading so many books, you don't even know how to honor your teacher, Li Yi Yang's originally vicious look, in an instant actually became awe-inspiring, immediately followed by lowering his head, silent, seeing this, Chen Chu secretly sighed in relief, it worked, Name, Li Yi Yang. Gender, male. Age, 15. Status, aversion to learning. Awe, lasts 24 hours. Reflection, lasts 24 hours. Vices, neglected. Talent, none. Learning efficiency, minus 177%. Comprehensive evaluation, forget it. The people of class 7 had already sneaked up to eavesdrop near the classroom door. Explain to me what it means to honor your teacher? Speak, why don't you speak? Weren't you quite capable just now? However, the crowd only heard Chen Shu's voice. What the hell? At this moment, even if there wasn't a fight, according to Li Yi Yang's temperament, he was afraid that he would have already started cursing Ah. Someone hurriedly stepped on the table to sneak a look out from the high window, and once they saw the scene outside, they couldn't help but let out a cry. Crap, what's going on? What's the situation outside? The crowd hurriedly asked. The peeping student thought he had blurred his eyes, rubbed his eyes and looked again, and then with an expression as if he had seen a ghost, he said in shock, Li Yi Yang is right there getting scolded, not talking back. Ha! Huh, you're not fucking kidding? Li Yi Yang can be scolded. See for yourself. The others stepped on the table to look out from the high window, only to see Chun Chu's cold face, the continuous questioning inside his mouth. Li Yi Yang lowered his head, not daring to speak. In a trance, all on this high window was a dumbfounded and confused face. Sigma, degree degree winky face sigma, degree degree winky face sigma, degree degree winky face sigma, degree degree winky face. Chapter 11, Beyond Expectation. Under repeated questioning, Li Yi Yang was silent for a long time. Chen Shu did not continue to say. In fact, he is also very clear in his heart. Say more does not matter. The rivers and mountains are easy to change. The nature cannot be changed. A verbal education coupled with reflection on the state will be able to let Li Yi Yang change his mind? Even Shan Chu himself does not quite believe. It was more up to Li Yi Yang himself. After a long time of hesitation, Chen Chu reached out and placed his hand on Li Yi Yang's shoulder, said in a serious tone, Li Yi Yang, the teacher said so much, just hope that you can become better. You still have a long way to go in life, to be responsible for yourself. A lot of things in fact do not need to be said. Your own heart is also clear, right? I thought that Li Yi Yang would remain silent. However, Li Yi Yang gently nodded and hummed. Even. With a few choked sobs, Chen Chu was confused for a moment. Reflection effect. This, so outrageous. Li Yi Yang, who had just been tugging without bounds, had only been educated for a few sentences before. Falling into tears, the epic skill is inevitably too strong. The situation had already exceeded Chen Chu's expectations and was still developing in an uncontrollable direction. Li Yi Yang began to sob, lowering her head and wiping her tears. Instead, it left Chen Chu somewhat at a loss. He had only been a trainee teacher for half a year, and was still only a classroom teacher, and had never educated a student at all, let alone met a situation where a student was educated to tears. Reflection belongs to one of the special effects that will cause the subject to constantly engage in self-correction. 
realizing where they went wrong and causing a chain of emotions, such as guilt, remorse, and other emotions. The system paused for a moment. For those with poor mental capacity, prolonged reflection will lead to an emotional breakdown. No way. Is Li Yi Yang's mental capacity so fragile? Didn't he look quite strong on the outside? The system's prompt caused Chen Chu to hurriedly comfort Li Yi Yang. It seems that you have already recognized your mistake. It wasn't in vain for teacher me to say something. From this point of view, you are already considered very good. At least you dare to face your own shortcomings and also know how to reflect. Seeing Li Yi Yang still crying, Chen Chu was a little flustered for a moment. Want teacher to sing a song for you man cry cry is not a crime? No need. Li Yi Yang coughed and did not know if he was choked by Chen Chu, lowered his head and said, I, I just sand into the eyes, just rubbing it, I didn't cry, Li Yi Yang skimmed his head, his eyes a little red, how to look at it was also the appearance of having cried, Chen Chu was instantly relieved, Li Yi Yang could say such words, indicating that the mental capacity is not bad, it almost scared a certain unknown Chen pretty boy to death, that's good, Chen Chu patted Li Yi Yang's shoulder, go back and continue your lessons, aha, uh -huh. Li Yi Yang turned around and went straight into the classroom. At this moment, most of the people were still lying on the high windows without reacting. When Li Yi Yang came in and saw this scene, his face instantly became gloomy and gritted his teeth. Get lost. One thing led to another. After a burst of noise inside the classroom, most of them hurriedly slipped back to their seats. They couldn't afford to mess with Li Yi Yang. Even if they saw Li Yi Yang crying, they didn't dare to show half a teasing look. Li Yi Yang had just returned to his seat in front of him and Chen Shu also entered the classroom behind him. For a moment, everyone's eyes converged on Chen Shu's body, unable to help but speculate on what kind of god the new homeroom teacher was. In just a few words, he had made the arrogant and unrivaled Li Yang cry, if he hadn't seen it with his own eyes. Who would believe it? Could it be that the new homeroom teacher is actually the son of some big power and came to the school to experience life? Otherwise, how could Li Yang be so afraid of him that he even cried? He must have been threatened by Chen Shu. Thinking about it, this was the only thing that could explain it. But, Chen Shu was clearly a trainee teacher. How do you look at it does not seem like the son of any great power ah. Chen Shu on the podium didn't know what a group of little guys were thinking about. But today's drama of killing a chicken to make an example of a monkey did have a good effect. And with a glance, everyone stayed honestly in their positions and didn't make any noise. Although the epic education technique could only be used once every two days. And it could only be used one on one. It added a lot of backbone to Chen Shu's management of the seventh class. It just so happens that no one has taken a vacation today, so it's up to me to choose the class committee. It had been three months since school started, yet class 7 did not even have a class committee member. It couldn't be helped. In this environment of class 7, the class committee members picked out would in all probability lead trouble, let alone help maintain order. The homeroom teacher also changed three times in a row. This was no longer a democratic election. It was purely a waste of time. Based on the combination of the information observed by the teacher's eye and the student's profiles, Chen Shu already had a candidate, class president Wang Libang, a lot of vices, learning efficiency is also ridiculously low, but a red second generation, three months the only little guy who did not receive any disciplinary action, and the family is good at doing ideological work. The sports committee member Zhou Feng, currently supporting their own physical training student's core existence, Zhou Yu, the member of the study committee, is the only top student in the class whose study efficiency is as high as minus 78%. Chapter 12, Brother. I'm sorry. Only after designating the class committee did Chun Chu officially start the class. Although there was the globe's 20% all learning efficiency boost, the effect still wasn't too good. After a lesson, the frenzy state occasionally triggered by the learning pixie could provide nearly 50 or so teaching points. His own teaching output could provide about 50, and the rest was nothing. The triggering efficiency of the disciple rule mural was too low and throughout the entire lesson, Chen Shu did not find any student who had gained a special status. Calculating it out like this, an average lesson was about a hundred teaching points. A maximum of three lessons a day would be around 300. Not too much to say, not too little to say. After finishing the first class, Chen Shu went back to the office to rest for a moment, and on his way out, he didn't forget to take a look at Li Yi Yang's state, which was relatively smooth, with no signs of an emotional breakdown, so nothing should happen. This just got out of class. A few people who had a good relationship with Li Yi Yang surrounded them. Brother Yang, what's wrong with you? Li Yi Yang had an indifferent face. Don't bother me. Not in a good mood. Play on the side. Oh, the crowd didn't dare to touch Li Yi Yang's mold and dispersed in a self-interested manner. A group of physical training students from class 7 touched the restroom and secretly smoked cigarettes while talking about it. Old Chen is bullish. Even Li Yi Yang can manage it. 
I was not expecting Li Yang to be so afraid of Old Chen. How on earth did Old Chen do it? What's the point of thinking so much? Old Chen's bullish and it's over. Ha 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 ha. A group of people gulped down clouds in the restroom, scaring the students and other classes who didn't dare to go in. The morning class quickly ended. As Chen Chu estimated, a total of more than 300 teaching points, temporarily save a wave. Right now what gave Chen Chu a headache was still the matter of home visits. Now the home visit information of the 7th class is blank. This is related to the assessment index and transfer and the end of the year bonus. Chen Chu does not think that going to find director son can be accommodated. This is still a small matter. The biggest headache is that most of the parents of class 7 are not in China, and they are not in Jiangnan either. After screening, Chen Chu first called Zhou Feng's father, Zhou Feng's dad. Zhou Yangcheng's company headquarters was in Jiangnan, so it was just right to get in touch. After making a call over, Zhou Yangcheng's attitude was quite good. Teacher Chen, my company has more things to do in the past two days. Let's do it on Saturday night. What do you think? Okay, no problem. Hanging up the phone, docketed some notes. Chen Xu was still a little worried about Li Yang's situation, and had to go to the classroom every two classes to take a glance. Li Yang's mood had always been quite stable, only that he was often dazed. Took a look at Li Yang's attributes. Well, there are too many vices. Chen Xu does not remember how many there were. It is not really clear whether there is a reduction or not. Forget it, there is no harm in not reducing it. Chen Xu also does not want. The effect of killing a chicken to warn a monkey will do. In the next few days, the people in the seventh class really behaved themselves a lot. The teachers couldn't help but compliment Chen Chu, one after another. Chen Chu and the teachers in the office finally got acquainted, and the words began to multiply. Chen Chu himself also loves to chat, especially with these old timers chat, always learn a lot of good things. And Chen Chu now had a full 1300 plus teaching points, and had also gotten two E ranked ornaments and an S ranked part by signing in for three days in a row the blackboard eraser and straight edge, both of which boosted learning efficiency by 10%. They were still three pieces short of forming a set. If they could form an E-rank set, they could raise the learning efficiency by a total of 110%. And if they were all upgraded to D-rank, the effect of the set would directly double to 220%. This also meant that most of the learning efficiency of the 7th class would be turned around, and there would be a constant supply of teaching points. But the sets were also divided into several categories. The globe. Blackboard eraser and straight edge belong to the six-piece learning efficiency set. The disciples rules mural as well as the other D-grade ornaments belong to the special status eight-piece set. The other. Chun Chu is not currently in contact. The globe still had leftovers, spending 200 teaching points just in time to raise both the blackboard eraser and straight edge to level D. Together with the globe that had already been put into the classroom there was a full 60% learning efficiency bonus. Next, let's set a small goal first. Put together all six pieces of the learning efficiency set. With 110 draws left, Chen Xu felt that it shouldn't be too much of a problem. In the draw, thank you for your patronage. In the draw, congratulations on obtaining the item globe. In the draw, thanks for your patronage. After drawing a total of 90 times, Chen Xu hurriedly closed his hand. The harvest was not bad. 12 grade E ornaments, 6 globes, 2 blackboard erasers, and also came out with the other 2 ornaments of the learning efficiency 6 piece set. Exquisite chalk box and sight chart. Just short of the last piece to make up the set, three grade D ornaments, two discipleship murals and a portrait of Confucius. Also out are new skills. Elementary teaching skill, when teaching there is a certain chance of granting a separate student a frenzied state. Learning efficiency is increased by 200%. Upgradable. TSK, just missing the last one. Looking at the remaining 200 teaching points, Chen Shu decided to continue pumping. Anyway, upgrading all of them was only a 100% increase in learning efficiency. And as usual, the learning efficiency of the group of little guys in class 7 was still negative. But as long as he won the last pendulum, he might take off. Lucky draw in progress. Thanks for your patronage. In the draw. Congratulations on the item blackboard eraser. In a blink of an eye, 18 draws passed. And it was another bunch of duplicate e-ranked pendulums. Chen Chu's face sank. Brothers, I'm sorry. I'm willing to trade Zhao Ijo's 50 years of singleness for the last e-rank ornament. Give it to me out. Drawing in progress. Thanks for your patronage. Drawing in progress. Congratulations on the item handkerchief. Chapter 13, 6 pieces of learning efficiency. The next morning, Chun Chu was refreshed and happy. It's just that there's a little bit of weakness in seeing Zhao Ijo in the morning. Just after the three morning classes, Chen Chu returned to the office without stopping and couldn't help but rub his hands together, hurriedly upgrading all three of his remaining E-ranked ornaments. After secretly taking out all the ornaments from the item bar, he casually found a plastic bag and stuffed them all in carrying them to the classroom. 
The seventh class had just gotten out of class, and was in a state of chaos, suddenly seeing Chun Chu come, it instantly quieted down, it's fine, you guys play your games, don't worry about me, Chen Chu casually said, and took out all the ornaments from the plastic bag on his own, delicate chalk box, straight edge, blackboard eraser, handkerchief wipe, sight chart, found a position and set it up, however, the system did not prompt the set effect to activate, Hmm. Chen Shu swept a glance, where is my globe, who took the globe away, Chen Shu was somewhat enraged, the people in class 7 were stunned and looked at each other in disbelief, a globe is just a globe, what's with the fire, Zhou Feng hurriedly walked over and said, old Chen, the globe was taken away by the geography teacher yesterday, okay, got it, Chen Chu frowned, the pendulum was really not safe, it could be broken by a student or taken away, both of which would lose their effect, Chen Shu hurriedly shoved the vision chart to Zhou Feng and said, stick this vision chart on, I'll go and come, oh, oh, Zhou Feng had just received the sight map when Chen Shu walked out of the classroom in a flurry, it was a bit inexplicable, back in the office, geography teacher Lu Yong was not there, but the globe was resting on the table, I said why does this globe look so familiar, I was going to take it away directly, but Lu Yong wouldn't have felt quite petty, luckily, Chen Shu still had more globes, and after secretly replacing one with an e-ranked one, he hurried back to the classroom, successful activation of the set effect, all students in this classroom increased their learning efficiency by 100%, just after entering the classroom with the D-grade globe, the system's beep sounded, teacher's eye, looked at a random person, name, Ding Jia, gender, female, age, 15, status, aversion to learning, vices, negligible, talent, none, study efficiency 63%, Comprehensive Evaluation F. Another glance was swept at Joe Fong, who was posting a sight picture. Name Joe Fong. Gender male. Age, 15. Status, averse to learning. Vices. Ignored. Talent E-level basketball. Study efficiency for 3%. Comprehensive Evaluation F. Chen Shu was overjoyed. At this moment, except for some of them, the learning efficiency of the others had all been forcibly corrected. However, so as not to damage the ornaments or have them taken away. Chen Shu still decided to get a lock and lock everything inside the locker. Just as the class bell rang, Chen Shu then went out of the classroom and stood guard right next to it. Math teacher Wu Ying was walking. Seeing Chen Shu he quickly smiled and said, Little Chen, what is this? It's nothing, MS. Wu, you just teach the class. I'll see which little guy is not being honest. Alright, hard work. Wu Ying smiled, entered the classroom and started the lesson. Around 10 or so minutes, the system prompts sounded continuously. The vast majority of the students began to output their teaching points. Although everyone was around two or three points, it couldn't be helped that the base was large. After an entire lesson, Chen Shu couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. There were more than 300 teaching points, with a total of 12 lessons a day. Throwing away the instability, at the very least, it would be three, zero, zero, zero teaching points to start with. Chen Shu almost didn't make a sound of joy and hurriedly went to the supermarket to buy a lock first, waiting for the class to end. In the seventh class of the crowd's face under the gaze of a stunned face to lock all the things into the locker inside, clapped his hands, this is now stable. Chen Shu also didn't forget his agreement with Zhou Feng and the others. Zhou Feng, tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock in the school gym gather for practice. Zhou Feng hurriedly said, all right, people were in high spirits. Early Saturday morning, Chen Shu arrived at the gymnasium. This week Chen Shu was not idle. After the body aches and pains got much better, he pulled Zhao Yijou to run at night every day. Originally. Li Ke's side said that he would go and practice, but because there was no way to go there because he had to go to night study, he had to push it to next week. Using the mimicry skill at this moment, Chen Shu felt that he shouldn't be as immobile as he was last time. After tossing and turning for an hour, Chen Shu let Zhou Feng and the others practice on their own, while he himself walked around on the side. Once the mimicry effect passed, the familiar soreness struck again, but it was already with intolerance. Chen Shu secretly breathed a sigh of relief. Finding an excuse to say that he still had things to do and prepare to bolt. Without his mimicry skill, there was no way he could instruct next. On his way out, he didn't forget to instruct Zhou Feng about his home visit tonight. Then again, this imitation skill seems to be able to constantly strengthen itself. Chen Shu walked towards the staff dormitory this while muttering. Not only has my physical quality improved, I also clearly feel that my ball skills are much more powerful than before. At this time, the system proposed. Using mimicry skills for a long period of time not only enhances the host's various skills, but also possesses the effect of strengthening oneself. Theoretically, as long as the time is long enough, 
The host can even reach the level of the object of mimicry without using mimicry skills. Sure enough. Mimicry skills yyds. Chapter 14, Am I Confused and Hallucinating? After resting for the afternoon, the aches and pains were much lessened. After dinner, Chen Shu took a taxi to Zhou Feng's house. Zhou Feng sent the positioning as the constant view neighborhood. A C is this neighborhood. Chen Shu heart cannot help but give birth to a few points of envy. The constant view neighborhood is a villa area. And a set of villas is $20 million to start with. Soon after, Chen Shu arrived at the entrance of the neighborhood. Zhou Feng has been waiting at the door. Registered at the security guard before going to Zhou Feng's house. After all, he had never been to such a high-grade villa area. Chen Shu couldn't help but look left and right. This neighborhood environment is really good. Zhou Feng heatedly smiled. Old Chen, don't think about it. On your salary, don't eat, don't drink dry 200 years to afford it. This is solid. Chen Shu glared at Zhou Feng without good humor. I know without you saying, have traveled so far, how your home is still not there. Soon, soon, right in front. Not long, finally arrived at Zhou Feng's home. The door was open to a large living room with gorgeous decorations. A middle-aged man was smoking on the sofa with his legs crossed. Seeing Chen Shu arrive, he hurriedly got up and came over to greet him, smiling and extending his hand. Teacher Chen, how are you? I'm Zhou Feng's father, Zhou Yang Shang. Worthy of being a big boss, his temperament was extremely good. Chen Shu hurriedly shook his hand and greeted him. However this was before he even sat down. Zhou Feng turned around with the intention of going back to the house. Zhou Yangqing's face instantly pulled down. Why is there no etiquette at all? Why don't you hurry to pour water for your teacher? Zhou Feng skimmed his lips and twisted his head to go to the kitchen. Teacher Chen, I've made you laugh. Zhou Yangsheng hurriedly said. This child grew up abroad and just came back. He doesn't quite know the rules. It's fine. Chen Shu waved his hand and opened his mouth to ask. Well, at the risk of asking, where is Zhou Feng's mom right now? Zhou Yangsheng let out a dry smile. When Zhou Feng was very young, my ex-wife and I divorced, and she is abroad. It turned out to be a divorced family. Sorry, it's fine. Zhou Yangsheng waved his hand and asked, How is Zhou Feng's situation at school? Pretty good so far. Chen Shu laughed. It's just that it still needs to continue working hard. As he was talking, Zhou Feng brought over a cup of water and just put it down and twisted his head to leave. Zhou Yangsheng's face darkened again. What are you doing back in your doghouse again? Playing games. What's it to you? Zhou Feng coldly replied. Snap. Zhou Yangsheng was instantly on fire. Slapping the table and pointing at Zhou Feng's nose. How dare you fucking talk to me like that? Chen Shu was confused. How did he get into a fight in the blink of an eye? Zhou Feng's face was unafraid. I usually talk like this. You love to hear it or not? Snap. Zhou Yangsheng raised his hand and threw Zhou Feng a slap, blowing his beard and eyes. I fucking spent so much money for you to study and play football abroad. This is how you repay me? Fuck. Zhou Feng blared and continued to curse. His fists were pinched to the point of veins. Zhou Yangsheng still wanted to fight. Chen Shu hurriedly rushed out and blocked in front of Zhou Yangsheng, Zhou Feng's parents. Calm down first. Only then did Zhou Yangsheng remember that Chen Shu was still there, and hurriedly suppressed his anger and withdrew his hand. Zhou Feng then had no choice but to sneer. Continue, beat me to death. You, Zhou Feng, how can you talk to your father like that? Chen Shu's eyes glared. Go back to the house. I'm not going back. Zhou Feng pointed at Zhou Yangsheng and gritted his teeth. Go ahead and beat him. Weren't you quite capable when you beat up my mom? Zhou Yangsheng was furious, little bastard. What are you talking about? Seeing that this father and son were about to get into a fight again, Chen Shu hurriedly roared. Zhou Feng, go back to the house. Teacher bully. In the blink of an eye, Zhou Feng's fire was suppressed, and his originally furious expression was stunned under Chen Shu's roar, and he twisted his head and went upstairs to go back to the house. This white-eyed wolf. Zhou Yangsheng also wanted to scold. Chen Shu frowned. Zhou Feng parents. Zhou Yangsheng also wants to save face. Hurriedly swallowed back the words, sighed, sat on the sofa and smoked a cigarette. Teacher Chen, alas, guess I wanted to say that I made you laugh and so on, but I was so angry that I didn't want to say it. Utilized the teacher hegemony. Physical strength flowed most of the time, but because of the recent daily exercise, physical ability has risen. Chen Shu can still withstand it. With this situation at hand, Chen Shu was actually probably able to determine what the situation was with Zhou Feng's family. Zhou Yangsheng has a tendency towards domestic violence, and his ex-wife's divorce may be largely due to this, and itself Zhou Yangsheng also busy, pressure simply have no time to care Zhou Feng, similar to the state of free range, Zhou Feng does not learn well, itself not consciously outside, Zhou Yangsheng also has a great responsibility, really, headache, the 7th class parents also do not let people worry, 
After Zhou Yangsheng seemed to calm down, Chen Chu opened his mouth. Zhou Feng parents, how many times a week do you probably go home? Zhou Yangsheng sighed, rarely, the company is too busy. Mr. Chen, I know what you're going to say, I'm partly to blame, but there's nothing I can do. I can't support him without making money. Do you know how much he spends abroad? He spends $300,000 a month on a coach. His living expenses start at $100,000, and he gets me into trouble all the time, and he's spent a lot of money on bail. Zhou Yangsheng began to pour out his bitterness, and Chen Shu listened silently. These things, he could understand, but Zhou Feng could not necessarily understand. Moreover, the words that came out of Zhou Yangsheng's mouth felt like he was also avoiding the matter of his domestic violence. Alas, forget it, come all the way, a piece of education, who let me be a people's teacher? Chen Shu set his face straight. Epic education tips, Zhou Feng parent, I can understand all these things, but these are not reasons for you to beat your child. Violence is not the way to solve problems, especially in the middle of a family. This, I am very clear, it is indeed your responsibility. Chen Shu said seriously while observing Zhou Yangsheng's state. After all, he was an adult, his mental capacity should be sufficient. Zhou Yangsheng just smoked a cigarette in silence and listened, and did not say much, nor did he raise his head to meet Chen Shu's eyes. Zhou Feng is hitting the sandbags in the house furiously. Boom boom boom, punch after punch, constantly venting his anger. After a few minutes of punching, Zhou Feng was still as upset as he could be in his heart. However, right at this moment, Zhou Feng vaguely heard crying. Eh? Zhou Feng frowned. What is the situation? Sneaking around, he opened the door to listen. Teacher Chen, I'm wrong, I'm really wrong. Zhou Yangsheng's cries were still a little loud. I just want him to be able to fight for his life. I just want him to grow up in peace. I will never hit him again. Zhou Feng's entire body was confused. I'm so angry and confused that I'm hallucinating. Chapter 15 Old Chen's mouth has been enlightened? Zhou Feng has never seen Zhou Yangsheng cry since he grew up, and he also cried with such remorse. Mr. Chen, I really regret it. It's all my fault. If it wasn't for me, Zhou Feng he would never have turned into what he is now. Oh, Zhou Feng parent, this can't all be blamed on you. Zhou Feng he himself also has a responsibility, and the foreign environment is already quite chaotic, and racial discrimination is also very serious. Zhou Yangsheng's cries and Chen Shu's consoling sounds kept coming from downstairs. Listening to Zhou Feng people are stupid. Old Chen this is. The strong king of the mouth. A few days ago just said Li Yang cried is still understandable. After all, Li Yang is young and does not understand things. However, how could old Chen be able to make that asshole old man of his own family cry? Logically speaking, in terms of life experience and experience, it was clearly the asshole father who had the great advantage. It was more or less the same for him to educate Chen Shu, but it turned out that he was instead educated by Chen Shu, and even, burst into tears. Just, outrageous. It was also unknown how long it had been. Chen Shu managed to stabilize Zhou Yangsheng's emotions. He was truly not expecting Zhou Yangsheng such a business bigwig to be in his own tearful collapse. Perhaps he had spoken a bit too heavily? Chen Shu secretly laughed bitterly, looking at the opposite side of Zhou Yangsheng lapsed into silence, and didn't know what to say, fearing that as soon as he opened his mouth, Zhou Yangsheng would once again cry to him. After hesitating for a moment, Chen Chu whispered, Zhou Feng's parents, I'll go to Zhou Feng's place? Zhou Yangsheng sighed, his face full of bitterness. Well, trouble teacher Chen. Chen Shu hurriedly buggered off and went upstairs to Zhou Feng's room. Before he could knock on the door, Zhou Feng opened it. Once inside, Chen Shu hurriedly closed the door, looked at Zhou Feng, and said with a straight face, You heard everything? Aha! Uh -huh. Zhou Feng was astonished. Old Chen, you're awesome. It's the first time I've seen an old guy cry like this. Chen Chu's eyes glared. Is that how you address your father? The awe effect was still there. Zhou Feng shrunk his head and didn't dare to speak. Since, before Chen Chu could open his mouth, Zhou Feng hurriedly said, Old Chen, don't say anything, I'll always call him dad from now on, right? Chen Chu couldn't help but squeeze his eyebrows and said, You'll be so obedient? I don't want to be told to cry by you, otherwise how humiliating would it be? Obey, I'll do what I say, Zhou Feng said with a serious face. That's more like it, Chen Chu added. Your father has already recognized the mistake. What about you? Zhou Feng lowered his head. I shouldn't have talked back. No more? What else? Chen Chu. Sure enough, you kids should also try the power of my epic education techniques. But I used it on your dad today, so I'll talk about it in a couple days. Forget it, given that your recent performance has been pretty good, I'll let you off the hook today. Chen Chu frowned. In the future, speak to your father in a polite manner. Zhou Feng let out an O. 
Glancing at the time it was almost 9 o'clock, Chen Shu had to say goodbye as well. Time to go. Follow me downstairs. Ah, old Chen. Chen Shu's face sank. Ha, Zhou Feng skimmed his mouth. My dad he's still downstairs. Going out at this moment, I'm embarrassed. That's your dad. What's embarrassing? Besides this neighborhood is like a maze. How can I go out if you don't send me? Okay, okay. Zhou Feng finally followed Chen Shu downstairs. Zhou Yanshan was still silent on the sofa. Chen Shu arched Zhou Feng, signaling to say hello to Zhou Yangsheng. With a reluctant face, Zhou Feng said towards Zhou Yangsheng, Dad, I'll see old Chen off. Oh, good, good, Mr. Chen. Zhou Yangsheng stood up and was about to say something. Chen Shu hurriedly waved his hand and laughed. Zhou Feng's parent, just let Zhou Feng send me off. Stay back, stay back. Zhou Yangsheng rubbed his pants leg with some urgency and awkwardly said, Then, Mr. Chen, take your time. Only then did Chen Chu and Zhou Feng exit the house and walk towards the entrance of the neighborhood. Zhou Feng, your basketball talent is still quite good. While walking, Chen Shu said, but it's not hard enough, and you need to hurry up with your studies. Zhou Feng nodded slightly, looking somewhat lost in thought, not knowing what to think. Forget it, he wouldn't be able to listen to it even if he said it at this moment. After sending Chen Chu away, Zhou Feng returned home. Seeing Zhou Yangsheng still sitting on the sofa, the two looked at each other. Each speechless, Zhou Yangsheng hesitated for a moment, intending to apologize to Zhou Feng, Zhou Feng, I'm going upstairs to rest, I still have to go to school tomorrow morning to practice, aha, Zhou Feng twisted his head and went upstairs, Zhou Yangsheng sighed, it was really a little difficult to speak, just as he sat down, Zhou Feng stopped at the bedroom door and said without turning his head, although you are not a good thing, well, sorry, after saying this, Zhou Feng went into the house, Zhou Yangsheng was stunned for a moment, and returned to his senses and smiled helplessly. You are rather more courageous than me. The next morning, before dawn, Zhou Feng heard movement downstairs. Taking a look at the time it was just over 6 o'clock, Zhou Feng scared to doze off, stayed abroad for a long time. There is a metal baseball bat placed by the bed at any time, and casually copied it. Zhou Yangsheng usually slept until noon, so it was definitely not Zhou Yangsheng who made the commotion. There was a burglar in the house. Zhou Feng tiptoed open the door and glanced down. Saw the kitchen light on. Dry swallowed a mouthful of saliva, carefully carrying the baseball bat towards the downstairs. However, this had just reached the first floor, just in time to see Zhou Yangsheng walk out with a pot. What are you carrying the pot for? Why are you carrying a baseball bat? The two of them spoke in unison and looked at each other. Zhou Feng came back to his senses first and said without a good mood, "Scared me. I thought my house was burglarized. This neighborhood security patrols 24 hours a day." Where would a thief come from? Zhou Yangsheng cried and laughed. Besides, the domestic security is very good. There is no need to be so scared. I've made chicken soup for you. I don't know if it's to your liking. Just drink it. Zhou Feng was stunned. You know how to make chicken soup? Just kidding. When I knew your mom, my cooking skills were amazing. Zhou Yangsheng raised an eyebrow. It's just that I haven't been in the kitchen in 10 years or so. My hands are much more raw. Think about it you grew up so big. Also didn't cook anything for you to eat. Well. Try. Saying this, Zhou Yangsheng had a face of embarrassment. What kind of sensationalism is the old guy engaging in? Zhou Feng skimmed his mouth and said in a bad mood, Don't think that a pot of chicken soup will be able to make me forgive you. I'll go up and change my clothes before I come down. Zhou Feng slipped back into the house, a stunned look on his face. Mom yeah, old Chen's mouth wasn't enlightened. I'm afraid. A single mouthful had changed the old man's temperament. Chapter 16, Being in the Thunder. Chen Shu was woken up by his cell phone in the early morning, thinking it was Zhou Feng calling. He was shocked, but it turned out to be physical education teacher Li Ku. Teacher Li, what's wrong? Hearing Chen Shu's voice still confused, Li Ku laughed. Little Chen is still not awake? Chen Shu gave a dry laugh. What? The teacher from the second middle school is about to play a small match, in our school gymnasium, later at 8 o'clock. Come or not? Later? It's only 5 o'clock. You tell me it's later. Dude, don't you sleep? Okay, I'll come over later. Good, I'll be at the gym, waiting for you to come over. This side bought buns. You just come over to eat it. I had intended to sleep a little more. Chen Shu was a bit depressed, but still said, Okay, hanging up the phone, can only get up. It's not good to let Li Ku wait. Tossing and turning for 10 or so minutes, put on his gym clothes and trotted off to the gym. Come in addition to Li Ku. There are five other teachers. Chen Shu only know what to call. Not too familiar. This Li Ka saw Chun Chu came, hurriedly and smilingly came to the front of the crowd by the shoulders of Chun Chu, smiled and said, little teacher Chen, all know it, 
The group of teachers were all quite old, with an average age of 40 and up, and their physiques were stronger than one another. How could we not recognize each other? Little teacher Chen has been in the ascendancy lately, taking control of the most headache-ridden seventh class. Just for that, I'm convinced. Ha 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 ha. A group of balding middle-aged men joked about Chen Shu. Chen Shu didn't know what to say. Instead, he looked at the group of bald middle-aged people a little worried about his hair. However, I'm still a bit skeptical about the fact that little teacher Chen can dunk this. Li Ku raised his eyebrows. I knew you were going to say this. Little teacher Chen. Come on. Give this old guy a dunk. Let him see. This. Chen Shu rushed to find an excuse. Smiled bitterly. I haven't eaten breakfast yet. And I haven't warmed up yet. It's easy to tear the ligaments. Let me move around first. Okay. The crowd didn't dwell on it and let Chen Shu go over for breakfast. Anyway, it was definitely not possible to use the mimicry skill now. So at least they had to wait until after 8 o'clock. After eating the buns and resting for half an hour, Chen Shu sneaked out again pretending to go to the restroom. Went to the supermarket to buy a pen and paper. And when he came back, he pretended to write something there. Li Ku hurriedly walked over and said with a puzzled face, Little mister. Chen, what is this for? The registrar's office over there asked to hand in some information. I forgot about it last night. I have to hand it in this morning. Chen Chu deliberately smiled bitterly. You guys play first. I'll try to get it done before 8 o'clock without delaying the game. Li Ku didn't doubt it at all and laughed. Being a homeroom teacher can be really hard. Okay. Then we'll go play ourselves. You take your time to write. Finally, he had dodged it. Chen Shu breathed a sigh of relief and wrote under false pretenses. But in reality, he secretly drew a raffle. The current teaching point allowed Chen Shu to finally dare to open the continuous draw function. Up came the atmospheric 100 consecutive draws. However, today's face is really black. 1000 teaching points smashed in and came out with a bunch of B-ranked ornaments and D-ranked ornaments. Not even a C-ranked ornament. It seems like today is not a good day for a lottery. Just don't sacrifice Zhao Ijo. Let him off the hook. And talk about it later. Dawdling finally made it to 7.30. And the 7th class of physical practice students arrived one after another. Old Chen. What's going on? Why is there a teacher playing today? Zhou Feng also arrived and asked in confusion. There's a small match with the teachers from the second middle school later. Chen Shu said. I won't be able to teach you guys to practice today. So you'll just watch and learn to figure it out. I thought that this group of little guys would be disappointed. But I didn't think that each one of them would be quite excited. But it's great. I haven't seen old Chen Yu play a game yet. It must be the full court crush kind. I definitely want to record it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's buy snacks. We're going to watch the game later. Ha 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 ha. The crowd had just swarmed to the school supermarket. When Zhou Feng came on the back foot. Seeing Zhou Feng, Chen Shu hurriedly asked. How is it? There's nothing unusual about your dad. Right? Zhou Feng had an odd look on his face and asked back. Old Chen. What kind of ecstasy did you put in my dad's head? He was like a different person this morning. And he even stewed chicken soup for me. Isn't this good? Chen Shu didn't have the heart to say. Your dad already loves you that much. Hiss. Disgusting. Zhou Feng shivered. My whole body has goosebumps. You kid is just in the blessed not knowing the blessings. In the future, get along with your father. Chen Shu waved his hand. We're going to play a match with a teacher from the second middle school later. So I won't be able to teach you guys how to play today. Second middle school, Zhou Feng's eyes glazed over. Really? Chen Shu was puzzled. What? Zhou Feng hurriedly said. I heard before that the second middle school has a new physical education teacher this year, who also came back from studying abroad in the Lighthouse Kingdom, with superb ball skills, and quite handsome, and he still has more than a million followers on his jitterbug. Saying that, Zhou Feng took his cell phone and flipped it out to show Chen Shu. It was indeed quite handsome and tall. Don't be sad. You're just a billion points uglier than him and a billion points shorter than him. No big no small. Numb roll aside. Good Lou. Ha 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 ha. Chapter 17. Too much. It was almost 8 o'clock when there was a noise outside the gym. Listening to the commotion. There seems to be quite a few girls. Chen Shu followed the sound and looked. And saw that almost 20 people had entered the gym. Most of them women. And confused Li Ku and the others who were warming up. Zhou Feng's group of people came over to Chen Shu's side reaching out and pointing at one of the youths who was about Chen Shu's age, saying, Old Chen, he's the Ouyang how I told you about. He's really popular. These women who came here wouldn't all be his fans, right? It's a bit enviable. Chen Shu was too lazy to care and hurriedly got up to go to the stadium. Just after arriving at Li Ku and the others, the teachers of the second middle school also entered the field. They should all be old acquaintances, gossiping while moving around. Li Ku took a look at a bunch of young female teachers who were already sitting on the bleachers. I say you guys in the second middle school are a bit foul. Where do you bring your own cheerleaders? 
that can only be blamed on your first middle school not being competitive. A teacher from the second middle school laughed. These can be the new young people recruited by the second middle school, but they are not here to see us. Everyone's eyes fell on Oh Yang Hao who was there practicing with the ball, and Li Ku asked in a low voice, What's this young man's origin? A young returnee from the sea, also recruited this year. A teacher in the second middle school beckoned. Mr. Oh Yang, come over and say hello. Just in time, we also recruited this year. Come, little Chen, say hello. Chen Shu and Oh Yang Hao both came over to say hello together, briefly recognizing each other. The teachers of the second middle school had slightly bragged about themselves. This Oh Yang teacher of ours isn't simple. There are millions of fans online. Not only is he tall and handsome, he will also make money. Relying on this platform video income, there are more than 100, 000 a month. Li Ku and the others couldn't help but smack their lips. 100,000? Mr. Oh Yang, you're too capable. A month is worth a year for us. Oh Yang Hao smiled modestly, and Shun Chu was slightly embarrassed at the side. In comparison, he was really mediocre and still incapable. These female teachers from the second middle school, they can all be fans of Mr. Oh Yang, and they came over specially to watch the match today. The second middle school teacher laughed again. Not to mention anything else, you guys have to be careful. This year is not like the past. Mr. Oh Yang is quite good at playing ball. Speaking of this ball playing, our little Mr. Chen isn't weak either. His level is quite high. Li Ku grinned and patted Chun Chu's shoulder in passing, not knowing what to say. Accompany a smile. Yo, see you on the court then. Warming up was almost done. Li Ku's side was preparing to put Chen Chu on the starting lineup. Chen Chu hurriedly said, Teacher Li, I'll observe and watch first, and then go on later. What do you think? Although an hour of mimicry skills was enough to finish a normal match, there was always a gap of a few minutes. And considering the after effects of mimicry skills, Chen Shu decided to go on later. Li Ku didn't think too much about it, saying that it was no problem, and took the four teachers from the first middle school on the debut. Zhou Feng and the others ran to come up to Chen Shu again. There was originally a substitute teacher who saw Zhou Feng and the others coming and hurriedly found an excuse to get out. The seventh class had a fierce reputation, so he didn't want to make a fool of himself. Old Chen, why don't you start? Right, we've been waiting for half a day. The crowd was full of confusion as you spoke and I spoke. Zhou Feng heckled then said, What do you guys know? Old Chen is tactical. Chen Chu? The crowd looked at Zhou Feng with curious faces. What tactics? Zhou Feng grinned and stretched out a finger and whispered, First of all, it's a psychological tactic, as Old Chen is so strong. The opposite side will definitely be weak and think about when Old Chen will be on the field or something like that, causing a certain degree of psychological oppression. Chen Chu? Zhou Feng stretched out the second finger. The second is observation tactics. Lao Chen has to analyze the opponent's ball line count, defense rationing and blocking regulation, to facilitate the replacement of tactics at any time to deal with. Chen Chu? Thirdly, retaining physical strength. The other side starts on Ouyang oh Hao. If Lao Chen goes on now, before he is clear about the opponent's path, it is easy to use more physical strength to cope with it, and the loss is not worth the gain. So Lao Chen didn't choose to start. Lao Chen, how well did I analyze it? Didn't teach you for nothing. Chen Chu said lightly looking at the game on the court with a serious face. Inwardly, he was panicked. Defense rationing? Blocking and regulating? What the hell? I've never even heard of it. This can't be revealed, or it will be too embarrassing. A group of students couldn't help but marvel. Old Chen is awesome. This is called planning in a tent and winning from a thousand miles away? Chen Shu coughed and hurriedly changed the topic. Don't use it indiscriminately. I don't want to go into the ground with great difficulty and be so angry by you guys that you'll lift the coffin boards. Don't talk about it. Watch the game properly. The crowd hurriedly shut their mouths. Just after watching for a while, Oh Yang Hao's strength was displayed to the fullest, playing street ball with cool moves. The throw was still accurate, and both shook Li Ku down twice. The cheers of the female teachers of the second middle school were continuous, and there was also a momentum added. The score difference was nearly 10 points. It's not right, Zhou Feng frowned while watching. Why do I feel like this guy is kind of showing off his skills on purpose? All day long, he's shaking people there and he doesn't even throw the ball when it's clear he can. There's no need to feel. It's just intentionally showing off his skills. Chen Shu glanced at the next door. A female teacher was there filming. Even the cell phone was fixed with a tripod. I guess it's being broadcast live. A practicing student went over to take a look and ran back. Old Chen is really right. It's being broadcast live. I took a look. Several thousand people are watching online, and a lot of people are still swiping gifts. Chen Shu frowned. Using Ouyang Yang Hao's account? Right. Chen Shu skimmed his mouth. You just can't play like this even if you want to shoot a video. 
The teachers of the first middle school also want to save face. It's one thing to be less skilled than others, but how do you say it's a competition? What does it mean to intentionally show off your skills? Take our teachers as a tool? It's too much. Chapter 18 Disgusting. The whole game completely turned into a place where Oh Yang Hao intentionally showed off his skills. Obviously got into the inner line and had the openings to throw the ball. Hey, just don't throw. Just play. Fancy shaking the teachers of the first middle school there. It felt like playing with monkeys. Old Chen. Get him. So fond of showing off his skills. Old Chen. Teach him how to behave. Zhou Feng and the others were agitating from the side. Chen Shu had long been displeased and hurriedly got up and shouted a timeout at the referee. Not long after, the whistle sounded. Both sides each retreated for a temporary rest. Li Ku and the others were really full of fire as soon as they came down. Unable to stop sweeping in the direction of the second middle school. Only to see Ou Yang how as soon as he got off the field. He rushed to the side of the cell phone to observe the live broadcast. And several female teachers came up and sent water and towels. Talking and laughing. What does this guy take us for? Okay. Okay. Don't be so angry. The skill is not as good as the others. The better tempered ones consoled from the side. Little teacher Chen. I'm going to go down first. The next step is up to you. Don't let us down. Chen Chu nodded slightly. Already ready to go on. However, there were still a few things to explain to Zhou Feng and the others. Walking over and whispering in Zhou Feng's ear. Think of a way to not let him go live. Zhou Feng gave an okay gesture. No problem. The whistle sounded. Chen Chu followed Li Ku and the others into the arena. Little Chen. He's all yours. Okay. Chen Chu gave a reassuring look. And with that, he activated his mimicry skill. The second middle school teacher sent the ball, which was quickly claimed by Ouyang Hao, and Chun Chu immediately met him. Ouyang Hao dribbled the ball straight at Chun Chu, but did not rush to break through, but instead dribbled the ball continuously at the crotch, extremely fast, and continuously pressed forward. Want to show me? Do you have the ability? Chen Chu steeply an arrow stepped forward, casually a hook, just while well stuck in Ouyang Hao ready to change the ball. Snap. Snatch. Ouyang Hao was shocked for a moment. Turned his head back to catch up, but it was still a step too late. Chen Shu easily scored a layup. Zhou Feng and other people in the off-court coaxing. The second middle school female teacher suddenly a little less happy. Oh Yang Hao, on the contrary, had a smile on his face as he rushed towards Chen Shu and said, You're quite explosive. Not bad. Chen Shu casually responded and turned around to go back to defense. When Li Ku and the others saw Chen Shu come up and give Oh Yang Hao a downward spiral, their hearts suddenly felt much more painful. Little Mr. Chen. That ball was grabbed beautifully just now. Ha ha, back to defense back to defense. At this time, Zhou Feng and the others also started to make small moves. Swarming over to the next door, blocking the live cell phone broadcast. The female teacher who was broadcasting live was not happy. All make way. All make way. Blocking. The stadium your house is open ah? Uh? You told me to let me let me let. A practicing student said with a displeased face. The female teacher's eyes glared. Whose student are you? How can you talk to a teacher like that? No manners at all. Which class? Senior class 7. Go ahead and sue. When the female teacher heard this, she immediately wilted. This senior class 7's fierce reputation of the second middle school was also spread. Come on, can't mess with me and still can't hide? The female teacher took her cell phone and was ready to move her position. And Zhou Feng and the others followed on the back foot to block it. On the court, the teachers of the second middle school have already pressed over. Oh Yang Hao has come to the rim. After all, the height advantage is there. Basically no one can grab him. Passing the ball inside. Oh Yang Hao single-handedly beat Chun Chu on his back. Zhou Feng and the others took a look and were happy. This picture is too familiar to Zhou Feng. Only to see Oh Yang Hao squeeze to the basket and suddenly leap up for a one-handed layup. Snap. A hand suddenly came over and backhanded the ball off the line. Old Chen is bullish. Old Chen is bullish. Zhou Feng and the rest of the crowd rose up and shouted wildly. The two landed at the same time. And Oh Yang Hao looked at Chun Chu with a stunned face. This bouncing power was so outrageous. Not to mention Oh Yang Hao. Everyone on the court was confused. Even if it was Li Ku who had seen it before, he still felt that it was quite outrageous. The game continued. The second middle school served the ball. Oh Yang Hao once again asked for the ball to meet Chun Chu. This was a live hit list at the moment, so he couldn't afford to drop the ball. Oh Yang Hao dribbled while looking for an opening to break through, but unfortunately Chun Chu didn't give him a chance and again took advantage of Ouyang Hao's change of ball to forcefully steal and score a layup. Only two minutes of work, Ouyang Hao was Chun Chu broke three balls. Fancy action has long been Chun Chu to see through. Ouyang Hao was a bit fired up, but it was not good to have a seizure in the live broadcast, he still had to maintain his persona. In the middle of the day, Ouyang Hao took the ball again, faced Chen Chu, 
and said in a low voice, your physical quality is really strong. I haven't seen you like this after playing abroad for so many years. Thanks. Chen Chu answered, staring closely at Ouyang Hao without distraction. Do me a favor. Ouyang Hao said in a low voice, I'm now live broadcasting the list. I have a chance to enter the list of three. The prize money is $100,000. If you cooperate with me to perform a show and let me shake down, $100,000 will go to you. I want the traffic support and exposure. How about it? Chen Shu frowned, not interested. Oh Yang Hao hurriedly said, This is $100,000. Tops your salary for a year. It's not a small amount. Let's consider it as making friends. Chen Shu's face sank. Are you still fighting or not? When Oh Yang Hao heard this, he immediately understood what Chen Shu meant. Okay, is it too little? In this way, in addition to $100,000, this live hit list income, as long as you are willing to cooperate. 50-50 split. In addition to those female teachers on the bleachers, you look on which randomly pick. I help you to WeChat. You look on I certainly do not touch. How is it? Enough fun? Think about it? I fucking. Chen Shu was instantly on fire after hearing this. The man who looks like a dog. Half a day is a fall in the eye of the money of the scum. Lost this guy still do teacher. Damn. Simply as in the people's teachers this four words of insult. Originally Chen Shu was intended to give Ouyang Yang how to leave some face. So just broke a few balls file to file Ouyang Yang Hao's sharpness. The put on the past. However, Ouyang Yang Hao's words really disgusted Chen Shu. The first thing you need to do is to get the ball to the right place. You do not want to score a ball today. Chapter 19. Do you also know that it's embarrassing? Seeing that Chen Shu didn't say anything. Oh Yang Hao hurriedly asked, Can you give a word? Oh Yang Hao seemed to take it all kind of for granted. Just don't be disgusting, Chen Shu said with a cold face. I don't want a curse. Oh Yang Hao's face instantly pulled down as he cut, dribbling the ball and suddenly swaying to the left. Chen Shu saw the opportunity. However, just as he stretched out his hand in preparation for the steal, Oh Yang Hao directly crashed over. Boom! Chen Shu instantly fell to the ground, followed by the whistle. Oh Yang Hao offensive foul, intentionally hit people but shrugged his shoulders, threw the ball to the referee and said sorry falsely, turned his head and left. Li Ku and others hurriedly surrounded. Little mister. Chen, is everything all right? It's fine. Chen Chu had just been pulled up, his chest vaguely aching. Oh Yang Hao had deliberately used his shoulder to push over. Chen Chu glanced at Oh Yang Hao, standing nearby with a sneer at the corner of his mouth. You've intentionally hurt someone after failing to get them together. You like to play like this, don't you? Fine. Then don't be a wimp later. The referee awarded Chen Shu the right to shoot free throws, two shots, two hits. It was the turn of the second middle school teachers to serve the ball on offense, and Chen Shu was still staring at Ouyang Hao. Ouyang Hao sneered in a low voice, doesn't your chest hurt? Want to do it again? Chen Shu didn't make a sound and kept his eyes fixed on his surroundings. Ouyang Hao kept running for the ball on the outside. In the middle of the day, someone pulled the ball out and swept towards Ouyang Hao. When it was too late, Chen Shu took an arrow step forward and prepared to break the ball. And Oh Yang Hao hurriedly went forward to catch it. Ha, if you want it, I will give it to you. Fingers lightly touched. The route changed. The ball directly slipped through Chun Shu's hands and smashed into Oh Yang Hao's face with the speed of a thunderbolt. The force of the ball was not small, and it instantly hit Oh Yang Hao on the bridge of his nose, hurting him so much that he couldn't even open his eyes, and covered his face and collapsed on the ground. All the teachers rushed to gather around. Oh Yang Hao was so angry that he shouted, Referee! He committed a foul. He did it on purpose. The referee, who was originally hired from the basketball association and had no claim of favoritism, walked over with a speechless face. It was just an accident. There was no foul. Are you okay? It's not an accident. He clearly could have grabbed it. Oh Yang Hao shouted anxiously, tears streaming down his face from the pain. The crowd looked at Chen Chu. Chen Chu instantly looked innocent. Hand slipped. Accident. Oh Yang Hao was instantly enraged. Standing up and tugging at Chun Shu's collar. You dare to say you didn't do it on purpose? At this sight, all the teachers hurriedly went up and pulled Oh Yang Hao away. Teacher Oh Yang, what an accident. The other teacher, little Chen, just didn't have a firm grip and didn't intentionally smash it into your face. Oh Yang Hao was furious. He knew in his heart that Chun Shu must have intentionally messed with him. He just wasn't sure how he did it. It looked purely like an accident. There was no other way. Oh Yang Hao could only stare viciously at Chun Shu. Chen Shu's heart instantly became a few points more comfortable. I like the way you look at me like you're clearly not happy with me, but you still can't do anything to me. You deserved it. This ball smashed a little hard, so painful that Oh Yang Hao was not able to go on the field at all, and could only temporarily go down to rest. Some female teachers came up to comfort him with a worried face. Oh Yang Hao still had to force a smile and couldn't spread the fire. 
Chen Chu only has opinions about Ou Yang Hao. Now there is no Ou Yang Hao. Chen Chu also stopped. Unless the difference in the score is too big when you have to take it seriously. Otherwise the difference in the score has been kept within 3 points. The second middle school loss is not ugly. In a flash, the game has been carried to the third quarter. First middle school 47 then second middle school 44. Oh Yang Hao slowed down and went on the field again. And he didn't know when there was an extra band-aid on his nose. Coldly glaring at Chun Chu. He asked for the ball and dribbled directly in Chun Chu's direction. Outside the field practice students took a look and knew that Ouyang Hao was going to in Chun Chu, and were about to open their mouths to remind them. When Zhou Feng said, there is no need to remind them, Old Chen just now did not expect Ouyang Hao to intentionally bump into the talent to be knocked down, or else with the Old Chen's reaction speed and explosive power, Ouyang Hao could not touch him at all. Really? Just watch if you don't believe me. Not to mention the physical training students, the people on the field could see it even more clearly. The teachers of the second middle school all whispered and reminded Oh Yang Hao, Mr. Oh Yang, don't mess around. Don't worry. I have my measure. Oh Yang Hao said. And his person had already run forward, arriving in front of Chen Shu in no time. Chen Shu did not panic and defended up. Oh Yang Hao immediately turned around and backfisted, glanced at the referee, and when he found the blind spot, his body was sideways, and his shoulder immediately pushed hard, ready to dry Chen Shu's face to avenge, which thought that this hard but topped and empty. Ah, uh, where is the person? Frozen in an instant. Oh Yang how hands of the ball are gone, but also because two hard bodies stumbled, almost did not turn over on the ground. A look up. People Chun Chu dribbled away from the opposite side of the run a long time ago. A layup score. Stealing a chicken is not a good thing. Zhou Feng and others were immediately happy to laugh. Toward Oh Yang how abu. Other teachers are also a strange face. Obviously see the cat. It made Oh Yang how embarrassed to be a thief. Blushing. Chen Chu returned to the defense over. Coldly mocked. You also know shame all? Chapter 20, Moving People. Oh Yang Hao was already upset. The live broadcast was over. The fans had dropped a lot. And the chance to hit the list was gone. The opportunity to earn a million dollars a month was lost by Chen Chu. I don't even know how long it will take for me to make it to the top of the list next time. Now that Chen Chu suddenly mocked him, his mind exploded. Pulling out his leg, he rushed towards Chen Chu and kicked over. Old Chen. Zhou Feng hurriedly shouted. Chen Shu frowned slightly as he quickly dodged over with a wobble. And just as he turned around, Oh Yang Hao slammed his fist over. Imitation. Yi asked. With a thought, countless images flashed rapidly in Chen Shu's mind. The moment the wind of the fist hit his face, Chen Shu's head was slightly tilted to the side, and he was able to dodge this oncoming punch. At the same time, he clenched his fists with both hands and violently pushed forward, smashing into Oh Yang Hao's chest causing Oh Yang Hao to cover his chest and continuously retreat, almost not being able to catch his breath. When it was too late, Chen Shu took an arrow step forward, pulled Oh Yang Hao's hand and kicked his knee, and Oh Yang Hao directly knelt down with a scream. Tackle. In an instant, breaking the hands, Oh Yang Hao was held down on the ground, and the knee also followed the trend of Oh Yang Hao's back, so that Oh Yang Hao could not move. Zhou Feng and the others who had wanted to come up to help were all confused and let out a crouch. Chen Shu said in a cold voice, what? Annoyed and still want to hit someone. Oh Yang Hao was unconvinced inside his mouth still cursing. Fuck. Convinced or not? No. Chen Chu force a break. The pain Oh Yang Hao began to scream again. Instantly goaded, served served. In a trance, all of the teachers had gathered around and couldn't help but be filled with surprise. They didn't even see Chen Chu's movements clearly. And when they came back to their senses, Chen Chu had pressed Oh Yang Hao to the ground. Only then did Chen Chu let go of his hand. And Oh Yang Hao lay on the ground gasping for air only crawling up after a long time, drooping his hands, his chest heaving, still want to fight, Oh Yang Hao held his tongue for half a day without daring to say anything, with a gloomy face, he covered his chest and turned around, a few female teachers seemed to want to come forward to comfort, but they were yelled away by Oh Yang Hao, in the middle of the day, Oh Yang Hao slammed the door and left, the atmosphere became very awkward, and at the critical moment, it was Li Ku who came out to round up the situation, I think we're done here today, no more fights, no more fights. Let's all disperse. The teachers of the second middle school were quite embarrassed. No one was blind and knew that it was Oh Yang Hao who had deliberately stirred up trouble. It was that they didn't expect Chen Chu to be so capable of fighting that Oh Yang Hao's kind of physique was instantly put down. However, thinking about Chen Chu's terrifying explosive power was also relieved. Do not know what to say. Dry smile a few times. Said next time there is an opportunity to cut again. Said the teachers of the second middle school hurriedly pack up their things and withdrew. Not a moment inside the gymnasium is left Chen Shu and others. Little Chen. You've even learned grappling here. No one was left. Li Ku said with a stunned face. 
My cousin's husband is in the special operations team. You're even faster than him in this maneuver. Learned a little bit of skin. Used for self-defense. Chen Shu waved his hand. No more. My mood has been spoiled by this guy. Anyway, there's no more fighting. So I'll go back to the dormitory to rest first. No injuries? Right. No. That's good. That's good. Only then did Chen Shu pack up his things and prepare to leave. And Zhou Feng and the others rushed up in a swarm. Old Chen. I didn't expect you to be so bullish in a fight. Someone as strong as Ouyang Hao was instantly put down by you. Awesome. You'll be my male god from now on. Chen Shu skimmed his mouth. I'm not in a good mood right now. So I won't accompany you guys to practice. I'll go back. Let's talk next week. Okay. Old Chen take care. The crowd hurriedly said. Only then did Chen Shu leave the gym and hurried back to the dormitory. Hiss. To die ah. The effect of the mimicry had just passed. And a burst of pain came from his hands. The two punches that hit Ouyang Hao. Not to mention Ou Yang Hao couldn't stand it. Chen Shu himself couldn't stand it. He hurriedly ran to the table and sprayed Yunnan Bai Yao to feel better. System, do you have a function like healing? The system does not have a healing function. The host can obtain items or skills related to healing through a lottery or other means. Forget it. After drawing so many times, he had never seen any other items except for ornaments and skills. So the probability of winning was definitely extremely low. Chen Shu did not wish for it. He had definitely formed a bond with Ou Yang Hao and Ou Yang Hao would probably retaliate afterward. However, Chen Shu did not regret it at all. Even if he had to do it again, he would still go against Ou Yang Hao. The most despised is this kind of scum. If Ou Yang Hao wanted to retaliate, Chen Shu was not afraid. The soldiers come to block. The water comes to cover the earth. Not to mention that I am a man with a system. Just at this time, the knock on the door suddenly sounded. Old Chen. Old Chen. Zhao Yijou's voice came through the door. And as soon as Chen Shu opened the door, he was puzzled. What? Good guy. You're hiding really deep. Zhao Ijo came up and wrapped his arms around Chen Shu's neck. Full of emotion. After four years of college, you're also taking too much care of your brother. Chen Shu froze. What are you talking about? Stop pretending and see what this is. Zhao Ijo flipped out the small video from inside the teacher group. Clicking on it was Chen Shu's opening cover off Ou Yang Hao's ball. The genus was shocking. Zhao Ijo said with a face of emotion. You are obviously so good at playing ball college that moment with us playing ball, but also pretended to be a rookie, it turned out to be all about letting us go, it's too touching, ah, no, you think too much, that time in college was a real rookie, chapter 21, how is this good, this video was exactly what Zhou Feng and the others had filmed, and it had quickly spread within the school, making Chen Shu instantly become a big brother in the circle of students who liked to play soccer, but all individuals were a bit vain, and Chen Shu was no exception, this is not just today in class, there are a lot of students greeted, affectionately shouted a teacher Chen, even with a few points of worship eyes. This Chen Shu was naturally happy to see. At the end of this day's lesson, Chen Shu now had nearly 6,000 teaching points in his hands. Previously, he had calculated that if he wanted to raise all of the six pieces of learning efficiency to level C, he would need at least 10, 000 teaching points and a large number of pendulums. So Chen Shu held back the urge to draw a raffle. Intending to save up a wave of teaching points to raise all of the six pieces of learning efficiency to level C first. Nay, class 7 was still the same. Chen Shu was still relatively honest in class. However, when it was the turn of the other teachers to teach, it was more chaotic. Unable to maintain classroom discipline, the output of the teaching point would also be affected in no small way. Based on the previous week's observations and summaries, coupled with the information Zhou Feng and the others had gotten from their mouths, Chen Shu had already grasped quite a bit of information about the 7th class. Senior class 7 was not united internally, and there were extremely many small gangs. Zhou Feng's physical training students were one of those gangs, and had basically been taken down by Chen Shu. In addition to that, there were quite a few other gangs. Deng Sija's small gang of 7 dance art students at its core. Zhuang Ro's small gang of vocal art students at the core. 9 people. Liao Koen Yang is the core of the painting art students small gang. 11 people. He Chao as the core of the instrumental music art students small gang. Five people. In addition to the gangs, there are a number of misfits who are not the same as the others. Representatives Li Yi Yang, Su Tian Hao, Yen Mao, Wan Lo Bang, known as the four little bullies in the seventh class of the first year of high school. Therefore, Chen Chu's next strategy was to break through one by one, and find a way to first draw on the small gang of art students. Only that for a while Chen Chu couldn't find a chance to contact these small gangs, as he was pondering. Zhao Ijo suddenly called over. Chen Shu was puzzled. What's wrong? You didn't read the message in the group. Zhao Ijo asked rhetorically. Just our university group. Chen Shu helplessly said. 
No, thinking about things, how do I have time to read it? Let's talk about something. I'll hang up if there's nothing. Suna called out to sing. Zhao Yijou grinned. A lot of female classmates who stayed in Jiangnan went over. I'm going over anyway. What about you? Chen Shu said without even thinking. Nonsense. Definitely going. Wait. I'll change immediately. Chen Shu naturally couldn't miss this kind of opportunity. A girlfriend wouldn't fall from the sky by herself. So she had to rely on herself to fight for it. He hurriedly changed his clothes, went out and met with Zhao Yijou, and the two of them took a taxi straight to the KTV. It did not take long to arrive at the private room. This in all familiar faces. People are quite a lot, but most of them are women. Only three men. Teacher training colleges and universities are a little bit of yin and yang. Chen Chu's class a total of nine men, can come together out of the five is very good. Yo, teacher Chen and teacher Zhao are here. Come, come, make a seat for the two people's teachers. While a group of girls were joking, Chen Chu and Zhao Yijou were very sensible and went to the boy's side, toasted each other and greeted each other. And in no time at all, they chatted about interesting things in college. The only thing is that the topic of the boys has always been inseparable from the girls. Chatting, Zhao Yijou secretly muttered, in the past in the school at that time do not think our class girls look like ah. Now, I feel that all of them are pretty good looking. The moment you open your mouth, you know you're an old sex maniac. In the past, we didn't see each other's heads. So even if we were good looking, we'd get tired of looking at them. We haven't seen each other for a year. And now that they all have jobs, they definitely need to learn how to dress up. Everyone agreed. At this moment, Su now walked over with a beer in her hand. Yo, big beautiful Su. Long time no see. Zhao Ijo was always thick-skinned and took the lead to raise his glass and joked. Have you found a boyfriend yet? If not, you can consider me first. I won't look for you if I don't have one. Su now happily said. You're so handsome. I can't help it. Ha 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 ha. Taking turns toasting, the atmosphere quickly became active. Zhao Ijo drank a lot. And in no time, he was a bit fluttery. Wrapping his arm around Chun Chu's shoulder, he whispered, Old Chen, if there's anyone you see eye to eye with, I'll help you get together. Chen Chu cried and laughed. You yourself are a single dog. There is no need to help me worry about this. But Chun Chu actually really on the girl's pile of Li still quite feel. Li still looks quite quiet, wearing black glasses, through a few points of intellectual, quite a small family feeling. In fact, the university that time Chun Chu only still quite a good feeling, but busy with school. Chen Shu not much mind to talk about love. Now there is an opportunity. Chen Shu or want to develop a little. End of the wine to the girl's pile inside the past. One by one toasting. The turn of Li still very constrained fingers pinching cups. Smile is also very subtle. Seems not very good at coping with this kind of scene. A look at the Chen Shu know that in all likelihood is forced to pull to. Chen Shu was naturally able to handle this kind of scene. And asked with a smile. Li still classmate. Where are you working now? Li still smiles shyly. The same as you. Except I went to the second middle school. As soon as he mentioned the second middle school, Chen Chu remembered this scum Oh Yang Hao. That's quite good, Chen Chu said. Then we'll have a lot of chances to meet up in the future. Aha. Uh -huh. Li still nodded gently. Suddenly blinked her eyes and asked gently. I heard that you became the class teacher of the seventh senior class? You know this too? Chen Chu was flabbergasted for a moment. Li still gave a hum and shyly said. Originally I thought it was someone else. But I remembered that you entered the first middle school and I knew it was you. You can be really powerful. The seventh class of the first year of senior high school has changed so many homeroom teachers who couldn't manage it. And I heard that as soon as you went there, you managed to manage it. This side of the girls see two people standing or chatting up. Cannot help but coaxing. Why don't we give you two a seat? In death communication. Instantly, Li still made a big red face and was at a loss for words. Chen Shu scratched his head. How is this good? Gone, to, de, think, piao, it, liang. Chapter 22. Come here to listen to the song? Although Chen Shu would like to sit with Li still chat, cultivate feelings, but Li is still too shy. Chen Shu do not want to scare people, so toast or go back. At this moment, Zhao Yijou took the microphone and ordered a table you sing up. Just, this guy pressure fundamentally no music cells, the voice all rely on roar. Fortunately, the girls don't mind the ugly singing, and so Sing finished also applauded, gave enough Zhao Yijou face. Zhao Yijou also pretended to bow. Is the KTV rating system only 22 points caused the crowd to laugh? Seeing this, Chen Shu was also a little foolish. Secretly glanced at Li still. Well, cannot be so dry sitting. I also have to show performance. Thanks to my old Zhao patting the bottom. The girl's sense of anticipation had been pulled down to a minimum at this moment. Looking at the next song is Zhao Lei's Qingdu. Chen Shu obediently took the microphone in Lao Zhao's hand. Originally it was a girl who ordered the song. And when she saw Chen Shu take the microphone, 
she laughed and said, Chen Chu, you go first. Chen Chu smiled and nodded. Imitation, Zhao Lei, accompanied by the melodious melody, the subtitles appeared. Chen Chu took a deep breath and slowly opened his voice. What makes me shed tears is more than last night's wine. What makes me cling to you is more than your tenderness. How long do I have to walk the rest of the way? You clutch my hand. It's the freedom to struggle that makes me feel difficult. There was a slight pause, waiting for the melody, and the booth was quiet all of a sudden. The crowd looked at each other in disbelief. Didn't turn off the original song? It sounded exactly like the original song, but it didn't feel like the original song. Slightly so. Turned it off. Now it's the backing vocals. Just now it was Chun Chu who was singing. Really sung by Chun Chu? Oh my god. The singing is so good. The voice also has flavor. After four years of college, I didn't even know that Chun Chu sang so well. A bunch of girls felt amazed all of a sudden. Not to mention the girls. Zhao Weijo was confused. He he. This picture wasn't right. He remembered that Chen Chu sang at an average level. Separation is always in September. Memories are the sorrow of longing. Chen Chu continued to open his voice, yet his expression was somewhat engrossed in it. Imitation would more or less become engrossed in the world of the character being imitated. Chen Chu had accidentally gotten into it, completely forgetting himself. The tender green weeping willow in late fall, kissing my forehead, in that rainy little town. I never forgot you. Chen Du, what can't be taken away? Only you. All of a sudden, the entire private room was quiet. Chen Chu's slightly thick and quite rhythmic voice echoed throughout the room, as if he was listening to a concert in general. The feeling was really a little hard to describe. Without realizing it, a song was finished. The private room was suddenly filled with cheers and loud noises. Chen Chu, it's too good. The singing was so professional. The transitions were all so steady. The emotional resonance was too strong. A group of girls did not mince words of praise at all. They all liked to sing. It was just the first time they had this feeling of enjoyment. Offerings, offerings. Chen Chu smiled, and as soon as his voice fell, the words 99, 9 points were displayed on the big screen, and even the congratulatory note took the first place in the current track list, and will give you 6 bottles of Hal Ice Beer for your private room was also displayed. The girls immediately exclaimed constantly, all kinds of good powerful, said Chen Chu are a little embarrassed, is ready to withdraw. Suna came up to pull Chen Chu, do not go ah, you guys are hiding too deep. Freshman year at the orientation show, you even said you couldn't sing. Chen Chu, aren't you cheating on us? No, you have to keep singing to make up for our broken hearts. Originally wanting to perform well in front of Lee still, Chen Chu naturally would not refuse. Okay, okay, what to sing? Why don't one of you order a song? Chen Chu was planning to take a glance at Lee still to see what her expression was. Zhao Ijo came up and pulled Chen Chu in a girlish manner. Chen Chu Gigi, people want to listen to Tibetan Plateau, Get Lost, by Zhao Ijo this living treasure. The atmosphere is much more relaxed, Li still also be amused straight to laugh. The girls have ordered songs, Li still did not want to go, but was still pulled up. Chen Chu will look, ordered a young Zongwei onions, a moment of effort to order about 10 songs. The first is Zhou Dong's confession balloon, then Zhao Lei's voice is definitely not suitable. Directly turn Zhou Dong, anyway, within an hour. Chun Chu could imitate any character infinitely. As soon as Chun Chu opened his voice, it instantly became playful from the thick voice from earlier. On the banks of the Seine, the coffee on the left bank, the group of girls exclaimed in shock. How did the voice change? Chen Chu's singing skills are heaven defying. Love it, love it. It sounds so pleasurable. It's a concert. Su Na exclaimed and hurriedly swung her hands along. The girls were so happy that they also waved their hands along, and Li still had a surprised face but turned to follow along with a smile on her face. You say you're a little hard to chase. The girls immediately proceeded to sing together, trying to make me know what to do. Gifts don't need to pick the most expensive, just the fallen leaves of champs. Wow, create a romantic date, not afraid to mess up everything. If I have you I have the world. Darling in love with you, outside the door of the KTV, a couple of waiters are standing next to each other, staring at each other. What's going on? You can sing so vigorously even after the original song? Dare you come here together to listen to the song? Chapter 23, System Failure? After the song Confession Balloon was sung, the girls couldn't help but look at the big screen with this gaze. Unsurprisingly, 99, 6 points, once again taking first place, another 6 bottles of Hal Ice, the third song, the fourth song, at the front desk of the KTV. No, what's going on here? The system is malfunctioning. Right, how is it possible that all of them scored over 99 points? The receptionist looked at the 7021 private room 10 minutes to brush the record of four songs, and all of them are more than 99 points. People are dumbfounded. 
A waiter hurriedly used the intercom to contact the manager, and in no time the manager hurriedly rushed to the front desk. What happened? Manager, take a look. The attendant at the front desk pointed to 7021's background data. The manager took a look and frowned, sensing that the system must have malfunctioned, and hurriedly called the technicians to come over for repairs. Someone will come over later. I'll go explain to the guests first. The waiter nodded slightly, and the manager hurriedly had the waiter carry a piece of Hal Ice Beer towards the 7021 private room. It just so happened that Chen Chu's side had just finished singing, and was drinking water. The manager hurriedly brought the waiter in, and rushed to the crowd. Guests, I'm sorry, the system is malfunctioning, and the scoring system is incorrect. As an indemnity, a dozen of beers for free, and also ask the people to understand. The crowd froze. It turned out to be a system malfunction before the 99 points or more consecutively. But then again, Chen Chu's singing was really bullish. 99 points was actually normal. Fortunately, Suna did not dwell on it. She was again the organizer. And with a smile she said, It's fine. It's fine. Thanks for understanding. Thanks for understanding. The manager laughed. And only then did he leave with the waiter. The girls continued to urge Chen Chu to sing. They were just getting high at this moment and didn't want Chen Chu to rest. When the manager returned to the front desk, the technician had already arrived and was sitting by the computer checking it out, frowning straight away. How's it going? The manager asked. Repair no? Strange. It didn't malfunction. The technician hurriedly said. I've checked it several times. Everything is fine with the system. Ha! Huh? The manager froze for a while and rushed forward. How could there be no malfunction? Look at the backstage data of the 7021 private room. The ratings of four consecutive songs are above 99 points. The second highest is 87, or the boss's family's daughter sang it, and that's specializing in vocal studies, although it does seem a little off, but there's really no malfunction. The technician frowned. Of course, there is another possibility. What possibility? Someone hacked into our backend and tampered with the data, and the technology was so strong that it didn't reveal any traces. The manager rolled his eyes. Who would be idle and bored to hack our backend just for a beer? The technician cried and laughed. That's why the data is normal. It's estimated that 7021 came with very professional singers, and really went up by strength. Then I'll have to sneak off and listen to it. The manager is a face of disbelief. Even if it is a professional singer, play will not be so outrageous. For consecutive songs all 99. Not a moment later, the manager secretly touched the 7021 private room. The hallway can be faintly heard coming from the song. I should cooperate with your performance I acted blind. Hmm, Shui Ji Chan actor? The manager was confused for a moment. Is this not the original song? But listen carefully, realize that it seems to be not the original song again. The indeed someone is singing. Cannot say completely similar? Can only say exactly the same kind? Pretend to pass by a glance. Through the small window on the door can see Chun Chu is singing there. A large number of girls on the sofa face intoxicated. Constantly followed by waving their hands. Ah, this. The manager was a bit confused. Manager, what are you doing here? A waiter saw the manager sneaking around and asked suspiciously, Did you hear singing inside just now? Heard it. The waiter nodded his head, with a surprised face. I thought the original song was on. After listening for a little while, I realized that it was really sung by that person. So bullish, the voice can be changed randomly. Similar to the original song. The first time I've ever seen singing that can be sung to such a level. It's simply divine. Really? If you don't believe me, just listen here. Manager, I'm busy. Go. The manager hesitated for a moment and really stood by the 7021 private room and listened. An actor had just finished singing, and Chen Shu followed with a song by Rain God Xiao Jingting's Princess, shaking red wine glass, lips like stained blood. The atmosphere inside the private room was instantly high, and the colored lights were shaking in all kinds of ways. The manager listened for half a day with a stunned face. Mom yeah, this is also too outrageous. Only after a long time did the manager return to the front desk. The technician hadn't left yet. And when he saw the manager coming back, he quickly asked, What's the situation? The manager is still a little bit not back to God. Slightly shook his head, really by you. Ran into a professional singer, and professional to the outrageous kind. Sang almost exactly the same as the original song. How many songs? The ninth song of the... The technician smiled bitterly. The first eight songs are all 99. It did not come down. The first place all accounted for. That's four dozen beers. TSK, 270 a dozen counting more than a thousand. The technician laughed bitterly, you think too much. What? Behind there are more than 30 songs. In addition to wine, our activities and continuous domination of the list of special prizes, 10 songs will be exempted from the fee, but also to give 2000 recharge card. I just counted. 
Really if all the singing, maybe small tens of thousands have to be sent over. Manager. Chapter 24, Outrageous. 7021 Private Room. Half an hour had passed, and Chen Shu had finally made it to the onions, glancing at Li Still. He saw that Li Still had a look of anticipation on her face. Seeing this, Chen Shu took a slightly deep breath and prepared to seriously commit, accompanied by the prelude slowly ringing out. The inside of the private room instantly quieted down, listening to the song with seriousness. In the middle of the morning, Chen Shu had already devoted himself to it. Once he opened his voice, it was low, permeated with the slightest hint of sadness. If your eyes can descend for me for a moment, if you could hear the sound of a broken heart, silently guarding you, silently waiting for a miracle. Chen Shu closed his eyes and substituted his emotions into the song as much as possible. Word by word, it echoed throughout the private room, reaching the ears of the crowd. For a while, even Zhao Yijou, who was still smiling and happy, was infected by the emotions and couldn't laugh anymore. It was probably because the song had evoked some sad memories. If you're willing to peel away my heart layer by layer, you will find, you'll be surprised, you are my most repressed, deepest secret. If you're willing to peel back my heart layer by layer, the emotional resonance of a wholehearted devotion was far more powerful than Chun Shu could have imagined. When he finished singing, there were no cheers, no applause, but instead, there was a burst of crying. Eh? Turning his head, good lord, five or six girls were crying and wiping their tears there, and all the other girls were busy comforting. Even Lee is still busy comforting his own roommate who was in the dormitory at the beginning, with a face of crying and laughing. All of these girls were in love in college and broke up with their boyfriends for various reasons. Suna was among them, but she had an excellent mindset. Wiping her tears while laughing, singing all of a sudden made me feel weird. I had forgotten almost everything, but you guys sang and remembered it. Sorry, sorry. Chen Shu also cried and laughed. There was no way to continue singing, and hurriedly returned to the boy's side. Finding Zhao Yijou also with a hard face, drinking mulled wine there. No, what's so hard for you to follow? Zhao Yijou couldn't help but sigh. Ugh. Chen Shu froze. You didn't have a girlfriend in college, did you? Didn't you stay in the dormitory every day and play games? Zhao Yijou was stunned, online girlfriend. Put, the one that's bigger than you? Just halfway through his sentence. Zhao Yijou covered Chen Shu's mouth and glared at him in a bad mood. Can you stop talking about this? Originally quite difficult. By you so say even more difficult. Good. Good. Let's not mention it. Happy. Or I'll sing you a decent, happy breakup, or some people walk around and fall apart? Let's just call it quits. Ha 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 ha. The girls had a hard time getting over it and complained about Chun Chu singing anything but bitter songs. Li still was about to apologize and say that she had ordered it, but Chun Chu had already gotten up and rounded off the scene. Laughing. Alright. Alright. It's all my fault. So I'll sing something cheerful next. Just as a reparation and apology, just as he was about to open his voice, the manager hurriedly knocked on the door and walked in. Sorry to interrupt. What is it? Suna asked suspiciously. As soon as the words fell, ten or so waiters walked in with beers in their hands, filling up the entire table at once. We didn't order any alcohol, Suna hurriedly said. The manager smiled apologetically, glanced at Chun Chu and said, So what? We just checked and found that there was no error in the system. These are the prizes for the first place. The crowd was shocked. So many, how can we drink it all? Can we discount it? The manager smiled bitterly and glanced at Chun Chu again. This gentleman has been first for 10 consecutive songs and got the grand prize of the event. All the fees are free tonight. In addition, the manager took a VLP card out and said, This is the store's VLP card, which has a quota of 2000, and can be consumed at any time, and is also the prize for this special prize. The people in the box were all confused. Even Chen Chu himself was confused. The manager again smiled bitterly at Chun Chu. Sir, it is an honor for this store to be able to usher in such a valued guest as you. It's just that it's not easy for this store to operate, and business is not doing well lately. So can you please be magnanimous and let us off the hook? Don't sing. If you keep singing, the store's stock of beer will soon be emptied out. As long as you are willing, I can discount all the beer that you can't finish tonight to you at half price. In addition, I'll privately give you another 2000 amount of recharge card. What do you think? The manager's attitude is quite sincere. Chen Shu naturally won't make things difficult for people. Anyway, the onions are all sung. The other doesn't matter. And hastily said, Okay. The manager clasped his hands together. Thank you very much. This is my business card. If you want to sing, look for me at any time. I guarantee that I will definitely leave you the best equipped private room. Chen Shu nodded slightly. The manager smiled apologetically towards the crowd before exiting the room. As soon as he left, Chen Shu weighed the two VLP cards in his hand and scratched his head. 
The crowd looked at each other. Just. Outrageous. Chapter 25, I want to hear backstage. After all, all the people have to be busy in the morning, so did not play too late. Nearly 11 o'clock in the evening on the end. Each said goodbye and left. Chen Shu would have liked to find an opportunity to send a Senli still, but Zhao Yijou a little too much to drink. Walking are not stable. Can only be resentful to send Zhao Yijou left. However, Chen Shu just helped Zhao Yijou to leave the Blue King KTV. After the foot there is a group of youthful and beautiful young boys and girls walked in. The waiters at the door took a look and hurriedly bowed to welcome them. And the waiter leader was even quick to lead the way in front. Smiling humbly, Missy, you haven't come to play for a long time. I haven't had much time to come over and sing lately. Who was the girl leading the way if not Zhuang Ro? And with a wave of her hand she said, send the best cigarettes and alcohol to the VLP private room. Yes, yes, ready for you right away. Not a moment later, Zhuang Ro led the little ones to the top VLP private room. Whether it was the decoration or the facilities were all top notch. It was used to entertain VIPs on weekdays since. When the cigarettes and alcohol were delivered, the crowd got high, lighting cigarettes and cheers again. Men and women were no exception. It's been a long time since we sang, sing a good one today. The last time I sang the cast was a full 87 points, number one on the charts. Cut. Don't fool around. I'll squeeze you down today. The crowd rushed to the song ordering table, ordered several KTV hit songs and prepared to open their voices. A song of Joe Dong's confession balloon quickly ended, followed by a score of 88. Six points popping up on the screen, causing Xia Yun Yun to proudly tilt his head up, rushing to the side of Sima Ching. C. 88. Six points. One. Six points higher than you. The first place goes to me. Drink. Ha ha ha. The crowd on the side hurriedly coaxed. Sima Ching skimmed his mouth. Unconvinced. A mouthful of five cups of beer. But this just finished a turn of the head. Suddenly eyes glared. Shit. I drank for nothing. The crowd is now playing the list. Cannot get the first. Losing drinking. Sima Ching and Xia Yun Yun bet is confession balloon song. Last time Sima Ching 87 points directly first. But now turn your head to look at the screen leaderboard. Just now Xia Yun Yun Sang is not the first at all. But the second place. Sima Ching was even squeezed into third place. And the first place is outrageous. 99. 5 points. The crowd couldn't help but look at the big screen. And were also confused when they saw the first place on the leaderboard. How is this possible? Zhuang Rose eyes glared. Stood up and said. My family's KTV uses professional grade radio equipment. A normal person can sing 80 points are considered impressive. How can someone reach 99 points? Even professional singers with these radio equipment hold up 91 or 2 points hovering ah. After all, everyone is learning vocal music. Naturally know the situation of Zhuang Rou family KTV. Equipment are top. After all, consumption is not low. So as long as there is free time, everyone is also special to run to the Blue King to indulge in a little. In the meantime practice singing level. The more top level equipment, when the radio will be clearer which means that even the sound of your breath change are recorded into the system for judging. Zhuang Rou home with this brand of radio equipment. 90 points or so is the level of professional singers. As for 99 points or more, unless the original singer personally on the scene or singing extremely anticlimactic, can do the timbre, the range of voice, and so on the same. The system is wrong, right? Someone spoke out. The crowd nodded. Well, it should be a system error. How else would it be so outrageous? Xia Yun Yun grinned at Sima Ching. I'm still number one then. Sima Ching shrugged and had to admit defeat. Who's going to bet with me on the next actor? How much to bet? A bottle of blow? Come on, who's afraid of who? I'll come too. Several joined in, betting a bottle of beer one after another. Not a moment later, the song sounded inside the private room, and after a long time, the song ended, and 86, six points were displayed on the screen. After all, the family conditions in the presence of superior but also since childhood on the love of music, so they have received professional training, and even invited professional singers to teach, the skills are naturally not bad to what place to go, although the singing skills than the real professional singers, but hanging normal people is still easy and pleasant, so this 86, 6 points is still quite hopeful to take the first place, however, it turned out to be only the second place, and the first place was once again outrageous, with 99, 7 points, a ride to the top, doesn't this nigga bullshit? Another system error? It's so distracting to watch. The crowd couldn't help but spit. And Zhuang Rou's face sank. This was her family's business. And she had hired professional technicians to provide technical support. So it was reasonable that there shouldn't be this kind of system error. Taking money and not doing anything? Zhuang Rou went out and shouted for a waiter. Saying with a displeased face. Have the manager come over immediately. Yes. Yes. 
The waiter saw Zhuang Rou's face was not very good. Without saying a word, he hurriedly used the pager to summon the manager. It did not take long. The manager hurriedly came to the door of the VLP private room, saw Zhuang Rou and hurriedly greeted with a smile. Miss, what are your orders? Zhuang Rou snorted coldly, you come in with me and take a look. The manager was a little unsure, and went in to take a look. At this time, the big screen happened to show the leaderboard. The first place was 99. Seven outrageous scores. What's going on? You explain it to me. Zhuang Rou sullen face then said, this kind of score is obviously the system appears. The manager, however, said without thinking, Missy, this first place is indeed sung by someone else. Zhuang Rou? Crowd? The manager cried and laughed. Hurriedly explained, some days ago we came here a master. This score is he sang out. I thought it was a system error. Let the technicians have come over to check a few times. The technicians said that there is no problem. And then I sneak over to listen to the master sang with the original song is exactly the same. He sang this confession balloon and the actors. It's, what kind of international joke are you playing with me? Zhuang Rose eyes glared. It's not even the same voice. How could he do it? The little ones were naturally filled with disbelief as well. After all, the original vocal lines, ranges, and timbers of these two songs were worlds apart. And even if they were imitated, they couldn't possibly reach such an outrageous level. You haven't seen it. You haven't heard it. How do you know that others can't do it? The manager also did not know how to explain. Smiled bitterly and said, But yes indeed that person sang it. Zhuang Rou still look unbelieving. I want to listen to the backstage recording. Immediately find someone to get it out for me. How dare the manager refuse? Yes. Yes. Chapter 26 Are you not making it difficult for me fat tiger? The manager did not dare to delay. Hurriedly contacted the technician. It didn't take long for the technician to come to the VLP private room carrying a computer. And under some manipulation the background recordings were tuned out. And then turned his head to look at Zhuang Rou, Missy. Which song do you want to listen to? Get out of the way. I'll do it myself. Oh, oh. The technician hurriedly stepped aside. Zhuang Rou and her little friends squeezed into a group beside the computer. Followed by Zhuang Rou, who first ordered the confession balloon. Not a moment later, the entire VLP private room was ringing with the sound of clear singing. On the banks of the Seine, coffee on the left bank, a cup in my hand, savoring your beauty. Leave a lipstick on your mouth. Because the background is not going to record the music sound, so the sound released is only the character voice. And after the system processing has been automatically noise reduction, so the sound released is almost the same as the clean singing. Zhuang Rou and others immediately looked at each other. Only listen to the voice of the clean singing, really with Zhou Dong's voice is extremely similar, but slightly different. The general public can't hear anything, but Zhuang Rou these people are not the same. Listen carefully can hear the tone and the original song is still different. Followed by the actor, the onion, without exception, the timbre and the original song are different, but the gap between the two has been compressed to the minimum. Do not listen carefully to the pressure cannot be heard. That vocal line is his own. There's no way to completely change it. Just nifty outrageous. He's using seven different ways of pronouncing his voice right now. And it can be faked. Holy shit. How many stereos did this guy eat in his last life? The reincarnation of kudos. Comes inhibition cloud. The so-called parody shows. At best. Only learn the original singer's way of pronouncing the words as well as the pronunciation characteristics. Thus reaching the point of resemblance. But now listen to these songs. That is no longer like like the problem. Bite. Nasal cavity. Transcription, etc. Completely is the style of the original singer. What the hell is this immortal singing? It's a direct downgrade. Because theoretically, it is impossible for someone to be able to cover the full range. All kinds of singing style can be easily. Even if it was a voice teacher in a music academy, or even a voice professor, they would usually only study a certain type of singing in depth, and would always have weaknesses in other areas. Row row. Make a copy of all the recordings for me and send it to my cell phone. Xia Yun Yun hurriedly handed over her cell phone, excitedly saying, the singing styles of many of the songs in here are textbook level. When Xia Yun Yun mentioned this, the others also became interested and pulled out their cell phones for Zhuang Rou to make a copy, intending to go home to listen to it and study it, not to mention Xia Yun Yun and the others. Even Zhuang Rou herself made a copy before letting the technician leave. After listening to it for a little while, she felt that the more she listened to it, the more confused she became. How does the treble go up here? With a pharyngeal tone? Damn. How does he do the real falsetto switch so silky smooth here? The key is three keys off. This is even more outrageous. How did he sing in Jian Li's voice? However, the crowd are all half-baked level. Can only hear the good and bad only. The specific how to pronounce. Whether the vocal folds are closed and so on. The pressure simply cannot figure out. 
completely confused. At this moment, the crowd did not have the heart to sing, all listening to the recording. The more you listen to the more outrageous. Some people simply sent the recording to their own invited vocal coach. Let help analyze it. A long time after someone cried and laughed and said, my family that invited the vocal teacher simply do not believe that this is sung by other people, said that is the original song. The singing voice is too unique. The timbre of the unrepeatable. He cannot analyze it. Unless it is to bring the original singers to teach me. This vocal coach I hired doesn't believe it either. He says he can't learn it either. The crowd looked at each other in dismay. Zhuang Rose's mind moved and she said, that's not easy. The original singer can't be invited. We'll just invite the person inside the recording not on the line. Right, invite him to teach us, and we can spend as much money as we want. As long as we learn it, we'll be on the road in no time. Who doesn't have a dream of being a star? Especially this group of vocal students. Looking forward to the day when they can get on stage and enjoy the screen life of being followed by millions of people. The more the crowd thought about it, the more excited they became. Zhuang Rou hurriedly called the manager and asked him to find a way to find someone. The manager let out a bitter smile, Miss, that guest didn't leave any contact information ah. Zhuang Rou's attitude was brutal, I don't care. You have to find a way to get the person to me, or you're out of the job. Zhang Nan is so big, where can I find someone for you? Are you not making it difficult for me, fat tiger? The manager had bitter words to say. Zhuang Rou's nature is clear to him, not to mention the boss in favor. Let him be laid off today, will never be delayed until the next day. It is simply an unmitigated disaster. Right. You go to tune the surveillance go. I want to see what that person looks like. Zhuang Rou ordered again. Yes, yes. The manager hurriedly let the people from the security department go and adjust the surveillance. Not long after, the manager walked in with a tablet computer. Zhuang Rou and her group hurriedly came over. Since they were curious, in the middle of the day, the picture was fixed. The manager hurriedly pointed at Chen Shu on the screen and said, Missy, this is that guest. The entire private room was suddenly dead silent. Sigma, surprise face, winky face 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 Sigma, surprise face, winky face, hey, class teacher Chun Chu. Chapter 27 The Power of Sweetness It was not easy to send Zhao Yijou to the staff dormitory. Chen Chu was also tired enough, rested for a while and then rushed into the group to find Li Still's WeChat and added friends. Soon Li Still threw, and sent a smile face over. Chen Chu was happy, hurriedly sent a sentence, to the dormitory? To the, you, just arrived. The dormitory is on the sixth floor. Zhao Ijo is unconscious. Move him to me tired enough. Li still sent an emoticon that covered her mouth and snickered. Chen Shu was about to find a topic. Li still said right after. You still have classes tomorrow morning. Rest early. I also go to wash up. Chen Shu froze for a moment. Let out a bitter smile. And could only say. Okay. You also rest early. We'll talk again some other day. Li remained. Ah nah. Chen Chu shrugged, but felt extraordinarily fulfilled. The days to come would be long. Emotional matters still had to be taken slowly. What's more, he doesn't know whether Li still has a boyfriend or not, so he will ask her in a few days. The next day, in the morning class that moment Chen Chu always feel not quite right. The eyes of Zhuang Rou's group of vocal students were extremely strange, always staring at themselves. However, the eyes of the others were normal. This made Chen Chu confused, waiting until the end of class. Chen Chu's front foot just walked out of the classroom, inexplicably felt creepy behind his back, turned his head to see, Zhuang Rou's group of people lying in the doorway, still with that a set of strange eyes looking at themselves, with a ghost-like expression, underscore, 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 Chen Chu, he was planning to go over and ask what the situation was, however, Zhuang Rou and the others suddenly turned their heads and ran back, this caused Chen Chu to cry and laugh, back inside the classroom, Zhuang Rou and the others came together in a ball and looked at each other. It's really him. I still can't believe it somewhat. But Sister Rose home manager saw it with her own eyes. It's impossible to recognize it wrong. This is not scientific. Is Chen an immortal? If he's so good at basketball, he's also a great singer. Is he really a teacher who graduated from the teacher's college and taught language? The crowd fell into silence. Zhou Feng and the others had been having a rough time recently. Not only were they completely isolated, but they were also being screwed over every three days. Even going to the restroom would be blocked by people from the seventh class, and the toilets wouldn't even let them go. Two days ago, there was also someone who stuck a bunch of eaten chewing gum on Zhou Feng's seat, so angry that Zhou Feng almost lifted the table on the spot, but he dared not speak out in anger. Zhuang Rou and the others were not only watching, but were also participants. Getting too close to Chun Chu was this consequence. They did not want to be targeted and isolated, so the idea of wanting to discuss with Chun Chu quickly died down. Two days passed in a blink of an eye. 
Chen Shu had managed to save up enough teaching points and a large number of pendulums needed to upgrade his learning efficiency six-piece set. In one breath, he upgraded them all to level C. Each piece had a 30% learning efficiency bonus, and the set effect had 150%, which was exactly 330% of the total bonus. As usual, the pendulums were all locked in the cabinet, which was a relief. The class's learning efficiency was finally all broken up correctly, and the learning member Chiu Yu's learning efficiency was all piled up to over 200%. After one lesson, paired with her own beginner's teaching skills and the frenzy effect triggered by the learning pixie, there were more than 900 teaching points. However, it wasn't stable. The highest was more than 900, and all of them were his own lessons. When he switched to other teachers, the lowest was only more than 400, averaging out to nearly 6, 0, 0, 0 to 7, 0, 0, 0 teaching points a day. However, the teaching points and materials needed for level C to level B have risen significantly. Only one level C to level B requires 100, 0, 0, 0 teaching points and 10 level C ornaments. But at the same time, the enhancement effect is also very exaggerated. A level B ornament alone can enhance the efficiency of 50%. The effect of the set is 300%. A set of calculations. A full 600% of the learning efficiency of the bonus. However, there was no need for that for the time being. Because the comprehensive evaluation of the 7th class was too low. Continuing to pile up efficiency. The payoff far exceeded the benefit. Pulling out a random person in class 7. Because the average couldn't even reach an F rating. The base could only produce one teaching point, and even with 600% efficiency, at most six teaching points would be produced. A random student with an E rating would not need to pile up any learning efficiency to produce around 10 teaching points, casually crushing the seventh class. A few million teaching points smashed in. I'm afraid it's still not as good as an ordinary class. A week had passed since the task was released, and there was no change in the comprehensive evaluation of the students in class 7. This was because the comprehensive evaluation was not only related to vices and learning efficiency, but also involved the learning progress of each subject, mastery, talent, and so on. Currently, Chen Chu's elementary teachers I could only observe the basic information of vices, learning efficiency, and talent, and had no idea how well the students were learning. So right now, he could only save up his education points, upgrade his teacher's eye as soon as possible, and grasp more information about the students before he could prescribe the right medicine. Ah uh, yes, almost forgot about today's system check-in. I was so busy getting the learning efficiency 6P set upgrade this morning that I almost forgot about the sign-in. Sign-in successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the skill teacher sweet power. Hmm, Chen Shu froze. What the hell? Chapter 28, you top it off first. Chen Shu hurriedly checked the skill description. Teacher sweet power, quality S, special skill. Can spend a certain amount of teaching points to transform books into desserts? After consuming them, all the knowledge in the books can be quickly digested and utilized for one's own use. The effect is determined by the eater's own learning efficiency, does not include pendulums, special props additive effects. The teaching points needed change according to the complexity of the book's knowledge. The skill cannot be upgraded. After reading the skill description, Chen Chu looked a little odd. He couldn't even talk about excitement. It looked as if it was heavenly. But in reality, for the current situation, it was very ribbed and not even useful at all. This was because the edible effect depended on one's learning efficiency. In the case of this group of little ones in class 7, without relying on the addition of the pendulum effect, all of them had negative learning efficiency. Eating it was the same as not eating it. It was purely a waste of teaching points. System, are the desserts changed by the power of sweetness only for students to eat or can anyone else eat them? Anyone can eat it, and it only produces effects based on the eater's own learning efficiency. Chen Shu nodded slightly as a flash of light appeared in his mind. It's not impossible to use this thing. To make money ah. Combined with the fact that this classroom. Senior class 7. Possessed a full 330% learning efficiency bonus. But any normal student would basically make a considerable amount of progress. Chen Shu was not a person with noble sentiments. Do the people's teacher faith is second. Who first is not to survive. And then make money to support the family. Buy a car to buy a house. Summer vacation can open a tutorial class. With the school to borrow a classroom. The students learn fast and improve their grades. The parents are sure to be satisfied. They also have money to take, but also take the opportunity to make a name for themselves. The future source of students certainly do not have to worry about. The money, fame and fortune, is not beautiful. Chen Shu instantly found a way to make money. And how to think also think that this approach has feasibility. Thinking of this, Chen Shu couldn't help but get a little excited. Taking advantage of the fact that there was no one inside the office, he first tried the effect of the teacher's sweetness power. 
his eyes quickly landed on the language textbook of the first semester of the first year of high school, catalyzing the power of sweetness. Does it cost 15? 000 teaching points to transform it into a random dessert? Hiss. It needs to consume so many teaching points. Chen Shu hurriedly stopped. Not to mention that he didn't have that many teaching points on him to spend right now. However, now that the output of teaching points had come up, he thought that by the time the summer vacation came around, there should be more than enough teaching points to squander. Just as Chen Shu was planning his future blueprint, his cell phone rang. Chen Shu took a look to see that it was Director Sun calling, and hurriedly connected. Director Sun asked Chen Shu to go to his office, not saying what was going on, and listening to the tone seemed to be helpless. Chen Shu didn't feel too good and hurriedly went to the office. Director. Director Sun was looking at the documents there with a headache on his face, seeing Chen Shu come before he hurriedly got up and said, Little Chen, come over and take a look. Chen Shu had a puzzled look on his face as he walked over to take a look, and was instantly filled with helplessness. The thing that he was most worried about really did happen. Class 7 geography teacher applies for a change of post. Chen Shu was filled with a bitter smile. Director. This. Teachers applying for a change of post is nothing more than not being able to stand the students in class 7 anymore. The class teacher naturally also has a responsibility. After all, as the class teacher can't even discipline the students well, naturally it is hard to take the blame. Director Sun quickly waved his hand. It's okay with you. You just took office. In addition to your class geography teacher, several other teachers applied for a change of post half a month ago. You see, this thick pile of all their applications submitted. I have done a number of times the ideological work, and it was not easy to keep them. Chen Shu also knew what the seventh class was like, and it was normal for him to not be able to stand it. Although he had slightly improved over the week he had been here, other than his class being honest, the other teachers' classes were still the same, and Chen Shu couldn't afford to run to every class and use his teacher's domineering aura to deter them. The body can't take it. It would be emptied ah. Director. So what exactly is the situation now? Chen Shu hurriedly asked. Director Sun helplessly said, You'll know if you flip to the back. Chen Shu flipped to the back to take a look and burst into tears. The geography teacher directly wrote a resignation letter, the content of which is that you will quit if you don't change your post. Young teachers certainly do not dare to be so capricious. However, the teachers of the seventh class are basically old and experienced in teaching. There are schools that snatch them up, especially private high schools and those tutoring organizations that are trying to poach people from public schools every day. Resigning today? These veteran teachers will go to other schools tomorrow. Director Sun would definitely not dare to pass. Or else his position as director would have to be taken down by the school as well. Little Chen. I have no choice but to pass. Chen Shu subconsciously asked. Director. Has that new classroom teacher been arranged yet? The biggest headache is this. Director Sun's face was green. I've been running for a day. Meetings have been held seven or eight times. No teacher is willing to go to class seven. I'm not good at making the sky angry. Chen Shu was a bit flustered. This, what can be done? There's only one way for me to think about this. Director Sun hurriedly said, You'll take over first, and teach geography at the same time. The seventh class doesn't have many lessons anyway, so you'll stick around for a while, and when I find a geography teacher I'll take over. What do you think? Chapter 29 Doubting Life Chen Shu couldn't refuse either. After all, if there really wasn't anyone to go to class, the seventh class would be removed, and then he would have to cool off as well so it could only be a top. Although he had forgotten almost all of his geography, but now that he had the power of teacher sweetness, it shouldn't be too much of a problem, and it would be enough to teach the seventh class. I, I know. Director Sun was instantly overjoyed, patting Chen Shu's shoulder before saying, Little Chen, it's really hard on you. Don't worry, the welfare benefits won't be short of you. Chen Shu frowned. Director Sun's words made him feel a bit uncomfortable, making it seem as if he had agreed just for the welfare benefits. I'm a people's teacher, but I'm doing this for the sake of my students, for the sake of my beliefs. Double your allowance and bonus this month. I'll make the call. Director give you a heart. Chen Shu out of the office. This month's subsidies and bonuses doubled. That's tens of thousands of dollars. The top two months of wages before. In this moment, Chen Shu is full of energy, and hurriedly took the instructions given by Director Sun to go and collect the geography teaching materials. In the office for a while. Fortunately, did not forget clean. After sweeping through it, Chen Shu was still able to remember a lot of it. It's just a bit of a brain drain. Waiting for a geography class. The seventh class is still there to make a fuss. Suddenly saw Chen Shu appeared in the doorway, as if with a mouse to see a cat, rushed back to their seats. Chen Shu coldly swept a glance before taking the geography textbook to the podium. There was a lot of chatter at the bottom. Teacher, isn't this lesson geography? 
You guys still have the nerve to ask? Chen Shu swept a glance at the seventh class crowd without any good humor. The geography teacher was dissuaded by you guys. When the crowd heard this, not only did they not feel a trace of guilt, some of them were even stealing joy, as if they had accomplished something extraordinary. Chen Shu was about to educate them, but thought about it and closed his mouth. Forget it, it's futile to say it, no one will listen to it anyway. Currently, there is no spare geography teacher in the school, so the next geography class will be taught by me. The crowd at the bottom immediately looked at each other, but no one said anything. Chen Chu's deterrent power was still not small. Begin class. These two geography lessons were not as tiring as Chen Shu had imagined, probably because he had exercised a lot during this period of time, coupled with the influence of imitation. His physical fitness and energy had far exceeded that of before. Taking two classes at the same time wasn't too tiring. The teachers inside the office obviously knew about Chen Shu's substitute teaching, especially for the seventh class, and most of them looked at Chen Shu with a look of pity. Some of the older teachers also spoke up for Chen Shu, saying, Director son this is also a bit excessive. How can you let Mr. Little Chen take two classes at the same time? Little Chen, if you don't want to, let's go and talk to Director Sun. After all, we've known each other for a long time. He'll still give us some face. It's fine. It's fine. Thank you teachers for your concern. Chen Chu didn't want to cause any trouble. Hurriedly smiled and said, I can still handle it. After all, I'm still young and still have plenty of energy. The crowd then let it go. However, when it came to the evening lesson preparation it was indeed the biggest headache. Language and geography at the same time. Brain broad pain. Forget it. Use the power of sweetness. I was planning to use it for the raffle. But right now, it's better to get the lesson preparation done. After all, the higher ups want to check it. Chen Shu placed his hand on top of the geography textbook and then activated the sweetness power. Does it cost 12? 000 teaching points to transform it into a random dessert? Yes. As soon as the words fell, the geography textbook in front of him turned into a large, four square piece of chocolate in the blink of an eye, and a lunchbox didn't even see fit to fit it in. So much. Chen Chu's eyes glared. After eating this, he was afraid that he wouldn't get bored to death? Normally Chen Chu did not like eating sweets too much, but there was no way. Breaking off a small piece to taste the flavor first, the feeling was similar to ordinary chocolate. At the same time, the mind also began to emerge one after another related geographic content, so that Chen Shu immediately had a kind of enlightened and strange feelings, not knowing how long it had been. The last piece of chocolate was also thrown into his mouth. It was hard to swallow it in while drinking water. Chen Shu felt very bad, so mushy that he wanted to vomit. A year's worth of chocolate had been eaten in one go. The entire person was somewhat skeptical of life. He hurriedly rinsed his mouth and brushed his teeth before feeling better. The next day, geography class. Seeing Chen Shu walk into the classroom, the seventh class was once again quiet. Turn to page 32 of the textbook. Today we will talk about the movement of the earth. The people in class 7 were quite cooperative and flipped it open, then looked up at Chen Shu. First is the way the earth moves, divided into two types of rotation and revolution. Chen Shu opened his mouth in a gushing manner, his gaze constantly scanning the class 7 crowd, each one of them looking as if they were listening to the lesson. As for whether they had listened in or not, that was a different matter. On the contrary, it was Joe Fong who quickly noticed the difference. Looking at the textbook while listening, his expression gradually stunned. Crap, what's going on? It wasn't like this in class yesterday. Chen Shu had to look at the textbook for a while and then look up to continue speaking, and even when writing the board, he had to hold the textbook in his hand, looking at it while writing the board. However, today Chen Shu didn't even have a textbook with him. How could the content of the lecture be exactly the same as the textbook? Not a single word was correct. There wasn't even a hint of a pause. Shocked. I'm afraid he hasn't memorized the textbook. Zhou Feng stared wide-eyed at Chen Shu on the podium, who was speaking and froze for a moment when he saw Zhou Feng's strange expression. Zhou Feng, what's wrong? Zhou Feng stood up and ghostly asked. Teacher, what's the first sentence on page 78? Chen Shu responded almost without thinking. The role of internal forces in the formation of mountains. Why are you asking this? We haven't learned here yet. Don't make trouble. Zhou Feng gave an O. As soon as he sat down, he hurriedly turned over the 78 pages, and the first sentence at the beginning was the role of internal forces in the formation of mountains. Hiss. Zhou Feng could not help but suck in a mouthful of cool air, and his scalp instantly went numb. Chapter 30, seeing it with your own eyes is even more outrageous. Waiting until class was over, Zhou Feng was still frozen in his seat, somewhat unrelieved. Brother Zhou, what's wrong? Physical training student Yang Tianyu walked over and patted Zhou Feng's shoulder asking with a puzzled face, in class just now, didn't you notice anything wrong with old Chen, 
Ah, uh, Yang Tianyu scratched his head. What's wrong? I didn't listen much either ah. Uh. I can't believe you didn't realize. Zhou Feng's eyes glared. Old Chen didn't even bring his textbook. Yang Tianyu was even more confused. So what? He's a teacher. It's not unusual for him not to bring a textbook. Zhou Feng rolled his eyes and reminded. How did old Chen take geography class yesterday? Ah, didn't pay attention. Zhou Feng propped up his forehead and said in a good-natured manner. Yesterday when old Chen was in class, didn't he have to look at the textbook for a while before speaking? Well, it seems like it. Yang Tianyu looked odd. What's so strange about that? Zhou Feng's blood pressure almost didn't give a full pull. You're silly. Old Chen didn't even bring his textbook to class today. So how did he know that page 32 talks about the way the earth moves? And what was spoken was word for word the same as what was written in the textbook. Yang Tianyu blinked his eyes and subconsciously said, He teaches geography. What's so strange? Wait a minute. No, didn't he just take over the geography class yesterday? Right. Zhou Feng hurriedly picked up the geography textbook and flipped to page 78, and hurriedly said, Didn't I just ask him in class what the first sentence on page 78 was about? I thought you were messing with old Chen. Yang Tianyu thought for a moment. I remembered that old Chen said something about the mountainous terrain of the internal force effect of mountain formation. Zhou Feng picked up his textbook and pointed to the first sentence. Exactly the same. And he almost subconsciously blurted it out without any hesitation at all. Yang Tianyu was flabbergasted for a moment, gradually falling into silence. And in the middle of the morning, looked strangely at Zhou Feng, brother Zhou. You don't mean to say that. Old Chen memorized the geography textbook in one day? Zhou Feng nodded his head extremely seriously. Right. Yang Tianyu squeezed his eyebrows and questioned. Isn't this bullshit? How can someone memorize a geography textbook in a day? I wouldn't believe it even if it killed me. It's a coincidence. Maybe Old Chen just happened to see that page and memorized it. If it was someone else, Zhou Feng would have thought it was a coincidence. But, this person was Chen Chu, a man who could make Zhou Yangsheng cry with a mouthful of words. Other people don't believe in this kind of thing. But Zhou Feng is a believer. And in his heart he is very sure that Chen Chu definitely memorized the geography textbook. After thinking about it, Zhou Feng suddenly said, Why don't we bet on it? Bet on what? Yang Tianyu subconsciously asked. Zhou Feng picked up his geography textbook and said, You turn a page at random. We'll take the textbook to the office and ask. If old Chen can't answer, I'll give you my ball signed by Dixon. Yang Tianyu's eyes glared. Really? When have I ever lied to you? Zhou Feng turned his tone. If old Chen answers up, how about you give me that pair of world premier KS co-branded sneakers you grabbed yesterday? Yang Tianyu didn't even think about it and said, Okay, go, let's go now. Two people took the geography textbook and went towards the office. Saw Chen Shu was there reading the information, and hurriedly walked over. But there were too many teachers in the office. Zhou Feng did not call out to the old Chen. And Yang Tianyu came over and called out to Mr. Chen. What's wrong? Chen Shu looked at the duo suspiciously. Yang Tianyu has a question he wants to ask you. Zhou Feng gave Yang Tianyu a wink. And Yang Tianyu came up with his geography textbook and asked. Teacher Chen. What is the first sentence on page 48? Runoff changes are closely related to temperature changes. Chen Shu subconsciously opened his mouth. Yang Tianyu was staring at the geography textbook and suddenly couldn't help but say. Crap. It instantly drew the attention of the other teachers. Who has the guts to be so big and dare to be inside the teacher's office? Oh. Yang Tianyu and Zhou Feng from class 7 Ah, That's all right then. The teachers pretended not to see it and continued to do what they had to do. Chen Shu frowned and said with a cold face. Yang Tianyu, less foul language on weekdays. Not to mention that this is the teacher's office. How can you be polite at all? Yang Tianyu people are still a bit confused. But Zhou Feng is grinning. He will definitely pay attention in the future. Teacher Chen, we will leave first. Without waiting for Chen Shu to react. Zhou Feng had already pulled Yang Tianyu and hurriedly left the office. Watching the two leave, Chen Shu shrugged his shoulders. He had reacted a long time ago. Unexpectedly, Zhou Feng was quite meticulous in his observation, and had already noticed that he had absorbed all of the content of the geography textbook's knowledge. However, it was not a big problem. Later on, he would go over to the registrar's office to pick up another geography textbook to go. It was better to act a bit more normal, outside the office. Believe it now? Zhou Feng grinned. Willing to gamble, that pair of sneakers of yours belongs to me. Yang Tianyu was still in disbelief. Impossible. Impossible. How can someone memorize all the knowledge content of a textbook in one day? Didn't you see it with your own eyes? And the books were all flipped by you. Why are you still skeptical? It's because I saw it with my own eyes that I feel it's even more outrageous. Chapter 31, Singling Out Father and Son Bureau. Chen Shu did not know that Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu had any underground hooks. And while pretending to look at the book, 
he secretly drew the lottery to test the waters. I said that I had to save teaching points to upgrade the teacher SI, but, I can't help it, just 10 draws, no matter if you draw or not to get surely not to draw. Chen Shu secretly made up his mind and began to draw. The first draw, thank you for your patronage. The second draw, thank you for patronizing. The third draw, in the draw, congratulations you have obtained the student talent randomized module. Talent module? Chen Shu hurriedly swept a glance. Student talent randomization module, quality B, disposable consumable, adds a random talent when used on an individual student. Random talent. This means that as long as one is lucky enough, even SSS ranked talents can appear, but I'm afraid that the chances of that are even lower than winning the lottery. Without thinking too much, he continued to draw. The next seven draws produced two more duplicate pendulums, and they are from the special status AP set, all of which are deranked. I shouldn't say that the output of the lottery has really improved a lot. Spending 1, 000 teaching points to produce a B quality talent module wasn't a loss. Instead, there was no rush to use it. After all, on the current state of class 7, how good the talent is all for nothing. Chen Chu believed that with a dance talent, the students of class 7 would definitely only go to play with dance machines instead of taking dance lessons honestly in the dance studio. At this point, class 7 never disappointed. After drawing the prize, Chen Chu's mind pulled back to the materials. It was still the same problem. How to raid the other cliques in class 7? Ever since the geography teacher's application for a change of post had been successful, Chen Shu felt that the other teachers were also a bit foolish. If he couldn't control class 7 anymore, something might really happen. If another teacher applied for a change of post, there would definitely be no teacher willing to fill in. And at that time, class 7 would have to face the risk of being removed again. And all the students in class 7 would be broken up and stuffed into other classes. The system binds only the students of the 7th class to have output, which means that the 7th class is gone. Chen Shu is also cold. Therefore, the situation at hand was still very grim. Under normal circumstances, doing students' ideological work meant being patient, reasoning with them and clarifying the facts. However, this approach didn't work at all for class 7. Instead it would only make the students of class 7 feel that you were good at bullying and become even more arrogant. So the only option left was to confront them head on. Chen Shu would not spoil these little guys anyway. Students at this age, their self-esteem was particularly strong. Zhou Feng and the others were the most typical example. A simple provocation was easy to be anxious and take the initiative to jump into the pit. Since ancient times, deep love cannot be retained. Only a set of success. Chen Shu's eyes narrowed. Have to give this group of little guys a set. To the evening self-study time, Chen Shu walked into the classroom, but did not rush to class, but instead swept a glance at the crowd. Opened, tonight on the first class will not be on. Open a small class meeting. The crowd at the bottom had a face of disinterest since. The content of today's class meeting will not be about anything else. It will just be a casual conversation with you all. Chen Chu smiled. Let's promote the feelings between teachers and students with each other. Many people at the bottom had a disdainful look on their faces. Chen Chu was not impatient and asked smilingly. Students, what games do you like to play on weekdays? Eat chicken? King's Honor? League of Legends or what? The entire classroom was quiet. No one took care of Chen Chu. Zhou Feng and the others weren't too good at blatantly cooperating and could only sneakily make eyes towards Chen Chu. All of this was within Chen Chu's expectations, and it would only be strange if they would cooperate with him. Then let me talk about myself first. Chen Chu's words turned, grinning, I play everything, and am proficient in everything, whether it's eating chicken, King's Honor or League of Legends, picking out a game at random. I can only say that no one here will be my opponent in terms of single combat. This sentence put out, many people rolled their eyes, naturally scoffing and sneering. Sure enough, followed by someone who despised. You have a big mouth. Caught a fish. Chen Shu was delighted in his heart. And when he saw that it was Wang Su, he grinned. What? Don't believe it? Compare? A group of body training students were stunned for a moment. Why did this image feel so familiar? Not to mention the physical training students, the seventh class instantly remembered the basketball hall a week ago. Although Wang Su had the best League of Legends skills in his class, and was still the strongest king in the country, Zhou Feng was also quite good at soccer. But in the end, he was still cleaned up by Chen Chu. Suddenly there was an ominous premonition. One of the people next to Wang Su hurriedly reminded. Don't should. You forgot about Zhou Feng and the others last time. Wang Su frowned. He was extremely confident in his gaming skills. Not to mention that Chen Chu was a teacher. He didn't believe that Chen Chu's gaming skills could be as good as his. He didn't believe that Chen Chu's gaming skills could be as good as his. Playing and gaming were two different things. Tangled for a moment. Wang Su still didn't respond skimmed his mouth and fell silent. 
Hey, the little guy can be ah. It's still quite calm. TSK. Wang Su. Are you that unsure of yourself? Chen Shu's eyes narrowed and said. I have heard about it. I heard that your League of Legends is still the strongest king in the national service. It can't be a number that you bought, right? Just to show your superiority in front of your classmates? Wang Su's face sank, looking very unhappy now, coldly glaring at Chen Chu. Steady, steady, there's a trick at first sight. Surname Chen might really be a game master. However, Wang Su, who could not stay calm, stood up with a cold snort, compare, a one-on-one -on -one game between father and son? If you lose, you'll call me dad when you see me in the future and you'll have to call me that in school too. Dare you. Chapter 32, Poverty Limits My Imagination. When the crowd heard this, it was quite exciting to play. Interesting. Su Tianhao, who was watching the show, immediately coaxed, compare one to the other, compare one to the other. Originally, a number of people felt that Chen Shu was fraudulent, but Wang Su's mouth said this, one by one, they suddenly got on the head. Anyway, watching the fun, they have been uproarious. For a while the whole class was more than one, more than one hoot. The physical training students immediately looked at each other in dismay, and instead they were worried about Chen Chu. They know that Wang Su's skills are really good. After all, they used to play League of Legends together. That level is really bullish. Yang Tianyu in the back seat reached out and disliked Zhou Feng's back. Brother Feng, it doesn't feel too good. Zhou Feng twisted his head, but there was nothing on his face to worry about. Don't worry, old Chen definitely has a plan. You've seen old Chen play games? Nope. Zhou Feng shrugged his shoulders. Playing games is not seen. Just see Chen Chu a mouthful can say Zhou Yangsheng cried. Then how do you know he has a plan? Then this outrageous things I have seen. You now say that old Chen is the reincarnation of Ultraman I believe. Ha! Huh? Yang Tianyu was in a daze. But Chen Chu on the podium was somewhat in trouble. This kid didn't follow the rules. He came up and asked for a father-son game. If you agree, the impact is definitely not good. Perhaps dismissal is possible. Now Chun Chu was a little difficult to ride the tiger. No, if he wimped out now, there would be no way to suppress the seventh class in the future. He gritted his teeth and stomped his foot, and did it. I think the school side should understand their own pain. Do not understand if I will open epic education skills, the big deal all the way from the principal's office to the education bureau. Who wants to withdraw me? I'll throw him a face epic education skills. Ideas? Chun Chu calmly said, look at everyone so excited. Or not. Let's play a little bigger. Just Wang Su alone is more than meaningless. Whoever wants to participate in this father-son game, as long as I lose, I'll shout. Accordingly, if I win, from now on, not only will you all be honest in class for me, but you'll have to politely greet all the teachers when you see them. Chen Chu sneered. Youngsters, don't be a wimp. Aren't you guys quite fun-loving? How exciting, right? Chen Chu's attitude was suddenly so strong, again causing quite a few people to instantly calm down. Thinking about how Zhou Feng and the others had been suppressed by Chen Chu's ball skills earlier, they suddenly lost much of their vigor. All of a sudden, they were much quieter. Right at this moment, Wang Su was sneering. Playing basketball is not playing a game. He's good at basketball. He doesn't see that the game is really good, not to mention how he has the time to play a game. When the crowd heard it, it seemed to be the same reason. The few pricks who played well with Wang Su got up in a hurry. I'm in. I'll come too. Wang Su's skill is not something to brag about. It's not like you guys haven't seen it before. Last time in the Jungnan City Youth Esports competition, Wang Su was in the top three, six MVPs. If it wasn't for Wang Su's family's disagreement, there would have been teams inviting Wang Su to join them. You said one thing and I said another, and soon there were six people who got up. The others didn't move much. Either they simply weren't interested, or they didn't feel like they had the courage. After all, the image of Zhou Feng and the others being subdued last time was still fresh in their minds. There's no one else? Chen Chu swept a glance, his voice full of provocation. Just seven. That was too few. He was still thinking of making a move to settle the matter. As a result, no one paid any attention to him. TSK. I should have known that I would have played bigger when I packed up Joe Fong and the others earlier. However, there were no pills of regret under the sky. And seeing that no one responded, Chen Chu had no choice but to call it quits. Seven is seven. It was better than nothing. However, it seems that the agitation method is not very good anymore. So next time, change to a new routine. All right, then it's settled. A gentleman's word is a bond. Chen Shu hurriedly said, tomorrow I get the computer over. No need to wait for tomorrow. Wang Su turned around and walked to the back of the book bag cabinet, carrying the book bag on the table, directly took out a laptop. Chen Shu also counted on understanding a little, a glance to see that it is the top of the defeat of the eye. The market price are about 30,000. Chen Shu froze, just one how to play? 
Wang Su glanced at Chun Shu, who told you I only have one? The words just fell. Wang Su beside a person on the side of his own school bag walked to Chen Shu. Here, here is also one. Wireless network card are there. The game is under the good. Do not need you to go to find the network. If you are not good. All right. There are three other top of the cabinet. Aliens also have. What surprised Chen Shu even more was still behind. This group of little guys just like magic. From the cabinet and took out the headset. Mechanical keyboard. Mouse. Mouse pad. Almost everything. Almost did not get out of the gaming table in a daze, and do not know from where to draw out two folding table, moving away from the table and chairs and benches, tossed a long time, shifted into a gaming table, or with seats, look at Chun Shu people are silly, poverty really limits my imagination, chapter 33 is tolerable, don't freeze, log on to your account, Wang Su had all but boarded the game and glanced provocatively at Chun Shu, Chen Shu hesitated for a moment and decisively closed the classroom door, it didn't matter that much, Sitting on the gaming table under the gaze of the crowd, Chen Shu boarded the game. A group of physical training students watched right behind Chen Shu, and after a long time, one couldn't help but hold their foreheads, having no eyes to see. Zhou Feng was also not immune to some consternation. Just because Chen Shu boarded the number, is a five-level novice number? Segment is the lowest tough black iron. Even the heroes are the system sent a few, let alone what runes and so on. The other people in the seventh class saw it and burst into laughter. Surprisingly, it was a newbie number from 13 years. Where did this get the courage to dare to be so crazy and even challenge Wang Su? There were quite a few people who were laughing, but the vast majority of the people in class 7 had a strange look on their faces. Although they hadn't spent much time with Chun Chu, they had more or less understood this class teacher's nature. He definitely wouldn't say such words without certainty. That's right, this guy is definitely pretending to be a pig in a poke and fishing for law enforcement. Is he really treating us like children? Someone coldly said towards the few pricks who were mocking Chin Chu, Are you guys idiots? How do you know that he didn't open a trumpet on purpose? How do you know that he didn't open a small number on purpose? So that you would willingly participate in this bet? As soon as these words were spoken, a number of the ones who were mocking immediately lost their voices, looked at each other in disbelief, and couldn't help but suck in a mouthful of cool air as they returned to their senses. This Chen's old in bia, almost accidentally planted in. Cut. Spoiled my good deed. Chen Shu secretly skimmed his mouth. He did not intentionally open a small number, and logged on his own number. Originally, he hadn't played much League of Legends. Of course, this was all within the plan. There was indeed the intention of pretending to be a pig in a poke, and being able to fool a few more was a few more. First take down the not-so-smart ones inside the seventh class. I just didn't expect the plot to be recognized so quickly. However, it doesn't matter. Turning his head, he looked at Zhou Feng's group. Borrow a number full of runes. Who has one? Log on to me. Chao Yunjing, who was among the body practitioner students, hurriedly went up and boarded his own number, and he had also fought with Wang Su before, so it was just as well that he had even saved the effort of adding friends. Not a moment later, Wang Su sent a one-on-one -on -one invitation. Chen Shu accepted to enter the room, opened the game. Wang Su without saying anything directly chose his most skillful draven. Chen Shu's gaze was austere, steeply his demeanor became serious, and his aura changed. Without any hesitation, he chose robbery. When Yang Tianyu and the others looked at it, they were also startled for a moment. Hijacking operation difficulty cannot be small. The most difficult place lies in how to kill in seconds without empty skills and the use of detachment to get away from the timing, but also must master how to carry out the band. Otherwise there is no way to play. The need for technical content can be much more difficult than Draven. The game then began. Both sides out of the outfit soon after the head. Each other point line development. At the beginning, it is nothing to see, normal development, and do not eat what operation, until Chen Chu reached level 4, the wind changed, Wang Su just clicked Chen Chu, was about to pick up the knife, Chen Chu suddenly a displacement disliked Wang Su's face, snap snap snap, the mechanical keyboard and mouse were pressed by Chen Chu with an extremely high frequency and amazing hand speed, accompanied by a flowing operation, one skill after another was thrown out, Wang Su couldn't even dodge in time, instantly half a tube of blood was gone, it's not that I haven't seen aggressive play. I just haven't seen such a horrible aggressive play. A set of skills almost in the blink of an eye all dumped out. And as if it was already counted on Wang Su's course of action. Even if it was thrown out in advance of the skills, Wang Su walked over and ate directly on it. Crap. This hand speed and operation. This fucking can also be prejudged. What divine sense. The crowd looked dumbfounded. The people around Wang Su were also startled and somewhat flustered. However, Wang Su was calm. Although he was indeed startled by Chun Chu at first, hand speed is also not slow. 
although already blood, but escape should not be too much of a problem. See the right time to backhand is a double knife thrown out, ready to force back Chen Chu, but who would have thought? Almost at the same time the skill was released, Chen Chu a displacement. Wang Su Draven threw out the double knife is sticking to Chen Chu's hijacking row past. Body position control is just right. Crap. A collective exclamation of surprise from class 7 immediately came from the hallway, and even the outside of the classroom could hear it clearly. It was clearly transmitted throughout the entire hallway, and could even be heard upstairs and downstairs. Countless students and teachers were helpless. It didn't need to be said that it was definitely the 7th class. Forget it. Pretend not to hear it and continue with the class. In the middle of the morning. Crap. Once again, a collective gasp of shock came from the 7th class, and it was chaotic. The teacher was outraged, cold-faced and didn't say a word. When it quieted down again, the class continued. In the middle of the day, the exclamations of shock resounded once again, almost continuous. For a time, the entire building was filled with the cries of surprise from the 7th class. There were really teachers who couldn't stand it anymore. What kind of behavior is this? It is tolerable. Can only be tolerated. Chapter 34, but where there's a peanut meter, inside the seventh classroom, many people were already grabbing their hair with shocked expressions, it was truly unbelievable, in just two minutes time they had been shown their scalps by Chen Chu's operation, whether it was hand speed, reflexes, anticipation, awareness, light speed QE was just the most basic operation, the most outrageous thing was that Chen Chu had prejudged Wang Su's judgment, at five minutes, Wang Su wanted to counter kill Chen Chu, a big knife thrown out to prejudge Chen Chu's route of movement. A flashover to block the road to dump skills. As a result, Chen Chu seemed to know that Wang Su was already going to flash to catch him. Predicted Wang Su's flash. Left his second skill in place. A displacement position. Dumping his hand as a set of skills instantly took away Wang Su. He didn't give Wang Su a chance to react at all. This kind of divine operation keeps appearing. Terrifying aggressive style of play. Savage to the extreme. Killing madness. At one point, he crossed the tower and killed Wang Su six times. 11 to 0. Wang Su didn't get a single head. And the last defense tower had only silk blood left. At this moment, Wang Su's rhythm was already messed up. Sweating profusely. A minute later, Wang Su's last defense tower was also demolished by Chen Chu. Chen Chu, on the other hand, was not affected in the slightest. All of his attention was focused on the computer screen. And he didn't directly rush up to the front because he had an absolute advantage. Instead, he followed the super soldier and continued to advance, wild and steady. At this point, it was clear that there was no chance of flipping the game. The economy was suppressed to death by Chen Chu, and could not develop at all. Even if he developed, Wang Su knew very well in his heart that he couldn't win. The psychological defense completely collapsed, and in the end, Wang Su gave up the resistance. He let Chen Chu demolish his old home, along with the last base tower exploding away. The word failure appeared on Wang Su's computer screen. For a while, Class 7 was unusually silent. Wang Su gasped for air and turned his head to look at Chun Chu on the side. His eyes filled with astonishment. He really couldn't figure out how Chun Chu, as a teacher, could have such outrageous gaming skills, and even awareness, which was even better than those professional esports players. Seeing that the match was won, Chen Chu then took off his headphones, stretched his waist, and turned his head to look at Wang Su and the others. All right, I won. The crowd had a look of resignation, but they didn't know what to say. Wang Su's face was ugly, willing to gamble, if you are a man, you can abide by your promise, in the future, give me all the classes honestly, obediently in class, not allowed to make trouble, and to see the teacher to politely ask hello, Wang Su cold face, don't need you to say it, we will do it, that's quite good, only then did Chen Chu get up and let the crowd return to their original state, after tossing and turning for a long time, the classroom was back to its original state, and the computers and whatnot were hidden somewhere, Although it was already over, the eyes of the people in class 7 still looked at Chun Chu with as much strangeness as they could muster. The faces all seemed to be engraved with a sentence. My homeroom teacher is more or less outrageous. Chen Chu didn't care what this group of little guys thought in their hearts. At least the purpose of the set he put down this time was achieved. Counting the 12 people in the last peak group, plus the 7 of Wang Su, there were a total of 19 people. At least one third of the students in class 7 will be honest in the future. Of course, the next two thirds would be harder to deal with. We have to think of other ways. It's just that there aren't any other good routines for a while. But after all, the revolution of the seventh class had once again achieved a stage victory. Because he had taken down Wang Su and the others. Chen Shu was in an extremely happy mood. And when he got off the evening study hall, without saying a word, he dragged Zhao Yijou to eat barbecue. Old Chen, what's the wind today? In such a good mood? 
Zhao Ijo asked while drinking beer, while full of doubts. Nothing nothing, come on, cheers, oh, as he was drinking, Chen Shu suddenly had a whimsical thought, should he let old Zhao cooperate, let him deliberately provoke the pricks of class 7, especially Su Tianhao's little group, old Zhao would definitely have to take a beating, and then he himself would appear from it, and then do a fishing law enforcement, as if, it wasn't impossible, old Chen, you, you're not quite right in this look at me, no, no, I feel like you're going to trap me, what do you think? We are brothers. How would I trap you? Come on. Cheers. Oh, early the next morning, Wu Ying had just finished his math class for the other classes and walked towards the office. On the way, he happened to run into Wang Su's group. Wu Ying subconsciously avoided Wang Su and the others, pretending not to see them. Hello teacher. Wu Ying was instantly stumped in place, and then saw Wang Su and the others greeted him and then followed him towards the restroom. Ah, this, I just hallucinated. Mom yeah. The students of the 7th class actually said hello to me. Wu Ling walked into the office with a stunned look on his face. Chen Shu had not yet come to work at this moment. Wu Ling just sat down, thinking left and right. He felt that something wasn't quite right, and said towards Qin Yuan, the history teacher of the 7th class next door. Mr. Qin, just now, Wang Su and Liu Heming from the 7th class said hello to me, and their voices were quite polite. Qin Yuan froze. Teacher Wu. How much did you drink last night? But if there was a peanut rice, you wouldn't be drunk like this? Chapter 35 Serious Respect Qin Yuan thought that Wu Ying was joking. Wu Ying herself felt as if she was joking, but she really wasn't joking. Not long after, Zhang Ming Yuan, the English teacher of class 7, also walked in and approached Wu Ying and Qin Yuan. I just bumped into Wang Su and Liu Hamming from class 7 coming out of the restroom. Guess what happened to them? Qin Yuan squeezed his eyebrows. Greeted you? Zhang Ming Yuan's eyes glared. How did you know? Did you drink with Mr. Wu last night? Qin Yuan waved his hand, feeling that this trick was childish. The two of you joined together to tease me. Teacher Wu. You. Wu Ling nodded in a hurry. They also said hello to me, and I still think I'm hallucinating. Outrageous ah. Since the beginning of the school year, no students from class 7 had ever said hello to them. Wang Su, Lu Heming and the others were the ones who would greet the teacher, until Chen Shu entered the office. Wu Ying and Zhang Mingyuan both ran over to talk about this. Chen Shu smiled. It seemed that Wang Su, Liu Heming and the others still kept their word. Isn't this a good thing? What do the two teachers have to dwell on? Yes it's a good thing, but I always feel that it's not quite right. Do you think they are plotting something, trying to deal with me now? Based on the past situation of class 7, Zhang Mingyuan's face didn't look too good. When things went wrong, there must be a demon. No, no, overthinking, overthinking. Chen Shu hurriedly waved his hands and said with a crying smile, I made a small agreement with them only. As for what exactly it is, I can't tell you. Of course I can't say that last night I was in the classroom gambling and playing games with the students of class 7, playing a father-son game. It was then that the crowd came to a realization, and they even couldn't help but give Chen Shu a high look. Little Chen, I've been teaching for so many years, I really haven't admired a few teachers. You count as one, I'll serve you without even holding up the wall. The main reason was that after the geography teacher applied for a change of post, Chen Shu was truly afraid that other teachers would also apply for a change of post. Chen Shu just happened to take the opportunity to make a statement, and hurriedly said, Then please, seniors, teachers, give me a little more time and trust, and I'll make class 7 better. No problem, I will definitely support your work. Having received the teacher's promise, the situation was quite peaceful for the time being. Returning to his position, Chen Shu set about preparing for the home visit. Originally, he had planned to go on to the practicing students' homes to visit them, but the parents were almost always away from Jiangnan, and would only come back for as little as three months or as much as half a year. Chen Shu was not surprised and had to choose to visit other students' homes. Last time, he was able to contact Wang Lebang's parents, only the situation was rather special. Wang Lebang was a second-generation red. No, to be more specific, it should be a third-generation red, a family of heroes. His grandparents were comrades on the battlefield, old heroes and revolutionaries. His parents were both border guards and could not get home more than once a year. Wang Libang in the class is also an anomaly. Play their own, but also do not want to contact with anyone. In the words of Zhou Feng as Wang Libang looked down on anyone in the class, to say that no one else to make trouble, to say not to make trouble. This guy committed a lot of things, beating a lot of classmates, even the seventh class of many people have been beaten by him. Violent tendencies are more serious. With Li Yang have a fight. Only the school did not give Wang Lebang any disciplinary action. Also did not do any notice. And not forced. Is the initiative to help cover up? 
probably also do not want to affect the image of the heroes. Wang Libang's parents certainly cannot see, so it can only be to see Wang Libang's grandmother. Through the phone, Wang's grandmother promised to be very quick. The time is set on Friday afternoon. The time was set for Friday afternoon. The home visit was finalized, because he wasn't sure if Wang Libang would obstruct the home visit. Chen Xu thought about it and didn't notify him. He waited until the weekend afternoon and went to the address given by Wang Libang's parents. The vast majority of the seventh class are rich second generation, living in most of the villas or high-end neighborhoods. Wang Libang's family is not quite the same. Living in the old city, a glance swept over most of the cottages, 70s and 80s style, but the environment is really good. This way green trees, fresh air, let Chen Chu have a kind of return to the feeling of childhood. Looking for a passerby asked. Soon Chen Chu came to the Wang family, a few bungalows built around a large courtyard. A glance swept over the two words, simple. In the middle of the courtyard, there is an old man sitting and listening to the radio. Chen Shu saw that it should be Grandma Wang, and hurriedly walked over. Grandma Wang heard the footsteps and hurriedly stopped the radio. Is it Mr. Chen? It was only then that Chen Shu realized that Grandma Wang seemed to have gone blind, and there were scars next to her right eye. Yes, yes, Grandma, you don't need to get up. Chen Shu hurriedly went over to support and smiled. I'm Wang Libang's homeroom teacher. Teacher Chen, quick, inside please. Grandma Wang's temperament was much brisker than Chen Chu had imagined. Pulling Chen Chu into the room, Chen Chu walked in and saw that the room was full of old photos, medals, awards and the like, and he couldn't help but stand in awe for a moment. Now the country's peace and prosperity. All is this generation of old revolution with life and blood to defend ah. Chapter 36, The Classroom Teacher. Grandma, there's no need to greet me. Seeing that Grandma Wang was still planning to pour herself some tea, Chen Chu hurriedly got up and said, I'll just do it myself. Okay, okay, ha ha, this blindness of mine is really in the way. Then teacher Chen will do it himself. Grandma Wang laughed, looking in good spirits. Grandma, at the risk of asking, what's with this eye injury of yours? This is a long story. I was a battlefield nurse at that time, and I was accidentally cut over by shrapnel. Injuring my nerves, I could still see a bit before, but now I can basically only see a shadow. Similar to being blind. Grandma Wang laughed and waved her hand. Let's not talk about this. Mr. Chen, how is my family Li Bang doing in school? Chen Shu was about to open his mouth to speak when suddenly Wang Li Bang's voice came from right outside the door. Why are you here? When Grandma Wang heard that it was Wang Li Bang's voice, she quickly said, Li Bang, why are you talking to your teacher? Wang Li Bang was staring coldly at Chen Shu, walked up and pulled Chen Shu outward. While pulling he said, Grandma, wait a moment, I'll go get something with my teacher. Oh, oh, hurry back. Chen Shu was pulled somewhat off guard. And Wang Libang's strength was really not small. In no time at all, Chen Shu was pulled out of the courtyard. And after finding a corner, Wang Libang glared at Chen Shu and said, How did you suddenly run to my house? As a class teacher, there doesn't seem to be anything wrong with me coming to a student's house for a home visit. Chen Shu asked rhetorically. Wang Libang's face sank. What did you say to my grandmother? Chen Shu's eyes narrowed. What are you afraid of? Surname Chen. I'm warning you. Wang Libang raised his hand and pointed at Chen Shu's nose. If you but dare to say anything about me at school in front of my grandmother, you won't be able to leave this door today. Chen Chu's face instantly grimaced. Wang Libang, I'm your teacher. Have you ever talked to your teacher like that? And threatened me. Chen Chu wasn't used to it at all, and said in a deep voice, apologize to me. Wang Libang that was purely a series of people being ruthless, suddenly raised his fist, making a gesture to hit someone. However, the next second, Chen Chu's aura changed and he turned sideways and lifted his waist and kicked Wang Libang in the face. A strong wind pounced on his face. Chen Shu's foot managed to stop in front of Wang Libang. Wang Libang's entire movement suddenly froze, not daring to move. Chen Shu maintained his posture, his voice icy cold. Apologize. Wang Libang steeply came back to his senses, and with a fist on the side of his head, he threw it over. TSK. Chen Shu quickly retracted his foot, pulled back, and just after dodging the punch was a bouncing leg kick. The tip of his foot directly kicked at Wang Libang's calf, accompanied by a miserable scream. Wang Libang covered his leg and fell to the ground, rolling from side to side in pain. Chen Chu frowned, still saying, apologize. Wang Libang was in pain and anger, and shouted furiously, surname Chen, I'm going to sue the school and say that you hit a student, remove you from your position. Chen Chu shrugged, go ahead and sue, do you think the school will believe you or me? I look so honest not as strong as you, it's more or less the same if you hit me. As soon as the words fell, Grandma Wang heard the commotion and came out in a hurry, shouting, what's going on? Grandma Wang, 
Nothing, nothing. Chen Chu's attitude changed. Immediately smilingly walked to the front of Grandma Wang to support. Wang Libang he accidentally fell just to fall. Wang Libang, are you alright? Wang Libang held back his anger and pain. Barely smiling, Grandma, I'm fine. It's good that you're fine. You said that this child of yours is usually adventurous. Grandma Wang scolded with a smile and went back into the house under Chen Chu's support. And as soon as she sat down, Grandma Wang again proceeded to ask, Teacher Chen, I heard Le Bang say that he is the class president in his class. Yes, yes, class president. Chen Chu smiled and responded, I personally ordered him. He usually performs very well. He also works very hard to advance in his studies. His classmates also like him very much. I came here this time specifically to praise him. Originally, Chen Chu was still a little angry. But once he saw Grandma Wang like this, he didn't say anything. After all, even the school has suppressed the news. Obviously already know the situation of the Wang family. Wang Lebang limped in, his eyes full of anger staring at Chen Chu. But once he heard that Chen Chu didn't reveal his past, his anger subsided a few points. Grandma Wang was in an even better mood once she heard that Wang Lebang was doing so well in school. Right, little mister. Chen hasn't eaten yet, right? Come, come, let's eat together. When Wang Lebang heard this, he hurriedly said, Grandma, our teacher, he still has things to do, just don't force yourself on him, don't, I'm done with my business, Grandma kindly invited me, so I'll respectfully comply. Wang Lebang immediately looked at Chun Chu with a stunned expression, crap, there is a homeroom teacher with your TM cheek so thick, chapter 37, am I complimenting you? The Wang family naturally hired a nanny to take care of Grandma Wang, and it didn't take long to buy food and come back to cook. Chen Shu asked about the previous story. Wang grandmother really did not take Chen Shu as an outsider. The nature of the original bright. What are said? Eating the meal when the mouth did not stop. Chen Shu was listening to the flavorful by the way to rub a meal. Wang Lebang on the other side of that is to see the gnashing of teeth. From time to time to rub the calf. Chen Shu that kick is not light. Has been a hidden pain. In the school Wang Lebang is a kind of person. Back home. In front of his grandmother. Instantly became extraordinarily well behaved. Chen Shu is still a little unclear how Wang Libang in the end do not learn, dabbled in so many vices. It is reasonable to say that family education is not a problem. Parents, although often not at home, but often call back. See Wang Libang's attitude towards his parents and there is no abnormality. Chen Shu that is also able to chat. Anyway, there is nothing to do. A wink of an eye or almost nine o'clock. Seeing that it was not early, Chen Shu said goodbye. Grandma Wang hurriedly asked Wang Libang to see her off. And when she reached the courtyard, Chen Shu pulled down his face again. Wang Libang, it's time to apologize. Wang Libang didn't have a good face either, and just stared at Chen Shu. Suddenly, Chen Shu moved his foot, scaring Wang Libang and hurriedly taking a few steps back. However, he saw Chen Shu bend over, patted his shoes, and looked at Wang Libang with a squint, still not apologizing, although the mimicry effect was overdone. Chen Shu still had the teacher's domineering demeanor. Wang Libang, this little guy, now Chen Shu was holding him to death. On what grounds? Grandma Wang. Chen Chu just opened his mouth. Wang Libang was anxious. Holy shit. Surname Chen. You are too despicable. Then do not apologize. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Your attitude is not sincere enough. Bow and apologize. Don't get too carried away. Grandma Wang. Wang Libang instantly made a bow. I'm sorry. I was wrong. That's more like it. Chen Chu waved his hand. You're forgiven for your previous rude behavior towards teacher me. Wang Lebang raised his head once, still looking like he was gnashing his teeth, as if Chen Shu did not see it. He continued, aside from apologizing, you may still owe me a favor. Hmm, I didn't tell your grandma about the rotten things you did at school, and have complimented you for half a day. Chen Shu said in a serious manner, this is against my original intention and beliefs as a people's teacher. Wang Lebang didn't eat this and coldly grunted, then how about this kick you gave me? That's not what you asked for, threatening and intimidating to hit a teacher. Only kicking you is considered good. You, you. Wang Lebang then remembered that the Chun Chu in front of him was a language teacher. Damn. Hit and cannot beat. Say and say. However, Chen Chu did not dwell on it. The words turned and asked. Strange. According to reason you should not be like this now ah. Uh, why don't you learn to be good? Wang Lebang was furious. Why didn't I learn? It's not because of their bad mouths. This counts for a bit. You smoke. Drink. Race cars. And fall in love early. Chen Shu froze, who are you in love with? On the contrary, Wang Libang eyes glared, you, how do you know? The others were just that. Chen Shu knew it wasn't strange, but the matter of him being in love had never been told to anyone at all. So how could Chen Shu know? 
You don't need to care how I know. Chen Shu hurriedly changed the topic. Then don't ask either. Wang Lebang did not have the good sense to say. And after hesitating for a moment, he suddenly asked again. Where did you learn fighting? I now seriously doubt that you are a teacher. Chen Shu grinned. Want to learn? Don't want to. Wang Lebang snorted coldly. I'm not a bunch of brainless guys like Zhou Feng and Wang Su. I won't eat your shit. Chen Chu shrugged. This little guy Wang Lebang still wasn't too good at subduing. But at the very least, he knew where this kid's weaknesses were. Alright, today's home visit ends here. Tell your grandmother that I'll come to visit when I have time. Your nanny's cooking is quite good. Wang Lebang's eyes glared. You, do you still want to be shameless? Come to my house to rub my nose in the food. Chen Chu blushed slightly and scratched his head. Looking a little shy. Put. I'm fucking complimenting you. Chen Shu also stopped teasing Wang Libang, laughed and turned around to leave. Wang Libang was getting angrier and angrier as he thought about it. And at the same time, he was also getting more and more confused. When the evening came, Wang Libang secretly made a phone call. Brother Gao, can you help me check on someone? Brother Gao on the other end of the phone quickly smiled and said, Yes, who are you looking for? His name is Chen Chu, senior class 7, the homeroom teacher of our class. Wang Libang said in a deep voice. I now seriously suspect that this person has problems. Okay, I'll let my colleague go and check. I'll give you the news in 10 minutes. Okay. This wasn't Wang Libang fooling around. He now truly suspected that Chun Shu had problems. Obviously is an ordinary teacher. Play well. Gameplay well are not too outrageous. But even have practiced martial arts bottom. And is not a general bottom. Out of the leg speed and ruthless. A move can be subdued him. This is just. There is no one who stipulates that teachers cannot practice martial arts. The most bizarre is that Chun Shu will know his early love thing. So he seriously suspected that Chun Shu in the investigation of tracking himself. If only so, things are naturally not so complicated. But the problem is Wang Lebang is very clear about what his own identity. The red generation. Family background. Which all strings down. Wang Lebang quickly associated with a few key words. Agents. Spies. Foreign forces. Chapter 38. Why are you cursing? Chen Shu may be that walking half a million dollars. In the morning, Gao called back. Very puzzled, nothing wrong ah. The old family is Green River. Grandfather teacher. Parents are also teachers. Small junior high and high school are on the Green River. The university admitted to the Jiangnan Normal University. Three generations of people's teachers. Said it is a teacher family are not too much. It is that there is nothing wrong is more problematic ah. Keep checking. Wang Libang said seriously. This person is definitely not that simple. TSK. Lu Bang Ah, stop fooling around. I'm still busy with my mission here. Let's just leave it at that. Bye. Wait. Before the words fell, the phone had already hung up. Wang Lebang skimmed his mouth without any goodwill. Big deal. I'll check it out myself. In a flash, it was the weekend. Chen Shu came to the gymnasium early in the morning according to the agreed upon time, only to hear the sound of people inside the gymnasium before he even went in, as if there were quite a few people. Walking in and taking a look. He realized that in addition to Zhou Feng and the others, there were 30 to 40 people, all wearing basketball jerseys practicing there, looking as if they were students from the first middle school. Teacher Chen is here. Someone exclaimed. In an instant, everyone's gazes converged on Chen Chu. Chen Chu probably guessed what was going on, and as soon as Zhou Feng came over, he asked. You called out? No. Zhou Feng shook his head then said. They came on their own, and I don't know where they found out that we practiced this morning. So they came in droves. All from our school. Although there was no teaching point output except for Zhou Feng and the others. But Chen Shu didn't care. Teaching one is teaching. Teaching a group is also teaching. Chen Shu gathered the people together and asked for the classes and names. The first to the third years of high school were all there. There were also a few students practicing physical fitness. Almost all of them looked at Chen Shu with excited and worshipful eyes. Most of them had been wanting to learn some ball skills from Chen Shu since they saw the video of Chen Shu playing. Now the entire Zheng Nan know. One middle school student's basketball circle had circulated a saying. The heavens did not give birth to me. Mr. Chen. The ancient ball path is like a long night. Chen Chu readily agreed. Only that there were so many people. He definitely couldn't call them over one by one. Calling over Zhou Feng's group. Let's split into 12 squads now. Zhou Feng. From now on. You'll be the captains. The crowd was fine with it. Now I'll assign the team members. Allocating the players was as simple as complimenting each other and it was done. Chen Shu took the ball to the court and had the crowd throw the ball separately. You're unsteady on the bottom. Go to Yang Tianyu's team and let Yang Tianyu teach you. Okay. Next. Unsteady dribbling. Go to Chao Yunjing's team. One after another. The teams were assigned. Chen Shu began to feel the fish on the sidelines after an hour of imitation time had passed. 
Too many students were prone to accidents, so he still had to keep an eye on them. It had to be said that Joe Fong, who had a talent for basketball, had indeed progressed quite quickly, and with his own love of the game combined with his comprehension, his previous shortcomings had already improved very significantly. If you really teach for three years, perhaps Joe Fong may really become a professional basketball player. However, first the academic performance had to keep up. Regardless of whether it was this group of physical training students or the rest of class 7, there had always been an aversion to studying hanging around. No amount of learning efficiency would be of any use, as it was simply impossible to learn. It was just that Chen Shu didn't have any means at the moment, so he would analyze and analyze after the teachers I was upgraded. Right at this moment, another small group of people came to the gymnasium, all of them big and thick, looking like students, only they were not wearing sportswear. Chen Shu thought it was his little fan again and was about to say hello and call people over, which thought that Zhou Feng's group who were teaching others suddenly stopped and greeted them. One look at the situation. Swords were drawn. Not right. Chen Chu's face sank a little. When not to come and wait for me to imitate skills before coming. If something happens now, he may not be able to control it. He hurriedly walked over. Zhou Feng pulled Yang Tianyu and the others and just met with the other party and said with a cold face, What are you doing? Looking for trouble? The leader of the other party was called Ling Dongsheng and he skimmed his lips and said, not looking for you. After saying that, he led the people towards Chen Chu. As soon as Chen Chu's steps stopped, Ling Dongsheng said, Mr. Chen, yes. Chen Chu was puzzled. Is there something wrong? Ling Dongsheng shrugged. Oh Yang Hao asked me to pass on a message. Hmm. Chen Chu frowned slightly. Tomorrow at 6 in the afternoon, the outdoor basketball court on New Street. 3 against 3, let you find anyone you want. If you don't show up, you'll have to bear the consequences. Ling Dongsheng paused for a moment. Those were his exact words. After saying that, Ling Dongsheng did not stay and led the others away. Chen Chu's eyes narrowed. What did the scum Ouyang Hao want? Zhou Feng and the others naturally heard it and hurriedly walked up and said, Old Chen, Ouyang Hao is trying to get back his offense. Probably. Yang Tianyu sneered and said, Old Chen, go. If you're afraid of him, count me in. I'll go with you. The other students who were practicing physical fitness also said that they would go together. Don't be a wimp, just do it. Chen Shu didn't dwell on it either. He knew that there was a tiger on the mountain. So he went towards it. Although he had already passed the time of his youthfulness. Oh Yang Hao was a scum with no bottom line. There was really no telling what tricks this guy would pull. As for those students who had just arrived. Once they heard that Chen Shu was going to play in a ball game tomorrow. They were all excited to go over and watch. The next day. 6 p.m. New Street Outdoor Basketball Court. Although there was only one court, it was already overcrowded. Bursts of exclamations of surprise erupted from within the crowd every now and then. At this moment, Chen Shu had just arrived in his uniform, while Zhou Feng and the others had already waited. There were quite a few people. Besides Zhou Feng, the students who had just arrived were all here as well. 40 to 50 people gathered in one piece, and the big and thick, gathering crowd momentum is not small. Penalty ah, there is a judgment. If it is not looking at a face tender, really alarmed the neighborhood patrol. Chen Shu glanced at the situation inside the stadium. It is true that Oh Yang Hao is playing on the field. The audience is really quite a lot. While walking towards the court, Zhou Feng said with a face full of excitement, Old Chen, you're on fire. Ah, uh, Chen Shu froze. Why am I on fire? Yang Tianyu hurriedly pointed to Oh Yang Hao's two teammates and said, Those two can be basketball netizens on Shake Shack. One is called Mudon. One is called Shen Fei Yang. Super strong, 10 million fans level super big netizens now. Chen Shu skimmed his mouth, dare to call for foreign aid to come. So many people are live streaming there, Zhou Feng joyfully said. Old Chen, if you win this match and show off your skills, it's going to be great. Right, right, Yang Tianyu continued, as long as you win, the fans will definitely want it all. At that time, you'll become an internet celebrity like Oh Yang Hao. Chen Shu frowned, hey, why are you cursing? Zhou Feng, Yang Tianyu? Chapter 39, High School Student? People were afraid of being famous and pigs were afraid of being strong. Although Chun Chu also had vanity, he was not at all interested in becoming an internet celebrity. Maybe it could make money, but it wasn't necessarily easy to make that money. Being good at it was cursed, and being bad at it was even more cursed. So, what's the point of wading through this mess? It's good to be a people's teacher quietly. Originally just walked to the side of the stadium Chun Chu instantly lost his mind to play skimmed his mouth and intended to leave, but this casual sweep, suddenly saw a familiar figure, only to see the side of the stadium there are a bunch of female teachers of the second middle school gathered, Lee is still in it, wearing a simple loose casual dress, tied a ponytail, or as usual quiet cute little lady, 
Naturally, she also saw Chun Chu, shyly and carefully waved her hand, did not have the heart to come over to say hello, hey, I'm not going, on weekdays, you can only chat with Li still, and it is quite difficult to see one side, Chen Shu had wanted to make an appointment to come out and meet, but Li still kept talking about teaching things and never talked about anything else, Chen Shu can't take too much initiative for fear of scaring her, this is a good opportunity now, then mustn't he perform well, right at this moment, Oh Yang Hao had already seen Chen Shu, without saying a word, he walked over to Chen Shu and laughed, alright, you've got some guts, let's fight, I'll accompany you if you want to fight, Chen Shu bristled, but there is a condition, what, don't let anyone don't broadcast live, and don't record videos, yes, no problem, Oh Yang Hao was quick to agree, well, it always felt like something wasn't quite right, Chen Shu couldn't help but mutter in his heart, when he saw that Ouyang Hao had already walked over and said a few words to Mudong and Xin Feiyang, and then the three of them told the audience to put their cell phones away, and as soon as they appeared to be basically the fans of the three of them, they were oddly obedient, and they all put their cell phones away, is he the one you were talking about? Xin Feiyang glanced at Chen Shu, who was not far away, with an odd expression, Mudong also came over and muttered, it doesn't look like he's much powerful, Ouyang Hao said with a straight face, don't underestimate him, all I can say is that in terms of single combat, both of you may not be his match, Shen Fei Yang, who was nearly 1 meter 9, froze for a moment, just him, Mudong was even more tigerish, his expression even more odd, because they hadn't seen Chun Chu actually play, it was normal for the duo to question it, and Oh Yang Hao didn't explain too much, whispering, you'll know later, Oh Yang Hao then said to the crowd that there was a small sparring session, while Chen Chu's side directly ordered Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu to go on the court with him. However, Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu were smiling bitterly, clearly a bit abashed. Old Chen, the two of us going on feels like we'll be dragging you down. That's Xin Fei Yang and Mudong, plus an Ouyang Hao, the two of us going up. Chen Chu was happy instead. When you came here, weren't you two usually quite arrogant? How come you're wimpy at this moment? Confident? Ah, no, I'm not confident. Then do you trust me? Of course I do. That's good. Chen Shu smiled faintly, wrapped his arm around the shoulders of the two, and said with a straight face, If I say you guys can do it, you can do it. Go. Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu glanced at each other and hurriedly followed Chen Shu. And when they entered the arena, Ouyang Hao glanced at Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu beside Chen Shu, and couldn't help but say, I remember that both of these two are students, right? Yeah, from our class. What's the problem? Ouyang Hao said in a conspiratorial manner. Are you sure you want two high school students to fight us? A single sentence instantly caused Zhou Feng to get very upset and sneered. It's enough to beat you. Ooh, the young man is quite arrogant. Oh Yang Hao shrugged. All right, let's start then. On the contrary, Mudong and Xin Feiyang looked even more odd when they saw Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu. Mudong then rushed to Chen Shu and said, Don't fight for the ball. The right to serve will be given to you first. Originally, Mudong looked at the high school students intended to give way. No other meaning but they were with Ouyang Hao's gang, immediately stimulated Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu's pride, Yang Tianyu skimmed his mouth, no need to give way to us, just fight for the ball, seeing the ungratefulness, Mu Dong shrugged his shoulders and was indifferent, a person came from outside the field to help throw the ball, and Shen Fei Yang, who was 1 meter 9, had already come to the inner circle, Chen Chu gave Zhou Feng a look, and Zhou Feng walked to the opposite side of Shen Fei Yang, ready to fight for the ball, as soon as the whistle blew, the ball was instantly thrown high into the air. Both of them jumped violently at the same time. Shen Fei Yang's height advantage is there. The first to touch the ball. But the next moment, Zhou Feng's hand also stretched out. Vigorously grabbed. In Shen Fei Yang caught off guard. The ball was grabbed down by Zhou Feng. And almost no hesitation. Zhou Feng grabbed the ball after the rapid breakthrough to the inside. Outside the stadium burst out a burst of shouts of surprise. Not to mention the off-court audience. Shen Fei Yang. Oh Yang Hao and Mudong were all stunned for a moment. Frozen in a moment. Zhou Feng is already single into the interior. Yang Tianyu help blocking. A left swing jump Zhou Feng has been on the basket. One handed grab the ball slammed down. Boom. A muffled sound. One handed foul shot. Basketball into the net. Take the first kill. Zhou Feng touched fists with Yang Tianyu as soon as he landed. Beautiful. Yang Tianyu grinned. Chun Shu came on his hind feet and grinned as well. Didn't teach for nothing. Outside the arena was already in a constant state of shock, with bullish crouches rising and falling. This was a 17-year-old high school student. Chapter 40, Silky Smooth. This was indeed killed by surprise. Originally the crowd's attention was on Chen Shu's body. Honestly did not really put Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu in the eyes. As a result, Zhou Feng came up with a violent dismount. Mudong looked at Zhou Feng, 
who was not far away. With a stunned expression, high school students nowadays are also outrageous. Shen Feiyan also felt outrageous. Oh Yang Hao said without a trace of anger. I told you guys not to be careless. Okay, okay, there's no need to get angry. Shen Feiyang patted Oh Yang Hao's shoulder. We're getting serious too. Shen Chu and the others proceeded to serve the ball. And this ball was passed to Yang Tianyu. Getting the ball. Yang Tianyu single-handedly went into the inner line as he did. Looking for a chance to break through. Only in the end. He was still a bit tender. And was defended to death by Mudong. Almost unable to move. Give me. Zhou Feng hurriedly went over to ask for the ball. Yang Tianyu just pulled the ball out. Zhou Feng jumped smoothly. Suddenly, a huge figure suddenly sprang up and slammed down with a palm. Cover. The whole stadium was in shock for a while. The two of them landed at the same time. Shen Fei Yang looked at Zhou Feng and then laughed, You're quite strong. I wouldn't dare to take you as a high school student. Zhou Feng skimmed his mouth, a bit upset. And with a twist of his head, he walked next to Chen Chu and said, Old Chen, I'm sorry. I was a bit hasty with that ball just now. It's fine. It's fine. Take your time. Chen Shu laughed softly. These are a group of experts. It's rare to have the opportunity to play with this group of experts. You should be celebrating, so that you will know where you are lacking and where you have an advantage. Yang Tianyu also walked over, his face a little less than favorable. All right, relax. Chen Shu patted the duo on the back. Feel free to play. Isn't there still me here? The duo nodded slightly and continued playing. Before long, the score came to 6-2. To Chen Shu was basically only responsible for passing the ball, basically letting Yang Tianyu and Zhou Feng cooperate in doubles. Oh Yang Hao, putting aside his identity as a scum, had really good ball skills. Mudong and Shen Fei Yang were even more so. It was rare to play with the experts. Chen Shu naturally wanted to properly give away the opportunity to sharpen Yang Tianyu and Zhou Feng more. Only the gap between experience and strength was still obvious. Although Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu were quite scrappy, in addition to the first kill at the beginning, they just barely took a point at the back. Oh Yang Hao's face just never looked too good. Since the beginning, Chen Shu hadn't made a move. And rather than playing, he was using them as Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu's chaperones. Mudong and Shen Fei Yang were not sure of Chen Shu's specific strength, so they did not think too much about it. At this moment, Oh Yang Hao walked up to them and said, We've been underestimated. This guy is using us as a sparring partner. He doesn't even put up a fight himself. Shen Fei Yang couldn't help but glance at Chen Shu a bit oddly. Just how powerful is this guy? It's gotten all this way for you? I think these two high school students are just pretty powerful. A little bit of inattention and they killed over. The duo obviously didn't put much stock in Chun Chu's matter. After all, originally, Oh Yang Hao had invited them over for a small ball game with no particular purpose. Don't relax. You too, Oh Yang Hao said anxiously. These two students are nothing at all. That guy is the real terror. Shen Fei Yang half joked. But I really don't see where he's powerful. To be tall without height. To be fit without fitness. Oh Yang Hao almost died of anger. His face instantly grimaced. I'm serious now. As soon as they saw that Oh Yang Hao was unhappy, Mudong and Shen Fei Yang hurriedly said seriously, Okay, listen to you, we will definitely go all out. Only then did Oh Yang Hao give up. As for Chen Chu, he originally felt that he could continue to let Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu practice for a little while longer, only to see that the two of them were gasping for breath and it was also 6 to 2, so he felt that it was almost time for him to make a move. Stealing a glance in Li Still's direction, even as Li Still stood there quietly, the more he looked, the better he looked. I don't know if it is the result of being single for too long. Well, perform well. Chen Shu's gaze steeply changed. It was the turn of Ou Yang Hao and the others to serve the ball. Shen Fei Yang had just passed the ball to Mudong, who was about to dribble and break through when Chen Shu stuck to the defense. Ou Yang Hao's face changed slightly and subconsciously shouted, Be careful. As soon as the words fell, Mudong suddenly felt a black shadow swish passed in front of him, and his hands were followed by an empty one. Crap. Mudong was startled. What the hell kind of divine speed is this? Almost instinctively, he turned around and ran towards Chen Chu, only to see that Chen Chu was already outside the three-point line and jumped up directly. Backward three-point jump shot, accompanied by a beautiful parabola. The basketball almost didn't stick to the basket and slipped in along the net. Swish, a hollow three. The pleasant sound of the goal sounded. The whole court was silent for a moment, and for the first time, a huge gasp erupted. Many people were wide-eyed and even more disbelieving. Chen Shu that speed even if the eyes can see. The body also pressure root reaction. More horrible is out of the three point line directly after the jump. The whole set of actions silky smooth. There is no any pause. Dove are not this silky smooth. Chapter 41 This is the homeroom teacher? The sight of the physical training students had already collectively cheered wildly. 
while those students who had just come in were also subjected to a strong visual impact when they saw the scene, and one by one, they couldn't help but follow suit. Mu Dong and Shen Fei Yan looked at each other in dismay, compared to the shock that Zhou Feng had brought them. What Chen Shu had brought with this sudden strike was already shocking. Oh Yang Hao's years of low blood pressure had been cured by Mu Dong. Glaring at Mu Dong, he exasperatedly said, I told you to be careful. Mu Dong smiled awkwardly, really, really can't react. Swish all don't know what shit passed. Scared me. Now you two believe it, right? Believe it, believe it. Really expert. And it's not an ordinary expert. Then don't get your spirits up. When it was Chin Chu's turn to serve the ball, Zhou Feng passed the ball to Chin Chu. But Mud Ong and Chin Fei Yang immediately pressed up one after the other, directly blocking Chun Chu's path. And Ou Yang Hao was even constantly filling in, interfering with Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu, preventing them from going for the ball. No matter which direction Chen Chu went, he was instantly suppressed. Chen Chu was not in a hurry, leisurely dribbling the ball and walking outside the three-point line. Ou oh Yang Hao was defending too by himself. How could he stand it? Not a moment later Zhou Feng jumped out. Chen Chu passed the ball out smoothly. Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu then cooperated to play, constantly passing the ball. Soon by Yang Tianyu a layup to get points. Chen Shu did not underestimate Mudong and Xin Fei Yang. These two people really if with him to fight with the defense. He even if he can enter the effort, but also easy to hurt. There is no need. It's not a fight to the death. Take it easy. Both sides for a time to play is back and forth. But ultimately is Chun Chu side slightly dominant. After all, staring at him too tight, Yang Tianyu and Zhou Feng is relatively loose. Zhou Feng is still playing a bit anxious. A series of Xin Fei Yang shot down several balls. In a flash, it was 8 to 7. One more point for Ouyang Hao's side is the match point. Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu were gasping for breath, sweating profusely, and were obviously exhausted. Playing against a master was much more tiring than playing the whole game. Chen Chu's side was fine. After all, he hadn't put up much of a fight and had only struck twice. Zhou Feng gasped for breath just as he said, Old, old Chen, the match point is coming up soon. Well, don't be in a hurry. Chen Chu looked relaxed and turned to Yang Tianyu again. Just cooperate. Good. The duo answered. Chen Shu had just gotten the ball. And Mud Ong and Chen Fei Yan were still defending one after the other. Not giving Chen Shu a chance. In the next second, Chen Shu immediately gave Zhou Feng a look. And with a slight side of his body, he suddenly exploded into speed. Dribbling the ball to break through. Mu Dong's face sank. His feet followed. But he saw Chen Shu's left hand turn downward. And the basketball swept directly from Mu Dong's crotch. Shit. Mud Ong cursed. There was no time to pull his body back, slightly slowed down a beat, and saw Chen Shu had already chased the ball towards Xin Fei Yang to meet up. When Xin Fei Yang subconsciously reached out to grab the ball, Chen Shu moved even faster and hit the ball with his left hand, smashing it directly towards the rim. Zhou Feng, Yang Tianyu hurriedly shouted. Zhou Feng was already up and ready to catch the air ball. Oh Yang Hao was already after him, jumping steeply. Zhou Feng's hand had just touched the ball when Oh Yang Hao knocked it out smashing into the side of the basket and falling out after a short pause. In an instant, everyone had come to the basket. Almost at the same time, everyone jumped to grab the rebound. One hand desperately reached toward the basketball, but almost kept at the same height. One breath, two breaths. Suddenly, a hand rose out of nowhere, fiercely killing a bloody path, as if breaking through the shackles, surpassing all the palms, grabbing the basketball, yanking it upwards, and violently dunking it into the basket. When everyone landed on the ground, accompanied by a clean and powerful sound of snapping, the ball had already landed on the ground. The gaze was slightly upward. Chen Shu grabbed the basketball frame with one hand and shook it before letting go, landing firmly on the ground. At this instant, the entire court was silent as a crow. Old Chen is bullish. Old Chen is bullish. The physical training students steeply erupted into roars, as if a bomb had been thrown inside the water. And in an instant, shouts of shock filled the sky. Mu Dong and Xin Fei Yang were already looking at Chen Shu with a wooden face. Where in the world did this speed, explosive power, and bouncing power come from God? Oh Yang Hao skimmed his mouth and snorted coldly. The side of the body training student has long been excited and thrilled. The passers-by on the side were also convinced by Chen Shu's outrageous to the extreme ball skills, and couldn't help but inquire up what kind of God Chen Shu is. Classmate, is this your school's physical education teacher? A practicing gymnast twisted his head and replied back. No. He's our homeroom teacher. He's our homeroom teacher. Teaching language. As soon as the words left his mouth, another practicing student followed and added. And now he also teaches geography at the same time. Passerby? WTF. This is the homeroom teacher. Or teaching language and geography? Chapter 42 Your family lives in Dunhuang. Right? Tied at 8 to 8. 
The right to serve was in the hands of Chen Chu and the others. Before Zhou Feng could serve, Ou Yang Hao had already arrived in front of Chen Chu, opening his hands in preparation for defense while coldly whispering, Chen Chu, is Li still your classmate? HM. Chen Chu's heart sank. Immovably asked for the ball from Zhou Feng's hand. Ou Yang Hao then laughed. I heard that you've been chatting quite happily with her recently. Chen Chu coldly glanced at Ou Yang Hao. Is your family from Dunhuang? So many murals? Chen Shu had felt something was not quite right when he first started coming. Ou oh, Yang Hao knew that he was no match for him in playing ball, but he still deliberately called him out to play a match. Chen Shu didn't believe that Ou oh, Yang Hao was coming to seek abuse for nothing. Now that Ou oh, Yang Hao opened his mouth, Chen Shu knew that this guy really did not have good intentions. Seeing Chen Shu open his mouth in response, Ou oh, Yang Hao first froze, realized that Chen Shu was cursing, sneered, and suddenly paused the match. Pause for a moment. I have something I want to announce. Ou oh, Yang Hao hurriedly shouted to the surrounding audience, and then quickly walked over towards Li Still's direction, until he reached Li Still's front, slightly smiling, and then shouted loudly in front of the public, Li Still, I like you. The whole place was silent for a moment, and then there was a loud uproar. Li Still stunned for a moment, then suddenly blushed and panicked, actually turned her head and ran away. Several female teachers of the second middle school looked at each other and hurriedly chased after her. Ou oh, Yang Hao saw the situation, laughed, also did not go to chase, but instead was back to the court. Once again came to the front of Chun Chu, quite some complacency looked at Chun Chu, whispered, this time I will be much more comfortable, you do not let me have a good time, I will not allow you to have a good time, all are male, I still do not know what is in your mind, you've heard of the saying that the nearer the water, the better the moon, right? Ou oh, Yang Hao grinned, next I will launch a crazy pursuit of Lee still, and so after chasing to the hand, play tired of me to throw, tsk, anyway, I definitely want to preempt, and you, are just a spare tire, not even even a spare tire can not be counted, not even you are my receiver is not good to say it, looking at Chun Chu's silent look, oh Yang how hard not to mention how painful, before Chun Chu ruined his live broadcast in future, how could he easily let go of Chun Chu, just bitterly unable to find the opportunity, a chance to learn from the female teacher's mouth Chun Chu and Li still is not only classmates, and recently talked quite happy, our men, Oh Yang Hao Hao do not know Chun Shu is certainly interesting to Li Still. Today set up such a bureau. Playing basketball is only the second. The real purpose is to discuss Chun Shu. Provoke him a little. To be honest, Oh Yang Hao was ready to be beaten. And didn't even think about fighting back. Beating up a fellow colleague outside of school. And then utilizing his fans to hype him up a bit. How could he solve his hatred without forcing Chun Shu to the brink of desperation? Oh Yang Hao's plan was very loud. And, indeed, Chen Shu was disgusted. Chen Chu's heart is now also on fire. Oh Yang how this kind of scum is really no lower limit of existence. Even Li still involved. This is all bullied to this. Then I do not need to leave you any so-called decency. Right? Chen Chu hefted the ball and casually threw it out. Swish. Three points into the net. Another empty center. When the crowd erupted into a burst of cheers, Chen Chu swept a cold glance towards Oh Yang Hao. Oh Yang Hao's pupils contracted violently. As if the whole person was plunged into endless darkness. Only Chen Chu's pair of ice cold eyes were watching himself. An inexplicable feeling of fear kept surging out from his heart. And at the same time, countless images of memories kept flashing through Ou Yang Hao's mind, making Ou Yang Hao fidgety and gradually lower his head. Amidst the violent cheers, Chen Chu's voice was exceptionally clear. Ou Yang Hao, scum like you have done so many rotten things, are you not even a little bit ashamed? How could you be so despicable and shameless? With no bottom line, your parents raised you through thick and thin to let you be an honorable man, but you've lived like this dog, can you stand up to your parents, word by word, like a sharp sword, directly stabbed into Ou Yang Hao's heart, Chen Chu was indifferent, Ou Yang Hao intentionally disgusted himself, surely thinking that he would beat himself up in public, forcing himself to go out of his way after making a big deal out of it, and could only resign and leave, only, Ou Yang Hao obviously didn't realize what kind of character he had actually messed with, people don't offend me, I don't open my mouth, if people offend me, I will open my mouth. Epic education skills. Open. Give me a cry. Today is your big social death scene. Awe and reflection affect a piece of superimposed up. To change the usual, Chen Shu certainly want to comfort some. Lest break through the other side of the psychological defense. Beyond the mental capacity and lead to emotional collapse. But in the face of Ou oh Yang how this kind of person. Chen Shu said this can be as heavy as it is heavy. Anyway, in a state of awe, Ou oh Yang how couldn't even talk back. Chen Shu's mouth was like a sharp sword, and he cursed in Ou Yang Hao's ear. Bai Yi Du can not search for you. Search dog can search for you okay? Are you ashamed? Your father and your mother that a few minutes to do what is not good. 
have to pull out of you such a piece of shit? Chapter 43, One's Own People, Don't Open Your Mouth. Accompanied by the emotion of shame that kept pouring out from the state of reflection, self-correction of mistakes, coupled with Chun Chu's humiliation that poked at his heart, Oh Yang Hao's psychological line of defense was constantly collapsing. Suddenly, Oh Yang Hao's knees suddenly went soft and he fell to the ground. I, I, Oh Yang Hao's voice began to choke. Chen Chu's voice was like a demon whispering in Oh Yang Hao's ears. Go and admit your mistake. Go and admit your mistake to all the people you have hurt. Tell them what you have done. At this moment, Oh Yang Hao's psychological defense was completely breached. Suddenly, he cried out. I was wrong. I was wrong. Chen Chu hurriedly put on a frightened look and hurriedly took a few steps back, looking at Oh Yang Hao with an odd expression. Oh Yang Hao slumped to the ground and cried out in pain while pounding the ground. For a while, the whole scene was dumbfounded. Shin Feiyang and Mudong thought something had happened and hurried over. What's wrong with you? Did you hurt somewhere? Which thought Oh Yang Hao pulled Shin Feiyang's thigh as soon as he could, crying hysterically. I was wrong. I'm really not a person. Ah, this. Shin Feiyang was confused for a moment. How could I do such a thing? I've knocked up several women before and forced them to have abortions. I'm really not a person. The whole room was openly shocked. I also thought about playing with our leaders, even using them as my tools. Several female leaders' faces pulled down at once. Oh Yang Hao spat out all of his rotten things as he did so. Anyway, after tonight, Oh Yang Hao does not say that the body is broken. Anyway, John Nan is certainly not stay down. At that time, even if he went to explain, he was afraid that he would not be able to wash away even if he jumped into the Yellow River. Chen Chu skimmed his mouth, did not feel Oh Yang Hao pitiful at all. He waved and hurriedly withdrew with Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu. Many passers-by were puzzled and thought that Oh Yang Hao had a mental illness or something like that. Instead, it was the crowds that were all looking at each other in horror. Because Chen Chu was able to make Li Yi Yang cry with a mouthful of words before. Just now, Chen Chu definitely said something to Oh Yang Hao. And Oh Yang Hao became the way he is now. Especially Zhou Feng, seeing this image again, felt even more shocked. Not a moment later, Chen Chu left the stadium with Zhou Feng and the others. And the crowd looked at each other with their heads buzzing. I. Chen Chu just opened his mouth, scaring Yang Tianyu, Chao Yunjing and the others who subconsciously all covered their ears. Zhou Feng was also scared and hurriedly retreated a few steps. Old Chen, shut up, one of our own, we'll listen to you and everything from now on, you must not let us become like Oh Yang Hao. Many people panicked, who didn't have some rotten things, if this was said out in public, then it was really no face to live. About the fact that Oh Yang Hao has started to be evil, Chen Chu cried and laughed and hurriedly said, I didn't do anything, you guys don't talk nonsense either, it's just that Oh Yang Hao had a brain problem and suddenly cried out, well, the epic education technique was indeed too evil, this was the first time Chun Chu had used it like this, and the effect was also unexpectedly terrifying, the crowd had their own expressions of disbelief, last time, Li Yi Yang was made to cry by you like this, forget it, forget it, you guys love to believe it or not, Chen Chu pretended to have a hopeless expression and let Zhou Feng and the others go home, as soon as Zhou Feng and the others left, Chen Chu originally wanted to go finally still, but after thinking about it, he still gave up. At this moment, he went to look for Li Still what is the matter, not to mention that he really did not know what Li Still's attitude towards Ou Yang Hao. After all, he knew that Ou Yang Hao was a scum, but this guy usually maintains a persona that is sunny, enthusiastic and handsome people. At the very least, he had to wait for Ou Yang Hao to completely die before contacting him. Thinking about it, Chen Chu finally came back. However, what Chen Shu did not expect is that Oh Yang Hao did die the next day, and even spread throughout Jiangnan, because last night, the girls collectively complained, and even took out the video recorded as evidence. Just entering the office, many people were talking about Oh Yang Hao, really can't see it, this Oh Yang Hao is actually a scum, it's so disgusting, it's just that I'm wondering how he could give these things up on his own, mentally challenged, right? Who knows, anyway. The impact was so bad that this morning the higher-ups issued a document to thoroughly investigate Oh Yang Hao. Oh Yang Hao was arrested this morning. Hearing this result, Chen Chu could not help but feel a little worried again. Oh Yang Hao surely knows his own hands and feet. Things to this point, coupled with Oh Yang Hao as a bottomless scum, really afraid of this guy to make what overreaching behavior. Pull their own death is not impossible thing ah. The Mateo still have to Mateo. Chen Chu immediately decided to kill these next days will not go out. Thinking. Chen Shu also hurriedly took out his cell phone and sent a message to Li Still, in the recent period of time, no matter what happens, you don't go out, after a long time, Li Still replied back, why, Oh Yang Hao is mentally abnormal, and he confessed to you again, so there's no chance he'll set his sights on you and pull you down with him, Chen Shu continued, pay attention to safety, Li Still sent a scared emoji over, 
I know. Chapter 44 Teacher Pagoda. Although Oh Yang Hao went in, but this guy is hovering on the edge of morality and law, will be sentenced to prison that cannot be said. But as long as stay in the school that is basically safe, Oh Yang Hao bold again also dare not come to the school inside trouble. Now the daily output of teaching points are still quite average. Probably still need about 10 days of effort to be able to get together the intermediate teachers I required teaching points. Can only be endured without the lottery? The front belongs to the horror plot. Poison resistance is not enough to point the way 59. Instead, the daily sign-in rewards gave Chun Chu a big surprise. Early this morning, the cumulative sign-in 10 times rewarded the special props, Teacher's Pagoda. Teacher's Pagoda can be challenged once a week. Will generate a random copy? After entering the real time will be suspended. According to the copy of the evaluation of the rewards, note that once the death will be directly out of the copy and cannot get any rewards. Chen Chu's eyes glazed over. He would still die. System, this won't be life-threatening, right? No. What the teacher's pagoda generates is only the host's body of consciousness. Death will not cause substantial harm to the host, but it will cause a certain amount of mental stimulation to the host. So please try to avoid death as much as possible. Having received the system's affirmation, Chen Shu was relieved. Reality time would be suspended anyway, so there shouldn't be any effects. With this thought, Chen Shu immediately opened the teacher's pagoda. Attention! Once you have entered the copy, the host will not be able to leave the copy on their own accord, and will only be able to leave after clearing the copy or dying. Is it entered? Yes. In the next moment, Chen Shu only felt a blackness in front of his eyes, and in the next second, there was a gust of cloudy wind in his ears, and for no reason at all, he felt a cold chill. As soon as he opened his eyes, what came into his eyes was the dimly lit hallway. The walls were even painted with all sorts of bizarre red drawings, and everywhere was a dilapidated scene, staring Chun Chu with a jolt, and data then appeared in his mind. Copy, love letter. Introduction, this used to be a school that was closed down and deserted for many years due to a whole class jumping off a building in mass. Please gather clues to investigate the truth of the matter. Difficulty extremely difficult. Survival rate 12%. Reward reward will be given depending on the evaluation of the copy clearance. The reward is based on the evaluation of the replica. A pass evaluation A. Random A level items, skills, potions and other rewards. Pass evaluation S. Random S level items, skills, potions and other rewards. Pass evaluation SS. Random SS level items, skills, potions and other rewards. The evaluation of SS. Random SS level items, skills, potions and other rewards. Chen Shu couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. Survival rate of 12%. Although Chen Shu's heart was quite strong, and he had seen many horror movies, but when he really came to this kind of environment, he was instantly a bit abashed. It's similar to a horror movie. There must be ghosts. Otherwise how could the survival rate be so low? Strongly suppressed the inner panic. Chen Shu looked around, looking at the eerie building on the shivering, vaguely glimpsed next to the classroom inside the situation. Desks and chairs and benches have been dismantled all over the ground, and the walls are also a variety of bizarre red graffiti. I do not know whether it is painted or blood. Although it was said that he wanted to exit the copy, once he thought about the fact that he had to die in order to exit, Chen Shu gave up. Even though he was now a conscious body, he was no different from a real person. Suicide would be a great psychological shadow and burden on him. Calm down, calm down. After taking a deep breath, Chen Shu was able to stabilize his mind and calmly analyze the information that he currently possessed. First of all, the name of the copy was the love letter, which was a clue and possibly the lead fire cause of the entire copy. The second thing was the synopsis of the copy, which mentioned a class jumping off a building in mass. Well, first of all one has to determine which class this class is and then look for clues. Then naturally, one had to find the teacher's office first. There would definitely be information there. Chen Shu summoned up his courage, and with his guts, he began to walk around the building. Every step Chen Shu took was with caution, constantly observing the surrounding. Just as Chun Shu had just passed by the door of a classroom, all of a sudden, a piercing sound came from inside the classroom. Chen Shu's body stiffened, and subconsciously glanced at it, just to see a boy with a crooked head was dragging his hands across the floor on his desk. The angle at which that head was tilted was just thievishly weird. It was almost a 90 degree angle. Cam. Chen Shu was so scared that his mouth went dry and he couldn't even speak. Watching a horror movie and seeing it with his own eyes are really two different things. Seemingly sensing Chun Shu's gaze. The boy with the crooked head suddenly stopped moving. Crunch crunch crunch. A bizarre sound came from between his neck. And that head that had been crooked 90 degrees began to twist over in Chen Shu's direction. Crouch groove groove groove. Chen Shu subconsciously just wanted to hurry up and run. But he could not move his legs at all. Crunch crunch crunch. 
Seeing that the crooked head of the boys is about to look over in their direction, Chen Chu instantly a jolt, violently raised his hand and pointed at the crooked head of the boys yelled, What do you look at? Give me to turn back, teacher bullying. Accompanied by the rapid loss of physical strength, the boy with the crooked head's movements abruptly froze. The next moment the neck crunched and slowly twisted his head back. Who told you to drag the table and scare people? Let go and stand still for me. The crooked-headed boy didn't resist in any way. His hands were on his pants legs as soon as he let go, and he honestly stood still. Chapter 45 Clues Oh, my god, almost didn't scare me to death. Seeing that crooked-headed boy already standing honestly, Chen Chu's taut nerves only slightly relaxed a few points. Just now, he was also scared and didn't know what to do, so he instinctively used his teacher's overbearing chi. I didn't expect it to work, obviously. Teacher's hegemony was only useful for the students of the seventh class. It seemed that this restriction seemed to be eliminated inside the copy, since he wasn't too sure. Chen Shu tried using teacher's eye on the crooked-headed student. Name, Su Tianhao. Gender, male. Age, 35, 15 at birth. Status, aversion to learning. Awe, lasts for one hour. Vices, ignored. Talent, none. Learning efficiency, minus 147%. Comprehensive evaluation, F don't even want to give it. School slag fighter. Chen Chu? How could it be Su Tianhao? Chen Chu was instantly confused. System? What's going on? However, the system did not respond in any way. Chen Chu shouted several times in a row to no avail, as if the system would not give any hints after entering the copy. Wait a moment. So, Chen Chu's eyes glared as he hurriedly swept out of the building. Although he couldn't see too clearly because of the dim lighting, Chen Chu soon recognized that the location where the copy was located should be the Jiangnan First High School. This made Chen Chu's fear instantly decrease by a few points. At least the environment was familiar to him. Moreover, it is extremely likely that the one that the whole class jumped from the building is a student of the seventh class. No, specifically, it was the seventh class inside the copy. At this moment, looking at the crooked headed boy, Su Tianhao again, Chen Chu instantly hardened a few points. Let's see if you're ashamed, dead for 20 years or a school slag fighter. Turn your head right for me. How dare you hang around in front of me? Su Tianhao froze for a moment, slowly stretched out his hands to hold his head, and twisted his head back with another crunching sound. Can you talk? Su Tianhao didn't have any response. Forget it, I'm asking you to answer. Nod your head if it's yes. Shake your head if it's no. Su Tianhao subconsciously nodded his head. Chen Shu didn't know what Su Tianhao looked like right now, and he wasn't interested in letting Su Tianhao turn his head to take a look, so he simply turned his back to Su Tianhao and asked, The one who jumped off the building is class 7? Su Tianhao nodded. This now confirmed Chen Chu's suspicion. All dead? Su Tianhao nodded again. Good lord. Not a single living soul left. Teacher am I handsome? Su Tianhao's movements froze. Just kidding. Liven up the atmosphere. Chen Chu coughed and thought for a moment before saying. Someone forced you guys to jump off a building? Su Tianhao's body froze once again. And immediately following that, a mournful scream was emitted from the inside of his mouth. Frightened. Chen Chu's face changed. What's wrong? Suddenly, Su Tianhao's body fell apart and exploded with a muffled boom. Chen Shu managed to escape from inside the classroom with great difficulty. His body was covered in blood. The strong smell of blood caused Chen Shu to constantly dry heave, completely unable to accept such a horrifying picture. The sound of Chen Shu's vomiting continuously came from the hallway. I don't know how long it took, but Chen Shu held onto the wall before he barely managed to come to his senses, panting heavily. This copy was also too damn challenging the mental limits. Chen Shu couldn't help but curse and his face became even more unsightly as he recalled the images from just now. He wasn't sure if this was a copy mechanism or if there was a mastermind behind the killing of Su Tianhao, and it was obvious that trying to drill through the loopholes to get clues wasn't that easy. I'm afraid that getting clues from the mouths of the students would not work, and the only way to find it would be to look for it himself. Chen Shu grimaced and rushed to the teacher's office. Perhaps it was because the previous teacher's domineering aura had an effect. This journey was quite smooth, pushing open the door of the already dilapidated office. There were dusty servants everywhere, and after taking a look, the entire office was also already in a state of disrepair, with all sorts of books and materials scattered all over the place, and there were countless bloody handprints on the walls. Fortunately, after experiencing such a series of shocks, Chen Chu's ability to withstand them had been much stronger. Chen Chu gestured and roughly determined where he was in the office. After walking over and rummaging around for a few moments, he was able to find the folder of the student handbook, and after picking it up and taking a look at it, Chen Chu's complexion became a little bizarre. The handwriting on it was written by himself. Chen Chu's eyes narrowed slightly. That would mean that he had actually experienced all of this. 
then what kind of role did he play in it? Flipping through the student handbook, there wasn't much difference between it and the inside of reality, until he flipped to the end of the handbook, and suddenly a pink envelope fell out, with a love heart drawn on it, obtained the clue, love letter, note, the original has been taken as evidence, this is a duplicate copy version, Chen Shu frowned and hurriedly opened it, the handwriting was very clear, it should have been written by a girl, while the content was very short, I like you, tonight at 8 o'clock, meet at the small garden on the roof, don't see you, there was no signature or object, confusing Chen Chu, is this written by a student to a student, or is this written by a student to me, studying the handwriting for a moment, Chen Chu did not know who wrote it, but already had a general range, there were only a few girls in class 7 who had good looking writing, all the others wrote like chicken claws, Xiu Yu, Zhuang Rou, Deng Sijia and Tian Xiao, TSK, saying it's written to me is a bit outrageous ah, Chen Shu scratched his head, his expression as odd as it needed to be, these little girls are all face controllers by definition, and I can't talk about any handsome guys, so it shouldn't be written to me, right, but Chen Shu didn't dare to be sure, so the only way was to go and see what was going on in person, glancing at his watch, 748, just in time, without much thought, Chen Shu took the envelope and headed for the small garden on the roof of the building, chapter 46, you absolutely intend to spit, the roof of the first middle school does have a small garden, and get quite good, usually after class time we'll often have students go up to skate, and the school also invited a special person to take care of, just wait for Chen Shu arrived, this so called small garden is already overgrown with weeds, a broken, more bizarre is the moon overhead or shrouded in dark clouds, look around, the school around the foggy piece, nothing can be seen, scanning the time, 7.56, there were still 4 minutes to go, it would be strange for Chen Shu not to be nervous, and subconsciously felt in his pocket before remembering that he had brought his cell phone, taking out his cell phone and taking a look, the signal was directly gone, after hesitating for a moment, Chen Shu clicked on the music player, scanning through the catalog, a good day, congratulations on your fortune, good luck, clearly a draw war song, however it didn't do much good and didn't stack luck buffs on itself, but it did manage to wash away a bit of the fear for the moment, accompanied by a festive melody, the song good luck come resounded throughout the small garden on the roof, good luck comes good luck comes, good luck brings joy and love, good luck to us good luck to us, welcome good luck and prosperity to the four seas, fold a thousand paper cranes and tie a red sash, at this moment, the sense of fear has dropped by an unknown amount, as if everything around has become festive, decidedly single song loop, however, when the time came to eight o'clock, the music came to an abrupt end, Chen Shu's face changed, and even his cell phone automatically turned off the screen, immediately afterward, the sound of footsteps came from behind him, who, Chen Chu shouted, and no one responded, the sound of footsteps, however, became clearer and clearer, Chen Chu's eyes narrowed slightly, and without any hesitation, he decisively used his teacher hegemony, after a period of exercise, his current physical strength was enough to unleash his teacher hegemony three times, stop, don't move, as soon as the words fell, the sound of footsteps behind him really stopped, and it was already certain that it was a student from class 7. However, Chen Chu didn't think of twisting his head over to look. Anyway, that face was definitely miserable. The kind that would give him nightmares if he looked at it. Go, stand there at the pillar. Stand back. Chen Chu decisively pointed to a small garden pillar beside him. The sound of footsteps followed, walking in the direction of the pillar. In the middle of the day, when the footsteps stopped, Chen Shu glanced over and saw a blood shimmering figure standing behind the pillar before he sighed in relief, immediately utilizing the teacher's eye to take a look. Name, Tian Shao. Gender, female. Age, 35, 15 at birth. Status, aversion to learning. Ah, lasts one hour. Vices, ignored. Talent, none. Learning efficiency, minus 114%. Comprehensive evaluation, F. Chen Shu froze, not thinking that it was Tian Shao because the class inside the small girls generally face value are quite high, and Tian Xiao is one of the best, and from Zhou Feng there Chen Shu also know Tian Xiao but there are a lot of suitors, and Tian Xiao himself is still the kind of arrogance full of arrogance temper, taking the initiative to confess was simply not Tian Xiao's nature, Chen Shu frowned and opened his mouth to ask, I ask and you answer, not if it's yes, shake your head if it's no, Tian Xiao, did you write the love letter, Tian Xiao behind the pillar nodded, it was how that bloody figure looked creepy, you turn on the music on my cell phone first. The cell phone screen lit up and the music started again. Good luck come good luck come. Chen Shu slightly turned down the sound. Well, that's much better. Chen Shu paused and slightly misplaced his eyes. You wrote that for me. Tian Shao nodded once again. 
Chen Chu instantly couldn't help but hold his forehead. Although teacher I know that I myself am jade-like and dashing, but you can't like teacher ah, put. Tian Shao suddenly spat blood onto the ground. Chen Chu's face darkened. Did you just mean to spit? Tian Shao shook his head. You definitely intended to spit. Good fellow. He's been dead for 20 years and still wants to go against his teacher. His temperament hasn't changed at all. Chen Shu skimmed his mouth and did not continue to ask. He had probably guessed what was going on, but had only partially clarified his thoughts. Continuing to ask next would easily involve sensitive topics. It was also possible for Tian Shao to blow himself up. Chen Shu ran through his thoughts and decided to change his approach. Is there anything you want to say? Tian Shao hesitated for a long time and suddenly stretched out his hand, seemingly clutching something inside his palm. At this moment, Chen Shu was not afraid that Tian Shao would mess with himself, and hurriedly walked over and stretched out his hand to catch it. A bloodstained button fell onto Chen Shu's palm. Obtained clue, button. When the button landed on Chen Shu's palm, the Tian Shao in front of him suddenly disappeared without a trace. Chen Shu hurriedly looked at the button in his hand, and his expression became even more odd. It was a metal button with a pattern on it. However, all of Chen Shu's clothes did not have metal buttons, they were all plastic buttons. This was definitely not something from his own clothes. Then he would have to find the owner of the button before he could continue with his next deduction. Chen Chu immediately had a thought and immediately went downstairs, heading straight for the teacher's office. After a period of rummaging, Chen Chu soon found a picture frame. On it was the school assembly that was held when Chen Chu joined the school, a group photo of all the teachers of the first middle school. Only because it was too far back in time, the photo had already yellowed. Sure enough, Chapter 47, Helping Hand. Borrowing the light from the flashlight put out by the cell phone, Chen Chu quickly discovered the existence of the button. This was the formal dress button that the school issued to the teachers, Chen Chu, because he was a trainee teacher. It was simply not yet his turn to issue formal dress. Su Tianhao and Tian Xiao were both 15 years old when they died, and this year, they definitely did not turn themselves, and even if they did, if they wanted to get the school's free customized formal wear, they would have to apply for a half a year at the very least. Internship teachers can basically be ruled out. Female teachers are also impossible. That only leaves the male teachers. The male teachers of the second and third years of high school can also be ruled out. Will not have any connection with the seventh class of the first year of high school. Then only the male teachers of the first year of high school are left. Chun Chu quickly pointed out with his finger. Zhang Ming Yuan, Qin Ming these teachers Chun Chu recognized. After all, they were in the same office. There were a total of three offices in the first year of high school and 27 male teachers. The range was still quite large. There was no way to determine the owner of the button. Going to grab a student to ask? Chen Shu frowned and still gave up on this intention. His current stamina was already mostly depleted, and he could only use his teacher's overpowering chi once. Moreover, the students did not necessarily know, and if they knew, they would definitely blow themselves up as well. The clues seemed to be broken all of a sudden. Chen Shu frowned. He was actually not familiar with any of the male teachers in the first year of high school, and basically had not dealt with them much. No, I have to think differently at this moment. Assuming that the buttons of my formal dress were ripped off, what would I do? Chen Chu's heart rejoiced, and he instantly found a thought. Either I would patch one up myself, or I would go to the logistics office and apply for a replacement button. There are no spare buttons for formal wear, so I can only go to the logistics office. Yes, the logistics office will definitely have a registration. Chen Shu got up with a huff and immediately went downstairs to prepare to go to the logistics office. It was just that as soon as this went out of the office door, a gust of cloudy wind blew up for no reason. The entire hallway was suddenly silent, and wherever his eyes went, a single head poked out from inside the classrooms everywhere, frightening Chen Shu into the teacher's office without saying a word. It seems like I had the right idea. All of a sudden the difficulty suddenly increased, but there's nothing strange in the teacher's office right now. Well, it should be something like a safe zone but I can't stay stuck here forever. I don't want to be killed alive by thirst or starvation. The teacher's overlord aura definitely can't be used next, or else I won't be able to hold on at all later on, and the epic educational skills and mimicry should definitely be kept as a base card. Who knows what else will be there later on. Chen Shu's mind moved as he carefully pushed open the office door again, poked his head out and shouted at the top of his lungs, Student Tian Shao, come to the office door. Teacher is looking for you for something. As soon as the words fell, Chen Shu only felt a black shadow blur before his eyes, and a bloody figure appeared in front of him, cloaked in hair, vaguely able to see that his entire face was already a blur. Turn around, turn around. Tian Shao slowly turned around, looking exceptionally well behaved. Chen Shu glanced at the time, 8.32. There were still 28 minutes left for the awe effect. Go with teacher to the logistics office. Well, 
If anyone comes to find me in trouble, you clean it up. Tian Shao subconsciously nodded. Only then did Chen Chu breathe a sigh of relief and hurriedly followed behind Tian Shao, carefully walking out. As expected, as soon as Tian Shao came out, all those weird heads poking out inside the classroom disappeared without a trace. After all, as far as the current situation was concerned, Tian Shao should be the most crucial existence in the replica, and he was able to control the cell phone with his mind power, so his combat power was definitely not weak. That guy Su Tianhao would only be able to drag the table to scare people, it wasn't even in the same class. Good luck come good luck come. Chen Chu proceeded to play music. The two figures, one after the other, finally made their way down the stairs, heading in the direction of the logistics office. After almost 10 minutes of walking, they arrived at the logistics office. Student Tian Shao, guard the doorway while teacher goes in to take a look. Chen Shu hurriedly pushed open the broken door of the logistics office, which was also in disarray, all strewn about. Good guy, isn't this increasing my workload? Ah, Tian Shao student, can you help the teacher find the logistic records? Tian Shao hesitated for a moment, and immediately afterward, everything inside the entire logistics office flew up, and a moment later, Ten or so thick logistical record registration forms flew to Chen Shu's front. Mom yeah, I'm really a fucking talent. Chen Shu hurriedly took over the logistic record registration form and hurriedly looked through it. The work of the logistics office was still very meticulous. Chen Shu immediately swept over from the last date, only to see if there was any registration for button mending. This shook his eyes for another 10 or so minutes, and finally a name came into view. Chi Chao, registered to mend buttons and was also a senior teacher. Obtained clue, logistics registration form, has gathered three clues, congratulations to the host to complete the first stage of the copy and survived, the current system evaluation is A, the next host can choose to exit the copy to receive rewards, but also can choose to continue to carry out the copy, to complete a higher evaluation, restore the truth, but at the same time, the difficulty will be greatly increased, and all rewards will disappear after death, chapter 48, I've died too unjustly, this is only the first stage, Chen Shu looked odd. In terms of the clues so far, Chen Shu had probably gotten a glimpse of the truth. However, his deduction did not necessarily stand up. Moreover, the system's evaluation was only A, which meant that he had not actually learned the truth. Not to mention the issue of rewards. He always felt sorry for leaving just like that, and his heart didn't feel right. Not to mention the fact that he still had life preservation skills now. He could totally put up a fight for an S-rank reward. It seems like I don't have any salted fish genes in my bones ah. Chen Shu let out a bitter laugh. Continue the challenge. The system also ran out of beeps, and the Tian Shao in front of him only had 8 minutes of awe effect left, so once the time was up, he would either leave or backhand himself. But as far as the current situation was concerned, Tian Zhao's strength should be the strongest. Not having much hesitation, Chen Shu decisively used his epic education technique on Tian Shao, directly attaching a 24-hour state of awe and reflection. As a result, before Chen Shu even opened his mouth, he saw Tian Zhao's shoulders shrug, as if he had already begun to develop a sense of guilt. Chen Shu cried and laughed. You've been dead for 20 years so don't reflect on it. What's the point? Chen Shu didn't know how to comfort. The first time I comforted a ghost, I don't know how to comfort it. Normally university doesn't have this kind of psychology course either. Mr. Tian Shao. Well, teacher, let's play a song for you. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck brings joy and love. Tian Zhao's body froze at once. Just, Chen Shu also didn't know if Tian Zhao's mood was complicated right now. Anyway, he was quite complicated. Although he had already found the logistical registration form and determined Shi Chao's existence, the love letter was clipped inside his student handbook. So, Shi Chao was afraid of checking on him. So he stuffed the love letter back inside my student handbook and planted it? Damn, can't this dog Shi Chao be a human being? So, after going around in circles, the clues came back to himself instead. Then, there was only one place to go next, Director Sun's office. After such a big event, it's impossible to hide. The school will definitely have a document issued. Taking Tian Xiao with him, Chen Shu hurriedly went to Director Sun's office. Naturally, it was a familiar route, but Director Sun's office was also a mess. Tian Xiao student, please look for the documents issued by the school. Thank you. Inside the office, documents were flying around and in no time Chun Chu had a thick pile of them in front of him. It was really convenient to have Tian Shao following him to look for things. It didn't take long for Chen Shu to finally find a few relevant documents. August 13th, Tian Shao falls off the building. All teachers, staff and students cooperate with the investigation on that day, and the school is closed. August 14th, the whole school notice, senior class 7 class teacher Chun Chu accepted the investigation. 
Class 7 suspended. Seeing here, Chen Chu's face could not help but become ugly. It seemed that this Chi Chao fellow had succeeded in planting evidence. August 15th. The entire school was urgently suspended. The original senior class 7 teacher Chen Chu absconded and carried a gun. A wanted notice had been issued. It's outrageous. Chen Chu rolled his eyes, but on second thought, it seemed like it was really his own style. After all, he was wrongly accused, and the evidence is pointing to himself, and he can't explain it clearly, so he must have used his epic education skills to slip out. August 22nd. The entire school resumes classes, and the suspect Chen Chu has been killed. Chen Chu, I've been shot down. Mom yeah, I've died too unjustly, haven't I? However, Chen Chu was relieved on the contrary. From the clues so far, Chen Shu had actually been able to deduce the general course of events. Tian Xiao had written the love letter, and it was addressed to himself. However, with Tian Zhao's nature, he definitely didn't really like himself, but rather wanted to intentionally mess with himself, film some kind of evidence or something, make it public, and at that time, he would definitely be removed from his position. After all, the school absolutely does not allow any relationship between students and teachers. As a result, this love letter did not know for what reason fell in the hands of Chi Chao. Chi Chao mistakenly thought it was Tian Xiao like him and went to the roof of the small garden. Either Chi Chao saw the color and wanted to do something to Tian Xiao, or Chi Chao also into the trap, was threatened by Tian Xiao. The two wrestled and tore up. Inadvertently was Tian Xiao pulled off the button, and then pushed downstairs by Chi Chao. Of course, could be a slip and fall. Anyway, Tian Xiao was so cool. Chi Chao must have panicked. This thing is definitely not off the hook. So he stuffed the love letter into his student handbook, planted the evidence, and then he became the scapegoat and was shot. But there is another doubt in this. The existence of the buttons. It's reasonable to say that the police couldn't have overlooked such an important clue. And as the scene would definitely have been cordoned off during the incident, looking for suspicious traces, it's unlikely that the buttons wouldn't have been found. So it can be inferred that the buttons were definitely taken away. But Chi Chao should not have had the guts to go back and look for the buttons. So who took the buttons? Chapter 49, The Second Stage. Not to mention this matter of suspicion. The whole thing involved Chi Chao, Tian Xiao and himself. Why would Class 7 jump off a building en masse? At first Chen Shu had two guesses. First, Tian Xiao did. Because the real murderer is at large. Tian Xiao disguised as a ghost revenge. All sorts of messy kill. Regimentation of seven classes. Second, I did it. Because I was wrongly accused, I blackened out. So I used my skills to make the seventh class jump off the building in mass. It is possible for a teacher bully to do such a thing. But now the second one can be ruled out. After all, I've been fucking killed. It's impossible for me to control the seventh class. The first one is also a bit far-fetched. If Tian Xiao wants to retaliate, he should also go to retaliate against Chi Chao. Why did he reunite the seventh class? That's unreasonable. Although it is said that she does not necessarily reason with you, the logic is a bit implausible. There was another problem. Chen Chu did not know whether Chi Chao was dead or alive. Originally, Chen Chu's thoughts were quite clear, but now they had become extremely confused instead, because there were no more follow-up documents. The clues were broken again. Chen Chu casually pulled Director Sun's chair over and sat down to carefully run through his thoughts. What he could be certain of was that there were definitely other people involved in this matter. Otherwise it made no sense for the buttons to disappear. It seems that the first stage is just the beginning as well. Chen Chu shivered for no reason because all of the characters inside the copy, that were all real existences in the real world, and whether it was their personalities or something like that, they were all exactly the same, rather than being fabricated by the copies, it was more like an existence that could happen in a realistic situation, especially Tian Xiao, she was a girl who could really do such things, looking at this copy again now, Chen Shu felt that it was of great significance, finding the truth of the matter might also have a preventative function for him, at the very least, he wanted to completely nip the possibility of this matter in the bud, because his thoughts were too chaotic. Chen Shu had to reorganize everything from before. The button was the main clue, followed by the love letter. Logically, there should be fingerprints on the top of the love letter, and it was impossible for the police to not be able to find out. However, once he remembered that Chi Chao was a chemistry teacher, Chen Shu couldn't help but laugh bitterly. This guy must have erased the fingerprints with some kind of reagent or something. This aspect of Chi Chao was a professional. However, Probably by the time the police reacted, he was afraid that he had already escaped from prison and absconded. So, who to arrest if not him? The most troublesome is the roof of the small garden, because all the lawn, footprints are too much, there is no way to investigate the evidence. Want to return their own innocence is indeed too difficult. Glancing at Tian Xiao with his back to himself, Chen Shu was also somewhat speechless. 
I still feel that I died too unjustly. Shaking his head slightly, Chen Shu clasped his hands in contemplation. He must have overlooked some detail. Good luck come good luck come. Good luck brings joy and love. Tian Shao student. Turn off the music thank you. It's disturbing the teacher's thoughts. The music came to an abrupt end. How convenient. The cell phone doesn't even need to be pulled out. Not knowing how long it had been, Chen Shu suddenly slapped his head. Right. I said how I always felt something was wrong. Chen Shu instantly figured out the crux of the problem. How in the world did the love letter end up in Qi Chao's hands? First of all, how could Tian Shao be the type of person to personally deliver a love letter? And even if he did, he wouldn't have recognized the wrong person and handed it to Qi Chao. He's not even from the same office. No matter how coincidental, it would be impossible for it to fall from one office to another. Thinking of this, Chen Shu hurriedly asked Tian Shao. Tian Shao, did you hand deliver your love letter? Chen Shu did not dare to ask too deeply for fear of Tian Shao blowing himself up. Tian Shao shook his head. Chen Shu was overjoyed in his heart, and his thoughts became clear once again. There were indeed other participants, perhaps even dominating the entire matter. Only Chen Shu could not ask who it was, but this could be judged from experience. First of all, this help handing love letters is absolutely no Chi Chao, and absolutely is intentional. After all, pressure is not the same office, even if it is handing the wrong, but also will only be handed to the same office of the teacher's hands, rather than Chi Chao hands. Moreover, the love letter cannot be openly handed over, must be sneaky. Inside the classroom it was impossible, it would be discovered by other students. Inside the office it would be more hidden. Then this one student who handed over the love letter was at the very least able to enter the office, and also knew where Chi Chao's location was, which meant that it should be a student taught by Chi Chao. Right, we need to make a trip to Chi Chao's office. Chen Shu was overjoyed and hurriedly pulled Tian Shao back to the teaching building. However, when Chen Shu returned to the teaching building again he realized that the situation had become different. Originally, the entire building was dimly lit, but this time, when he returned, the entire building was drenched in blood, and countless bloody handprints had begun to emerge on the walls, and some of them were still moving. It seems that even Tian Shao is a little shocked. This difficulty has risen so much all of a sudden. Is it because I, Sister Shao, can't hold the sword anymore, or are you guys just floating too much? How dare you be so reckless in front of the Ghost King? Right at this moment, only a poof could be heard, as if something heavy had smashed against the side of his feet. Chen Shu's eyes widened in horror as he glanced towards the ground, and chills ran down his spine. It was a bloody head. Looking again at the doorway of the classroom next door, there was a headless fellow standing there. Chen Shu didn't dare to take a breath, and ghostly said, Classmate, your head fell off. Chapter 50, Thanking the Two Elders. At this moment, Chen Shu was already a bit incoherent with fear, and hurriedly hid behind Tian Shao, walking forward step by step, so a living head fell in front of him, it would be strange not to be afraid, although the entire building looked incredibly agitated, as if something would jump out of the classroom in the next second, Tian Zhao's deterrent power indeed hadn't disappeared yet, and at most, it was just to scare Chen Shu, and for the time being, there wasn't any substantial attack, he didn't know how long it took before Chen Shu arrived at Qi Chao's office, as soon as he entered, he couldn't help but sit on the ground and pant heavily, already so scared that his back was drenched in cold sweat. This first stage and the second stage were not even on the same level. The feeling of fear was something that even good luck couldn't suppress anymore. If not for Tian Shao following him, Chen Shu believed that he could have died a hundred times. After catching his breath for half a day, Chen Shu searched for clues. He had been to all the offices in the first year of high school, so he knew which direction Qi Chao was sitting in, and hurriedly went over to the left side of the room and started searching. And after seeing the chemistry textbook, Chen Shu was even more certain of Qi Chao's location. After seeing the chemistry textbook, Chen Shu was even more sure of Qi Chao's location. At this moment, the ghosts were crying outside the door. Chen Shu didn't dare to let Tian Shao help look for something, but instead, he let Tian Shao guard the doorway, so as not to let any other ghosts or monsters break in. After all, at the second stage, even the teacher's office didn't seem to be a safe zone anymore. In the middle of the day, Chen Shu finally turned out Qi Chao's class schedule. Qi Chao taught three classes of chemistry, senior class 3, class 4, and class 5. The range was still too large and needed to continue to be narrowed down. Chen Shu held his chin in contemplation for a moment. With the number of people in the three classes approaching around 150, it was similar to finding a needle in a haystack to confirm which student it was. He now needed other clues to determine the identity of this student. Unfortunately, he usually did not pay attention to Tian Zhao's social circle especially with the other classes. This one was his own negligence. If he had paid attention to it, it wouldn't be like this. Well, 
It must be corrected in the future. There were obviously no key clues to be found inside the office, and the system did not give any hints. Chen Shu pondered for a long time, and suddenly sighed with a bitter smile on his face. Is it really necessary to go to the classroom to find it? Don't dare to go ah. Inside the classroom right now, it was definitely a swarm of demons. Even if Tian Shao followed, Chen Shu felt that his heart wouldn't necessarily be able to withstand it. Scared to death alive that would be too humiliating. Chen Shu thought for a moment, and his attention suddenly focused on the item bar, his eyes narrowing slightly. The teacher's overbearing aura was useful, and the teacher's eye was useful. In theory, the pendulum should also be useful. In addition to the repetitive low-level pendulums of the learning six-piece set inside his item bar right now, he still had the special status eight-piece set and had already put together five of them. Chen Shu had thought that this so-called special status should be something like frenzy or reflection, but it was actually a new class of special statuses. There were a total of three, and the trigger rate was increased by 50% after gathering all the effects of the set. Tidy, when triggered, it will actively clean and keep the environment tidy. Enthusiastic, when triggered you will be willing to help those in need. Friendly, when triggered, you will become friendly. The special status will trigger one of them randomly, and it only lasts for 10 minutes. The trigger rate is extremely low when there is no set effect. The 8-piece set of special statuses should all be attached to the wall. Currently Chun Shu had already gathered 5 pieces of the Disciples Rules Mural, 3-character classic mural, Confucius Portrait, Mencius Portrait, and Li Bai Portrait, and the remaining 3 pieces had not been assembled yet. Each piece is 3% of the trigger efficiency, altogether will be 15% of the trigger rate. It's definitely not realistic to take teaching points to draw now. Therefore, Chen Shu's goal is exceptionally clear. All of them were raised to level C. Anyway, they will have to be used in the future. But the big deal is that the upgrade of the teacher's eye will be slightly delayed for a period of time, so the impact will not be significant. Moreover, the rewards given once the copy was completed would be enough to make up for the teaching points he had consumed. Without much thought, Chen Chu immediately upgraded all of the murals to level C, doubling the effect and immediately raising the probability of triggering to 30%. It should be possible to try. Chen Chu hurriedly took all of the murals from the item bar and rolled them up before sticking them directly into the waist of his pants. Unlike pets that would directly bind to the classroom, pendants did not have a binding. So now Chen Chu was equivalent to a mobile special status 5 pieces. As long as he entered any classroom, he would be able to provide that classroom with a 30% chance of triggering a special status. Chen Shu was now quite energized, and after leaving the office, he let Tian Shao walk in front of him, first heading towards the third class of the first year of high school. This way since the shock is constantly. Anyway, Chen Shu is squinting to go, suddenly a little envious of myopic eyes. This moment the glasses a pick, comes with a beautiful skin effect, certainly not like him this fear. In the middle of the day, Tian Shao in front of him stopped in his tracks. Chen Shu carefully glanced at the signage on the side of the doorframe. Senior class 3. Squinting his eyes, he could see several figures in the classroom wandering around inside, making all sorts of eerie noises. Chen Shu hurriedly pulled Tian Shao inside piece by piece, hiding right behind Tian Shao. He then silently waited for the special status to take effect, while using the teacher's eye to constantly aim at his opponent's status. Time passed by minute by minute. In the middle of the morning, Deng Sejia, who was bashing against the wall in the corner, suddenly stopped moving, and dragging her bloody body, she suddenly grabbed the broom in the corner, which was already tattered and torn, and started to clean up, the, tidy, state, it really worked, thank you to the second old man for giving birth to a witty and smart son like me, chapter 51, a thoughtful thought, after Deng Sijia attached the tidy status, the picture of the entire senior class 3 classroom became extraordinarily peculiar, while Deng Sijia cleaned with a broom, at the same time, all the tables, chairs, benches, and various things that had spilled out onto the floor all flew into the air. Deng Sijia's figure flashed continuously in the middle of the classroom, actually seriously cleaning up all the dust, and immediately after, the tables, chairs, and benches that were suspended in the air began to fall to the ground in an orderly fashion, neatly lining up in a row. In the room was not only Deng Sijia so a ghost, but also Sun Jiao Jiao, Zhang Yuan, Feng Qing three people, anyway, all froze at once, all ran to the wall and stood. It is estimated that they are also suspecting that the ghosts have been born. They don't dare to make trouble. Deng Sijia was the leader of the gang of dance students in life. And Sun Jiao Jiao, Zhang Yuan and Feng Qing, these three people are also dance students. Even after 20 years of death, Deng Sijia is still the leader of their gang. The boss in cleaning, they do these little sister which dare to go up to wantonly, had to watch from the side. Ah, have forgotten what they came here for. In the end, not only was Sun Jiao Jiao and the others confused, 
Chen Chu himself was confused. This neat effect could be much more outrageous than he had imagined. However, what came next was even more outrageous. Deng Xijia had just put down the broom and found a rag from somewhere. Sweeping over to the window, he began to clean up the bloody handprints on the walls. Yet no matter how he wiped, he couldn't get them off. Deng Xijia was a bit enraged, and a weird low growl came out from the inside of her mouth. Suddenly, all the bloody handprints on the wall suddenly disappeared without a trace, and the wall also became quite clean. Then, Deng Xijia crossed her arms and seemed to be quite satisfied as she glanced at the wall, as if she had just realized that she was also covered in blood. Tang Xijia tugged at her own clothes, and inside her mouth began to emit gibberish again, suddenly appearing in front of Sun Jiaojiao and the others in a flash, and also gibbering in the same way. Sun Jiaojiao and other people's mouth is also gibberish, as if in communication. Anyway, the sound sounds strange creepy. In the middle of the day, seemingly convinced by Tang Xijia, that Sun Jiaojiao's hands that had been twisted suddenly spread out, looking as if they were helpless. In a trance, the four silhouettes suddenly passed through the wall and walked away. Chen Chu couldn't help but squeeze his eyebrows, didn't understand it, but seemed to read it. Deng Sejia, the body is too dirty, take a shower and change clothes. Sun Jiaojiao, Feng Cheng, Jiang Yuan, then they were dragged away by Deng Sejia. Chen Chu shrugged his shoulders and hurriedly searched for clues inside the classroom, because it was much easier after being organized by Deng Sejia. Currently, one could only use the dumbest method, just blindly searching was done. Anyway, if an important clue was found, the system would definitely have a hint. I don't know how long it took, but the third class of the first year of high school was almost turned over, and nothing was found. Chen Chu didn't see anything useful either. Luckily, Deng Xijia and the girls didn't kill back. It could only be to head to the next class, repeat the same technique, waiting for the special status to trigger. There was another ghost in senior class 4 that had been hit. Lu Yingying triggered the enthusiasm effect. There were a total of three ghosts in senior class 4. One's mouth was all crooked in an extremely weird way. Lu Yingying went up and pulled his mouth back to normal. What? The other one is crawling on all fours with his head twisted 180 degrees. Lu Yingying enthusiastically twisted his head back, face down. The other person gave another turn back. Lu Yingying twisted the other person's head back again. The other person's mouth is crooked again. Lu Yingying ran over and pulled the other person's mouth back again. Repeatedly, the two ghosts were confused. Taking advantage of this moment, Chen Chu hurriedly searched for clues. At this time, a photo on the locker instantly caught Chen Chu's attention, and he hurriedly walked over and took a look at the photo, realizing that it was a photo of the fourth senior class during military training. Obtaining clue, photo. Chen Chu didn't have time to take a closer look at the photo and hurriedly walked out of the classroom to meet up with Tian Shao, and then headed towards the office, closing the door behind him and letting Tian Shao guard the door, while taking his cell phone to take a picture. He carefully observed the photo. This is not a group photo, but was taken during a break in military training. There were a lot of people on the photo, and all of them were wearing military uniforms, so it was a bit hard to recognize them. Not to mention that Chen Chu basically didn't know any of the students in class 4. However, Chen Chu quickly discovered an anomaly. There were two figures in the corner of the photo, and one of them was Tian Shao. Tian Shao was raising his hand and pointing at a girl, looking a little angry and feeling as if he was cursing. The girl on the opposite side had her head lowered and seemed to be very afraid of Tian Shao. Only the side could be seen, but Chun Chu quickly recognized this little girl. Class 4's Li Shi. The reason why he knew her was purely because Li Shi was a school bully, ranked in the top 10 of the first year of high school in the entrance exams, and she was also very pretty, very popular with the teachers who often praised this little girl. School violence? Chen Chu frowned, feeling that he had already touched the edge of the truth. I'm afraid that Li Shi had been bullied and cold-shouldered by Tian Shao. Tian Shao had asked Li Shi to hand over a love letter. And because of the prolonged bullying, Li Shi had finally been unable to endure it and wanted to fight back. So she deliberately handed the love letter to Chi Chao. Then Chi Chao and Tian Shao got into a tug of war. And finally Tian Shao crashed into a building. And Chi Chao fled in a hurry. At this time, Li Shi should have secretly followed. Chi Chao fled. And Li Shi also came to the balcony. And just happened to find the button. And then took it away. Chen Chu's pupils shrank, and he felt a sense of dread. Seeing Tian Xiao fall, Li Shi is not only not afraid, it may be possible to look at Tian Zhao's death when he fell and laughed out loud, and then took the most important evidence of the buttons are taken away. Chen Chu's goosebumps were all over the place, and he couldn't help but shiver a little. Chapter 52, Banlanjin. Right at this moment, the system's beep suddenly sounded, for clues have been gathered. Congratulations to the host for completing the second stage of the duplicate and surviving. The current system evaluation is S. Next, 
The host can choose to withdraw from the duplicate to collect the rewards, or choose to continue with the duplicate to complete a higher evaluation and restore the truth. But at the same time, the difficulty will be greatly increased, and all the rewards will be gone after death. Chen Chu frowned. The closer he got to the truth of the matter, the more he felt somewhat unnerved. As of now, he had already sort of understood the cause and part of the process of the matter. However, none of the current clues pointed to the real reason why Class 7 had jumped off the building in mass. The main characters were Tian Shao, Li Shi and Qi Chao. Tian Shao had already died. Li Shi and Qi Chao's life and death were unknown, and it was also unclear what connection Li Shi and Qi Chao had with Class 7's collective jumping off the building. Exit the copy or continue. Chen Chu did not dwell on it. Having come this far, he had to find the truth. It was impossible to say that something like this would happen in the real world, and it had already involved the safety of his own life as well as so many innocent lives. Even if it was even more difficult, he had to put up a fight. Continue. The copy has entered the third stage. Please note that all the souls in the entire school will launch a frantic attack to stop you from continuing your exploration. The school supermarket has been opened. Spend teaching points to purchase props to help you survive. As soon as the system prompt ended, an incomparably mournful hiss came from outside the office, and blood began to seep from the walls around Chun Chu, coalescing into a single word of death. At the same time, the commotion of a fight also began to come from outside the office, and just by glancing at it, Chen Shu saw that Tian Shou had transformed into a blood shadow, and was constantly colliding with the densely packed black shadows, blocking them from outside the office. Only, the number of black shadows was increasing, and the size of the black shadows was also growing. Chen Shu only felt his scalp go numb, and right now, even Tian Shao felt that he could not hold on any longer. However, it was also something that could not be helped. After all, he actually counted as cheating. If he hadn't used the epic education technique on Tian Shao in the first stage, Tian Shao should have continued to grow stronger as the copy stage promoted. The replica had begun to repair itself automatically and began to continuously raise the strength of the other souls. And in contrast, Tian Shao's combat strength basically remained unchanged. Chen Shu definitely couldn't sit back and wait for death. The goal now was to head to the school supermarket and see what props he could use. It was just that as soon as he went out now, he would basically die for sure. There's no way out. Let's just see if we can run fast enough. Chen Shu's gaze flickered as his aura changed radically. Imitation. In a trance, only a muffled bang could be heard as Chen Shu rushed out from inside the office. Countless black shadows immediately reversed their direction and pounced towards Chen Shu. At the same time, countless desks, chairs, and benches also flew out from inside the classroom, bombarding all the way towards Chen Chu. Boom boom boom. Chen Chu sped all the way, his senses drawn to full strength, almost instinctively dodging from side to side, avoiding the bombardment of tables, chairs, and benches, his hands extremely agile. A sliding shovel killed the stairway. Chen Chu grabbed the railing and leaped. Countless black shadows followed closely behind, while Tian Zhao's blood-colored figure was also in the middle of it constantly obstructing and actively helping Chen Chu to buy time. Chen Chu didn't even dare to look back, and desperately ran towards the school supermarket. But who would have thought that at this time, even the verdant slate tiles on the ground began to constantly tremble violently. Only hearing a swoosh, Chen Chu felt a coldness in his back, and almost subconsciously turned his head sideways, as a piece of lapis lazuli brick shot over from behind his head, and smashed in front of him with a snap, instantly crumbling apart. Crap! If he had been a little slower to dodge just now, his head would have cracked open on the spot. However, at this moment, Chen Shu did not even have time to think. He dodged and rolled all the way, climbed up and ran. Boom, boom, boom. There was debris splashing everywhere, as if it was a battlefield in an instant. The school supermarket was not far away, but the countless evil spirits behind this clearly did not intend to let Chen Shu live. Only a boom could be heard, and Chen Shu's face turned white with fear. On the ground in front of them, Countless lapis lazuli tiles suddenly floated in the air and actually coalesced into a huge lapis lazuli palm that almost covered the sky and slapped down towards Chen Chu. Chen Chu's pupils violently shrunk, his legs violently stomped on the ground, the whole person like a frog suddenly bounced out, extremely woefully avoided the lapis lazuli palm, but a head hit on the flower bed, the pain Chen Chu couldn't help but scream miserably, feeling that his left arm must have been fractured, seeing that this slap unexpectedly did not kill Chen Chu, the green stone palm swept up again, directly sweeping towards the flower bed. Chen Shu clenched his teeth and forced himself to endure the excruciating pain to continue running. The imitation skill continuously changed all the characters that could be imagined. Nay, the current mimicry skill could only mimic normal humans, and if one wanted to mimic superhumans, one could only upgrade the mimicry skill. But if I could imitate a super scion today, I would still be bullied by you guys like this, 
a slap will raise all of your ashes. Chen Chu desperately fled. Good thing that the flower beds around here could provide Chen Chu with a short cover. And the speed of the green stone palm wasn't too fast, coupled with the cover of Tian Shao. Finally, the school supermarket was close at hand. The school supermarket is definitely a safe zone. As long as you go in, you'll be safe. Thinking like this, Chen Shu almost exhausted his last ounce of strength and quickly swept towards the school supermarket with a sliding shovel. Seeing that the whole person is going to slide in, a green stone plate suddenly fell from the sky. I Nima, Chen Shu already can't stop. This green stone plate coincidentally just in the middle of the legs. Boom. Chen Shu white eyes rolled over, smashed in front of the supermarket, covered the crotch and fell to the ground. The pain is so painful that the whole person is twitching. The board. Board blocked the route? Chapter 53, Supermarket. Chen Shu ran inside the supermarket almost prostrate. And it was at the moment Chen Shu entered the supermarket that the entire world seemed to quiet down all of a sudden. The countless evil spirits that had been chasing and killing Chen Shu just a moment ago instantly disappeared without a trace. Only Tian Shao was left standing motionlessly not far away, silently waiting in place, seemingly not daring to approach the supermarket in the slightest. Chen Shu couldn't stop sucking in cool air and convulsed on the ground for half a day before he managed to get over it. The school supermarket has opened, providing services such as catering, medical care, and special props for sale. Medical. Medical. Chen Shu was in pain and his voice was trembling as he was covered in cold sweat. Checking the host's condition, completely healing the injury will cost 3,260 teaching points. Is it? Chen Shu clenched his teeth as one hand frantically pounded the ground. Yes, yes, quickly heal me. In the next moment, Chen Shu only felt that the pain all over his body abruptly disappeared without a trace. Who? Who? Chen Shu panted heavily, his entire body almost on the verge of collapse. He definitely did not want to experience this a second time in his lifetime, which injury was not good, and it had come from a slab of blue root. It hurt so much that he directly doubted life. The fracture was also completely healed. Not to blow no black, the price of this aspect of the system is still relatively fair. Fair and square. Chen Shu surveyed the school's supermarket, which was probably the only place inside the copy that looked like a place where people stayed. It was similar to an ordinary small supermarket. There were bright lights and neat shelves all of which were filled with a wide range of goods, only there was no boss, everything was sold automatically, the school supermarket will only be open for 3 hours, please arrange the host's management time properly, Chen Chu was stunned, that was no time to waste, after tossing and turning for so long, Chen Chu was dripping, and he was also starving, what's there to eat, this supermarket provides all food, beverage services, spicy hot, under the sea also have, yes, sour soup pigs feed hot pot, yes, Chen Shu cried and laughed, eating hot pot inside a horror movie. This style of painting could be a bit unique. Forget it, one person couldn't eat that much, and it would be too lonely to eat hot pot alone. Spend 15 teaching points to buy a chicken egg fried rice and a bottle of mineral water. Find a place to eat while thinking about the next direction. Either check Chi Chao or Li Shi. However, Li Shi is a day student, and does not live in the school. Chen Shu for a moment cannot think of which direction to start, so can only continue to check from the body of Chi Chao. Although Chi Chao didn't live in the school, but since he was a chemistry teacher, Chi Chao would definitely often go to the lab for classes. So the next goal was to go to the lab. However, the sight of the demons outside just now had really made Chen Shu a little uninspired. A survival rate of 12% was really no joke. If he didn't possess epic education skills and had Tian Shao come as a helper, the first stage would have been cold. But now that Tian Shao was facing the constantly strengthening evil spirits, it was obvious that his strength had also been stretched to the limit. One on one, Tian Shao might not be afraid, but the number of evil spirits was too high, and anyone that missed would directly take out Chen Shu. Moreover, the laboratory was a long way to go, and Chen Shu did not feel that he could arrive unharmed. After resting for three hours, I should be able to barely use my teacher hegemony twice. Chen Shu weighed the situation and still couldn't help but sigh. It was simply impossible to walk through the next copies with just two teacher hegemony auras. The imitation skill had also been used. Fortunately, the supermarket offered special props for sale. Chen Shu hurriedly scanned it and couldn't help but stare. Invisibility charm sold for 10. 000 teaching points. Remain invisible for 10 minutes after use. Even the evil spirits will not be able to discover your existence. Can only be used in the current copy. And used props will automatically disappear after leaving the copy. Divine walking charm, priced at 10. 000 teaching points. Enter the state of divine walking within 10 minutes after use. Even the evil spirits can't catch up with you, can only be used in the current copy, and used props will automatically disappear after leaving the copy. The price is 10,000 teaching points, 
After using it, you can impose a fixation on any object, so that it cannot act for 10 minutes, only in the current copy of the use, unused props in the copy of the automatic disappearance after leaving. Vajra Talisman, price 10,000 teaching points. After using 10 minutes to enter the state of Vajra, any attack cannot hurt you a little bit, only in the current copy of the use of unused props in the copy of the automatic disappearance after leaving. A total of 4 types of charms, all of which made Chen Chu's eyes light up. It is that the price is too expensive. He now has just over 40, 000 teaching points on hand, and all of them are still saved up to upgrade the teacher's eye. But think about it now copies are S level evaluation. As long as complete the next stage is SS evaluation. 40,000 teaching points for a SS prop. Absolutely no loss. The four types of talismans came in one and were deposited in the item bar. At this moment, Chen Chu's bottom line was enough. The rest of the teaching points were also used to buy water and some food. Put the item bar inside the preparedness. After all, do not know how long it will take to end the copy. Always be prepared. Enough to rest for three hours. Chen Chu left the school supermarket. The front foot just walked out. The back foot of the supermarket lights went out. And then look at the ground is already full of mess. At the same time, the evil spirits of class 7 also began to move. The walls began to continuously ooze blood again. And the lapis lazuli plates on the ground began to tremble. Tian Xiao, cover me. In a trance, Tian Xiao had transformed into a blood shadow, constantly moving around Chun Chu, obstructing the evil spirits from harming him. Chen Chu let out a cold snort. And in the next moment, his domineering aura was in full swing. All of them stay honest. Chapter 54 I'm not necessarily human, but you're a real dog. With a low roar, in a blink of an eye, the ghastly wind and the sound of ghosts crying and wolves howling in the ears suddenly disappeared. In the blink of an eye, all of the evil spirits appeared on all sides of Chen Chu, not daring to meet Chen Chu's eyes. Chen Chu had wanted to just run away, but, he now had an idea that he had to stamp out as soon as possible. Give me four rows from low to high, move fast. In a state of awe, the evil spirits of class 7 were truly obedient and truly formed four rows according to Chen Chu's command. Each one of them was either bloody or miserable. Chen Chu didn't dare to look at them much for fear of spitting out the egg fried rice he had just eaten. Report the number. Ah, forget it, I'll count it myself. Chen Chu hurriedly counted the number of people. 48 people in the 7th class, counting Tian Xiao, a total of 47 actual arrivals. Chen Chu hurriedly swept around with the teacher's eye, and sure enough, Su Tianhao's figure was missing. It instantly confirmed Chen Chu's speculation, causing Chen Chu to instantly have a bold idea. Dang Seijia, come in with teacher. Chen Chu had just entered the wretched supermarket with his front foot, when Deng Seijia instantly arrived at Chen Chu's heels with his back foot. Wait a moment, teacher I'll put on some clothes. Chen Chu decisively pulled out the raincoat he had just bought from the supermarket from the item bar and draped it over his head. Turning his back to Deng Seijia, he said, I'll ask you to answer. Nod your head if it's yes. Shake your head if it's no. Deng Sijia nodded slightly, not daring to raise her head. Someone forced you to jump? Chen Chu directly opened his mouth. Deng Sijia was slightly stunned, and suddenly a mournful scream came out of her mouth, mirroring Su Tianhao's image back then. With a loud bang, blood and flesh splattered, dripping. The smell of blood was pungent to the extreme, yet Chen Chu had long since pinched his nose. Hmm, take out one. In the middle of the day, Chen Chu poked his head out from the supermarket doorway and looked at the neatly packed evil spirits with a smile. Next, in the middle of the morning, the inside of the supermarket was already an inferno. Chen Chu resisted the urge to vomit, and ran out after taking off his long ago bloody raincoat. Outside, only Tian Xiao was left standing alone. Seeing Chen Chu come, he was actually so frightened that he couldn't help but step back, his body shivering. I am not necessarily a person, but you are a real dog. Chen Chu didn't know what Tian Xiao was thinking. Anyway, his entire body was now relaxed. All of the evil spirits in class 7 except for Tian Xiao who was still alive, were all forced to blow themselves up. Xu Tan, just after coming out of the supermarket without taking a few steps, the system's beep sounded in his ears. Congratulations to the host for purging 94% of the evil spirits in the replica, completing the hidden mission, purge, and obtaining the special prop, class 7 invocation. Hmm. Chen Xu's eyes glazed over. He had originally thought that he was utilizing a bug in the system, and that the system would not be able to punish him which would have thought that this was actually a mechanism of the system itself, and that there was a hidden mission. Chen Chu hurriedly scanned the attributes of the class 7 soul recruiter. The 7th class invocation flag, copy exclusive props, when used can summon the evil spirits of the 7th class for you to use, and all the evil spirits will be at your command, but also will be injured evil spirits recalled to recuperate. Note that the props can only be used in the copy, 
and the death of the evil spirits will not be able to be resurrected. Ah, this, Chen Shu almost cried blind. I just spent 40,000 teaching points to buy the talisman ah, anyway, the system definitely won't return it, so Chun Shu could only admit it, quickly took out the 7th class invocation flag and looked at it, it was a small ancient flag, or a handle made of wood, and it also had the two big words 7th class written on it, this moment then look at Tian Zhao's state is different, name, Tian Xiao, gender, female, age, 35, 15 at birth, status, averse to learning, Completely obedient, requires special props to activate, class 7 invocation. Weak, vices, negligible, talent, none. Learning efficiency, minus 114%. Comprehensive evaluation F. The state of awe and reflection had disappeared, replaced by a state of complete obedience and weakness. After all, after fighting so many evil spirits for so long, it would be strange not to be weak. Tian Shao, come in first and rest. As soon as Chen Shu's words fell, Tian Shao transformed into a blood shadow and drilled into the seven classes invoking spirit. Although he had obtained the class seven soul invoking streamer, Chen Chu did not feel much relief. After all, he was a teacher who was rather stingy with his words. Just now, the system prompted that the number of evil spirits destroyed was 94%, which was quite a lot of information. There were a total of 48 people in the seventh class, and one Tian Shao had survived. So how could he calculate that it wasn't 94%? After counting backwards, Chen Chu's heart sank. Inside the entire copy, there were a total of 50 evil spirits. He had gotten rid of 47 of them, and there were still three evil spirits in existence including Tian Shao. Naturally, Chen Chu thought of Li Shi and Shi Chao. Chen Chu's heart sank. These two evil spirits hadn't even appeared at the third stage of the replica. They were definitely boss level existences, and their strength was definitely not something that the current class 7 could fight against. Even with the class 7 spirit reclaimer, they could not be taken lightly. Moreover, facing Li Shi and Qi Chao, his teacher's dominance wouldn't work. Let's go to the lab to take a look first. Chen Shu hurriedly moved and headed towards the laboratory. Along the way, Chen Shu was still quite cautious, ready to use his talisman at any time. However, it seemed that because of the purge of class 7, surprisingly, everything was calm, and it was extremely smooth to find the school's chemistry lab classroom. After a period of rummaging, Chen Shu finally found a new clue without any danger. Chapter 55, it's reasonable, right? Clue obtained, formula. Chen Shu was holding a note inside his hand, and all of it was densely packed with chemical formulas. So, you big shot. I'm a language teacher, a part-time geography teacher, and I studied liberal arts. Now the periodic table of elements has long been forgotten. How can I read the chemical formulas on this? The corners of Chen Shu's mouth twitched, but he had already spent almost all of his teaching points, and he couldn't afford to use his teacher's sweetness power. After hesitating for a long time, Chen Shu trembled his hands and picked up the rummaged chemistry textbook. But if a mortal is forced to rush what things cannot be done, in addition to understanding chemical formulas, this is worse than killing me. Chen Shu had only just read one unit and his head was about to explode. He was the one who chose to go for liberal arts back then because science was too crotch-pulling. Chen Shu had never passed any of his chemistry, physics, or biology classes. Chen Shu only felt a pain in the brain. The clue was the chemistry formula and he didn't know what the hell was written on it. Anyway, Chi Chao got so many chemical formulas, he must be trying to come up with something. The question is, what is he going to get out? Not sure what it is, and the direction can't be determined. After a long time, Chen Shu decided to switch his thoughts, pushing backwards. Right now, Chen Shu could temporarily rule out that Class 7's jumping had nothing to do with Tian Shao, as the logic was somewhat implausible. So the only ones that could be suspected were Li Shi and Chi Chao. Li Shi was just a student, how could she be that capable? Although he was a bit paranoid, Chen Shu decided to rule out Li Shi first, that only left Chi Chao. Assuming that Chi Chao was the mastermind behind the collective jumping incident in class 7. Thinking like this, his thoughts became clear. The chemical formula at hand was most likely the culprit that caused class 7 to jump off the building in mass. The first thought that came to Chen Shu's mind was that the hallucinogenic gas, which the 7th class had inhaled, produced hallucinations and jumped off the building in mass. This makes sense, but there is a doubt. Chi Chao has escaped the sanction of the law. Why would he still want to target the seventh class? It's not likely that class seven might have gotten hold of some evidence, or even someone saw Chi Chao coming down from the upper floors at that time. So Chi Chao killed to destroy the evidence, and Li Shi was in the middle of it, should be an accessory, an accomplice. However, Chen Shu still feels that this explanation cannot convince himself. Always feel where it is wrong. Just a moment to figure out. Suddenly, the system prompt sounded. Five clues have been gathered. 
Congratulations to the host for completing the third stage of the replica and surviving. The current system evaluation is S+. The host is close to the truth and cannot exit the copy. The system automatically enters the final stage. A house of truth has appeared in the small garden on the roof of the school. Place the collected clues into the house of truth to restore the truth. The moment the system's beep ended, Chen Shu felt a chill behind his back for no reason. Clang. Accompanied by a sound of metal clashing, fire splashed everywhere. Chen Shu's entire person immediately flew out and smashed against the wall with a bang. Teacher Chen. That slash just now unexpectedly did not kill you. Too bad. Chen Shu had just climbed up from the ground when a figure arrived in front of him. It was only with the faint light that Chen Shu saw the figure in front of him clearly. Chi Chao. Only to see Chi Chao smiling extraordinarily oozingly, making a gesture that he was already raising the large long knife in his hand and slashing at Chen Shu once again. Clang. Fire splashed in all directions, and Chen Shu was once again thrown out. The force in Chi Chao's hand was simply terrifyingly large. Fortunately, Chen Shu had not let his guard down from the start, and had utilized the Vajra Talisman in the moment just now. Otherwise, he would have already become a dead soul under Chi Chao's sword. Seeing that Chi Chao was swaying in front of him again, Chen Shu hurriedly stretched out his hand and said, Wait, wait, Mr. Chi, let's talk things over. Don't move the knife. Chi Chao actually paused and smiled morosely. That's right, after all, as a teacher, it's indeed not good to move the knife. Good guy, you boss is so reasonable. However, in the next second, the large knife in Chi Chao's hand suddenly shook, and it actually turned into a one meter long glass rod. As a chemistry teacher, it's reasonable for me to carry a glass rod with me, right? Reasonable your ass. Chen Shu immediately utilized the divine walking talisman and disappeared in a flash. With a muffled bang, Chi Chao used the glass rod to ruthlessly smash into the wall, directly smashing out a hole. Seeing that Chen Shu had actually slipped away, Chi Chao was unperturbed as he drew out the glass rod and steeply disappeared in place. With the divine traveling talisman, Chen Shu couldn't help but feel as light as a swallow. It was as if time had been suspended. There was a sense of the flash's image now. Anyway, at this moment, with the Vajra talisman boost, Chen Shu directly leapt down from the sixth floor chemistry lab without saying a word. However, as this was about to hit the ground, Chi Chao's voice rang in his ears coldly. Teacher Chen, don't run. Crap, you can even catch up with this. This difficulty was too perverse. In a trance, Chen Shu received a blow that hit the ground hard. Teacher Chen, I'm so bored alone. Why don't you die here and accompany me? Accompany my ass. Chen Shu cursed, and just as he was about to turn his head and run, Chi Chao appeared in front of him again, and threw another stick over. This made Chen Shu depressed to no end. If he continued like this, when the time came, sooner or later, he would die in Chi Chao's hands. Invisibility charm. Chen Shu couldn't care less, and immediately used the stealth talisman. Chi Chao, who had just caught up with him, saw that Chen Shu had abruptly disappeared from sight, and his movements froze, frowning tightly as he looked around, seeming to have completely lost Chen Shu's scent. At this moment, Chen Shu didn't dare to run around for fear of making a commotion, and just stood in place with little movement. Teacher Chen, stop hiding and come out, you're bound to die. Chi Chao shouted as he looked around. Chen Shu rolled his eyes. Forget it. If you don't come out I know you're going to the small garden on the roof. I'll just stand guard there. Chi Chao's figure shifted and disappeared. Chen Chu. I fucking. It can still be like this. Chapter 56. The Heavenly Dao is good for reincarnation. Chen Chu felt that the system was playing a bit of a trick. The boss was not only powerful but also had IQ online. And had even run to the house of truth and waited. This instantly had no experience to speak of. Fortunately, there were a total of three entrances to the small garden on the roof and Chi Chao was just one person, so there was definitely no way to block them all. A moment later, Chen Shu arrived at one of the entrances and secretly swept a glance. A small house had suddenly appeared in the center of the roof garden at some unknown time, and Chi Chao was blocking the entrance to the House of Truth with a glass rod in one hand. Fortunately, there was still the fixation talisman that was useless. As long as Chi Chao was attracted over and fixed, he could successfully enter into the House of Truth. However, right now, Chen Shu was a bit afraid to mess around. It was only because the system's rating was only S+, plus, not even SS. Right now, there was no way to exit the copy, and the system didn't even have any hints that it would be safe after entering the House of Truth. Chen Shu still had to prepare for the worst, which was that after entering the House of Truth, once the truth he restored was inaccurate, he might end up dying in the end. Most importantly, the system was only saying that he was close to the truth. Knowing the truth and being close to the truth were two different things. Yes, there must be other clues. Chen Chu's brain raced. He still had many doubts that had not been solved. 4-1. He and Shi Chao and Li Shi had no grudges. 
and it made no sense that the two would plant evidence to frame him. Secondly, why did Li Shi hand the love letter to Qi Chao? What kind of connection do these two people have? Thirdly, this was the final stage. Why didn't Li Shi show up? Suddenly, Chen Chu's pupils violently shrunk as an even more terrifying thought surfaced in Chen Chu's mind. Chen Chu could not help but suck in a breath of cool air as his scalp tingled. Only, all of the speculations were not necessarily accurate at the moment. Evidence was needed to prove it. It was just that he was currently distracted, and there were only six minutes left in the talisman's time. Shi Chao was guarding the entrance of the House of Truth waiting for Chen Shu to show up. It was at this exact moment that Chi Chao suddenly sensed quite a few familiar auras. Chi Chao's eyes narrowed slightly and his expression was a little odd. It was unknown what Chen Shu was up to. Suddenly, coldly from the side came Chen Shu's voice, Teacher Chi, come catch me. Shi Chao's figure shifted, and in the blink of an eye, he arrived at the location where the voice had come from, and a glass rod was swept fiercely over, but it swept empty, didn't hit, angry or not. Shi Chao's face sank, and he continued to chase after it, pouncing several times in a row. Heaven's way was good. Who did the heavens bypass? This moment it is Chen Chu's turn to mess with Chi Chao's mind. Should not say. Skin a little really happy. Seeing that it has been swinging empty, Chi Chao coldly snorted and suddenly swung and ran to the door of the House of Truth to block it again. Surnamed Chi, aren't you quite ruthless? Come and hit me. He he he. Chi Chao cold face. Did not move. Let Chen Chu how to provoke also did not move. Six minutes passed in a flash. All the talismans suddenly disappeared. But instead of running, Chen Shu appeared against the wall. As soon as Chen Shu appeared, Shi Chao's figure followed closely behind. Set. In the nick of time, Chen Shu hurriedly utilized the fixing talisman. The glass rod was almost next to his head, while Chi Chao maintained his swinging position and did not move a muscle. There were still ten minutes left. Chen Shu exhaled, but did not rush to enter the house of truth. Instead, he came to the edge of the parapet and silently calculated the time. Just a moment ago, he had already used the class 7 invoking soul streamer, releasing all of the evil spirits in class 7 to search for clues. And the reason why he took the initiative to come up and provoke Chi Chao was to delay the time and also not allow Chi Chao to go and disturb the evil spirits in class 7. Seeing that time was passing by minute by minute, 5 minutes had already passed. Most of the evil spirits that had been assigned out had returned empty-handed and had not found any clues. Chen Chu's face did not look too good, and after tentatively putting these evil spirits into the soul invocation, he slowly waited for the results. In the middle of the morning, the evil spirit squad sent to the infirmary returned. Inside their bloodied hands was a record. Hard work. Obtained a clue, medical examination report. Chen Chu hurriedly took a look at the medical report. His complexion became even more grave, and he fell into silence for a while. One after another. The other squads returned, but there was no harvest. Only the last squad remained, and the one that went was the school security room. There were still two minutes left. The last evil spirit team returned and also brought a record. Clue obtained, entry and exit record. Chen Chu's heart sank to the bottom, glanced at the motionless Chi Chao, and couldn't help but spit. You can't be too Odiang Hao, you scum of the earth. Chen Chu laid out all the clues in a row, continuing to verify his suspicions. Truly, goosebumps rose all over the place. It was only until this last minute that Chen Chu entered the House of Truth with all the clues. The interior of the House of Truth was not large, and the moment Chen Chu entered, the entrance disappeared without a trace. There was only a table in front of him, and Chen Chu immediately placed all the evidence on it. Have arrived at the House of Truth. Next, please ask the host to orally restore the truth of the matter. If the discrepancy between the dictation and the truth is greater than 10%, it will be judged as a failure for the host and the host will then be subjected to an endless pursuit until death. If the discrepancy between the narration and the truth is less than 10%, it will be judged as the host's success, and the evaluation will rise to SS, and the host can voluntarily withdraw from the copy to receive the reward. If the oral statement matches the truth by 97% or more, the evaluation will rise to SSS, and the host can voluntarily exit the copy to receive the reward. Chapter 57 The Truth Chen Shu took a deep breath and said only after a long time, the true culprit is, Li Shi, determination successful, please continue, the system prompted, first is the physical examination report, Li Shi has bruised trauma as well as scratch scars in multiple places all over her body, the earliest trauma is at least two months old, and she has suffered from aggression, and has great psychological problems, the photo shows Tian Shao scolding Li Shi, and with my knowledge of class 7, Tian Shao should have been bullying Li Shi for a long time and inflicting beatings, however, I rule out the possibility of class 7 assaulting Li Shi for two reasons. Firstly, amongst the vices of the students in class 7, there is no assault. Secondly, 
the entry and exit register in the security room. There are enough records of six times after the end of the evening study period. Shi Chao accompanied Li Shi out of the school together. To sum up, I'm sure that Li Shi suffered from prolonged assaults by Chi Chao, because the clues provided by the copy were limited. Chen Shu could only base his judgment on his own understanding of class 7. Judgment successful. Please continue. Hearing that the system had judged it successful, Chen Shu breathed a sigh of relief. Because of the prolonged bullying and aggression she suffered, Li Shi was unable to endure it, but her own personality was weak and she did not dare to fight back until Chen Shu placed one hand on the love letter. Tian Xiao took the initiative to find Li Shi and asked her to give the love letter to me, giving Li Shi a chance to retaliate. Seeing that the system did not make a judgment, Chen Shu continued. After some thought, Li Shi determined a revenge plan, and forwarded the love letter to Qi Chao, and informed Qi Chao that the other party was Tian Xiao, who then went to meet with Tian Xiao at the agreed upon time. When Qi Chao arrived, Tian Xiao made the mistake of deliberately acting him out. Qi Chao agreed to do so and Tian Xiao photographed the evidence and used it to threaten Qi Chao. And with my understanding of the seventh class, Tian Xiao must have asked Qi Chao to find a way to mess with me, preferably the kind that would remove me from office. Qi Chao pretended to promise, while Tian Xiao not ready to snatch the phone. Between pulling, Tian Xiao ripped off Qi Chao's buttons, and Qi Chao also snatched the evidence, but the force was too much, resulting in Tian Xiao fell down the stairs. In fact, here Chen Xu partly rely on blindfolded. After all, he was only a language teacher, and not studying criminal investigation. There is no way to determine whether Qi Chao wants to dominate the hair or Tian Xiao succeeded in threatening Qi Chao after the tearing led to Tian Xiao fell, and also do not know whether Qi Chao is intentional or negligence. However, Chen Xu tends to Tian Xiao to succeed in threatening Qi Chao, because if it was Qi Chao who wanted to dominate, it was impossible for Tian Xiao not to call for help at that time. The verdict is valid, but with partial deviation. Qi Chao has an emotional regulation disorder. Tian Zhao's threat caused Qi Chao to become angry. Qi Chao killed and killed. So he intentionally pushed Tian Xiao to fall down the stairs. Please continue. How do I know this? Chen Shu rolled his white eyes. System, you're cheating. You didn't give any clues. So how can I surmise that Qi Chao has an emotional regulation disorder? In director's son's office there is the teacher's medical report as a clue. Chen Shu. Holy fuck. Which little brat went to director's son's office? This are not found. Well, it's myself ah. That's fine. The corner of Chun Chu's mouth twitched, and at that time, he thought of going to look at the documents, and then remembered that Director Sun did have a teacher's physical examination report card there, and Chun Chu himself had handed it in twice. Okay, I'll admit it. Chen Chu can only continue to speculate. Shi Chao ran away while Li Shi took everything in. Chen Chu paused for a moment. Well, there are a total of three entrances. Li Shi should be hiding in one of them, and after seeing Tian Xiao fall, she hurriedly went over to take a look and at the same time discovered the buttons on the ground, and removed the buttons. Chi Chao didn't find the button falling, and only wanted to avoid responsibility, because Tian Xiao wanted to mess with me, so he set the target of the frame up on me, and after wiping off his fingerprints, he stuffed the love letter inside my student handbook, and after Tian Xiao crashed, the police blocked off the school at the first opportunity, Chi Chao anonymously reported it, and the police took me away for investigation after discovering the love letter in the student handbook. Chen Chu frowned, there's definitely no way to convict me with just a love letter, I should have an alibi, here is also doubtful, according to reason one should not be weak minded, the police will not directly convict oneself, Shi Chao must have also engaged in what evidence to sit on the fact of his own murder, or, there is something that interferes with the judgment of the police, after hesitating for a long time, Chen Chu reluctantly said his final guess, however, the students in class 7 should have known that Tian Xiao was going to mess with me, so, Explaining the situation to the police interfered with the police's judgment, making the police mistakenly think that I was the main suspect. Judgment successful. Chen Chu, class 7 was really too pitiful. Because of the testimony of the 7th class, I panicked and did not want to sit around and wait for death. I should have wanted to go and find out the truth and return my innocence, so I used my epic education skills to break out of the prison and carried a gun, and was pursued by the police, which further solidified my identity as a suspect and fled in a hurry to be killed by the police in the end. Once I died, the police informed. Chi Chao finally relaxed, continued to do his chemistry teacher. Unbeknownst to me, Li Shi was blackened because of Tian Zhao's death, and when she realized that she could also take revenge, her long pent-up emotions finally erupted, and she began to launch her revenge against class 7. Chen Chu said in a deep voice, the chemical formulas found in the lab, with relatively clean handwriting, were not written by Chi Chao, but by Li Shi. 
Li Shi herself is also a schoolmaster and is supposed to have a unique talent in the field of chemistry, perhaps often going to the lab to communicate with Qi Chao, and this could precisely be one of the reasons why Qi Chao violated Li Shi. After Li Shi researched a hallucinogen-like existence, it led to the collective jumping incident of the seventh class. Chen Chu paused for a moment. In the end, Qi Chao also inhaled the hallucinogen and hallucinated, and finally died. As for Li Shi, she didn't die, but survived and started a new life. Previously, when the system prompted 94% of the evil spirits, Chen Shu had projected that there were still a total of three more evil spirits, including Tian Shao, but all the way to the final stage, Li Shi did not appear. This was also the point that Chen Shu finally figured out, that Li Shi was not dead. In fact, the last three evil spirits left were Tian Shao, Qi Chao, and himself. The one inside the replica had already died, and now that he appeared in the school, he was again a body of consciousness and was considered one of the evil spirits. A moment later, the system's beep sounded. Judgment successful. Settlement. In progress. Chapter 58, Warm-Hearted. It is finally determined that the truth restored by the host is 98%, obtaining a SSS level evaluation, and can choose one of the following rewards to obtain. Mythic Physique Pill, Quality SSS, can greatly enhance the physique after use. The pill can be used up to 10 times. When used up to 10 times can activate the Mythic Physique special attribute. Note, it is recommended to take the order of the Body Dan, Intermediate Body Dan, Advanced Body Dan, Legendary Body Dan, Epic Body Dan, Mythological Body Dan. Eat full of a class of elixir and then eat the next class of elixir, in order to maximize the effect. If you take the Mythic Body Pills in advance, you will not be able to take lower level body pills. Omnipotence Trophy, Quality SSS. 20% chance of granting a single fighting spirit when placed in the classroom. This pendant cannot be upgraded and can activate the set effect. Fighting spirit when triggered. All attributes are increased by 200% and all efficiency is increased by 1000% for one hour. Mythical inspiration skill when used. It can apply the inspiration state to anyone. Lasts for 24 hours. Each release of inspiration will consume a certain amount of teaching points. Can be used indefinitely. This skill cannot be upgraded. Inspiration, all abilities are drastically increased when triggered. An elixir, a pendulum, and a skill. It hardened Chun Chu's difficulty in choosing. The mythic body elixir could be ruled out. After all, it wasn't very useful right now, and there was no way to use the other body elixirs once they were used, so Chen Chu definitely wouldn't choose it. So it could only be a choice between the omnipotence trophy and the mythical inspiration technique. The effects were both super sick, but there was a problem. The mythical inspiration technique was definitely a bit more practical, but it needed to consume teaching points to be able to release it. Chen Chu remembered the teacher's sweet power, which cost tens of thousands of teaching points to use once, and the mythical inspiration technique definitely required an even larger amount of teaching points. Chen Chu's current teaching points were simply not enough, and he couldn't really think of any use for the mythic inspiration technique at the moment. After all, he himself had the imitation skill, which was considered to be an overlap in itself. The omnipotence trophy is different. It is a twofold increase in all attributes, and the trigger efficiency is still high, so it can definitely produce a large amount of teaching points, solving the current predicament of not producing a high output of teaching points. To put it bluntly, the omnipotence trophy could help accumulate a large number of teaching points in the early stages, while the mythic inspiration technique was a godly technique in the later stages, and could even be used on oneself. After agonizing for a long time, Chen Chu finally chose the mythical inspiration technique. To be a human being, one must have a long-term vision. Considering that there were already copies of this existence that could obtain high-level rewards, it was obvious that the mythic inspiration technique was more useful. Teaching points could be saved slowly. The mythic skill that was unattainable. I choose the mythic inspiration skill. The reward has been issued. After three seconds the host will automatically exit the copy. When Chen Shu came back to his senses, the person had already returned to the office. It was still the same appearance as when he came without any changes. Only after experiencing this copy, Chen Shu headed towards Director Sun's office without saying a word. If this one tragedy might happen, then Chen Shu absolutely had to strangle the source of everything directly in the cradle. In the middle of the day, Chen Shu arrived at the office. Director Sun was there writing documents. Seeing Chen Shu come, he could not help but be a bit puzzled, little mister. Chen, what is it? Chen Shu smiled and casually found an excuse to say that he wanted to look at his medical report. This in itself wasn't considered private, and with Director Sun now liking Chen Chu, he turned around and rummaged through the folder that held the teacher's medical reports. Find it yourself. I don't have time right now either. Okay, okay, I'll look for it myself. 
Chen Shu smiled and hurriedly rummaged around, the target naturally being Qi Chao's medical reports. In the middle of the day, Chen Shu flipped through it and his heart sank slightly. As expected, Qi Chao's psychological test results showed an emotional regulation disorder. Although Chen Shu understood that the replica was just a derivative of the real world, he could not help but rule out that there would be such a possibility. At this moment, Chen Shu pretended to look at Director Sun with a stunned expression. Director, I accidentally flipped to this. As he spoke, Chen Shu then hurriedly handed Qi Chao's medical report to Director Sun. Frowning, Mr. Qi Chao even has an emotional regulation disorder? Director Sun glanced at it and was also stunned. This, this I really hadn't noticed before. After all, there were hundreds of medical reports. It was normal that Director Sun would overlook it. Director, fortunately I found it. Chen Shu pretended to say with a serious face. This is your dereliction of duty in case something goes wrong. And if the above investigates, you definitely won't be able to eat it. Director Sun's face changed, and he closed the door with his hand, and hurriedly whispered to Chen Shu. Xiao Chen, Xiao Chen, you can't say anything about this. This director can rest assured. I definitely won't say anything. Chen Shu also hurriedly cooperated. However, director, how is this matter going to be handled? In fact, what Chen Shu wanted to say was to resign and forget about it, so that the things that happened inside the copy would never happen. But on second thought, now that the Qi Chao in the real world had presumably done nothing, the school definitely couldn't dismiss Qi Chao just because of that. Director Sun hesitated for a moment and then said, Emotion regulation disorder is not anything too serious a mental illness. I'll find Mr. Qi Chao to talk about it and let him go to the hospital for treatment. All right. Then I'll go find Mr. Chi Chao now. Chen Chu hurriedly said. Oh, okay, okay. Director Sun answered, seeing Chen Chu hurrying away, and was a bit puzzled for a moment. Why was Chen Chu so attached to this matter? Wasn't there something fishy going on here? But on second thought, Chen Chu had no connection with Chi Chao at all. It must be pure concern. TSK, this little Chen can be really warm-hearted. It's me who has measured the heart of a gentleman with a small man's heart. It's really hard to find such a young man. Chapter 59, saying we'll mix together. Chen Shu arrived at Qi Chao's office. And just in time, Qi Chao was sitting on his desk correcting papers. Mr. Qi, Chen Shu called out. Qi Chao tilted his head up. Seeing that it was Chen Shu, he slightly froze and said in confusion. Chen, Mr. Chen, is there something you want to see me about? Seeing Qi Chao, Chen Shu instinctively shivered and subconsciously took two steps back. Qi Chao was even more puzzled. What are you afraid of me for? Teacher Qi, Director Sun called for you to come to the office. There's something he wants to discuss with you. Shi Chao let out an O. Hurriedly got up and went to the office. Only to see Chen Shu following at the side and suddenly had an ominous premonition. Teacher Chen, what exactly is it? You'll know when you go. Shi Chao paused in his footsteps and instantly looked at Chen Shu with a bitter smile on his face. Chen, Teacher Chen, just let me off the hook. Chen Shu, Shi Chao had a bitter face. I can't teach the seventh class. No, you've misunderstood. Chen Shu hurriedly waved his hand and said, It has nothing to do with class 7. Shi Chao was relieved, but was even more puzzled. Then why is Director Sun looking for me? Chen Shu thought about it, and without hiding it, whispered, Mr. Shi, the medical report. Shi Chao froze, suddenly came back to his senses, crying and laughing. So it's this, I've long wanted to take time off to go to the hospital to take a look, but Director Sun hasn't been looking for me, and I'm not good enough to talk to Director Sun explicitly. Mr. Shi, is the impact big? Big, Shi Chao helplessly said. I now but whenever I see a little upset, the fire will be particularly vigorous. Have gone to the hospital several times. The doctor said that I need to recuperate treatment for two months. This side chatting, finally came to the director of Sun's office. Soon, director Sun approved Chi Chao's leave, and his paid leave, can put Chi Chao happy bad, especially learned that is Chun Shu reminded, this out of the door on the joy, Chen teacher really do not know how to thank you. If not you found out, Director Sun is afraid that will not be approved my leave. Chen Shu also knows Qi Chao's difficulties. This kind of thing can't take the initiative to explain. Running over to say to Director Sun that I have a mental illness, take leave to go to the hospital for treatment. Change Chen Shu is not too good to say it. Teacher Chen, why don't I invite you to dinner tonight? Don't, don't, it's just a show of hands. I wish Mr. Qi good health and all the best. After saying that, Chen Shu hurriedly slipped away. Mom yeah, eating with you? I don't know how many times I've been beaten up by you inside the copy. I'm afraid I can't help but want to beat you up. Seeing no evil, Chen Shu hurried back. After resolving the issue of Qi Chao, the next step was to resolve the issue between Li Shi and Tian Shao.
He now had to determine whether or not Li Shi had really suffered from the bullying of Tian Shao and the others. If so, he had to be the one to forcefully intervene. Of course, this matter definitely could not be asked of Tian Shao, nor could it be asked of Li Shi, who would not necessarily tell the truth. Therefore, Chen Chu decisively called Zhou Feng to ask, Senior Class 4's Li Shi, Zhou Feng froze, aren't she and Tian Shao BFFs? BFFs? Chen Chu froze. Zhou Feng subconsciously nodded. I can often see the two of them together. It seems like they were classmates in elementary school and junior high school. And what I remember most is the time of military training. Military training? Chen Chu remembered the copy of the military training photo where Tian Shao scolded Li Shi. What happened? I remember several boys confessing their love to Li Shi. Then they were shooed away by Tian Shao. And in the end, Tian Shao scolded Li Shi, saying that Li Shi was too soft in nature or something like that. Zhou Feng shrugged. That's all I remember. Hearing Zhou Feng say this, the large stone hanging in Chen Chu's heart finally fell to the ground. It seemed that although all of the characters inside the replica were realistic archetypes, the relationship handling wouldn't necessarily be real. Moreover, he had just communicated with Qi Chao, who had admitted to having an emotional regulation disorder, but was not at all cold in nature. And the Qi Chao inside the replica was definitely due to a series of circumstances that had led to a drastic change in his personality. Fortunately, it was just a false alarm, but Chen Chu didn't dare to let his guard down. He knew that there was definitely the existence of bullying inside class 7, and it was also rife with the problem of school violence. Who knew that the tragedy inside the replica would happen one day? This strengthened Chen Chu's determination to subdue class 7, and no matter what, he could not let the tragedy inside the replica play out. What should I do next to subdue the little guy from class 7? Chen Chu couldn't help but ponder how to set up the little guys of class 7 again. After thinking about it for a while, Chen Shu settled on a stratagem of disassociation. Since the little ones in class 7 are so resistant to me, and since whoever gets close to me will be isolated, that's exactly what can be utilized, then who should I go after? Chen Shu's target was quickly determined. That was the small gang of instrumental music art students with He Chao as the core. According to Zhou Feng who gave up his darkness, He Chao's small gang that specializes in playing musical instruments has had a lot of trouble with other people. The reason is also very simple. He Chao plays the piano. People are handsome. It can be said that in the seventh class is the class grass. The popularity is quite high, even if he knows the infamy of the seventh class. There are still other classes of little girls who sneak he chow handing out love letters, want to WeChat, and so on. Even Zhou Feng said that sometimes quite envious and jealous of hate, but he chow is the kind of more showy, more people to anger. The most important thing is that the majority of the seventh class special ability students are here to muddle through. However, he chow is an anomaly. The actual piano grade 7 level. This made many people in class 7 feel even more upset. He said that we would muddle through together. But it turned out that you have a 7th grade piano level. Chapter 60, This Old Inny Surname Chen. Waiting for the evening self-study time, Chen Chu in front of the whole class faced just a face of peace to let He Chao come out a trip. Let the other people self-study. He Chao was full of doubts. Originally also wanted to big tugging refused to come up with a sentence you let me out. Then I will not be very faceless? But once he remembered Li Yi Yang's previous experience, he resolutely wimped out. Tears in public. He couldn't afford to lose this person. Thinking about it, he could only frown and walk out of the classroom, arriving in front of Chen Chu. Teacher, looking for me for something? Chen Chu smiled faintly. Go, enter the office for a detailed chat. He Chao's face changed drastically, and with a cold snort, he said, You're trying to use provocation again. I definitely won't bet with you. Chen Chu was happy and asked rhetorically. You think I can play the piano? If this were before, He Chao would naturally be contemptuous and blurt out a sentence like you think you can play the piano? But since Chun Chu had successively revealed his horrible ball skills and gaming skills, He Chao's heart really didn't have a bottom. What if he really knows how to do it? Maybe Chun Chu's backhand is to play a hand of the third piano concerto that he can't even play right now. Thinking of this, He Chao didn't answer and frowned. Teacher, what exactly are you looking for me for? Can't you say anything here? That's not really possible. Chen Shu laughed. Go inside the office and talk in detail. Don't worry. I'm sure I won't engage in any bets with you. He Chao skimmed his mouth, naturally not believing Chen Shu's bullshit. Thinking about it, he still followed Chen Shu to the office. When he entered the office, Chen Shu sat down in his seat, allowing He Chao to sit down as well. Teacher, what exactly are you looking for me for? He Xiao was puzzled by Chen Shu. Nothing. Chen Shu looked at He Chao smilingly. Just sit here. He Chao, if there's nothing going on. There is something. What is it? Just sit down. You're sick, aren't you? However, He Chao didn't dare to say this, causing him to be instantly confused. Chen Shu then literally asked nothing and did nothing. 
sipping his tea while looking over the language textbook in preparation for tomorrow's lesson preparation. He Chao was sitting on the side, waiting for half a day to see Chen Chu did not pay attention to him. No, what the hell are you doing? He Chao had envisioned many possibilities in his mind, but Chen Chu didn't move at all. In the morning, Chen Chu saw that the time was almost up, and suddenly said to Yi Chao, okay, you can go back. Oh, He Chao went out of the office with an odd face and returned to the classroom in a short while. At this time, there was a lot of discussion inside the classroom, but when He Chao came back, it suddenly quieted down a bit. When He Chao returned to his seat, someone beside him asked, what did the one named Chen call you in for? Nothing, He Chao subconsciously replied back. Ha, huh, then what's the point of shouting you in? Who am I going to ask if you ask me? He Chao said without any good humor. After he let me in, he let me sit there. I just sat there for 10 minutes, and then inexplicably let me out. The crowd was self-disbelieving. Aren't you bullshitting me? What's wrong with the surname Chen? Nothing to let you go in and sit for 10 minutes? He is sick. He Chao defended. I really sat for 10 minutes. I didn't do anything. The crowd had a look of guess what I believe. Seeing this, He Chao didn't bother to argue. Not long after, Chen Chu came back to class, seemingly in a good mood. When the people in class 7 looked at him, they felt that something was wrong. They always felt that Chen Chu and He Chao seemed to have made some kind of secret deal, even when the evening self-study was over. A few instrumental music students gathered together, and He Chao was ready to find a place to play, but also hastened to ask Chen Chu what he called him to do. He Chao rolled his eyes. He just let me go in and sit for 10 minutes. Really? I swear. Surname Chen Sik Ah? Let you go in and sit for 10 minutes? He Shao. We're on the same side. Don't worry. You can tell us. We'll definitely keep our mouths shut. And we definitely won't tell anyone. Did Mr. Chen do something to you? Threatened you? How come you guys don't believe me? He Chao was anxious. I really didn't do anything. I really just sat inside the office for 10 minutes. A few instrumental music students looked at each other in dismay and instantly understood what was going on. There must have been something involved that couldn't be said, or else why would He Chao be in a hurry with them? Okay, okay, He Chao, let's not ask. You take it easy, you take it easy. Seeing that the words had been said to this point, the few people who were extremely close to him didn't believe it. It was only at this moment that He Chao was able to completely react. Damn it, this old bastard surname Chen. I can't even wash my hands off the Yellow River. Chapter 61, Join If You Can't Beat Them. He Chao now felt that he was really not a person inside or outside. Explain it, no one will believe it. Don't explain it, people will be even more skeptical that there is some kind of collusion between him and Chen Chu. For the first time in his life, He Chao felt that his intelligence had been greatly insulted. Unhappy, extremely unhappy, as expected. After arriving at school the next day, He Chao felt that he had been isolated. Originally, he and Zhuang Rou and their group of vocal students play quite well. Today Zhuang Rou group has completely ignored He Chao. Weekdays after class will occasionally chat, and now simply do not bring He Chao together. Even Zhuang Rou's group, who play well together, are like this, not to mention the others, even the few instrumental music students who are with him, even they don't take care of him anymore. He Chao knew at a glance that he didn't want to be implicated by himself, and decisively chose to cut ties. Damn, there is not even the most basic trust between people? I've been treating you all like brothers and sisters. But now you're leaving me one by one. He Chao was a bit flustered. He knew very well that being isolated was just the beginning. He knew that being isolated was just the beginning. Class 7 would definitely try to target him in every way possible. And it would definitely be a tough time for him then. Even if Joe Fong and the others were targeted. At least 10 or so people hugged and warmed up. And all of them were big and thick. The 7th class at most just teased a little bit. Didn't dare to play too much. After all, if they really fought, who could do better than Joe Fang's gang? The problem was that he was alone now, and his strength was thin. At once, He Chao felt a chill all over his body. Wouldn't he be killed by the people of class 7? He Chao really knew the rules of the 7th class too well. Therefore, he had to find a way to solve this dilemma before it happened. Thinking about it, He Chao went to find Su Tianhao. Inside the class, there are only a few people who have the right to speak, and Su Tianhao is one of them. After all, Su Tianhao's family's background is really strong, and on weekdays, he Chao can only talk to Su Tianhao, Li Yi Yang, Wang Libang and Yan Ma three people and He Chao relationship is not good. As for Deng Xijia, Liao Kunyang, basically nothing to communicate, and other people in the class is almost also to these people as the head. Except Wang Libang is a lone wolf. Taking advantage of this moment of rest between classes, He Chao rushed to Su Tianhao's side. Su Tianhao was playing King's Honor there, and when he saw He Chao coming, he impatiently said, Go to one side. 
Don't get in my way of playing the game. He Chao took a look at Su Tianhao's attitude and knew that things were in trouble, and hurriedly said, Tianhao, I really have nothing to do with surname Chen. Nothing to do with me? Su Tianhao blared at He Chao. If you bother me again, I'll beat someone up. Su Tianhao was really going to hit someone. He Chao walked away. Many people also showed sneers on their faces, making He Chao feel so humiliated, sitting down in his seat in a bad mood. The more he thought about it, the more he got angry. This asshole surnamed Chen. He Chao thought about it, and decided to prove his innocence. And at that moment, he walked out of the classroom aggressively, and ran directly to the office. The crowd saw He Chao went to the office, and the look is not good. Feel seems to have a lively to see, have out of the classroom in the hallway lying down to look. A few moments later, He Chao walked inside the office. Chen Chu was busy doing student memo. See He Chao came, roughly also guessed what the situation is. Slightly smile, He Chao students. What is the matter? He Chao originally wanted to scold Chen Chu for being despicable. And even more so, he wanted to follow Li Yi Yang's example and simply beat up Chen Chu. But, damn, I can't seem to beat him. This guy plays basketball even Zhou Fong cannot top. Physical strength and good. Fast movements, really if the fight. The one who falls is definitely himself. Curse him a few times. He Chao felt that he had to cry in the office today. By then the whole school knew that he He Chao was Chen Chu in the office education cried. Thinking about it, He Chao glared angrily. And after glaring fiercely at Chen Chu, twisted his head and left the office. Chen Chu shrugged his shoulders, somewhat crying and laughing. He Chao was again furious and returned to his seat to stay. Good gas oh. The crowd took a look at the fart nothing. Good guy. This He Chao is afraid not to find Chen Chu snitching away. This time, things have become worse. By the time he got to the evening study hall, He Chao was already in a state of mind collapse, just as he had expected. Getting chewing gum on his textbooks, being blocked in the restroom, and the like were only the base drills of class 7. When he was eating, someone from class 7 spilled vegetable soup all over him, causing him to still smell like carrot soup. Yesterday, he was surrounded by girls, talking and laughing, but today, he was made to feel like a lost dog by the people of the 7th class. This feeling of falling from heaven to hell really almost drove He Chao crazy. No matter how he explained, the people in class 7 didn't believe him anymore. At this moment, there was no choice. He Chao stiffened his head and arrived at the office. Chen Chu frowned. He Chao, why do you have such a big smell of carrot soup on you? Surname Chen, don't ask me knowingly, I admit it, He Chao said in a bad mood. I can't play with you, I'll listen to you from now on. He Chao said with a cold face, I'll do whatever you want me to do. I want to join the gang. If you can't beat me, you join. See what you're saying. Teacher I'm so kind and kind-hearted. I'm not a villain. What's the point of joining the gang? He Chao's eyes glared. Why are you so brazen? Chen Chu waved his hand. Anyway, there is no one inside the office at this moment. Grinning. Okay, from now on you are our comrade. Wait, I still have a condition. He Chao said with a fiery face. Lu Yang those guys usually call me brother and brother. This moment even turned against me. Well, I won't let them have a good time. I'm just defecting but also want to pull a back. Chapter 62, Blatant. The new comrade He Chao is highly aware. I like it. Chen Shu hurriedly asked. So, are you going to do anything about it? He Chao justifiably raised his head. I don't know. Chen Shu, with a thought in his mind, Chen Shu suddenly had a plan in mind and hurriedly muttered a few words in He Chao's ear causing He Chao to widen his eyes and couldn't help but say, Crap, why do you have a belly full of bad water as a teacher? Chen Chu's face sank. You should know how to be polite in front of your teacher. Can you not have a belly full of bad water? The seventh class per capita assassin. Each bad cannot. Normal teachers simply cannot control. Not worse than you. How to control you? The students are treacherous. The teacher shall not be more treacherous? Oh, oh, I will pay attention in the future. He Chao hurriedly said. I'll follow your method to get it. Don't. This kind of thing can't be rushed. It needs to be slowed down. Don't worry. I'll let Zhou Feng and the others take care of you. Okay? No problem. The next day, taking advantage of the end of class, He Chao saw Lu Yang's group leaving the classroom, seemingly preparing to go to the restroom. Seeing this, He Chao hurriedly gave Zhou Feng a look and took the lead to walk out of the classroom, hurriedly chasing after Lu Yang's group. Zhou Feng, on the other hand, after exchanging glances with Yang Tianyu and the others, quickly followed them out. This instantly attracted the attention of quite a few people. Zhou Feng's group that was Chen Chu's people, suddenly following them out. There was obviously something fishy going on. Many people came to the building to see what was going on, only to see Lu Yang's group just entered the restroom. He Chao followed with his hind feet. Zhou Feng and the others followed closely behind, decisively closing the toilet door. 
Lu Yang and the others saw He Chao followed by Zhou Feng's group and also closed the door, immediately realized that something was wrong. Looking at Zhou Feng's group of tall men, it would be strange for Lu Yang and the others not to be afraid, especially when they saw He Chao's face with an unkind expression. Lu Yang instantly went out and bitterly laughed. He Xiao, we are also forced to do nothing. The others nodded and also revealed helpless expressions. He Chao, however, let out a cold smile and immediately exchanged glances with Zhou Feng and the others. Zhou Feng waved his hand, and a few body practitioner students immediately rushed towards Lu Yang and the others with an unsuspecting look on their faces. Lu Yang and the others' faces changed drastically. This is the rhythm of making a move. Before they had time to shout, the physical exercise students took control of Lu Yang and the others, directly covering their mouths. Then, He Chao and Zhou Feng and others did not move, and Zhou Feng just held a cell phone and watched. Inside the toilet was silent all of a sudden. In the middle of the morning, Zhou Feng's WeChat tone rang, and the message was very short, someone's coming, it's Luo Hao. Right at the door, Zhou Feng hurriedly patted He Chao's shoulder, followed by He Chao listening to the movement outside the door while saying, Lu Yang, why haven't you done what Old Chen asked you to do? The next moment Yang Tianyu mimicked Lu Yang's tone and said, He Chao, just wait a little longer. That group of fools in class 7 will definitely lay a trap. At this moment Zhou Feng then laughed, Lu Yang, don't worry, we will definitely cooperate with you. Aha, don't worry, with the four of us as insiders, this plan will definitely succeed. Lu Yang and the other three people's eyes glazed over. Crap, how can you guys frame people so blatantly? How can you let us stand by and watch? Can't you just be human? Right at this moment, Zhou Feng tiptoed to the door of the restroom and gave an okay gesture. Those few practicing students who were controlling Lu Yang understood, and instantly let go of Lu Yang and the others. At the same time, Zhou Feng opened the door. There were people from class 7 eavesdropping at the door, and they happened to bump into each other. Well, He Chao coughed. Ah, this, nice toilet today. With that, he pretended to have an embarrassed face and walked out from the toilet. Zhou Feng and Yang Tianyu and the others also pretended to look at each other. Ah, yeah, today's toilet is indeed good. Well, going to the pee is much smoother. One by one, looking incredibly vain, slipped out, inside the toilet. Lu Yang and Luo Hao were left staring at each other, confirmed eyes, not far away. Chen Chu, who was lying on the window with his cell phone observing the direction of the toilet, couldn't help but grin. The one who sent the message to Zhou Feng was naturally him. This trick ah, this trick called I just deliberately set you up. What can you do? The effect was naturally unexpectedly good. After all, originally He Chao was in league with Lu Yang, and now he was also caught in the act by Luo Hao. Waiting for what was naturally the collective retaliation of the seventh class. The deadliest thing is that Yang Tianyu's remark that the group of fools in class seven had already committed mass anger. It didn't even take a day for Lu Yang and the others to get a taste of the worst of He Chao. He Chao that called a great pleasure. Did not insist to the evening study hall. Lu Yang and other people on the mentality of the collapse. In the afternoon after school, they ran to He Chao to admit their mistakes. He Chao which is so easy to forgive them. After all, the taste of being betrayed cannot feel good. Sneered and said, before the whole me is not the whole quite cool it, you guys can play a few more days, they won't kill you anyway. Yes, if they won't kill you, then they will kill you. Chapter 63 Extracurricular Activities However, He Chao was only bluffing. After all, if he were to do it differently, whenever Lu Yang and the others were given a hand by Chen Chu, he would definitely be on the side of class 7 to mess with Lu Yang and the others. So, it's almost as good as it gets. Besides, after playing together for so long, there are always feelings. All right, let's forget about it this time. He Chao snorted coldly. If there's a next time, let's see how I'm going to clean you guys up. Don't worry, He Chao. There definitely won't be a next time. Lu Yang and the others nodded hurriedly. Following that, He Chao led Lu Yang and the others to rebel. All five of them came to the office to express their loyalty to Chen Chu. They would all listen to Chen Chu in the future and would not make any trouble. The main thing is that they don't dare to make trouble. Chen Chu is really too sinister casually out of a move to clean them up. If they didn't stand on Chun Chu's side, they wouldn't know what more insidious moves Chun Chu had in store for them. In the future, they would follow Zhou Feng and the others to embrace the group, and at the very least, they wouldn't have to worry about being isolated and targeted by the people of the 7th class. This was now one step closer to completely subduing the 7th class. Unfortunately, this routine can only be used once, and it only works on He Chao's group. Chen Chu shrugged his shoulders. The reason was simple. Because He Chao was originally not very well received by the people of class 7, and was not that much of a standoffish person. That was why this disassociation trick worked so well. However, if they were to be replaced by Deng Xijia or Zhuang Rou and so on, 
These small gangs, themselves have the right to speak, or provoke the seventh class and the teachers to confront the core of the existence of this disassociation. This disassociation will not have much effect. After a period of time after Chen Shu's remediation, the seventh class is actually a new look. The order was much better than before. Now that the teachers of the various subjects were going to the seventh class, they were not as resistant as before, and their moods were also much better than before. Of course, this was only the beginning for Chen Shu. He was not satisfied with an obedient and honest class 7, but to create a super special class with excellent grades, friendship and unity, and respect for teachers. In a flash, it was Friday afternoon. The school organizes class extracurricular activities every half a month, allowing teachers and students to play games together and cultivate feelings. In the stadium of the first middle school, the vast majority of the classes drew a relatively normal style. The class teachers accompanied the students of their respective classes to either run together, do sports, or sit around chatting and laughing, or do small games together. In short, the atmosphere was very cordial, and there were also a number of classes that were simply two or three classes doing collective activities together. However, the seventh class side, not only did no class dare to approach from all sides, even the people were divided into several groups. One group is Zhou Feng and He Chao and others. One group is Wang Su and others. The remaining group is Su Tianhao, Deng Xijia and these people. Wan Lebang is to find a place to sit. A lone wolf. Several groups of people play their own, who do not take care of anyone. Chen Shu sandwiched in the middle. Where to go to the dial is not. Want to ask other classes to do games together. Good guy. One by one ran far away. There is no classes willing to do collective activities with the seventh class. Chen Shu saw that this is not going to work. Thinking about it, he had an idea, and hurriedly went to the school warehouse not far away. Not long after, Chun Shu walked back with a sandbag, grinning at the crowd. Who wants to play sandbag throwing? How old are you still throwing sandbags? Young or not? Teacher, can you find an interesting game? Deng Sejia, Su Tianhao's group of people instantly passed out contemptuous sounds. Wang Su and the others did not make a sound. Zhou Feng and the others, on the contrary, had already stood up and came over to Chun Shu. Old Chen, it's fine if they don't play, let's just play, Zhou Feng muttered in a low voice, He Chao also hurriedly said, yes, old Chen, they won't play with you either, so don't make a fool of yourself, Chen Shu's eyes narrowed slightly and did not respond, instead, he walked to the center and waved the sandbag in his hand and laughed, if you guys think it's childish, then let's play something different, seeing that no one paid attention, Chen Shu said to himself, all of you deal with one of me, Whoever can hit me once will be collectively exempted from one day's homework. Two times is two days. There is no upper limit. But the prerequisite is that all of you must participate. Less one can't. The moment these words were spoken, it immediately made many people's hearts flutter. Lu Hemming beside Wang Su quickly asked, Teacher, is it really true? But I'm always true to my word. Chen Shu laughed. However, given that Chen Shu had been laying a trap for the crowd before, Su Tianhao, Deng Sijia's set of people, although their hearts were moved, Nevertheless, they still stood on the sidelines and did not make a sound. Seeing this, Chen Shu grinned, don't worry, there is nothing to bet on, is to play, smash not I have no requirements, simply figure a fun. Su Tianhao openly get up, clapping his hands on the bad smile, this is what you said yourself, then I'm not polite. A look at this guy's face full of malicious appearance, 9 times out of 10 is to run to smash people to go. As soon as Su Tianhao made a move, the others also got up and came to their feet. Not to mention Su Tianhao's group, Li Yi Yang, Wang Libang. These people heard, without saying a word, came over, since the face is full of bad intentions. Wang Libang naturally wanted to avenge his last kick. Li Yi Yang, not to mention, Chun Shu had made him lose so many people last time. This time he wanted to take the opportunity to get his revenge. I'm in. I'm in. Chapter 64, you may have earned it, but I'm definitely not at a loss. Many of the students in class 7 had long been looking at Chen Shu with displeasure. And this moment, not only was there a chance to be exempted from homework, but there was also a chance to get revenge, which instantly energized everyone. Even Deng Sijia, Zhuang Rou and these girls were all getting up. Chen Shu immediately circled the field, which was almost as big as a basketball court, and the people of class 7 formed a circle, each one of them shoulder to shoulder, looking somewhat impatient. Chen Shu's eyes swept, not to mention Su Tianhao these people, even Zhou Feng, He Chao these people also look a little excited. Do not have to do homework obviously Zhou Feng He Chao these people have a great temptation. At this moment, the first one holding the sandbag is Su Tianhao. I staring straight at Chun Shu then hastily shouted, Can we start? Yes, start. As soon as the words fell, Su Tianhao violently smashed it towards Chun Shu. 
Chen Chu did not use his mimicry ability, and relied purely on his own reflexes to quickly dodge over. However, just as he turned his head, the other people in class 7 had already caught the sandbag and continued to smash it. In just 5 rounds, Chen Chu was hit once when he couldn't dodge, and helplessly shrugged his shoulders. The people of class 7 were overjoyed and couldn't help but cheer. The game continued. Zhou Feng Chao and the two of them stood in one piece, similarly following suit and throwing sandbags. A few minutes had passed since then, and Chen Shu had already been hit seven or eight times. This was a week's worth of homework, and the smashing was quite enjoyable. The crowd in class 7 was extremely excited and very engaged. However, Zhou Feng always felt that something wasn't quite right. He had stayed with Chen Shu for a longer period of time, and still quite understood Chen Shu's ability and temperament. In such a short period of time, Chen Shu had been hit so many times. This was also too unlike Chen Shu's style. Moreover, with Chen Shu's reaction speed, it was unlikely that the people of class 7 would be able to hit Chen Shu even if they tried their best. After thinking for a long time, Zhou Feng's eyes narrowed. Good fellow, old Chen is laying another trap. Zhou Feng seemed to understand what was going on, but he didn't show anything unusual. Sweeping around, it seemed that everyone was into it, oblivious to the fact that something was wrong. At the thought of this, Zhou Feng couldn't help but feel a jolt in his body as he took a deep look at Chen Shu, who was dodging sandbags in the middle of the field. Mom yeah, you're playing with a set. One set after another. Too bad. Happy times always pass very quickly. And before long, half an hour had passed. Chen Shu was also tired enough, and was sweating profusely, panting, hastily raised his hand and said, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Take a break. I can't run anymore. When the crowd took a look at Chen Shu revealing this wretched appearance, they inexplicably had a feeling of great pleasure. And it was indeed cool. In half an hour, Chen Shu had already been smashed 36 times, there was no need to do homework for over a whole month. Naturally, there was also someone from class 7 who reminded, Teacher, do your words count? Of course it counts, but you've been smashed 36 times, so that's 36 days of not needing to do homework. Chen Shu gasped and nodded, Yes, 36 days of not having to do homework, no matter which subject. I'll speak directly to all the teachers at that time. The crowd couldn't help but grin when they heard this. Su Tianhao also couldn't wait and urged. Have you rested yet? We haven't had enough fun yet. Yeah, continue. The crowd was on top of it now. Definitely wanting to kill you while you're sick. Wouldn't it be nice to get a semester without homework? Take it easy. Let me rest for a while. Chen Shu was really panting. His head full of sweat wasn't faking it. Dryly swallowing his saliva. He said, Does anyone want to play a bigger game? When the crowd heard this, they were instantly alerted. What a familiar picture. Su Tianhao narrowed his eyes and asked, How to play? Smash it once and get two days of homework free. Chen Chu gasped, But if I catch a hit once, all of you will have to take a day of classes honestly. Who? Who? How about it? The seventh class crowd didn't dare to agree. After all, before Zhou Feng, Wang Su and others successively overturned the car in Chen Chu's hands, the crowd had already grown a heart and soul. This time, they were sure that there was a fraud. But then again, at this time in front of Chen Shu was already sweating profusely, panting for breath, his clothes were already soaked through, no matter how one looked at it, it did not look like he was faking it, obviously, Chen Shu was now at the limit of his physical strength, besides, even if he were to catch it, how much could Chen Shu catch, there were so many people in the 7th class, sooner or later, they would be able to exhaust Chen Shu to death, this account, it wasn't a loss in any way, wait a moment, let's discuss it, Su Tianhao waved his hand and gave Deng Xijia, Zhuang Rou and the others a look. The few bigwigs of class 7 immediately walked out to have a small meeting. Deng Xijia frowned before saying, I feel like there's a fraud. Zhuang Rou nodded slightly in agreement. Su Tianhao frowned and turned his head to look at Liao Kunyang. What do you say? Liao Kunyang's eyes narrowed and said, I'm not afraid of fraud. Just let's stop when we see the situation is not good. If he catches it, we immediately stop. At most, let him win once, but only one day. When the crowd heard this, they were right. Ha ha ha. This move ah. This move is called timely stop loss. Surname Chen may have earned, but they definitely didn't lose ah. At most, it's just an honest day's time in exchange for more than a month's worth of days without homework. How do you think it's a matter of blood earning and not losing money? Okay, let's do it. Chapter 65, Killing Pig Plate. Not long after, Su Tianhao and the others returned. Teacher, just play according to your method. Chen Chu gasped. Good, come on. The class 7 crowd proceeded to throw sandbags, while Chen Shu dodged in a sorry state while also trying to find an opportunity. Before long, Chen Shu was hit twice more, and both times, he failed in his attempts to catch the sandbags. 
and Chen Shu's movements were getting slower and slower, and his reaction speed was also getting more and more sluggish. When the people of the seventh class saw that Chen Shu was exhausted like this, they were naturally all kinds of nonchalant. They used as much force as they could. They madly smashed at Chen Shu. In only ten minutes or so, Chen Shu had received another ten or so blows. The people of class seven were getting even more aggressive. This was now more than two months of homework exemption, and with another month, the semester would be over. And although Chen Shu tried to catch the ball several times, all of them failed. In fact, Yang Tianyu, Chao Yunjing all knew that Chen Shu was laying a trap, originally thought that Chen Shu would definitely catch the sandbag next, which thought that they all ended in failure. TSK, it seems that old Chen is playing a bad game this time, Yang Tianyu muttered in a low voice. Chao Yunjing also let out a faint bitter smile. After all, they had been with Chen Shu for so long, they had long since fallen in love with Chen Shu as the homeroom teacher, and were already involuntarily on Chen Shu's side of the issue. However, this time, Chen Shu had really played a bad game. It was simply a lost cause. Not only Yang Tianyu and Chao Yunjing, even Yi Chao, who had just defected not long ago, also felt that Chen Shu had played a bad game this time, inexplicably also feel some pain. There's no such thing as walking by the river without wetting your shoes. God has eyes. Surname Chen. You also have today ah. Only Zhou Feng's heart was even more strange. Although it did look like Chen Shu had played a bad game, and was already at the limit of his physical strength. However, it was because of this that it seemed more like there was a problem. Chen Shu's terrifying explosive power, reaction speed, and so on, hadn't been shown from the beginning, and Chen Shu's stamina was definitely not this bad. This was not the old Chen he knew. However, Chen Shu's appearance of exhaustion at this time was definitely not feigned. Then there was only one possibility left. Zhou Feng couldn't help but have his scalp numb. Chen Shu was acting, and even acting on his own people. The acting was even more outrageous, completely acting out an image of exhaustion, making everyone think that he was at the end of his tether. Remembering the recent anti-fraud propaganda that had been all over the internet, Zhou Feng couldn't help but dryly swallow a mouthful of saliva, and three words immediately popped into his mind. Pig killing plate. Criminals will first let the victim taste a little sweet, constantly gain the trust of the victim, so that the victim feels secure, and then gradually on the head. When the time is almost right, the victim is encouraged to invest a lot of money. The victim has been deeply involved and cannot extricate themselves from a large number of inputs. And finally the victim will find that cannot be withdrawn, and criminals have been rolled up and run away. The whole process is divided into pig farming, pig cheating, pig killing, step by step to eat away at the victim's sanity, and ultimately let the victim lose their money. Zhou Feng swept around. Everyone in the seventh class had already gotten on top of it, smashing sandbags one by one with vigor. Moreover, the wariness they had at the beginning had gradually disappeared with this outrageous acting skill of Chen Chu. Unconsciously, it had been eaten away at their sanity. Hiss. Right in front of me is a living crime scene ah. The actual record of the killing plate of the seventh class. AKA about my classroom teacher's early offline scam this stuff. Time passed by minute by minute. Chen Chu took another dozen or so hits and then hurriedly shouted a pause already tired and not quite right, and even his lips are a little white. However, anyone who is an individual will know that Chen Chu has completely reached his limit. As expected, after calling for a timeout, Chen Chu instantly collapsed on the ground, panting heavily, not even able to speak. The people in class 7 stopped, and seeing that Chen Chu was paralyzed with exhaustion, they were even more pleased. This time, half a semester's homework had been waived. Seeing this, Su Tianhao hurriedly walked over to Chen Chu's side and said with a bad smile, Teacher, having a bad time, ha, huh? Chen Shu gasped for half a day, gulped down his saliva, and his face suddenly revealed a few unhappy looks, the always majestic Chen Shu revealed this kind of appearance, making the people in class 7 not to mention how painful it was, Su Tianhao was happy, grinning, he asked, still playing or not, Chen Shu had a hard time getting his strength back, barely climbed up and said, play, I'll play pokies with you guys, Su Tianhao saw Chen Shu cannot stand, and the tone of voice is also a bit of impulse, obviously a little fire, happy, yo, that how to do the law of pokies, I put the next semester's homework are pressed, just once, I catch sandbags, this semester you all have to honestly class, catch not, next semester your homework is also free, Su Tianhao eyes narrowed, do not think about it should be, no problem, you, Deng Sejia, Liao Kunyang and Zhuang Rou frown slightly, obviously not yet lost the last trace of sanity, Liao Kunyang beckoned, signaling Su Tianhao to come over. Su Tianhao walked over. A few people whispered a few sentences, half a long time to determine the opinion. Su Tianhao face cannot stop the bad smile. Zhuang Rou and others are also full of confidence. This time, 
Chen Chu would definitely lose. Yes, just do as you say, Su Tianhao said, and had already come to the outside of the circle, weighing the sandbag, and when Chen Shu stood up, he laughed again. This is what you said yourself, if you can't catch it, we'll be exempted from our homework next semester. Yes, Su Tianhao smiled morosely. All right, can we start? Chen Shu took a deep breath and barely managed to get his spirits up. Yes, come on, get out of the way. Su Tianhao drank. The few people around him all got out of the way, while Su Tianhao even took a few steps backwards, aiming at Chen Shu, suddenly accelerated and ran over. When it was too late, when it looked like Su Tianhao was about to vigorously smash the sandbag, Su Tianhao suddenly stopped his footsteps, and with a bad smile on his face, he loosened the sandbag in his hand and dropped it towards his feet. They had discussed this a long time ago, there was no intention to throw the sandbag over. Anyway, as long as Chun Chu couldn't catch it, they would win. Then, I'm not throwing it anywhere. Ha 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 ha. Surname Chen, not only did you mess up this time, but you also lifted a stone and smashed your own foot. Su Tianhao couldn't help but laugh out loud when he thought of this. Ha 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 ha. Coldly, Chen Chu's voice suddenly came from under his feet. Student Su Tianhao, laughing quite happily. Su Tianhao's voice came to an abrupt end. As if mechanically, he looked down. Chen Shu didn't know when he had already come to his heels. The person was lying down. However, his right hand had already grabbed the sandbag. The entire scene suddenly went deathly silent. Hey, chapter 66, I won't watch the Oscars without you this year. Everyone in the audience was dumbfounded and delayed in coming back to their senses. In just a moment of time, the crowd only felt a swish as if a black shadow had flashed past their eyes. Chen Shu panted heavily, took half a day's effort to climb up, shook the sandbag in his hand and handed it to Su Tianhao, who was still in a daze, I caught the sandbag, according to the agreement just now, for the rest of the half semester, everyone will have to give me an honest lesson. Only then did Su Tianhao steeply come back to his senses, looking at the sandbag and then at Chen Chu, his expression a bit dumbfounded. How about continuing? I'll press the next semester's homework, and you guys will also press the next semester's. Shit, not playing. Su Tianhao's afterthought, which still does not know that he was fooled by Chen Chu again, so angry that he smashed the sandbag hard to the ground, twisted his head and left. When the rest of the people saw this, they all looked at each other angrily. The eyes seemed to be saying, shit, you played me? Accidentally flipped the car again. On fire, if I ever trust surname Chen again, I'm a fucking dog. The crowd left with as much displeasure as they could muster. And all of a sudden, most of the people dispersed, leaving only Zhou Feng and He Chao and the others staring at each other in disbelief. The longest road is the classroom teacher's routine. This acting skill is really absolute. I'm not going to be able to do that, but I'm going to be able to do it. I won't watch the Oscars without you this year. Of course, all this is only Chen Shu know well, because of the previous did not use imitation. It is true that the force is exhausted, but it was also just to lower the guard of the seventh class. The mimicry skill was also held back until the last moment before daring to use it. If they didn't, the people of the seventh class definitely wouldn't lay a trap. One move would determine the winner. If this one won, the entire first semester of senior year would basically be secure. Chen Shu wasn't worried about anyone in class 7 playing tricks either. The deterrent effect of the epic education technique was still very strong, and if someone in class 7 played a trick, he wouldn't mind pulling them out and educating them. Monday, Wu Ying was preparing to go to class 7 for his math class, but just after arriving at the entrance of class 7, he found that class 7 was exceptionally quiet, and after glancing at it, he found that all the people in class 7 were actually waiting honestly for the class to start. Although Chun Chu took over as class teacher, the situation in class 7 has indeed improved, but it is still as noisy, but today all the people are sitting in their seats waiting for the class is just, but there is no movement is outrageous. There is a fraud. Wu Ying's face changed, instantly realizing that class 7 might be up to some kind of mischief. Are the students of class 7 finally going to go after her too? Wu Ying couldn't help but get scared so scared that she didn't even dare to enter the classroom door. What to do? What to do? What to do? Thinking about it, Wu Ying hurriedly turned her head and walked towards the office. Seeing Chen Chu she couldn't help but say in a bit of a panic, Xiao Chen, Xiao Chen, you help me, teacher Wu. What happened? Chen Shu hurriedly asked. When I went into the classroom it was extra quiet, and everyone sitting in their seats didn't make any noise. Wu Ying said with an aggrieved face, it seems like the students in class 7 are trying to do something bad to me. I didn't provoke them either. Chen Shu froze and burst into some tears. It was because class 7 was so honestly scared that the teacher didn't dare to enter the door. After Chen Shu comforted him, Wu Ying went to class with confidence. However, when Wu Ying returned to the office after class, 
he always felt that something was not quite right. Class 7's lessons had been held, but it felt as if they hadn't been held at all. English class, physics class, chemistry class. The abnormality of the 7th class is really to these teachers to be scared. Froze did not dare to step into the door of the classroom. One by one after the class back or wide-eyed small eyes. This class on the body is not comfortable at all. It is really difficult to get used to the state of the 7th class to keep quiet. Simply to be more bizarre more bizarre. Of course, the eyes that looked at Chun Shu were even weirder. I suspect that you used magic, but I have no proof. Although it was said that the 7th class was considered honest for the time being, the teaching point output remained the same. It hasn't improved much. The main reason is that there is still the state of aversion to learning in place, and these guys simply won't take the initiative to learn. Chen Shu was also quite helpless. The learning state of the 7th class was really bad. He took the students in the 7th class in the sea of knowledge to swim, often ashore only to find that one is still in the water inside the flutter. Had to go back to fish. Some people are not easy to fish up the next day still have to go back to fish. And so Chen Shu is not easy to take a breath for a moment, only to be alarmed to find that. There are still people who are fucking swimming back. So the immediate problem that needs to be solved urgently is how to remove this state of aversion to learning. Otherwise this learning efficiency pile how high is useless. At present, he has no effective means of solving the problem, and can only hope for the system. In a flash, he finally saved up enough teaching points needed to upgrade his teacher's eye. Upgrade successful. The primary teacher's eye has successfully evolved into the intermediate teacher's eye. Chen Chu hurriedly checked the data of the intermediate teacher's eye. Intermediate teacher's eye can observe detailed data and basic profiles of students. Can be upgraded. Taking advantage of this moment, he hurriedly went to the classroom to take a glance at Joe Fong. Name, Joe Fong. Gender, male. Age, 15. Virtue, 47. Intelligence, 57. Strength, 63. Aesthetics, 52. Status, aversion to learning, removable, requires prerequisite skill, teacher's power of scrubbing. Vices, negligible. Talent E-level basketball. Study efficiency for 7%. Potential, 167, temporarily unassignable. Requires preskill, sole engineer. Comprehensive evaluation, C. Having just scanned it, the system then gave the evaluation reference. Below 50 is poor. 50 to 100 is medium. 100 to 150 is good and above 150 is excellent. It could be said that Joe Fong was mediocre in all aspects, and only the physical strength piece was slightly higher. But of course, it might increase in the later stages. Of course, what surprised Chen Chu the most was the data of potential. System, explain. Everyone's potential is different, in an undeveloped state, and can be increased through special items to increase the potential points. If the host has unlocked the sole engineer skill, he can take the initiative to develop the student's potential. Assign it to various attributes, and improve the student's various abilities in comprehensive evaluation. Chen Shu couldn't help but suck in a breath of cool air. This wouldn't be heaven defying if I were to cultivate a 999 with all attributes? Chapter 67, Dog Trust? However, at the moment, it was just a matter of thinking about it, and it was unlikely that the full attribute of 999 would be realized. One by one, Chen Shu browsed through the data of all the students in the class. The girl's physical strength values are all 40 downwards on average. It seems that they need to strengthen their physical exercise. The most troublesome thing is still the virtue piece. Zhou Feng 47 virtues are already considered high. A glance sweep over. A large number of 30 good. The most outrageous is Su Tianhao. Surprisingly only 17. Having a lot of vices was part of it. A virtue of 17 meant that this little guy's values were also twisted and prone to accidents. One of the extremely dangerous people. Other students are at most violating school rules and regulations. Su Tianhao's kind is likely to have already been on the edge of illegal and criminal behavior crazy temptation. May have repeatedly jumped across the board. Antisocial personality? Chen Chu's face slightly sank. This cannot be very good to deal with. There was really no good way to deal with this for a while. At this moment, the system then suddenly prompted. Lucky draws and check-ins have a certain chance of obtaining the sole engineer skill. And you can also spend a certain amount of teaching points to specify rewards through the teacher's pagoda. And the higher the grade of the rewards, the harder the difficulty of the copy will be. Chen Shu hurriedly asked. What grade is that soul engineer? SSSS grade. Unfortunately, the teacher's pagoda was already on cooldown and would have to wait until next month to open up the challenge opportunity. However, Chen Shu still determined the cost. Designated soul engineer required a choice cost of 60,000 teaching points. While the difficulty of the replica was hellish, the difficulty of the replica was of 7 grades, normal, difficult, extremely difficult, hell, legendary, epic, and mythical. 
It was two levels higher than even the love letter copy from the last challenge. Chen Chu's eyes narrowed slightly. Can I specify multiple rewards at the same time? Yes. Then I'll choose both the Soul Engineer and Teacher Washing Power Skill rewards at the same time. Reward determination is in progress. According to the host's chosen reward, a selection fee of 100,000 teaching points is required. And the difficulty of the copy is epic. Chen Chu could not help but suck in a breath of cool air. Epic copy. Last time, he was lucky to pass the extreme difficulty copy, and although he had quite a few more cards in his hand at this moment, but wanting to challenge the epic copy. Honestly, Chen Chu didn't have much of a bottom line. The main thing is that it also requires a choice of 100, 000 teaching points, which if the challenge fails, it is not for nothing. One can't be too greedy. Chen Shu felt that what he could use right now was still too little, and he had to hurry up and upgrade the draw function. Still short of more than 500 draws to upgrade, Chen Shu didn't keep teaching points, saved up for a day, and directly drew 600 consecutive draws, directly shielded the system's lottery prompts. Chen Shu also did not rush to see what was drawn, but instead waited for the system's lottery upgrade prompts. In the middle of the day, the prompts finally sounded. Congratulations to the host who has accumulated 1000 draws. Is it time to upgrade the draw function? Warm reminder, after upgrading, the consumption of the lottery will increase substantially, but the winning rate of high level items will also rise substantially with it. Chen Chu did not hesitate. Yes, upgrade successful. Each draw now costs 100 teaching points, and the draw function can be upgraded after accumulating 10. 000 draws. The teaching points were also spent cleanly. So Chen Shu did not bother to continue with the draws and instead placed his gaze on the item bar. With a glance, Chen Shu was overjoyed. Two talent random modules, an A-ranked pendulum and a new pet. Three character sutra, quality A. When placed in the classroom there is a certain chance that it will grant students an hour of reflective state. Upgradable. No one knew better than Chen Shu how strong the reflection effect was, even if it was only for an hour. But in the long run, the effect could be remarkable. After checking the effect of the set, it required 8 pieces, and after putting together a set it was able to extend the time of the reflective state to 5 hours. I'll put the 3 character sutra in the classroom later to lock it up. Muttering, Chen Shu hurriedly checked his new pet. Mini Hell Triton, quality B, evolvable, will play in the middle of the classroom after release. Has a certain chance of tearing into a student, granting them a 10 minute, awe, state, and has a very low probability of triggering, devour, while tearing. Devour? Chen Shu was stunned. The system then gave an explanation. Devour, eat random vices or random potential points. Good guy. It was possible to eat down vices and potential points. No wonder it was a hell's three-headed dog. A demonic creature. Chen Shu dwelled on it for a while, but he still wasn't going to release the hell's three-headed dog. Vices could be eliminated by the reflective state. But with the potential points gone, he didn't have any means to replenish them now. What's more, each and every one of these seven classes didn't have a high potential. And if he ate some more, the cultivation ceiling would be too low, and the ratings wouldn't be able to go up at all. He could only temporarily keep the Hell's three-headed dog in the item bar, and upgrade it later when he had the chance, to see if there would be any changes. Together with the talent modules obtained from the previous sign-in, there are now a total of three random talent modules. After thinking about it, Chen Shu decided to use it to see the effect. Chen Shu naturally wanted to use it on the body practitioner students, Zhou Feng, Yang Tianyu, and Chao Yunjing. Old Chen. What is it that you're looking for me for? Zhou Feng asked with a puzzled expression. To discuss something with you guys, follow me. Chen Shu did not know if this talent module would have any strange reactions after using it, so to be on the safe side, he still shouted the three of them to the corner. First, he patted Zhou Feng's shoulder, talking about playing ball on the weekend, but in reality, he used the talent module on Zhou Feng. Use successful. After hearing the system prompt, Chen Shu immediately activated the teacher's eye. Name, Zhou Feng. Gender, male. Age, 15. Status, aversion to learning. Vices. Neglected. Talent E-level basketball. S-level math. Study efficiency 123%. Comprehensive evaluation C. Chen Chu, dog toe. Chapter 68, God TM Taming Beasts. S-class. The rating even went straight up to C. Chen Chu was instantly confused. Old Chen. Why did you suddenly stop talking? Yang Tianyu and Chao Yunjing were also puzzled. Cough cough. No. Nothing. Ma yeah. Chen Chu had thought that a D-ranked talent would be a no-brainer, but it turned out that he came up with an S-ranked math talent. This kid saved the earth in his past life. Emperor O in the world ah. Chen Shu came back to his senses and hurriedly patted Zhou Feng's shoulder, hurriedly rubbing some O Chi, and again subconsciously looked at Chao Yunjing and Yang Tianyu. Quickly, the two of you also pat Zhou Feng's shoulder. 
Ah, the duo looked at each other in disbelief. Why were they suddenly patting Zhou Feng's shoulder? Zhou Feng was dumbfounded. Don't freeze, take advantage of the heat. Zhou Feng, Yang Tianyu and Chao Yunjing also extended their hands to pat Zhou Feng's shoulder. All right, Zhou Feng, go back first. Zhou Feng was confused and still went back to the classroom first. Chen Shu patted Yang Tianyu's shoulder again to use the talent randomization module. Used successfully, Chen Shu couldn't wait to use the teacher's eye. Name, Yang Tianyu. Gender, male. Age, 15. Status, averse to learning. Vices, ignored. Talent C level art. Study efficiency 133%. Overall rating, F. Put, the talent has gone astray. A sports student who ordered art can be okay. Old Chen. Okay, you also go back to the classroom. No, you did not say anything ah. For the time being, I do not know what to say to you. Go back. Yang Tianyu? Another one returned to the classroom in a daze, leaving only Chao Yunjing. Old Chen, what the hell are you doing? Touching your bones. HM, you can still touch bones? Chen Shu didn't want to explain, and grabbed Chao Yunjing's shoulder as he used his last talent randomization module. Name, Chao Yunjing. Gender, male. Age, 15. Status, aversion to learning. Vices, neglected. Talent D grade beast taming. Learning efficiency, 107. Overall rating, F. Chen Chu, goddamn taming beasts? Chen Chu looked at Chao Yunjing with an odd expression. Chao Yunjing immediately panicked a bit. Old Chen, did you touch anything? No, then why are you looking at me with that expression? I'm a little panicked right now. Don't panic, don't panic, you go back first. In fact, the random talent module was not really randomized, but randomized within the direction that was suitable according to the student's comprehensive evaluation, and it was generally not too outrageous. Yang Tianyu's art talent is okay, even if it goes off on a tangent, but at least it can go in the direction of art students, and there is no chance that it can make a name for itself. Beast taming talent is actually not too bad, with a good maybe later can become a zoologist or equestrian athlete, mixed almost to go to the zoo as an animal. Ah, no, administrators, or open a pet store and so on, and then do not help to go to the street to play monkeys, but also considered to carry forward the traditional culture. The trouble is that Chen Shu does not know how to guide. Tell Chao Yunjing that you have a talent for taming beasts? Forget it, seeing as you have such bad luck. I'll compensate you next time I have a talent module. System, an S-ranked math talent. How strong does it have to be? According to the judgment of the host's world, the average talent of a mathematician is A, and S belongs to the ranks of top mathematicians. Chen Shu's eyes glazed over. I accidentally made a mathematician, or a sports specialty student. However, Chen Shu quickly calmed down. Talent was talent. If Zhou Feng didn't move towards math, this talent was just like a pose. Not to mention that this guy's current state was still averse to learning. Talent needed to be guided. And even more so, it needed to be explored and practiced. Chen Shu decided to be Zhou Feng's guide, choosing the right day to do so. When the evening study hall was over, Chen Shu shouted Zhou Feng down. Zhou Feng, come to the office for a chat. Zhou Feng was not unhappy. He was just puzzled. When he entered the office, before Zhou Feng could open his mouth, Chen Shu said to Zhou Feng, Zhou Feng, based on my observation during this period of time, I have found that you are extremely talented in math. Zhou Feng, confused for a moment, Zhou Feng scratched his head with an embarrassed face. Old Chen, this, I'm quite happy if you want to say that I'm a bit gifted in basketball, but for you to say that I'm gifted in math, isn't that a load of crap? After all, Zhou Feng is still self-aware. I've never even memorized all the formulas in a textbook. Yes, Chen Shu said with a determined face. Zhou Feng, you need to be confident. Where does this confidence come from for me? Old Chen, there really isn't any. You really do. Chen Shu laughed. It's just that you didn't notice it yourself. So, you go to Mr. Wu's desk to get the textbook. What for? Don't ask so many questions. You'll know if you take it. Zhou Feng cried and laughed. But in no time, he still came with his math textbook. Chen Shu flipped it open and scanned it, asking, how much of Unit 1 have you read? Zhou Feng gave a dry laugh. A little bit. Did you get the concept of set? A little bit. What do you mean by subset? Zhou Feng subconsciously said. Any one of the elements of set A is an element of set B, then set A is called a subset of set B? After saying that, Zhou Feng suddenly froze. Hey, how did I know that? Chen Shu closed the book and smiled slightly. I told you, you have a talent. It's just that you don't know it yourself. Really? Zhou Feng hurriedly took the textbook and glanced at it, then said with a face full of astonishment. I go, it's still true. I glanced at it before, and I actually memorized it. Old Chen, do I really have a talent for math? 
Yes, and it's not an ordinary math talent, Chen Shu said with a straight face. Let's put it this way, as long as it's developed well, you might even become a mathematician, Zhou Feng's eyes glared. Me, a mathematician, you're making too big of a joke, old Chen, I'm still self-aware, let alone a mathematician, I'm thankful if I can pass my math exam, be confident, you can get a perfect score, Zhou Feng, chapter 69, father and son in the battlefield, Zhou Feng was stunned by Chen Chu's words, just me, a perfect score on a math test, well, should I just laugh or go through the motions, how can this be possible, Zhou Feng looked at Chen Chu with a tearful expression, seeing Zhou Feng's expression, Chen Shu knew that Zhou Feng didn't believe in himself at all. Well, everything was within expectation. It would be strange to believe him. His purpose had already been accomplished. Telling Zhou Feng that he had this talent and guiding him to set a direction in his subconscious. Only then did he let Zhou Feng leave the office. Yang Tianyu, Chao Yunjing and the others were waiting for Zhou Feng. And after a long time, they hurriedly greeted Zhou Feng when they saw him arrive. Brother Zhou, what is old Chen looking for you for? Zhou Feng scratched his head and hesitantly said. Old Chen said that I have a talent for math, and it's the kind that can become a mathematician. Practicing physical shang. Underscore 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 Joe Fong underscore 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 underscore. Just you. It's not like I said it. Joe Fong said without a trace of humor. Old Chen told me. Yang Tianyu waved his hand and said with a straight face, Old Chen fooled you. Chao Yunjing nodded slightly. Old Chen is just trying to get you to do well in class. The crowd hurriedly nodded along. Feeling the same. Joe Fong shrugged. He felt that Chen Chu's expression and tone didn't seem like he was joking with him, but he himself didn't believe it. Soon, this matter was put behind Zhou Feng. Chen Chu observed for a few days and did not see any abnormalities in Zhou Feng, so he could not help but feel a bit helpless. It seemed that those words at that time did not have much of an impact on Zhou Feng. It was true that he had thought of things too simply, and Zhou Feng's motivation wasn't as high as he had imagined. Take your time. That morning just after class, Chen Shu had just returned to his office when several teachers looked at him with smiles and joy. Little Chen, you have to perform well at the welcome party. Young people are just energetic. We're not so good now. Chen Shu listened with a puzzled expression. What orientation party? Didn't you sign up for the dance performance at the welcome party? Ha! Huh. Chen Shu froze. I didn't sign up at all. When Chen Shu came back to his senses, he immediately realized that he had been punked. Naturally, it wasn't the students who had done this. And the only person who could do such a thing was Zhao Yijou. Chen Shu immediately called Zhao Yijou. And as a result, the call never got through. Good guy. He also blacked me out. Chen Shu snorted coldly. Playing this with me? In the dance training room of the first middle school, Zhao Yijou was chatting with the youthful and beautiful dance teachers. I recently. As soon as the words left his mouth, Chen Shu didn't know when he had already arrived behind Zhao Yijou, slowly hitching a ride on Zhao Yijou's shoulder and smiling eerily. Old Zhao. Looking for you for a bit of a matter. Zhao Yijou looked at Chen Chu with a stunned expression, and in no time was pulled out by Chen Chu. Still full of doubts, how did you know I was here? Chen Chu laughed coldly, on your old color batch, where there is a beautiful woman to scurry wear, our school most beautiful women on the dance teacher's office. I use my fingers to think all know that you do not have a class is bound to be here. Don't pull away from the topic. Give me an explanation to explain. How did I somehow sign up to participate in the dance performance of the New Year's Eve? Old Chen. Don't be angry, I'm not doing this for the sake of your happiness? Zhao Yijou hurriedly put his arm around Chen Chu's shoulder and whispered, Our school's dance teachers are all quite pretty, with good figures and temperament, so it's not a good thing for them to dance together at that time to enhance their relationship. Chen Chu laughed without smiling. Zhao Yijou saw that he couldn't get away with it, and smiled awkwardly, explaining the original reason. In fact, it was this guy who took the initiative to sign up for the show in order to be attentive, and in order to avoid embarrassing himself when the time came. He pulled on Chen Chu's idea of making a fool of himself in the meantime. Chen Chu glared at Zhao Yijou without any good humor. However, on second thought, Deng Sijia's gang of dance students was also going to participate in the welcome party. Thinking about it, it wasn't a bad opportunity to get close to Deng Sijia and the others. And since they had all signed up, there was no way to push back. Forget it, I'll help you out for once. Zhao Yijou was instantly overjoyed. Sure is a good brother. There's no way. Chen Chu spread his hands. It's just like a father and son in battle. I'm not too worried about you either. Zhao Ijo nodded slightly and suddenly froze when he looked back. HM, taking advantage of me? See what you're saying. At our age, it doesn't matter who's whose father. Who's whose son. There is so-called. Chapter 70 Rehearsal. There were several dance performances at the welcome party. Some were group dances for teachers, while others were group dances with students. Of course, it wasn't just Zhao Ijo and Chun Shu who had signed up. 
There were also quite a few male teachers who were gathering inside the dance studio at this moment waiting for the arrangements to be made. Not long after, the director of the dance office led a group of young and beautiful dance teachers in and began to allocate candidates. And the director was heard laughing. We have a total of four programs. Three are group dances for the teachers and one is a group dance with the students. The names of the programs were then reported and the requirements were clearly stated. The teacher group dances were naturally all dances with a main theme and they followed the dance teachers. Besides Chen Chu, all the male teachers chose the three programs for the teacher group dances, including Zhao Yijo. Just after deciding, Zhao Yijo froze and quietly asked Chen Chu, you're going to dance with the students? What's the point of that? After all, nine out of ten of the male teachers who were willing to come and participate were holding out to come and interact with the beautiful young dance teachers. Chen Chu bristled. In fact, he also quite wanted to dance with the dance teachers, not to mention anything else. At the very least, it was eye-catching, but for the sake of class 7, one could only choose the student group dance. However, Chen Shu was too lazy to explain. The director of the dance office counted the number of people, confirmed it and began to distribute it, and according to the program it was divided into four groups of people. Chen Shu was the only one in the last group, naturally attracting attention. The director of the dance office even took a glance at Chen Shu and said with a smile, Teacher Chen, you're quite special. A bunch of male teachers couldn't help but laugh and their eyes couldn't help but bring a few sneers. Don't young and beautiful dance teachers smell good? Silly, what's the point of going to dance with students? Chen Shu scratched his head slightly awkwardly, explaining, it's good to communicate with the students more. Quite good. The director of the dance office smiled, and then began to allocate dance teachers according to the program. Behind the six dance teachers each divided into two to go to the group dance that is responsible for rehearsing the program. However, when it came to Chen Shu's turn, there was only the director of the dance office left. The director of the dance office is more than 40 women, with the young and beautiful cannot touch the edge. And in any case, they are the director. People are also quite serious. A piece of the dance that is how difficult. A group of male teachers saw the situation. Almost didn't give a laugh. Even Zhao Ijo is a bad smile. Can't stop giving Chen Chu a wink. As if to say again you can really pick ah. Chen Chu didn't care. Originally it was for the seventh class. Dancing with the head of the dance class didn't have any effect. Just when everyone thought that the head of the dance office would definitely choose to dance with Chen Chu, they didn't expect the head of the dance office to open her mouth and say to Chen Chu, Mr. Chen, then you'll be dancing with MS. Yuan Wen. Oh, Chen Chu nodded slightly, but did not know who Yuan Wen was. On the contrary, it was that bunch of male teachers, who just now had a sneer on their faces. All of them were instantly confused. Zhao Ijo that was even more of an expression like he had eaten shit. Speak of the devil. This moment outside the door came the sound of footsteps, followed by a silhouette stepped into the dance studio. Long hair draped over her shoulders. Her figure was a delicate one. Her temperament was excellent. Her features were exquisite. And she was graceful. Director. Sorry for being late. The person who came is not Yuan Wen. Probably because she walked a bit hurriedly. A bit slightly asthmatic. It's fine. You're in charge of the student group dance. Here. I'll leave Mr. Chen to you. Yuan Wen smiled and nodded, hastily greeting Chen Chu. Chen Chu smiled. Should I say no? There was really a feeling of being stunned. That said, our school has such a beautiful female teacher? Chen Chu had stayed for half a year and had never really heard of Yuan Wen. Anyway, it is better than the director of the dance office. The director of the dance office clapped her hands, which allowed the crowd to start rehearsing individually and go. Before leaving, Chen Chu even inexplicably felt a strong aura of resentment. This caused Chen Chu to cry and laugh a little, and followed Yuan Wen's back foot as she also prepared to meet the students. Although Chen Chu did not recognize Yuan Wen, Yuan Wen seemed to recognize Chen Chu. On this way Yuan Wen laughed. Teacher Chen, I have seen the video of you playing ball. Well, you played very well. Thanks. Chen Chu asked with a twist of words. Teacher Yuan, I haven't seen you before? Oh, I just came back last month, and I've been studying and exchanging at the Northern Dance for the last year. Northern Dance? Chen Shu couldn't help but smack his lips a little. This he knew. It was considered the ceiling of the domestic art schools. No wonder he hadn't heard of it. And Yuan Wen wasn't at the school when he came. Dance studio. Deng Xijia and the others were warming up while waiting for MS. Yuan Wen to come to rehearse. Probably because they had heard that a male teacher would be rehearsing with them. So they couldn't help but talk about it. In a short while, Yuan Wen had already changed into a close-fitting black dance outfit and entered the dance studio with a gentle smile. A male teacher has come to rehearse with us today. Come on, everyone applaud and welcome. The crowd hurriedly applauded and looked towards the door with an expectant face. And immediately afterward, Chen Chu, who was wearing a tracksuit, 
walked in. Deng Xijia's crowd immediately rolled their eyes. The corners of their mouths couldn't help but twitch. Chapter 71 Blow. Just blow hard. It was the other art students who couldn't help but cheer a little. Although Chun Chu was not well received in class 7, he was extremely popular among the students of other classes, and the video of his ball game had been widely circulated, making him quite popular among the students. Most importantly, since Chun Chu took charge of the 7th class, the 7th class has not been very noisy. In the past, the class hallway was filled with the noisy voice of the 7th class, and now I do not know how much cleaner. Yuan Wen blinked, completely not expecting Chen Chu to be so popular. Not to mention Yuan Wen, Chen Chu himself did not expect to be popular with the students. Then please ask this teacher to introduce himself. Yuan Wen felt that she didn't even need to say anything more, so she simply smiled and asked Chen Chu to introduce himself. This kind of scene Chen Chu was still able to easily manage, and with a smile, he said, Hello everyone. I'm the homeroom teacher of the seventh class of the first year of high school. My surname is Chen Chu. I'll be rehearsing and performing with everyone next, and I hope to get along well with all of you. A bold girl smiled and said, Teacher Chen, you're super handsome when you play. So many boys in our class idolize you. So do the boys in our class, yelling every day that the heavens don't give birth to me, Mr. Chen, and that all the ages of the world will seek the path like a long night. Strong middle-aged era. Chen Shu hurriedly laughed. I'm flattered. I'm flattered. The girls kept asking questions. Chen Shu was a bit unable to catch them and glanced at Yuan Wen for help. Yuan Wen hurriedly smiled and clapped her hands. All right, all right. If there's anything you want to ask, privately you can go and ask Mr. Chen. Next I'm going to rearrange the group dance formation. However, before Yuan Wen finished speaking, Deng Xijia suddenly walked out and said, Teacher Yuan, I have a question. Yuan Wen was stunned and quickly asked, Deng Xijia, what's the problem? Our homeroom teacher doesn't have the physical condition, and she doesn't have the dancing skills, so what makes her able to rehearse with us? Deng Xijia said to herself, we've been practicing for so long with great difficulty, and suddenly a teacher who can't do anything comes over to meddle. Mr. Yuan, I think it's a bit too much of a child's play for you to make a decision like this. As soon as Deng Xijia opened her mouth, everyone didn't dare to say anything. At a glance, one could tell that it was the dance studio's bearer. However, Deng Xijia was the only one who dared to talk to Yuan Wen like this. This kind of thing was not something that Yuan Wen could have arranged. After all, it was the director of the dance office who made the decision single-handedly. But Yuan Wen was not angry at all and explained in a warm voice. M.S. Deng Xijia, the problems you mentioned have been considered by the teacher before. So I will make a slight change to the group dance next. And I will not let M.S. Chen affect the effect of your performances. But instead, with M.S. Chen's help. It will present a more different stage. Yuan Wen didn't argue, and listened to Chun Chu secretly admire her. It was true that she was an old-timer. To be welcomed by students like this, the words she said were different. Deng Xijia really couldn't say anything, but she was the head of the dance studio. And with just a look, several girls from the 7th class around her could only come up to help. I don't agree anyway. It's not like he can dance. Maybe it's a mouse shit stirring up a pot of soup. Right. Right. Deng Xijia suddenly gained a few points of confidence. Teacher Yuan, it seems I'm not the only one who has an opinion. It was Yuan Wen's turn to have a bit of a headache. She had no problem with one-on-one, -on -one, but Deng Xijia shaking people would be a problem. Moreover, Deng Xijia was clearly being a bit unreasonable, clearly wanting to go against each other, making Yuan Wen not even know what to say. Right at this moment, Chen Shu was the one who suddenly opened his mouth. How do you guys know that I wouldn't be able to dance? Deng Xijia was slightly stunned then stared at Chen Shu with a wink. Just you, dance? Chen Shu asked in return. What's wrong? Doesn't it look like it? Deng Xijia was infuriated. Then tell me, what kind of dance do you know? Street dance? Ballet? National standard or what? This moment Chen Shu could be hardened. Crossing his waist, he could bully himself. Basically all practiced. Ah, this. Teacher Yuan Wen cried and laughed, only thinking that Chen Shu had been angered by Deng Xijia. Blow? Just blow hard. Her hallowed northern dance graduate didn't even dare to say such big words. When Deng Xijia saw Chun Chu's bottomless look, she was simply speechless. No, where did you get the confidence? Although Chun Chu could play basketball and had good gaming skills, but none of these had anything to do with dancing. Yes, Deng Xijia looked contemptuous, I won't make it difficult for you. So you first come to a section of the national standard and I'll take a look at it. If you can dance, I'll guarantee that I'll never say anything in the future. No problem. Chen Chu turned his gaze to Yuan Wen. Teacher Yuan, is there any music? Seeing that Chen Shu still seemed to really want to come, Yuan Wen was stunned. Teacher Chen, you, you really know? A little bit. 
Alright, which song do you want? Just play any song. Yuan Wen nodded slightly and hurriedly went to the multimedia console in the corner of the dance studio. The crowd hurriedly dispersed to make room for Chen Chu. Deng Xijia still had a disdainful look on her face, just waiting for Chen Chu to make a fool of himself. Chapter 72, Heaven Did Not Give Birth to Me. Mr. Chen, the ancient dance path is like a long night. Wait, who's going to be my partner? Chen Chu swept around. I can't dance by myself. The crowd looked at each other with a few bitter smiles. Many people had indeed learned the GB, but Deng Xijia was obviously intentionally making things difficult for Chen Chu. So jumping out to match Chun Chu at this moment, wasn't that going against Deng Xijia? No one dared to make a sound. Deng Xijia was very satisfied and looked at Chun Chu with a teasing face. Fortunately, Yuan Wen hurriedly relieved Chen Chu after she had finished the music. Teacher Chen, I'll dance with you for a while. Okay, thank you, MS. Yuan. Yuan Wen hurriedly came to Chun Chu's front and whispered. Teacher Chen, you really know how to do this? Will, I played this song. The girl in the faraway land. I know it. Yuan Wen was slightly stunned, and just then, the stirring music began to play. Chen Chu's gaze was awe-inspiring. All of a sudden it was as if he had changed into a different person. Carrying his left hand, his right hand made a gentleman's salute. Even his foot movements were full of details. His left leg was slightly bent after his right leg. Yuan Wen was surprised and delighted. Smiling slightly, she hastily stretched out her right hand. Drums and the music together. Chen Chu a raised hand to hold. Wearing sportswear surprisingly can be seen the body to show the standard form of posture. The surrounding students were all filled with astonishment. Deng Xijia was even more wide-eyed, with a look of having seen a ghost. It's really good. The standard stance of this starting hand, at a glance, was practiced, and practiced quite well. In a trance, under the exciting and rhythmic music, Chen Shu and Yuan Wen had already accurately stepped on the beat, leisurely and powerfully striding forward. After three beats, Chen Shu's right toe swirled driving Yuan Wen to change direction. The whole set of actions flowed without the slightest hesitation, the sense of beauty and power double superimposed, causing many people to exclaim, Mr. Chen is so valiant. Amazing, I thought he was joking. The male teachers who used to teach us Chinese standard dance didn't have this dry sense of power. Yuan Wen's face was full of surprises. As a dance partner, she naturally felt the deepest. Obviously just now she looked at Chun Shu, who was still a bit naive. But as soon as the music started to play, she instantly became a professional dancer in terms of her demeanor and body shape. Fortunately, Yuan Wen did not lose focus. Footsteps a row. The whole person instantly affixed to Chen Shu's chest. Chen Shu was even more undistracted. Bending down, his right hand held Yuan Wen's waist in a double pirouette. The rhythm just changed. The right hand once again forced to pull Yuan Wen back, close to see each other. Head twisted. The two people once again stride in the field swimming. Yuan Wen was secretly surprised in her heart. As long as she had the slightest change in her body, Chen Shu seemed to have guessed her mind, and immediately cooperated with her to perform the next action. Obviously, she hadn't cooperated at all, but it felt as if she had already cooperated countless times. This was not a high degree of tacit understanding, but rather Chen Shu had completely controlled the rhythm, knowing when it was necessary to display and when it was necessary to cooperate. It made Yuan Wen instantly think of the Northern Dance Academy's national standard instructor. That was a great national standard dancer who had danced for more than 30 years, and had won numerous awards internationally. He had demonstrated such a skill, without any prior rehearsal, but only through the rhythm of the music and the movements of the dance partner to carry out a high tacit cooperation. This was something that required an immense amount of solid skills. On the contrary, Chen Shu had even managed to do it. Are you a dance student or am I a dance student? As the tempo of the music increased, the movements of the two people also increased, the faster it got the harder it became, but Chun Chu and Yuan Wen stepped on the beat with every step as usual. The strong visual impact left the art students in the dance studio dumbfounded, and even Deng Xijia already had a look of disbelief. Even if it is private Yuan Wen brought Chun Chu to secretly practice, but, it is impossible to dance so outrageously ah, this look was the level of a professional dancer. No, no, the professional level may not even reach this level. The only thing in the room was the music. There were no cries of surprise, no murmurs, Everyone's eyes fell on Chen Chu and Yuan Wen. Suddenly, the music came to an abrupt end. Chen Chu bowed slightly with one hand on Yuan Wen's waist, and with the other hand on Yuan Wen's right leg, he made the final ending move. His face did not turn red and he did not gasp for breath. On the contrary, it was Yuan Wen, whose cheeks were slightly flushed, her chest undulating and her forehead sweating quite a lot. She was obviously very tired. In a flash, the entire dance studio applauded and exclaimed, Teacher Chen is absolutely amazing. My god, 
This dancing is also too good. It's not even enough that he's so strong in basketball. He dances so amazingly. As the words of praise continued to flow, Chen Shu hurriedly picked up Yuan Wen and smiled faintly. It's been hard on teacher Yuan. Inexplicably, Yuan Wen felt that Chen Shu's smile was filled with endless charm. No, no, Yuan Wen just got up, feeling her heart beating a bit hard. Wiping the sweat on her forehead she smiled at the crowd. At this moment, I think no one has an opinion, right? These words Yuan Wen naturally said to Deng Xijia. Deng Xijia returned to her senses, skimmed her mouth and didn't make a sound. As for the others, they had long since turned into Chun Shu's little fangirls, whispering endlessly. Heaven did not give birth to my teacher Chen. The 10,000 ancient dance path is like a long night. Chapter 73, Nothing Difficult. Since they all have no more opinions, then everyone should get along with Mr. Chen in the future. Chen Shu smiled. Please take care of your students. The crowd cheered and swarmed up to surround Chen Shu. Teacher Chen, how long have you been learning? The dancing is also too stunning. Your words were overwhelming. Yuan Wen, who was on the side, laughed and saw that Deng Xijia and the others were pulling a face but didn't have anything more to say before they started rehearsing. Okay, everyone stand in the same position as we rehearsed before and dance once first. Yuan Wen clapped her hands, and the crowd then each came to their arranged positions and began to dance along with the music, taking advantage of this moment to naturally think about how to get Chen Shu in without affecting the stage effects. Chen Shu also watched from the sidelines. The entire dance was only about five minutes. When it was finished Yuan Wen signaled for Chen Chu to go to some position in the middle, and then beat the beat, and step by step, the rehearsal officially began. Teacher Chen, you follow. First A, the music had just started, but Chen Chu had already raised his hands and started dancing with the crowd. There was no need to arrange Chen Chu's route. Chen Chu himself could find his own way out, completely unaffected by the original cue. The first time I saw it, I saw it again, and it was a very good thing. Chen Chu had only watched it once and was actually able to dance out all of the movements, and did so extremely well, even Yuan Wen was a bit dumbfounded. Seeing this, Chen Shu also couldn't help but stop his movements. What's wrong? Teacher Chen, you know it after watching it once, the students were all filled with astonishment. Chen Shu scratched his head and subconsciously said, isn't it quite simple? There's nothing difficult about it. Quite simple. It's not that difficult. We've been rehearsing for almost a month or so to get to where we are now. You can do it after watching it once? Even Deng Xijia and the others were looking weird. Where on earth did surname Chen come from? It felt as if there was nothing he didn't know how to do. Yuan Wen felt that it was quite unbelievable. Chen Chu's dancing was simply too professional, even more so than her, who was a professional dancer. The students couldn't see it, but she was the one who felt it the most. She is now extremely skeptical Chen Chu is not a graduate of the Academy of Dance and Arts and then arranged by the school to teach language. Rehearsed for a long time, Chen Chu saw the imitation effect is almost over. Rushed to find an excuse to get out, said the office inside someone looking for, hurriedly slipped out of the dance studio, twisted his head and ran to the staff dormitory. The effect just passed. A hot pain immediately came from the thigh below. Dancing national standard that moment was too involved. All kinds of tearing ligaments. Hiss. This soreness. Chen Shu flopped down on the bed. The pain was so intense that his five senses were almost squeezed into a ball. The good thing was that this pain was still the tolerable kind. After half an hour of reprieve, it was finally not that intense. I'm afraid that the next period of time will have to be spent with the dance art students pressing their legs together, or else this ligament definitely won't be able to be used on a regular basis. Fortunately, he had already mixed in with the dance art students, and the next step was to find a way to take down Deng Xijia's group. But Deng Xijia's gang is a bit greasy. Chen Chu frowned. During today's rehearsal, Deng Xijia's group hadn't targeted him much, even if he wanted to take the initiative to strike up a conversation. No one was willing to pay attention to him. Difficulty O. Oh. This day Wang Lebang returned home. Across the distance heard a familiar female voice and his grandmother laughing and talking. Wang Lebang a happy. Hurried into the house to see a Yingqi full of women on the joy. Yuing sister. When did you come back? I just came back yesterday. Yuing saw Wang Lebang and said with a wink. I heard grandma say that your kid is doing well. Surprisingly, you're still the class president. Wang Lebang scratched his head and suddenly remembered something and hurriedly pulled Yuing out. Sister Ng, I want to discuss something with you. Yuing looked odd. What for? Previously, Wang Lebang had always suspected that Chen Chu's identity was not right, but he could not find a way to investigate. Wang Lebang then told Yuing about Chen Chu, then said with a serious face, Sister Ng, there must be something wrong with this, right? Well, Yuing pondered for a moment, and also couldn't help but frown. According to you, it's really a bit odd, right? Wang Lebang said as if he had found a vent. Brother Gao, 
he didn't believe me, said I was fooling around, I felt that this person must have a problem, Sister Ng, you go and check, there must be something fishy in here, maybe it's a big fish, Ewing rolled her eyes in dismay, I want to check on it, do you think my house is run by national security, the top has to approve it, not to mention you don't have much evidence, Wang Lebang thought about it and hurriedly said, I, I have evidence, oh, without saying a word, Wang Lebang took out his cell phone and handed it to Ewing, there were quite a few videos on it, either videos of Chun Chu playing basketball, or videos of Chun Chu playing games, and there was even a video of Chun Chu and Yuan when dancing together that had just been circulated in the school at noon today, look, look, Wang Lebang pointed at Chun Chu and said, he can play basketball, he can play games, he can fucking dance, and he's even good at fighting, so you're saying it's not outrageous, how can a normal person have this ability, Ewing swept through, looking a bit grave, and said in a deep voice, Lo Bang, how old is your teacher? 23 or 24 can't remember. Ewing fiddled with his fingertips. TSK, so much younger than me ah. Does he have a girlfriend yet? Wang Le Bang rolled his white eyes. I shit, Sister Ng, I asked you to check him ah, not to introduce you to a boyfriend ah. Chapter 74, Creating a System from the Heart. It was only a day's work before Chin Chu realized that the video of himself dancing with Yuan Wen had already been circulated by the students. And as a result, the next day in class, he could feel the sharp eyes of many single male teachers. The old teachers inside the office were all married and had obviously seen the video. As soon as Chen Shu arrived, he immediately became the main character inside the office. And a bunch of teachers naturally did not mince words of praise, saying that Chen Shu was a good dancer, multi-talented and so on. The only thing I can say is that it's a good thing that I'm not a good person. Well at least on some other dishes ah. For example, compliment me handsome, suave and so on is not impossible. TSK, blame my ability is too outstanding to cover up this beautiful face of mine? Chen Shu secretly slandered in his heart. Probably Yuan Wen is too popular. Chatting with the topic shifted to Yuan Wen. Chen Shu listened for a while before realizing what Yuan Wen's situation was. She was a graduate student of the Northern Dance and is now studying for her doctorate. The physical and external conditions are almost impossible to say. Chen Shu admitted that there should be no female teacher in the first high school who is more beautiful and has a better temperament than Yuan Wen and the family is extremely good, parents are people with status, specific what position is not clear, but are on the unit, popularity is so strong, and the popularity of the people also need not be said, almost all aspects of the perfect woman cannot be picked, only, it had nothing to do with Chen Shu, Chen Shu was still self-aware, people you want when is a jade girl, he cannot be considered a golden boy, at most a stainless steel boy, the door is not right, there is no possibility, so Chen Shu simply did not think in the direction of male-female relations, or feel that Li is still more suitable for himself. The problem is that Li is still more difficult to deal with than even the seventh class. Regular cross-service chat. Just the kind of. I said I kill without blinking. You ask me if my eyes are dry. For example, Chen Shu about going out to see the sunrise. Li still returned a sentence I myopia ah. On. The actual is the Chen Shu to the whole will not. The brain circuit of Li still really can't be followed casually. Hardly about so long have not asked out once. Chen Shu is also a headache. If you do other women, it is reasonable to say that they should also understand their own meaning. At the very least, they must also give some response. I don't know if Li is still slow to react or just as if he is purely a friend and classmate. The good thing is that this moment is not in a hurry to deal with personal feelings. Chen Shu's thoughts quickly shifted to Deng Sijia's group. Apart from weekends, there would be rehearsals almost every afternoon, and it was necessary to subdue this group before the welcome party or else they would definitely not be able to find such a good opportunity later on. Nay, Chen Shu didn't have any thoughts at all right now. After all, it was a group of little girls, the means that could be utilized were limited, and the minds of girls were already quite delicate. It really gave Chen Shu a sense of helplessness that he had no way to start. However, right at this moment, Zhou Feng suddenly came to the office. What's wrong? Chen Shu asked. Wang Lebang looked for me just now. Zhou Feng said with a puzzled face said that he wants you to go to his house over the weekend to make a return visit. Not to mention that Zhou Feng had a puzzled face. Even Chen Chu had a puzzled face. Wang Lebang actually took the initiative to ask himself to do a home visit? This was also really too out of place. Zhou Feng curiously asked in a low voice. Old Chen. What, did you make his parents cry too? Chen Chu instantly cried and laughed, waving his hand and letting Zhou Feng go. And in the meantime, he answered this matter and asked Zhou Feng to pass it on. What is this Wang Lebang up to? Chen Chu's eyes narrowed slightly, but he wasn't too worried. Recently, signing in hadn't been any good, and the teaching point output was the same old story. Taking advantage of the fact that there were no classes going on at the moment, 
he drew 10 consecutive daily draws. In the draw, congratulations on obtaining teacher star power, unlocking the student star rising function. Hmm, a new skill. Chen Shu hurriedly checked up on the skill. Teacher star power special skill. After meeting the requirements it can raise the star level of the student and increase the student's attributes. The higher the star level, the stronger the attributes. At the same time, the names of the students in class 7 also appeared in his mind. Chen Shu hurriedly clicked on Zhou Feng's to take a look. Unlike the effects observed by the teacher's eye, the teacher's star power was a separate function. Zhou Feng, star rating, zero. Upgrade requirements, two Zhou Feng soul cards, star rising talisman. System, where do I get this soul card and star ascension talisman from? Students have a certain chance of producing soul cards when they are in the oblivious learning state. And lottery draws and check-ins will all produce star rising talismans. Forgetfulness? Chen Shu let out a bitter smile. He hadn't seen any pendants or skills that could attach a state of forgetfulness. I'm afraid that only higher level pendants or skills would be able to produce a state of forgetfulness. As for the star rising talisman, there was no need to mention that he had never seen it either. Another useless high level skill was accidentally drawn. Another useless one is the mythic inspiration skill. It couldn't be said that it was useless, but it couldn't be afforded. Anyone who used the mythic inspiration technique, at the very least, would start with 50, 000 teaching points, with the heart to create the system, no point to play NMP. Chapter 75, A Grudge? However, this hadn't even waited for the weekend but something happened. On Thursday afternoon, Chen Shu was about to go to class when the school infirmary suddenly called, saying that a student from class 7 had injured someone. Chen Shu's face sank, rushed toward the infirmary and went. When he arrived at the infirmary and saw Wang Lebang standing at the door, the corner of his mouth couldn't help but twitch. He glared at Wang Lebang in an unfavorable manner and hurriedly entered the infirmary. At this moment, Dr. Zhang from the school infirmary was helping the student who had been beaten to treat the wound on his head. Chen Shu went in to take a look at the injuries, and glanced at the student who was beaten up and was even more speechless. This student he happens to know, Class 3 Su Zitao. The reason why he knows, is because this guy was Wang Lebang beaten 11 times in 3 months. Can't you just get someone else to beat him up? The funniest thing is, Su Zitao that nearly a meter 8 big, the body looks quite strong. Wang Lebang that is only 1 meter 7 less than point. Chen Shu walked out of the infirmary and couldn't help but glare at Wang Lebang. What's the deep hatred between you and Su Zitao? Wang Lebang skimmed his mouth and avoided Chen Shu's eyes, seemingly too lazy to explain. Explain, Chen Shu said with a straight face. If he didn't explain he was prepared to use his epic education technique. Seeing Chen Shu's serious look, Wang Lebang was still somewhat fearful, and after hesitating for a moment, he said, he messed with me first. Chen Shu asked with an odd expression, how did he mess with you? With Chen Shu's understanding of the third class, most of them were students who were both good in character and academics, not to mention that the seventh class was notorious. Su Zitao without a 17 or 18 year cerebral thrombosis will definitely not take the initiative to provoke Wang Libang, right? Seems to be asked to the key point. Wang Libang immediately became vague, anyway, is to mess with me? How to deal with how to deal with it? I guess this guy also knows that the school favors him, that's why he is so reckless. It seemed like there was something difficult to talk about. Chen Chu's eyes narrowed slightly, and he had a number in his heart. Wang Libang, if your grandmother knows about this matter. Wang Libang's face changed, and he immediately stared coldly at Chen Chu, the threatening intent naturally not needing to be explicitly stated. What are you pretending to be cross with me in front of me? Chen Chu gave a vicious glare. I'm reasoning with you now, so you'd better give me an attitude of recognizing your mistakes. Wang Libang didn't say anything, probably suddenly realized that he couldn't beat Chen Chu. Not to mention that Chen Shu's hand was quite dark. Naturally he was still a little scared. Looking at Wang Libang's appearance, Chen Shu was a bit angry. He is a repeat offender and has no one in his sight. Really need to clean up. Absolutely cannot be spoiled. Just, can't fight violence with violence. And this way for Wang Libang, will not have any effect at all. But will make Wang Libang even more aggravated. And even produce hatred. Chen Shu only felt that his brain was wide open. After all. It was also the first time he had dealt with this kind of fighting problem. You go back to the classroom first. Chen Shu waved his hand and didn't bother to take care of Wang Lebang, walking straight into the infirmary. Solving the problem still required finding out where the source of the problem was. Just now, Wang Lebang's ambiguous performance made Chen Shu realize at the first moment that this most likely involved emotional problems. Since the two people were not in a serious friction or verbal conflict, the probability was only this. Wang Lebang should now be in early love. As for what kind of role this Su Zitao plays in it, Su Zitao is a good student, tall and handsome. Well, Chen Shu's mind has already come up with a bloody campus love drama. 
Into the infirmary, Chen Shu was going to ask Su Zitao some questions, but this Su Zitao is also a silent master. Ask what or not say, treated the wound to leave, does not seem to think of revenge and so on, the most bizarre thing is, Su Zitao that expression of anger or not at all, very calm, according to common sense, the beaten person either angry, or fear, but this Su Zitao's reaction to let Chen Shu is really some puzzled, as soon as Su Zitao left, Chen Shu rushed to the teaching office, fortunately, the matter did not make a big deal, the security guard also found in time, the director of this side of the natural is to let Chen Shu supervise, in addition to let Wang Lebang write a review up, obviously want to make a big deal out of a small matter, small matter out of a small matter, however, Chen Shu does not want to be so put off, not a moment later, Chen Shu came to the third class teacher's office, chat a few sentences, to understand the situation of Su Zitao, there is nothing special, until the third class teacher mentioned Su Zitao's residence, Chen Shu only instantly realized the problem, Su Zitao's home is also over at the Hashi compound, the third class teacher nodded, Chen Shu still didn't know that Wang Lebang and Su Zitao should know each other, and might even have grown up in the same compound since they were young, then these two people's grudges are afraid to be even more complicated, it seems to be necessary to go to the Hushi compound again, do a home visit, and by the way to understand the specifics, chapter 76, the fish that missed the net, Chen Shuko was feeling a little less than good these days, he obviously felt as if he was being targeted by the single male teachers, especially when he went to the staff cafeteria to eat the most obvious, as long as he came in, a lot of people's eyes are looking at him, some are full of coldness, and some are gloating, Chen Shu wasn't stupid, he knew that after the video came out, he saw himself dancing with Yuan Wen, causing others to be jealous, he seemed to have underestimated Yuan Wen's popularity in first middle school, and even more so, Yuan Wen's status in the hearts of these single male teachers, anyway, it really left Chen Shu somewhat speechless and feeling childish, after the class today to go to the staff cafeteria to eat at that time saw Zhao Ijo and hurry to get over, Zhao Ijo hurriedly put on an unrecognizable look and ate by himself, seeing this, Chen Shu said in a bad mood, no, as for, Zhao Ijo muttered in a low voice, it's not a matter of whether it's two or not, you're in big trouble, ms, Yuan Wan is not someone you can touch, ha, huh? Chen Shu was puzzled, say it later when we go back to the dormitory, after eating the meal and returning to the dormitory, Zhao Ijo was afraid of being seen by others and confirmed that no one was around before carefully entering Chen Shu's dormitory, this time when he saw Chen Shu, his face was a little less than favorable, old Chen, you're going to be in deep trouble this time, Chen Shu was dumbfounded when he heard this, how come I'm in deep trouble, when you were eating in the cafeteria just now, you didn't see Zhang Yunlei, I did, so what, Chen Shu was recognized since Zhang Yunlei, but not much understanding, only know is to teach the graduating class, and is the class teacher, aged than their own slightly older than a few years but has gone to this position, obviously the ability is still quite strong, you really don't know what kind of character Zhang Yulei is, Zhao Yijou looked at Chen Shu's innocent look and burst into tears, Chen Shu was speechless, I don't know him well, why should I inquire about him, let's just say, even the top of our school has to look at his family's face, you have a number in your heart, don't you? Zhao Ijo didn't look too good, Zhang Yunlei wasn't originally from our school, and after MS, Yuan Wen entered our school, he followed her here, and let slip that Yuan Wen was his, letting other people weigh their own weight. Hearing these words, Chen Shu's heart sank slightly, no wonder he always felt that those people's eyes weren't quite right, so it was because of this situation, then this is purely an unmitigated disaster. No, I'm not related to MS, Yuan Wen at all, Chen Shu said with a helpless face. Zhao Ijo rolled his eyes, nonsense, of course I know that you have nothing to do with Yuan Wen, what family you are, what family she is, she will definitely not look at you, unless she is blind, although it is true, why does it sound so hurtful, I know, other people also know, Zhang Yunlei also know, but the problem is, even other people Zhang Yunlei has not been so close to Yuan Wen, why do you have the right to be so close to Yuan Wen, Zhao Ijo shrugged helplessly, Aren't you just slapping Zhang Yunlei hard in public? Isn't this clearly telling everyone that Zhang Yunlei is even worse than you? Chen Shu, there is a sentence of MMP do not know when to speak or not to speak. This society is so fucking complicated. I'm just rushing towards the students of class 7, pretending to be a pussy by the way, and this can even get me in trouble? I reckon that Zhang Yunlei will definitely mess with your wave 9 times out of 10, Zhao Ijo said in a deep voice. You have to be mentally prepared for him to give you small shoes and such on weekdays just afraid that he'll mess up your job, and when the time comes, not so much, everything should be prepared for the worst intention, and Zhang Yunlei originally wind evaluation is not very good, I also inquired about, he and other places cannot less whole people, 
Chen Chu's face didn't look too good either. Anyway, if you want to keep your job, go to Zhang Yunlei's place to bow your head and admit your weakness, and clear the air. Zhao Yijou laughed bitterly. If you really can't, apply for a secondment and go teach in a remote area. At the very least, you don't have to suffer. You just don't have to be inside the school. He should let you off the hook. And everyone will know that you must have conceded. Holy shit, on what basis? Chen Chu was a little fired up. Just based on the fact that people have connections, Zhao Yijou hurriedly advised. Old Chen, calm down. This is the society. The reality is very cruel. We are just ordinary people's teachers, or a trainee, only to be played by others to death. What do you take with others to fight? Chen Chu snorted coldly. It's okay, you let him come. I'll see if he dares to mess with me. If Zhang Yunlei dared to make a move, Chen Chu really didn't have anything to be afraid of. You dare to come and try. I'll let you try. Do you think my epic education skills are just for show? What a good society has been complicated by you. The fish in the net of the black sweepers and the evil doers. If Zhang Yunlei isn't honest, Chen Chu doesn't mind collecting evidence and reporting it to the 12337 anti-blackness and anti-evil hotline. Come on, hurt each other ah. Chapter 77, what are you looking at? Seeing Chen Chu's fearless face, Zhao Yijou continuously laughed bitterly, advising Chen Chu to be more sensible and there was no need to go against Zhang Yunlei. There was no shame in admitting defeat. This was certainly not a matter of shame or not. Chen Chu was also too lazy to explain. Seeing this, Zhao Yijou could only be the one to tell Chen Chu to take care of himself and helplessly walked out of the dormitory. Chen Chu skimmed his mouth. He wasn't a sitting duck, but whenever Zhang Yunlei dared to mess with him, he would definitely fight back. Why did he have to be bullied by you people? Slightly shaking his head, Chen Chu also opened the lottery, continuing with the daily 10 draws, and after the draws were done, he took a nap and prepared to go to class. Lucky draw in progress. Thank you for your patronage. In the draw, congratulations you have obtained the SSS level pendulum, 9 quarters yellow river pen. Hum, hum. Chen Chu's eyes glared. SSS level pendant. Mom yeah. I didn't sacrifice Zhao Yijou. Is it that explosive? He hurriedly checked the item's attributes. Nine quarters yellow river pen, legend has it that it is the pen used by the ancient sage of books. The effect is unknown. Please explore on your own. Chen Shu was puzzled by this attribute, and hurriedly took the nine quarters yellow river pen out of the item bar, placing it on his hand to scrutinize it. It is. The name is so overbearing. But why is it a carbon pen? It was exactly the same as the carbon pen sold in the supermarket for one dollar apiece from Morning Glory Stationery. System. How do I use this nine quarters yellow river pen? Host's authority is insufficient. Please explore on your own. Chen Shu scratched his head, but after thinking about it, since it was a pen, it must be connected to writing? Trying to peel off the pen sleeve. But at this moment, Chen Shu realized that no matter how much effort he exerted, the pen sleeve could not be pulled off. Coldly, there was an inexplicable voice in his head. Dry ah, believe it or not I cut you? Air. Chen Shu froze. Hastily stopping his movements and subconsciously placing his gaze on the nine quarters yellow river pen in his hand. What are you looking at? Sure enough, it was really the nine quarters yellow river pen talking. But why was it a northeastern accent? Feeling that the temper was still a bit grumpy, Chen Shu hurriedly and carefully placed the nine quarters yellow river pen on the table and let out a dry smile. This pen brother, who are you talking to? Am I familiar with you? The nine quarters yellow river pen on the table shook a little. Suddenly flew up into the air circled around Chen Chu and returned to Chen Chu's front. Just you this Yakuzi woke us up? It seems to be a wake-up call. At this moment, Chen Chu was extraordinarily honest and hurriedly said, Hug, sorry, a long time? This nine-curved yellow river pen only said, You woke us up as want to what right? Ah, this, how does it sound like it's going to be a war? Chen Chu let out a bitter smile and hurriedly said, I don't want to do anything, pen brother. Ah, no, pen master, do you want to go back to sleep? Where is this still sleeping? Nine curved yellow river pen suddenly said, You have a lot of food on this little brother. Give us a couple bites. As soon as the words fell, the system followed with a prompt. The nine quarters yellow river pen is asking you for ten. Zero 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 teaching points. Do you agree? Damn it. You're robbing me right away? Do I dare not agree? This grumpy pen master might really cut himself. Agree. Immediately after, the surface of the nine curved yellow river pen emitted a faint shimmering light. The mood seems to have become much better. The speech is not so charged. Said, your little brother is quite generous. After the pen master I cover you. Is this considered collecting protection money? Chen Chu secretly slandered. But his face was piled with smiles. Yes, yes. Thank you master pen. If there's anything you yell at me, I'll proceed to rest. Oh, Chen Chu just finished his words. 
He saw the nine quarters yellow river pen turn into a stream of light, drilling into Chun Chu's body, but did not return to the item bar. But, as if it lived inside his own body, this, forget it, can't afford to mess with it. Anyway, at this moment Chun Chu was still confused. System, SSS level ornaments are talking? The SSS level is a mythical level existence that has already given birth to consciousness and has the ability to communicate with the host. Then why is the nine quarters yellow river pen a northeastern accent? That the ancient book saint is from the northeast? Not really, since it is a conscious communication. The voice that the host can hear depends on the host's own subconscious. Chen Shu froze, screwed up or his own subconscious mind? Ah, this, Chen Shu immediately had an ominous premonition. At a later stage when there were more and more SSS level ornaments around himself, wouldn't that be a hodgepodge of dialects from all over the world? Moreover, SSS level pendulums all possess their own consciousness, so it wasn't necessarily possible to manage them. Even between the pendulums may also fight. Although it is not clear for the time being what ability this nine quarters yellow river pen has, but since they are all mythic level pendulums, they must be very powerful. Well, have to cultivate a good relationship with master pen first, and before that, Chen Shu decided not to get a second SSS level pendulum to avoid the incident of the pendulum's involution. Chapter 78, This Kid Is Poisonous, Right? Having made up his mind, Chen Shu carefully called out to the nine quarters yellow river pen. What's the matter little old brother? At this moment, the nine quarters yellow river pen looked to be in a pretty good mood. I wonder if master pen has any unique skills? Juku yellow river pen responded in an old fashioned manner. Sharpening people. Ah, this, can't you do something that a pen should do? Chen Shu didn't dare to spit. Then asked, besides chipping people? For example, writing and drawing. What the hell is that? Juku yellow river pen said. How painful it is to cut people. See who's not happy. Cut him and be done with it. This instantly put Chen Shu to the hole will not. The Juku Yellow River Pen is a combat pendant? It shouldn't be. There must be other effects. But right now the relationship with the Nine Quarters Yellow River Pen wasn't good. So I guess it wouldn't help. Master Pen. It's fine then. You rest. The Nine Quarters Yellow River Pen instantly lost its voice. Chen Shu shrugged his shoulders and was too lazy to dwell on it. Rushing to take a nap. Before rushing to class 7. In the afternoon this moment on the geography class, Chen Shu just shortly after the class, the master of the pen's voice suddenly came out, damn, this or what stuff, why does every one of them look so undercut, because it was a conscious exchange, only Chen Shu could hear it, fortunately, Chen Shu wasn't distracted, and after speaking for a while, he threw out a few questions for the 7th class crowd to think about before he hurriedly responded, master pen, what's going on here, this group of little bastards are really getting on people's nerves looking at them, Chen Chu was stunned, instantly realizing that the nine quarters yellow river pen should have an ability similar to the teacher's eye, or possibly something else. Anyway, it was seeing the situation in class 7. Originally, the nine quarters yellow river pen was quite grumpy. At this moment, Chen Chu was truly afraid that the nine quarters yellow river pen would fly out of his body and cut people, and hurriedly consoled. Master pen, master pen, calm down, calm down. There's no need to be generalized with this group of little guys. No. This group of little bastard calves owe discipline. Forget it, Master Pen. Give me face. Don't do it. Don't do it. Chen Shu this really a little bit panicked. If did not control, really let the nine curved yellow river pen flew out. At that time he cannot explain. Only after a lot of talking did he let the Juku yellow river pen stop for the time being. It also took a lot of talking. And the class couldn't even go on. Chen Shu already regretted putting the nine quarters yellow river pen out. It seems that he has to think of a way to take the nine quarters yellow river pen back to the item bar first, so as not to get into trouble if he doesn't pay attention. Just this is certainly not good to discuss with the nine quarters yellow river pen. After all, it is not easy to let it out, and now want to collect it back to lock up. If this is not handled well, the nine quarters yellow river pen cutting him is a small matter. In case of an unwillingness, the nine quarters yellow river pen slipped away. What should be done? System, this nine quarters yellow river pen won't run, right? Because the mythical level pendulum already has self-consciousness, has the ability to act on its own, does not rule out the possibility of leaving the host and moving around freely. Of course, if the host intentionally provokes the pendulum, it does not rule out the possibility of the pendulum attacking the host on its own accord. Not only will it run, and it would also actively attack. This made Chen Shu's brain hurt. Class 7 hadn't been taken care of properly, and now there was a master pen. I'm also too difficult. This class was really bad. This side had to discourage the nine quarters yellow river pen, and the other side also had to attend class. Chen Shu couldn't do several things at once. When the class was over he still decided to discuss it with Master Pen. Master Pen, 
Do you think you can sell me a few points? Just don't be catty with those little guys? Chen Shu let out a bitter smile. If I hurt someone, I won't be able to get my teaching points, and then you'll be the one who loses out. Master Pen. Master Pen is not an unreasonable person haha. <laughs> the nine quarters yellow river pen paused for a moment and then said, Okay, just give my little old brother a face. It seems that this Juku Yellow River Pen is not an unreasonable person. Fortunately, fortunately, Chen Shu was delighted and hurriedly said, Thank you Master Pen. Thank you Master Pen. Only then did the Nine Quarters Yellow River Pen make no sound. In a blink of an eye it was Saturday. Now there was no need to teach playing. As Zhou Feng and the others had already been given a series of training programs before, Chen Shu was now just going over to supervise and oversee. And there was no need for a personal demonstration. About three o'clock in the afternoon to the Hushi compound to go to the home visit, but not before going to Wang Lebang's home along with the previous address given by the teacher of the third class to find the address of Su Zitao's home, not to mention, the two families are separated by a few homes, and Chen Chu's previous guess is right. This Wang Lebang and Su Zitao should be the kind of small-time acquaintance. After having an idea, Chen Chu went to Wang Lebang's house and saw Wang's grandmother again. Grandma Wang is naturally incredibly enthusiastic, pulling Chen Chu into the house. But the figure of Wang Lebang is missing. Chen Shu asked. Grandma Wang said to go out. Come back later. Chen Shu did not care. However, right next door to the computer desk in the house, Yuing is sitting at the table, wearing headphones. On the computer was precisely the picture from the living room. Wang Lebang, who was on the side, hurriedly said, Sister Ng, I'll go try him out. So you'll know how wrong this guy is. Yes, yes. You go quickly. Yuing was also specially called by Wang Lebang and was quite helpless in her heart. This kid was toxic, right? Every day, he suspects that his homeroom teacher is a spy agent. Chapter 79, Is Power Weak Rice? While Chen Shu was chatting with Grandma Wang, Wang Libang was sneakily hiding outside the house and observing secretly. At this moment, Chen Shu seemed to be blissfully unaware that Wang Libang was hiding outside the house, and was chatting and laughing with Grandma Wang. Let's see how I'll expose your true colors. Wang Libang secretly sneered. His thoughts were actually very simple. As long as he allowed Chen Shu to expose his strength. Only with this thought did Wang Lebang walk into the house. Grandma, I'm back. Wang Lebang said. And his person had already walked over to Chen Shu's side. Where did this child of yours run off to again? Grandma Wang hurriedly said. Why don't you hurry and greet your teacher? Oh, as soon as the words fell, Wang Lebang suddenly snapped, raising his fist and smashing it against Chen Shu's face. Chen Shu simply could not react, and was knocked to the ground by Wang Lebang's fist. And Wang Lebang went all out and this fist immediately knocked Chun Chu into a daze. Grandma Wang heard the noise was not quite right, frowned and hurriedly asked, what happened? No, nothing. Wang Lebang hurriedly answered and went up to help Chun Chu, staring at him in a bit of a panic. Why didn't you hide? Chen Chu slightly shook his head. Only then did he wake up for a few moments, coming back to his senses and staring angrily at Wang Lebang with two eyes, his anger also coming up. You came up to make a sneak attack, not a bit of martial virtues. I'm not going to be able to do that but I'm going to be able to do it. Wang Libang. Line. Line. You can really have the ability to. Chen Shu could not help but gnash his teeth. His eyes inside are almost spitting out fire. At this time, Wang Libang's heart was incomparably weak, completely not daring to meet Chen Shu's eyes, avoiding Chen Shu's eyes. Mr. Chen. What happened? Grandma Wang hurriedly asked. At this moment, Chen Shu was truly angry, inexplicably being punched by Wang Libang. How could he care so much? Grandma. I'll have to teach Wang Lebang a good lesson today. Ah, before Grandma Wang could react, Chen Chu's eyes changed. Epic education technique. After giving Wang Lebang a 24-hour state of awe and reflection without saying a word, Chen Chu coldly opened his mouth. Next door, Yuing was originally looking at the screen on the computer, and when she saw that Wang Lebang suddenly struck Chen Chu, and even ruffled Chen Chu with a single punch, how could she not know that things had gotten out of hand? She is clear about Wang Lebang's character. That is an unruly master even if it is wrong, will not admit fault, will only make things worse, however, just as Yuing was about to make a move to rush next door to stop it, the picture on the computer made Yuing instantly dumbfounded, after seeing Chun Chu seemingly scolding Wang Lebang, Wang Lebang suddenly wiped away his tears, followed by a plop and fell to his knees in front of Grandma Wang, crying bitterly, vaguely, Yuing even heard that crying sound of Wang Lebang next door, Grandma, I'm sorry, I was wrong, that cry was full of guilt and remorse, just, Yuing tilted her head, with a look of having seen a ghost. It can be said that she watched Wang Lebang grow up as a child, and since she remembered, Wang Lebang had never cried much at all. When he was beaten by his father with a belt, he didn't say a word, 
He even dared to talk to his father when he was pushed, but he didn't say a word. In addition to screaming, really have not seen Wang Libang tears, and even kneel in front of his grandmother crying. Ewing simply could not believe his eyes. He hurriedly opened the door secretly, and once the door was opened, Wang Libang's cries were even clearer. Grandma, I will definitely change. In the future, I go. Ewing stared wide-eyed, sneaked to the outside of the house, poked his head out and looked at it. At this moment, Grandma Wang's face was also a little ugly, sitting on the sofa with her hand on her cane, not saying a word, just because Wang Lebang himself to the school inside the things to take the initiative to explain out. Hurt his grandson in the school is actually like this. Wang grandmother must be blood pressure up. A heroic family. The result of raising a Wang Lebang. Who will be angry? At this moment, Chen Shu happened to see Yuing, and could not help but reveal a few puzzled looks. Yuing smiled awkwardly, and was about to speak when he heard a panicked cry from Wang Lebang. Grandma, Grandma. Chen Shu steeply turned back to his senses, but he saw that Grandma Wan was already lying down on the sofa, seemingly fainting, and his face couldn't help but change drastically. Yu Ying's face also changed in fear and hurriedly rushed up. Wang Lebang's state of mind had completely collapsed at this moment, so scared that his entire body was somewhat dumbfounded. Chen Shu was already stepping forward quickly, his aura changing all over the place. Mimicry took the pulse and turned over the eyelids. Just checking a bit is basically to confirm that high blood pressure caused vertigo. Chen Shu hurriedly asked, is there any quick-acting heart-saving pills inside the house? Wang Libang was already unable to speak, but Yu Ying was familiar with it and quickly brought the medicine box over. Chen Shu was looking for medicine while saying to Yu Ying, trouble you to hurry up and make a 120. Good, good. Yu Ying also could not think too much. Hurry to call 120. Good and Chen Shu this side has found a fast-acting heart pill. To Wang grandmother served at the same time and hurried to do some measures, until the ambulance came to. Chapter 80, Negotiator? The Third People's Hospital of Jiangnan City. Grandma Wan was being examined in the ward. Chen Shu couldn't help but feel a bit guilty, but he didn't regret it either. After all, paper couldn't hold fire, and sooner or later, Grandma Wan would know everything that Wang Lebang had done, and at that time, Wang Lebang has already broken into a big trouble that even the school cannot help him to hide, so this definitely couldn't be spoiled. Chen Chu, Yu Ying and Wang Libang were waiting outside the hospital room. Wang Libang sat in the corner with his head lowered in silence. Chen Chu and Yu Ying also just waited in silence. Inside the hospital room, the attending doctor, Lu Yikuan, heard that his old patient, Wang Jia's grandmother, had arrived and hurriedly arrived. Several intern doctors in the ward hurriedly stood aside. Lu Yikuan checked and couldn't help but eat. Grandma Wang's blood pressure had stabilized, and there were several red marks on her arms that should have been pressed with her fingers. Who did the first aid? Louis Kuhn could not help but look at the intern doctors on the side with a few admiring colors. The arm of the several red marks just correspond to a few acupuncture points. Press the efficacy of smooth blood pressure, but on the strength of the mastery of the very high, light no effect, heavy will only aggravate the condition. Did not practice a few years of rehabilitation press simply do not have this power. Intern doctors looked at each other, did not make a sound. Not you do? Louis Kuhn said suspiciously. The crowd shook their heads. And one of the intern doctors then said, it was like this when it was delivered. Lu Yikuan let out an O, thinking that there should be a professional caretaker physician beside the Wang family's grandmother, confirming that there was nothing serious before leaving the ward. Ewing rushed forward and asked, Doctor, how is it? The situation has stabilized. Lu Yikuan subconsciously asked, who did the first aid? Ewing could not help but look at Chun Chu. Lu Yikuan saw this and smiled at Chun Chu, the technique is very professional stabilize the blood pressure in a short period of time, or else it is highly likely to trigger a cerebral infarction. Which medical school did you graduate from? Chen Shu scratched his head and responded, I'm not a graduate of a medical college, nor am I a doctor, but I happen to know a little bit about first aid. Understand a little? Lu Kuan froze, cannot help but dumbfounded, you can know this is not a little. I do not even see your good techniques. However, Lu Kuan did not go deeper on this issue. Let Chen Shu follow him to get a medical report. Yu Ying and Wang Lebang rushed into the ward, seeing Grandma Wang is fine, Yu Ying was relieved, glanced at Wang Lebang, this heart is still to be more strange and more strange, it felt like Wang Lebang had suddenly changed into a different person, Lu Bang, whom, Yu Ying asked curiously, what's wrong with you, it was fine if he didn't ask, but this time he asked, Wang Lebang's emotions seemed to be out of control again, and his voice trembled slightly as he said, Sister Ying, I, I was wrong, Yu Ying immediately face confused, you, you wrong what? When I was a child, I was the one who smashed the glass in your house, causing you to be beaten. I'm sorry. Yu Ying was stunned for a moment, 
waved his hand and said, All right, this thing I know for sure that you do, no need to apologize. And, Wang Lebang lowered his head, his voice was full of guilt. Wang Lebang then put himself guilty of things one by one to explain out. Listening to listening Yuing blood pressure also gradually rose. Good guy. Back then, my favorite skirt leather band out to do slingshot you little bastard ah. It took me two months to get my mom to buy it for me. Originally Yuing listened to want to hit people. But Wang Lebang said and said the tears also began to flow indisputably. Ah, this, Yuing was dumbfounded all of a sudden. Also comforted a good deal. Wang Lebang only stopped the tears. Full of an expression of I am a sinner. Sitting on a side chair with his head lowered, not saying a word, the appearance of deep sins. Yu Ying's expression was simply as odd as it could be. This guy was afraid that he hadn't eaten something unclean today, right? Press simply is not the Wang Lebang ah he knows, or is it? Yu Ying just remembered as if the beginning of all this was Wang Lebang being scolded by Chen Chu. At that time, the computer was watching quite vividly. This was too outrageous. Yu Ying couldn't help but frown, but the facts were right in front of her. And Wang Lebang had even taken the initiative to give an account of all the things he had done. Three words in Wang Lebang's mindset was made like this? How in the world did Chen Chu do that? Yuang was also considered to be well informed. And her first thought was psychology. She had seen quite a few psychologists. And had also come into contact with quite a few powerful negotiators. Who were able to dissect the other party's character through words. And even locate the other party's weaknesses. When dealing with criminals with extremely strong psychological qualities. These negotiators could often stimulate the other party through words, breaking through the other party's psychological defenses and making the criminals reveal their weaknesses. However, the problem was that those who could achieve such a level of skill were a rare breed, and Chen Chu was merely an ordinary people's teacher Ah, Chapter 81 Hard to Get Chen Chu and Dr. Lu Kuan took the report. After explaining some, Chen Chu and Yuing and other people to send Grandma Wang home, and the neighbors know the situation have also come to the home to see the situation of Grandma Wang. Chen Chu didn't stay long and confirmed that Grandma Wang had no problems before saying goodbye and leaving. On the contrary, Yuing watched Chen Chu leave with some thought. The next afternoon, Yuing got off work and happened to pass by the Wang family's yard. At this moment, Grandma Wang had eaten her meal and was moving her muscles in the yard. Grandma! Yuing hurriedly shouted. Grandma Wang knew it was Yuing as soon as she heard it, and smiled. Daughter, I really have to thank you for yesterday. Grandma, I really didn't help much. It was all thanks to Mr. Chun. Even the doctor said that Chen Chu's first aid was very professional. If she had been sent to the hospital a little later, Grandma Wan's high blood pressure might have come down. Yes, yes, but I really have to thank Mr. Chun. Yuing looked around and couldn't see Wang Lebang's figure, asking, Grandma, where is Lebang? As soon as she mentioned Wang Lebang, Grandma Wang's face instantly became a bit less pleasant. He's in the living room doing horse stances. It's time to properly clean up this brat. Yuing laughed dryly and glanced towards the living room and indeed saw Wang Lebang doing horse stance, with a glass of water on his head, and seemed to see Yuing, his face reddened, his eyes closed, and he simply pretended to be invisible. This moment's reaction is quite normal. Yuing could not help but ask with a curious face, Grandma, did Mr. Chen say anything yesterday? Grandma Wang didn't hide it, and told Yuing about yesterday's situation. It was actually nothing special. Chen Shu came up and first threw out a trifecta of questioning. Wang Lebang, ask yourself, how can you stand up to your grandmother like this now? How can you stand up to your parents? How can you stand up to yourself? Then came the same world. Same class teacher's educational quotes. Anyway, it was nothing special for Yuing to hear it. When she was studying, her homeroom teacher often taught the naughty students in the class this way. But the problem is, these words simply can't be effective on Wan Lebang Ah. Grandma, is that all Mr. Chen said? Yuing then asked. Grandma Wan nodded slightly. That's all he said. Yu Ying's expression then became even more odd, driven by curiosity. Yu Ying intended to personally interview the person in question. Grandma, I'm going to check out Lu Bang. Before Grandma Wang could respond, Yu Ying entered the house and looked at Wang Libang with a smile. Wang Libang had obviously already noticed Yu Ying's unusual eyes and couldn't help but blush a little. What for? Yesterday. Don't ask. Asking means I had a brain fart yesterday. Obviously Wang Libang also knows what happened yesterday. He still can't figure out. Yesterday will become that appearance. Today saw Yuing, even hate to find a seam to drill in. It was really humiliating. Yuing couldn't help but squeeze his eyebrows and said, Did your homeroom teacher say something to you? I don't know, but he definitely did something to me. Wang Lebang had a gloomy face. Naturally, he also thought of Li Yi Yang who was suffering from the same disease. That was really social death. Directly in the school was Chen Shu said to cry. And if not for Chen Shu, 
he would not have been reduced to this kind of situation now. Now in his heart, he really hated Chun Chu, he couldn't help but bite his teeth. This matter, I'm not finished with him. These words instantly aroused Yu Ying's curiosity. How can you be sure that he did something to you? Wan Lebang didn't want to speak, but under Yu Ying's repeated pressing, he told Li Yi Yang's matter as well. This, Yu Ying listened and felt more and more amazing. Three words were able to break through the psychological defenses? Chen Chu, I'm afraid that he didn't graduate from Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry? Well, Yu Ying suddenly remembered that the national security side caught a lot of hard, ridiculously strong psychological quality. The trial for almost half a year. I do not know how many interrogation experts are useless. Hard not from the other side of the mouth inside to get any useful information. Can be Jiangnan national security are worried about the bad. Anyway, there is no trick. Might as well let Chen Chu to try? Chapter 82 What are you pulling with me here? This trip to the home visit. Although it was an accident. But the good thing is that it is not without reward. When the neighbors came to visit Grandma Wang at home, Chen Chu asked about Su Zitao in passing. It just so happened that Su Zitao's mom also came. However, Chen Shu did not say that Su Zitao received several beatings at school by Wan Lebang, or else the newly awakened Grandma Wan was afraid that she would have to be sent to the hospital again. The company has also asked if Su Zitao and Wang Lebang have had some unpleasantness. Su Zitao's mother knows that Chen Shu was a teacher in a middle school, but did not hide. When he was a child is indeed an accident. When I was a child, Su Zitao ran behind Wang Lebang all day long, and the relationship between the two was quite good. However, one time these two little guys played with fire and set someone's house on fire. Su Zitao said that Wang Lebang set it off. And then Wang Lebang got beaten up. And the Wang family paid for the neighbor's damages. After that, Wang Lebang never looked for Su Zitao to play. The relationship between the two also gradually distant. Chen Chu heard. Think it was probably Su Zitao sold Wang Lebang. So Wang Lebang has always been resentful. But Chen Chu felt that not quite right. According to say if this is really the case. When asked. Wang Lebang did not need to avoid this question. To his nature is also considered open and aboveboard. Nine times out of ten will curse a Su Zitao traitor. Not to cover up. There must be something hidden here that the parents do not know. It is not that Chun Shu is idle. After this matter is investigated clearly, if you can dissolve the contradiction between the two is the best. Wang Lebang will not commit crimes in the future. Can let him this class teacher less worry. Just this half a moment to figure out the truth of the matter is not so easy. Suddenly remembered Yu Ying. Although only just met, but Ewing this neighbor big sister should know something, but unfortunately did not leave any contact information, Chen Shu decided to find an opportunity to ask. However, the headache is not only Wang Lebang. Deng Sijia this group of people also let Chen Shu head big. Chen Shu had been rehearsing for almost a week, but he hadn't found any breakthroughs. Deng Sijia's group was a brick wall, invulnerable to fire and water. Chen Shu had tried a lot of methods, such as from Sun Jiaojiao and others to try to cut in but the pressure simply did not pay attention to him, and sometimes also in exchange for a blank stare. On the contrary, Yuan Wen had gotten to know Chun Chu quite a bit during the rehearsals. Originally Yuan Wen was not familiar with Chun Chu, but since that time, after dancing together, Yuan Wen could not help but pay attention to Chun Chu. So when chatting in the office, she would also look for other dance teachers to learn about Chun Chu's situation. It doesn't matter if you don't understand. The more you understand, the more you think it's amazing. Only half a year of internship to do the class teacher, and took over the first middle school most people scared of the seventh class. Even if Yuan Wen was still studying at the North Dance Center at the time, she had heard about the seventh class. However, Chen Shu took over the seventh class in less than a month and managed it. Chen Shu had really understood the seventh class. Moreover, Chen Shu himself was multi talented. He played basketball well, danced professionally enough, and it seemed that Chen Shu also had many hidden skills. The more I understand, the more curious I am. Obviously looking so plain and ordinary. The ability is surprisingly strong. Zhang Nan Goen. It was another busy day. Yuing went to his boss's office after finishing the materials for the last case. Boss, the materials for the 731 case are done. Sun Chong was there rubbing his temples. Obviously having a migraine again. Put it on the desk. Read it later. Sun Chang's voice also looked tired. Boss, still guilty? Yuing asked tentatively. Can you not be worried? There's only half a month left. Sun Chong said helplessly. All right. If there's nothing else you can go out first. I'll be quiet by myself. Yu Ying gave an O. Oh, and was planning to leave. But after hesitating for a moment. He still said cautiously. Boss. I do know one person. Should I try? Sun Chong opened his eyes and glanced at Yu Ying. Who is it? A teacher. Yu Ying gave a dry laugh. Do you want to try? Sun Chong glared at Yu Ying without any good humor. 
Don't bullshit with me here. I've invited so many experts to come and it's useless. What does a teacher care? Just educate the students and let him interrogate the criminals? Chapter 83, Interrogation. Ewing was scolded and was filled with emptiness. In fact, this thing she also did not have a plan. Is a hot brain set out? See Sun Chong face annoyed. Naturally do not dare to mention. Dry laugh and quietly exit the room by himself. Sun Chong even more headache. Backhand in the room pacing around. Frowning tightly. No longer grasp the time. By the time these several hardcore stalwarts have to be released. These guys are all foreign spies. In order to catch them. Jiangnan National Security has been preparing for nearly three years. Before and after the deployment of hundreds of times. Consuming a lot of manpower and material resources. However. These guys even did not leave a little physical evidence. The action of the meticulous. Anti-detection awareness of the strong. Unheard of. Spending all my days hunting geese, to be pecked by geese? Sun Chong couldn't help but slap on the table. At that moment, the entire Jiangnan national security and what foothold? Where is my Chinese national prestige? Interrogation experts from all over the country are invited over. Sun Chong also with the top of the grandiose words, froze what did not come out of the trial, but things have alarmed the international, so that these guys hardened very. Arrogant attitude. Extremely bad. Refused to account for any information and even detained during the fucking request to drink Louis XIV, or by the time they were released, must say that the national security abuses of all kinds, drinking Louis XIV, in the past, this group of dog skin was peeled a few layers do not know, Sunshong think about it to gas, however, personal honor and disgrace is small, if you cannot get any strong evidence to sit on the charge, once released, degrading national prestige, so this thing cannot have a little sloppy, Sunshong has invited another group of experts to come, just the heart is still not bottom. It is not that the interrogation experts do not give strength, but the interrogation experts also have the heart to do nothing. There is no physical evidence, and the prisoners refuse to cooperate with the account. The attitude of a more than one arrogant, and even learn psychology themselves, interrogation experts are also unable to start. If this batch of interrogation experts also have no solution, Sun Chong is afraid to resign. Early the next morning, the interrogation experts finally arrived in Jiangnan. Sun Chong with people personally to meet. In fact, Jiangnan national security caught a few hard things have long been rumored. But because of the successive waves of interrogation experts are no progress, to the present Sun Chong are very difficult to invite people. A clear-eyed person will know that this is a very tricky job. The enemy is strong and we are weak. Both in terms of evidence and psychology, our side is at a huge disadvantage. Going to Jiangnan is basically running to lose face. Sun Chong this time said broken mouth before giving the old interrogator invited. Lu Qinghai, Interrogation Psychology Doctorate, one of the major police academies in China dedicated interrogation consultant, but also his own graduation school mentor. In the car, Sun Chom also could not hide a helpless look on his face. Elder Lu, the student has stumbled upon a hard case this time. Lu Qinghai, who already has a head full of white flowers, looks full of spirit. Seeing Sun Chong revealing this helpless color, he couldn't help but sigh. Indeed it is very tricky. Before I came I have understood the situation. And I also exchanged a few words with my colleagues who came before me. And to be honest, I only have less than 30% certainty. 30%. Sun Chong let out a bitter laugh. Is it so low? It's considered high. Lu Qinghai glared at Sun Chong in a bad mood. The ones you arrested. All of them have been brainwashed since childhood. And there are also high intensity psychological hints. As well as suicidal tendencies. Ask the urgent easy to get into trouble. Ask the urgent people will not take it seriously. I also know. Sun Chong doubled the pressure, these people have been involved in international issues. I have not slept much for almost half a consecutive month. I'll do my best, but don't get your hopes up. The interrogation lasted less than half an hour. Lu Qinghai was so angry that he walked out from inside the interrogation room. With a cold face, looking through the glass at the one person inside who was clearly handcuffed but had an arrogant and incomparable attitude. He really didn't know how to continue. Language deterrence is useless. The other party is almost fearless almost cannot find any point of entry, and the hand about the enemy's information is very little, also simply cannot analyze what the problem, Sun Chong on the side waved his hand, signaling to bring the person down first, which then went up and walked to Lu Qinghai's side, teacher, Lu Qinghai raised his hand, stopping Sun Chang's words, his brow furrowed, I'll take a break and rest, continue in the afternoon, let me think about it, Sun Chong nodded slightly and said no more, chapter 84, underestimating you, dance studio, Chen Shu was rehearsing a dance while Yuan Wen was leading the dance at the front. Because of the continuous use of mimicry skills during this period of time, nowadays, 
Chen Chu was feeling that his body's flexibility was much better, and he basically didn't have any back pain or leg cramps anymore. Only at this moment, Chen Chu suddenly caught a glimpse of a figure outside the window. Eyes met. Who was it if not Zhang Yunlei? Zhang Yunlei swept an expressionless glance at Chen Chu before turning away. Chen Chu raised an eyebrow and didn't pay much attention to it. However, a few moments later, the door to the dance studio was pushed open. The person who came was the director of the teaching division. Teacher Chen, looking for you for something, come out for a moment. Chen Chu had already been mentally prepared and hurriedly followed the director of the teaching division out. Director, what is it? Chen Chu asked. What's going on with your lesson preparation? The director of teaching frowned and said, It's been almost a week since you submitted your lesson preparation record. Director, didn't director's son explain the situation to you? I'm just following the school's rules and regulations. The director of teaching avoided the topic and said seriously, All lesson preparation records owed must be handed in within today, otherwise they will all be treated as absences. Chen Chu's face darkened, knowing that the director of teaching was deliberately picking a fight, and did not retort, All right, I know. The director of teaching hummed, before turning to leave. Chen Chu skimmed his mouth, a little upset since, just as Zhao Ijo had expected. Zhang Yunlei had begun to make small moves. This thing Chen Chu also does not blame the director of teaching. After all, people under the roof had to bow their heads. It is not just a lesson plan record. The first thing I want to do is to hand it over. However, Chen Chu just went back to rehearsal, and then director's son called. Chen Chu rushed to the corner to pick up. The phone once heard director's son said, Xiao Chen, what's wrong with you? Why did you mess with the wrong people? Chen Chu helplessly said, director's son, I'm an unmitigated disaster. You have it in your heart. Hurry up and find a way to solve it. My side is holding the pressure on you. Just now the people above all talked to me on the phone, letting me find a way to transfer you out, and also withholding your bonus. Director Sun said in a deep voice, the other party is adamant, so they only gave me three days. Chen Chu frowned. Zhang Yunlei really did have a lot of energy. Anyway, admitting defeat was definitely not an admission of weakness. Yes, I know. Chen Chu hung up the phone, his eyes slightly narrowed. Wondering if he should directly look for Zhang Yunlei to talk? Until the end of the rehearsal, Chen Shu was about to leave when Yuan Wen suddenly walked up and laughed. Teacher Chen, the rehearsal teachers are having a get-together tonight. Are you going or not? Not going. There's something going on. Chen Shu smiled. You guys have fun. After saying that, Chen Shu did not stay long and left straight away. Yuan Wen watched Chen Shu leave and couldn't help but frown. Only after a long time did she take out her cell phone and dialed. Dad, do me a favor. What is it? A thick, manly voice came from the other end of the phone. Yuan Wen said softly, help me bail out someone, a teacher named Chen Chu at our school. The caller hesitated for a moment. Boyfriend? No, it's a friend, being screwed. Well, got it, I'll say hello later. The caller paused for a moment, still somewhat skeptical, asked, really not a boyfriend? Really not, why are you so concerned about others? Although the caller was puzzled, he didn't ask any more questions. Chen Shu returned to the dormitory and was thinking of a way to ask Zhang Yunlei out to meet him. However, Director Sun's phone call immediately followed. Director, I, before Chen Shu could finish his sentence, Director Sun laughed. Little Chen, I underestimated you. You can do it. Ah, Chen Shu was puzzled. All right, with such a future father-in-law, no one dares to touch you. Director Sun joyfully said, your kid is really quite capable, picking the most beautiful flower in our school. Awesome, awesome nothing more, I've already greeted the teaching director there, and I don't need to write the lesson preparation record or anything, ha, huh? Chen Shu was dumbfounded by what he heard, and before he had time to ask, director's son had already hung up the phone, Chen Shu couldn't help but scratch his head, what a mess, I don't even have a girlfriend yet, where is my father-in-law from, chapter 85, unexpectedly turning over the car, Chen Shu calmed down and thought about it, then suddenly realized, Yuan Wan Ah, so it seems like it should have been MS, Yuan who helped herself out, and director Sun and the others just misunderstood. Presumably Yuan Wen was also clear about what had happened, so she had made a special effort to help. However in that case, the misunderstanding would only get deeper. It would be strange if this Zhang Yunlei guy didn't hate himself to death. However, there was no way to explain these things, and Yuan Wen was not in a good position to say so. Chen Shu could not help but feel helpless. After this rehearsal, it would be better not to get involved with Yuan Wen. Otherwise, it is not good for both sides, when the misunderstanding is even deeper, causing everyone to know, in the future, I'm afraid to meet that is to be embarrassed to use their toes to dig out a three-room apartment out, as Chen Chu expected, Zhang Yunlei soon learned that Yuan Wen's father protected Chen Chu's things, 
His face was as ugly as it could be. At this moment, he had really turned into a clown-like character. Not only did he not get Chen Chu out, but even Yuan Wen took the initiative to protect Chen Chu. To say that Yuan Wen has no interest in Chen Chu, Zhang Yunlei didn't even believe it. Brother Zhang, this woman Yuan Wen is really a bit too ungrateful. Right, you and her are the right couple. The golden couple, why is she looking at Chen Chu's kind of goods? At this moment, Zhang Yunlei was followed by a few friends, since they were all fighting for Zhang Yunlei. Zhang Yunlei listened more and more angry. The more he cursed Chen Chu, the harder he cursed, not the same as he cursed him. In the middle of the day, he Zhang Yunlei was not even as good as an intern teacher. Shut the fuck up, Zhang Yunlei shouted coldly, and the crowd hurriedly silenced themselves and looked at each other in dismay. Since it had come to this, Zhang Yunlei had no intention of showing mercy. Go, find a chance to lay hands on that guy, don't need to be too ruthless, just give a lesson first, Zhang Yunlei commanded. There was someone who hurriedly responded. Jiang Nan State Security. Lu Qinghai had been interrogated for three full days, yet there was still no progress. Unsurprisingly overturned. Sun Chan looked at his own teacher's sad face, a time also do not know how to comfort. After all, the matter is about reputation. Originally the probability of overturning the car is high, or he personally pulled Lu Qinghai, thinking about it is still his own fault, cannot help but look guilty and said, Teacher, our students, no need to apologize. Lu Qinghai waved his hand. I can only say that my skills have not been practiced, only, I'm afraid that I really can't help you this time, Sun Chong sighed, anyway, the worst case scenario was for him to take the blame and resign, in fact, Sun Chong himself was mentally prepared for it, the teacher and disciple duo looked at each other, yet there was all helplessness in their eyes, teacher, take a rest, I'll send you to the airport tomorrow, aha, uh -huh. Lu Qinghai no longer said anything more, he really had nothing to say, looking at the pile of information on the table, Lu Qinghai had already studied dozens of interrogation methods. It was not without effect. The other party's psychological defense was broken by Lu Qinghai a few times, but immediately followed by the other party got agitated, and even already had the tendency to bite his tongue and kill himself, had to forcefully stop the process of interrogation, and immediately injected the other party with a sedative. Shaking his head helplessly, Lu Qinghai could only throw all this information into the trash can. In fact, it wasn't just Sun Chong and Lu Qinghai and the others who had a headache. The atmosphere of the entire Jiangnan state security was also very grave. There were only 10 days left before the suspect was released, yet there was still no progress. When the time comes to really release the person, Jiangnan national security can be engraved on the pillar of shame in history. Not to mention Sun Chong will be dismissed. The entire Jiangnan national security is afraid of not good. May not be a half of the dismissal is not good to say. Everyone is trying to find a way to collect evidence or not. Investigate. But there is no progress at all. According to theory, this kind of hot potato can be reported. Let the South China Sea side to deal with. The result is because some too confident. Simply take care of their own. Jiangnan national security this moment is really mute. There are bitter to say. Lu Qinghai side of the progress of everyone knows. Now it seems that there should be no play. Everyone had a sad face. Including Yuing. As the backbone of Jiangnan's national security. She definitely couldn't escape either. Only compared to others who are sitting ducks. She still has a little thought in her heart. Last time. She mentioned Chun Chu to Sun Chong, although she was scolded, but because Chun Chu's performance was really abnormal, Yu Ying, out of professional habit, really investigated Chun Chu, Chen Chu's performance in the first middle school, but also let Yu Ying feel special. Two months to dissuade the three class teachers of the seventh class, was a freshly interned teacher to manage down, with less than a month. Plus there was a certain Wang victim perspective. I just remember that on his first day of class, I felt like I was being stared at by something horrible. So scared that I was a little afraid to speak. I don't know why. That day he simply said a few words. It was strangely hard inside my heart. And my mood got worse and worse. If it was just an ordinary student. Yuing was bound to not care. However. It was Wang Libang. Which made Yuing extremely impressed. Tangled up. Yuing still planned to try again. And hurriedly got up and went towards the office. Chapter 86. Going to the door. Not long after. Yuing arrived at Sun Chang's office and knocked on the door. Come in. Yuing walked in and took a look. Not only was Sun Chong in the office, Lu Qinghai was also on the side. Yuing hurriedly greeted. Lu Qinghai nodded slightly. Tomorrow's air ticket was placed right next to the table. His expression was not too good. Little Yu. What is it? Sun Chong asked. Yuing could not help but be a little timid, and let out a dry smile. Boss, regarding the things I told you last time, I really think I can let the other party try. Sun Chong rolled his eyes in dismay. You think I'm not worried enough? 
don't you? And you're still adding to my mess here. Seeing that there seemed to be no room for discussion, Yuing spat out her tongue and hurriedly walked out. Rather, it was Lu Qinghai who listened with some interest. What's going on? Sun Cheng said with tears and laughter. This youngster is whimsical. Said he knows a high school teacher. Let him deal with these hardened criminals. Isn't this nonsense? Lu Qinghai was slightly stunned. Back to his senses and could not help but reveal a few thoughtful looks. It is not impossible. Sun Cheng suddenly speechless, bitterly smiled. Teacher, this is not over the family. Lu Qinghai said, I'm not joking with you. You do not underestimate the high school teachers. They have to face the most rebellious period of a person. Not only to analyze the students' thoughts to guide, but also to teach students. All belong to the category of psychology. A lot of psychologists or high school teachers themselves has a very strong psychological analysis ability. Just lack of scientific and theoretical knowledge and skills just. Theoretical knowledge and skills. Besides, if Xiaoyu is not sure, she should not mention this suggestion to you. I think that the high school teacher she knows must still have some strong points, Lu Qinghai said with a straight face, not to mention that nowadays in this situation, there can only be another way out, I do think that we can try, Lu Qinghai had said so, as a student, he naturally had to consider it, not to mention that there really wasn't much that could be done at the moment, struggling for a moment, Sun Chong called Yu Ying over again, Lu Qinghai then asked, Xiao Yu, tell me what exactly is the situation of that high school teacher, yes, Professor Lu, Yuing hurriedly explained what he knew to Lu Qinghai, who, after hearing it, nodded slightly and said, there is indeed some ability to try. Sun Chong laughed bitterly and objected, teacher, that's just a young man, and even if he is invited, he will have to face a few tough guys, I'm afraid that he will be scared instead, isn't this a joke? Lu Qinghai also considered this point, thought about it and said, what you said is not unreasonable, so, I will communicate with him at that time, first give him a bottom. The specifics still have to wait to see the person, said the words before you know. This is indeed a lot more stable, with Lu Qinghai as the gatekeeper. Sun Chong is also assured, immediately after drafting the documents, let Yu Ying go to pick up the person. Chen Shu was in the middle of a class when he saw Director Sun arrive at the door and waved. Teacher Chen, self-study. Chen Shu gave an explanation and rushed out the door, wondering, Director, what's wrong? You, you haven't committed anything, right? Director Sun asked cautiously. What kind of things would I commit? Chen Shu scratched his head. What's going on? The national security people came looking for you. Director Sun smiled bitterly, said that there is a case that needs your cooperation, and the person is waiting at the school entrance. Chen Shu's heart sank. National security? Ah, this, to say not panic that is strange. According to reason, if you really committed a crime, it should also be the police station that comes to the door to check the water meter. Okay, I will immediately go over. After going to the office to let the other teachers help substitute for the class, Chen Shu hurriedly headed to the entrance of the school. When he arrived at the school's entrance, Chen Shu saw a half-familiar figure, Yuing, Teacher Chen. Yuing hurriedly came forward and said in an embarrassed manner, I'm sorry, I didn't greet you beforehand and came to find you like this, I'm really sorry, it's fine, it's fine. Chen Shu let out a dry smile, it's you who are looking for me for something? No, I came over to pick you up, Yuing said. The specifics of the matter will need you to sign a confidentiality agreement before I can explain it to you. Chen Shu blinked and asked in a small voice. It's not that I've committed a crime, is it? No, it's not. Yuing said in tears. If you've committed a crime, you won't be notified, and you'll usually come straight to your door to arrest you. That's fine. Chen Shu breathed a sigh of relief and laughed. Then as long as I can help, I will definitely do my best. The car is parked over there. You come with me. Good. Chen Shu hurriedly followed Yuing out of the school and headed towards a parking lot on the opposite side. At this time, there was also a person on the opposite side of the street who was observing all of this while eating an orange. And seeing Chen Shu and Yuing go towards the parking lot, he immediately took out his cell phone and said, Third brother, I've seen the person. He's in the parking lot next to the first middle school. All right, you keep an eye on it. We'll come over here. Chapter 87 Confirmed Eyes Soon, Chen Shu followed Yuing onto an all-black minibus. As soon as the door was pulled open, there were seven or eight heavily armed members of the special operations team sitting inside. The driver's seat could not be seen. It was partitioned by soundproof walls, and the entire interior of the minibus was closed space. Chen Shudu instantly froze in place, not daring to move. Yuing on the side quickly smiled. Teacher Chen, no need to be nervous, because this mission is classified. All relevant personnel will arrange for special operations members to escort them throughout the entire journey. Get on the bus. Good, good. Chen Shu hurriedly got into the car. 
Yuing took a file bag over from the co-pilot's seat and waited for the door to close before pulling out the confidentiality agreement and handing it over to Chen Chu. Teacher Chen, after signing the confidentiality agreement I'll tell you the specifics of the situation, but once you've signed it, you absolutely can't disclose any information to the outside world, or else we'll hold you accountable. Chen Chu nodded slightly and did not hesitate, scanning the contents of the confidentiality clause before signing his name and pressing his handprint. After confirming that the confidentiality agreement was in effect, Yu Kai told Chen Shu what had happened. Outside the parking lot, three cars came together, and in a short while, they blocked the entrance to the parking lot. The security guard saw this and was about to come out from the security booth, when suddenly he saw dozens of people coming down from the three cars at once, and there were also quite a number of people pulling out steel pipes from the trunk, and so on, in a fierce manner. This see the situation is not right. The security guard was scared immediately did not dare to move, followed by two or three youths walked to the security booth, with a steel pipe pointing at the security guard said, give me the monitoring pinch, if you dare to make a sound, I'll kill you, the security guard didn't dare to resist, obediently did as he was told, and hurriedly pinched the monitoring of the underground parking lot, you three stand guard here, got it, third brother, the leader was a fat, chubby middle-aged man, smoking a cigarette while leading people to the underground parking lot, Third brother, just after coming down to the parking lot, the person who had been on stakeout earlier hurriedly greeted them. Third brother looked around and asked, where are the people? Right in that car. They haven't left yet. The person who had been staking out the area hurriedly pointed towards the all-black minibus. Third brother let out a cold smile, took a deep drag on a cigarette and then casually threw it on the ground. And with a wave of his hand, he led the people directly towards the minibus. The members of the special forces team who were in the driver's seat looked at a group of fierce and vicious guys who were walking towards them, and could not help but reveal a few puzzled colors. Just then, third brother had already led the people over. Surround it, drag the people out for me. With a command, everyone swarmed over and immediately surrounded the minibus, each with a face full of ill will. Third brother saw the special forces member in the driver's seat at a glance, walked over without saying a word, knocked on the black window, and in the middle of the day, the window gradually rolled down, and the special forces member in civilian clothes was ready to fight, looking over to third brother, is there something wrong, get off, third brother coldly grunted, or else smash your car, the special warrior froze for a moment and subconsciously asked, you can smash it, well, in order to facilitate concealment and camouflage and specially used the manticore 307 to transform the bulletproof car, you can smash it, however, when this sentence was heard in third brother's ears, it was not a naked provocation, smash it for me, third brother gave an order, and everyone immediately smashed the car violently, ding ding ding, no matter how hard the crowd exerted, they froze and did not break the car windows, but the crowd inside the car had already heard the commotion, but because the bulletproof glass was unable to see outside, they did not know what was happening, all of the special forces members instantly alerted, immediately set up a combat posture, and Ewing action is even more rapid, the jacket is lifted quickly drew his gun, blocked in front of Chun Chu, Chen Chu all of a sudden are confused, this has not had time to digest the things Yuing said, even followed by an accident, at this moment, it was natural for him to honestly hide beside the special forces team members to be the safest, the commotion outside didn't stop, Yuing frowned and immediately made a few gestures, the crowd understood, and one of the special operations team members sidestepped and stretched out his hand to snap the switch of the car door, Ka, just before the special warrior could pull the door open, the car door opened automatically, swish, Along with the car door opening smoothly, third brother was leading his men to prepare to drag the man down and beat him up violently, yet just by looking up, he happened to meet Yu Ying's gaze, chapter 88 stabbing the tiger's nest, the third brother was confused, the little brothers were all confused, this, is fucking stabbing a tiger's nest, the third brother steeply back to God, hurriedly raised his hands to show that his hands do not have any weapons, and then in the eyes of Yu Ying, lightly on their own on the ground, hands holding the head, the other juniors have a count one, all the hand inside the guy all to throw, follow the third brother have to lie down on the ground, not a moment, the ground has been lying down a piece, Ewing frowned and collected his weapon, jumped out of the car and asked to the third brother who was lying on the ground, a few into the palace, the third brother's voice is full of helplessness, three, three times, I was instructed to come, the moment he opened his mouth, he was an old recidivist, immediately shifting the blame and avoiding the important, Instructed by whom, and against whom? Zhang Xiao. Ah, no, Zhang Yunlei. Third brother carefully tilted his head and pointed to Chen Shu then said, rushing him, Zhang Yunlei wants us to teach him a lesson. Yuing could not help but look at Chen Shu, who had an innocent face since. 
contact the nearby police station and let them handle it. Ewing didn't want to waste time, leaving three of his special warriors to keep an eye on San and the others as they hurriedly drove off. Line up in a row. Hold your head and crouch down. One of the special operations team members droned. Sango and the others hurriedly and honestly came to the wall and squatted down, not daring to utter a single breath, just chagrined to have taken this job. For fuck's sake, delivering it directly to the door in a package could be okay. The postage was saved. However, the entrance to the parking lot has long been blocked. Yuing and others came to the entrance cannot get out. Several of the minions who are watching do not know that Chun Chu was sitting on the minibus, but also do not know what happened in the underground parking lot, but also in that fierce and fierce swaying hand inside the steel pipe. Is driving the special forces team members see the situation? Hastily got out of the car. Before they had time to speak, was a person with a steel pipe pointing at the nose scolded, what to look at? We're on the job. This road is not accessible. Do not serve me to hold back. Several other people were self-satisfied. The special warrior narrowed his eyes. Half the time. The several people who had been so horizontal just now were already honestly escorted to the underground parking lot by the special operations team members following San and the others as they squatted with their heads in their hands, looking at each other with dismay. Well, a family should be neat and tidy. Not long after, Chen Chu arrived at the Jiangnan State Security, and Yuing had already informed him of what had happened on the way. Concerning the majesty and honor of a great nation, Chen Chu naturally agreed without even having to think about it. Only, the words couldn't be said in full. After all, Chen Chu wasn't sure that the epic educational technique would necessarily work on these spy agents. Not to mention that, these people were the ones who had already been brainwashed, so Chun Shu pretended to smile bitterly. I can try, but after all, I'm just a teacher and have never been exposed to interrogation, so it won't necessarily be effective. We've already considered this. I'll take you to see a professional interrogation expert later to guide you. Ewing hurriedly laughed. Teacher Chen, just relax. Afterward, Chen Shu then followed Ewing to the office and met Sun Chong and Lu Qinghai. As soon as they entered, Sun Chong and Lu Qinghai sized up Chen Shu. Seeing Chen Chu's face that was still a bit green, Sun Chong was really unable to laugh or cry. In Sun Chang's opinion, the 23 or 24 year old Chen Chu was actually just like a child. Not to mention that Chen Chu had indeed just graduated not long ago. Ewing hurriedly introduced some. Chen Chu hurriedly greeted. Lu Qinghai slightly smiled, but did not have Chen Chu young and underestimated Chen Chu. Beckoned and then gestured for Chen Chu to sit beside him. Smiled and said, Teacher Chen, sorry to trouble you for a trip, which is not the case. To be able to contribute to the motherland is really my honor. Chen Shu said with a straight face. Lu Qinghai laughed. This awareness is good. Originally also thought of doing your ideological work. Now it seems to be dispensed with. What happened? Xiao Ya must have told you. But after all, you have not been exposed to this aspect of interrogation to learn. So I need to temporarily guide you. Yes. Thanks to Professor Lu. Employing a person without doubt. Suspecting a person without use. Lu Qinghai's attitude was amiable and he spoke to Chun Shu while asking questions. Sun Chong, who was on the side, looked at Chun Shu's appearance, and in his heart, he really didn't have a plan, but he couldn't interrupt his own teacher, so he just had to go out and smoke a cigarette on his own. Chapter 89 Playing? Inside the office, Lu Qinghai was exchanging words with Chun Shu, only to feel that something wasn't quite right as he spoke. In a few words, Lu Qinghai was able to determine Chun Shu's character. He didn't feel like he had much of a city, and was relatively simple. Sex and appearance is more in line with a budding teacher who has just entered the society not long ago. This made Lu Qinghai wonder if Yu Ying's information was wrong, because logically speaking, there was no reason for such a budding teacher to be able to manage the kind of per capita prickly specialty class like the 7th class. However, having come this far, Lu Qinghai didn't have any worries. There was no harm in giving it a try. Then he began to really teach Chun Chu some things about interrogation. Interrogation was actually a psychological game, depending on who lost first. Chen Shu listened carefully to this. Before he came, he also specially searched for Lu Qinghai, a good guy, a real psychology big brother, an internationally renowned interrogation expert, was worried about not being able to clean up those little goblins of the seventh class. If he could get Lu Qinghai's guidance at this moment, he might be able to find a new way of thinking. As for the matter of interrogation, Chen Shu did not have full certainty. After all, the ones to be faced were not ordinary people, but espionage agents. One can only hope that the epic education technique would give some strength. Without realizing it, two hours had passed. Lu Qinghai had said all that he needed to say, before he smiled. No matter what kind of entry angle you use, as long as you can get the news from their mouths it will be considered a victory for you. You don't have to be too overly tense. When the time comes you'll put on the invisible headset, 
I'll keep an eye on it at all times. Shen Chu hurriedly nodded, while at this time, Sun Chong had already gone to arrange for the interrogation. Not long after, Chen Chu and Lu Qinghai arrived at the interrogation room. After all, Chen Chu came to the interrogation room for the first time. Naturally he couldn't help but look around curiously. There wasn't much difference with the TV. At the very front was a large glass, and it was just enough to see a man in his thirties sitting in the interrogation chair wearing handcuffs, with a sneer on his face, and that look in his eyes. Chen Chu just looked at it with a bit of trepidation. The staff quickly put on a wireless headset for Chen Chu. At the same time, one after another there were quite a few people came to the interrogation room. Most of them looked at Chen Chu with strange eyes. There is disdain. There is curiosity. Chen Chu didn't care. Lu Qinghai gave Chen Chu a look and then asked, Are you ready? Chen Chu nodded. Any time. All right, go in. Along with the door to the interrogation room opening, Chen Chu took a slight breath and walked into the interrogation room. And as soon as the door closed, everyone could not help but look across the room. As soon as Chen Chu came in, suddenly the man sitting on the chair couldn't help but laugh. His laughter full of mockery, what? National security has no one left, letting a guy like you with no hair to interrogate me? Chen Chu walked to the opposite side of the room expressionlessly and slowly sat down, flipping through the information himself, sweeping a glance before looking up at the other party. Name. The other party grinned. His eyes were teasing since he refused to cooperate. Chen Shu frowned and said with a straight face, Name. The other party still did not cooperate, but instead whistled at the window and laughed. Any beauties? Outside the interrogation room. Many people shrugged their shoulders. This scene had been seen for I don't know how many times. Lu Qinghai couldn't help but rub his temples and shook his head helplessly. Forget it. Please come out. Sun Chong at the side froze. Ah, teacher. This hasn't even started yet. It's already over. Lu Qinghai sighed. Chen Shu is too young. There's really no deterrent. He lost right from the start. This was an expected situation. And most of the people in the interrogation room shrugged. After all, all of them had interrogated the prisoner. If they couldn't even deter the prisoner at the beginning, then the next interrogation would be even more needless to say. Ewing let out a bitter smile, but not to talk about disappointment. After all, she was only holding the idea of trying. I'll go open the door. Saying this, Ewing was about to open the door. However, right at this moment, the entire interrogation room echoed with the sound of slapping the table. It was very loud. Immediately afterward, Chen Chu's questioning voice resounded once again. Name. The national security crowd could not help but roll their eyes, playing around. This was a spy agent, not a student. Who can you scare by slapping the table? Abruptly, the entire interrogation room echoed with a slightly more than a few frightened and disturbed voices. Li, Li Zian. Chapter 90 If Your Ancestors Knew. Hey. Lu Qinghai, Sigma, surprised face, winky face, Sun Chong, Sigma, surprised face, winky face, National Security Crowd, Sigma, surprised face, winky face, Sigma, surprised face, winky face, Sigma, surprised face, winky face. For a while, the entire interrogation room was so quiet that you could hear a pin drop. Yu Ying's hand was already on top of the door handle, and his entire body was suddenly stumped in place. Lu Qinghai steeply came back to his senses and hurriedly stopped Yu Ying. There's no rush. Let's see what's going on first. Ewing hastily withdrew his hand, and with that, he looked out the window, only to see that at this moment, Chen Shu was staring at Li Zian with a solemn face, but instead, it was Li Zian, whose expression that was still arrogant and domineering a moment ago turned into an extremely uneasy look, seemingly very afraid of Chen Shu. This made the national security crowd instantly puzzled. How? How did it happen? Just by slapping the table, Chen Shu had actually shocked Li Zian? Well, the crowd tilted their heads. Their faces perplexed. This operation is completely unintelligible. Ah. Sun Chong looked at Li Zian for the first time to reveal this kind of expression. His heart could not help but give birth to a few points of hope. Only that he did not even know how exactly Chen Shu did it. And could not help but look at Lu Qinghai in doubt. Teacher. How did this kid do it? Surprisingly, he made even Li Zian show such an uneasy and scared look. Lu Qinghai frowned and thought for a moment before saying. It's probably some kind of psychological suggestion that evoked the more vulnerable part of Li Zian's heart. Tapping the table? Sun Chong queried. Sort of, but there should be something else. It's just that even I can't see it. Lu Qinghai couldn't help but look at Chun Chu inside. It seems that I really underestimated Chun Chu. Just by the information on hand he was able to deduce Li Zian's most vulnerable psychological defense area. The future is unlimited. When the national security crowd heard this, they couldn't help but look at Chun Chu with some envy. This sentence of Lu Qinghai's weight that could not be described as heavy, and the words are full of appreciation. No one suspected that Chen Shu was a blind cat who ran into a dead rat. The reason is very simple. 
Before the interrogation, there is no less table tapping. However, Li Zian pressure simply did not react, and even dared to taunt and turn an incompetent rage. After listening to the words of Lu Qinghai, the fire of hope in Sun Chang's heart burned more vigorously. There was a chance. Inside the interrogation chamber, Chen Shu first went through the process. After asking for basic information such as name, gender, and place of origin, Li Zian also immediately explained. This made Chen Shu slightly relieved. In the middle of the day, Chen Shu then directly opened the door and said, What is your mission? The crowd outside the interrogation room once again looked at each other. Good fellow, so direct? Directly going on without doing any psychological work. At this time, Li Zian's expression was a bit off. Avoiding Chen Shu's line of sight, clearly having touched on a sensitive issue, fear and reason began to engage in a battle. At this time, it was natural to capitalize on the victory. And in order to give full effect to the awe effect, he directly walked up to Li Zian and said in a cold voice, Speak. Li Zian was still at war with the heavenly beings. But when Chen Shu approached, the fear that came from deep within instantly destroyed Li Zian's psychological defenses. His voice shivered and said, 792 Quantum Engineering. The interrogation room was in an uproar. Everyone was staring with wide eyes and a look of disbelief. Crap, this fucking what process does not go. After all, it was surprising that it was really asked out. Lu Qinghai steeply came back to his senses and instantly gave Chen Chu a voice. Chen Chu, ask him how much information he has, where the information is stockpiled again, and the contact with the outside of the country as well as his accomplices. After Chen Chu received the message, he immediately began to ask questions. Under the powerful effect of awe, Li Zian began to give an account of the information he knew. Outside the interrogation room was already busy. According to the information explained by Li Zian, Sun Chong was the first to set up manpower and collect evidence. Only when asked about the contact information and accomplices outside the country as well as the mastermind behind the scene, Li Zian suddenly covered his brain, his expression extremely hideous. Chen Shu was also startled, followed by Lu Qinghai's voice in his ear. This is his psychological defense starting to work. Previously, Lu Qinghai had mentioned psychological defense, which was the subconscious mind planted by the person who brainwashed Li Zian. And once this defense mechanism was touched, Li Zian would develop suicidal tendencies. This caused Chen Shu to be somewhat caught off guard, and subconsciously turned his head to look into the interrogation room, revealing a look of distress, only to hear Lu Qinghai hurriedly say, In this situation, the best way is to directly break down the other party's emotions and send him into a state of confusion. If you can't do that, I'll immediately have someone inject him with a sedative. Chen Shu instantly settled down. Isn't this just right? Rushing at Li Zian, he began to curse. You've even forgotten where you gave birth to your seed you? What do you think you are? If your ancestors know that you are a traitor, they will surely take a leave of absence from their graves to chop you up. Believe it or not? Chapter 91. Chapter 92 starting with a life sentence. Not to mention the three people who were looking confused. Even the two staff members who were dragging Li Zian were looking at each other in disbelief. Just remember half an hour ago from the detention room to Li Zian put forward. That Li Zian walking that called a tiger wind. Arrogant and domineering and the full of self-confidence. Almost did not directly open his mouth to say that now the advantage of me. Who also absolutely do not want to learn from my mouth half a bit of news. As a result, Chen Shu was interrogated for half an hour. People just brought out of the interrogation room. His voice has been crying. I beg you to hurry up and sentence me. This scum. I am ashamed of my ancestors. Traitors like me should be shot on the spot. Living is simply a waste of air. Li Zian cried remorsefully along the way and only after he was put into a holding cell did his voice gradually dissipate. Half an hour later, a black luxury car arrived at Jiangnan State Security. As soon as the car stopped, a man in a suit walked down, around 30 years old, wearing a pair of gold glasses, and walked into the National Security Hall with a strong demeanor. These many staff members couldn't help but frown at the sight of the visitor. Extremely unhappy. The reason is very simple. The person is exactly Li Zian and other people's defense lawyer Chan Yuanchao. It is also under the Chang Yuan Chao's three inches of tongue. The work of the national security is often hindered. Came to the hall. Chang Yuan Chao showed his identity. Want to see Li Zian and others. The staff since reluctantly responded. Let Chang Yuan Chao wait. Half a staff led Chang Yuan Chao to a lounge. Chang Yuan Chao frowned. What do you mean? I want to see my four clients. What am I being asked to come here for? Mr. Chang wait for a moment. You'll know later. The staff didn't explain. And twisted their heads and left. Chang Yuan Chao frowned tightly. A long time later, he saw Sun Chong walked into the middle of the lounge, making Chang Yuan Chao could not help but be stunned. Reacting in his heart, he could not help but coldly laugh. A guess would know that it must be Sun Chong who wanted to make him lose his tongue, only to take people's money. 
four people to eliminate disasters, not to mention, Li Zian behind the power is not he can offend up. Thinking of this, Chang Yuanxiao stood up with a serious face and said, Mr. Sun, as a lawyer, since I have accepted the commission, I have to be responsible for my client. Please let me see my client now. The meaning in the words was clear. I won't cooperate with you, so don't hit me. Seeing Chang Yuanxiao's attitude, Sun Chong was not only not angry, but instead smiled calmly. I didn't say I won't let you see him, I came over as simply and you say, Li Zian recruited just, you this gold medal lawyer also have no way oh, well, Sun Chong just came over to fool around, after all, this Chan Yuanxiao against him for half a year, has long been looking at Chan Yuanxiao is not good, today Li Zian confessed, he can finally let loose a bit of catharsis, whom, ha, Chan Yuanxiao came back to his senses and was filled with contempt, this is never possible, he is not guilty at all. It's just that you guys arrested the wrong person. It's not even a crime. Where is the confession of guilt? Sun Chong also does not explain. Rushed to Chang Yuanchao slightly smile, and then out of the door, ordered people to take Chang Yuanchao to see Li Zian and others. Chang Yuanchao, however, could not help but be a bit distracted. After all, Sun Chang's ambiguous attitude really made his heart uncomfortable. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. How could Li Zian and the others have taken the initiative to confess? Just as Chang Yuanxiao was pondering, the people had already been brought to the meeting room, and in no time, Li Zian was brought into the meeting room. Li Zian lowered his head and did not say a word. Chang Yuanxiao's heart sank as he waited for the national security staff to leave before he rushed at Li Zian in a deep voice and asked, Li Zian, what's going on? Li Zian slowly raised his head, revealing an expression of utter shame. Mr. Chang, I've confessed. You don't have to mind me. Chang Yuanxiao, you... What are you babbling about? Chang Yuanxiao stood up with wide eyes. You, why did you just confess? Did they use torture? No, I'm just deeply ashamed. I'm sorry to my ancestors. For the sake of money I went so far as to sell out my country and collaborate with the enemy. It's really an unpardonable crime. Please help me aggravate my crime when you defend. Start with life imprisonment. Better come with a death sentence. Chang Yuanxiao's entire body was wooden. Instantly, he gave him this gold medal lawyer hole won't be able to. Li Zian. I'm not joking with you now, Mr. Chang, I'm not joking with you either. You, you really confessed? All confessed, but I think it's not enough. Why don't you help me think about it? I just want to be sentenced as soon as possible. Don't drag out my sentence. Chang Yuanxiao's eyes glared. This state of Li Zian is not right. It is not the normal Li Zian at all. Did they give you something to eat? Chang Yuanxiao hurriedly asked. If the national security abused the lynching, this wave was stable. Li Zian and the others could be released early and the confessions recited before could all be overturned without any legal effect. How do trash like me deserve to eat? It's a waste of food. Ah, this, when Li Zian looked at it, this was definitely eating something that caused the mental state to be abnormal. Humph, this time, Gowen was considered completely planted. After tossing and turning for half a year, is it finally unable to carry the pressure to use lynching? I understand. Chan Yuan Chao stopped talking and immediately got up and walked out of the meeting room, looking righteously at the staff. I'm going to immediately apply for my client's blood test. Chapter 93, we added magic. Sun Chong was indifferent when he heard that Chan Yuanxiao wanted a blood test. Let him have a blood test. Let him have nothing to say. With Sun Chong's approval, Chan Yuanxiao immediately invited a doctor to draw blood for testing. And half an hour later, Li Zian's blood test report came out. Impossible. How could everything be normal? Chan Yuanxiao looked at the blood test report in his hand and looked at the doctor with a questioning face. He even suspected that the doctor was faking but only after looking back did he realize that. Oh, the doctor was hired by myself. Li Zian this sudden confession made Chang Yuanxiao was caught off guard. Always more rational he also appeared for a moment a few points of panic. But the blood test is normal does not make sense. Li Zian's mental state is too bizarre. It should be that the blood test cannot be found. Chang Yuanxiao also let the doctor do other tests, but did not find any abnormalities, and finally asked the psychiatrist to take a look. But also the psychiatrist was confused. After some questioning, Chang Yuanxiao hurriedly asked Li Zian about his condition. This, I can't tell what exactly is wrong with it. The psychiatrist had a confused look on his face. He seems to be simply in a very pessimistic mood right now, as if he's reflecting on himself, and is otherwise unaffected, and his thoughts are very clear, and he's very organized no matter what he asks. Not to mention that he has no symptoms of schizophrenia. Doctors cannot do anything. Of course, more dare not fake. After all, the relationship is significant who are afraid of the bottom of the jail sit through. Chang Yuanxiao heard, simply brain broad are going to explode. But the good thing is that things still have a chance. 
Li Zian even if all confessed. The problem is not serious. The most folded a Li Zian. As long as the other three people can bail out a even if it is a win. Chang Yuanchao gave up on Li Zian. And next met the remaining three one by one. Saying almost exactly the same thing. No matter how they interrogate. Absolutely don't pick up the fight. Don't say a word. National security will not dare to use torture. Stall for time. There are only seven days left. After this week, the sky is high and the sea is open for the birds to fly. The three people's answers have been different since. Don't worry. Absolutely not a word. Will not repeat Li Zian's mistake. Chang Yuanchao saw the three people swore. The heart is always a few points of peace. But in order to prevent the unexpected. Ready to run a day to the national security. The next day. Chang Yuanchao once again came to national security. However, today, after Chang Yuanchao felt the slightly gloating eyes of the staff, he immediately had an ominous premonition. Today, he has been preparing the information for the bail pending trial, but must not have another accident. With anxiety in his heart, Chang Yuanchao hurried to the meeting room. Not long after, Lu Xinlin was brought in by the staff. Just sitting down, Chang Yuanchao saw Lu Xinlin's face of grief. You, Mr. Chang, I'm sorry. I've recruited as well. I'm ashamed of my wife and children. Please tell them that I'm a scum and a scum. I don't deserve to live in this world at all. Let my wife remarry. Chang Yuanchao. I Nima. Chang Yuanchao was completely flustered this time, angrily slapping the table and cursing. What's going on with you guys? I'm sorry. Living in this world is really a shame to humanity. Chang Yuanchao's blood pressure instantly pulled full. What in the world was happening? For two consecutive days, let Li Zian and Lu Xinlin confess all. By the time Lu Xin Lin was taken away, Chang Yuanchao covered his chest. It was so hard that his hand holding the bail information was trembling slightly. There are only two people left. Chang Yuanchao still carries a trace of hope. After seeing the two people is almost to give two people kneel on the ground kowtow. The two of you, please harden your mouths. Don't ever confess again. The remaining two people sense a look of death not to open their mouths. So that Chang Yuanchao can rest assured. But if they open their mouths is a beast. The third day, Mr. Chang. I'm worse than an animal. Fourth day. Mr. Chang, they said they can only sentence me to life imprisonment. Can you help me fight for a death sentence? I really don't want to live. On the last day, Chang Yuanchao walked out of national security like a walking corpse. Fuck it. In a fit of rage, Chang Yuanchao tore up all the materials he had prepared at the gate of the national security, squatting and sitting on the stairs, his heart as if he was dead. Obviously, there were only three or four days left, but right at this juncture, Li Zian and the others all fell and confessed. Half a year's efforts had gone down the drain. Now he is in big trouble. I thought that this opportunity to rise to the top. And then you can specialize in the defense of these people. Making a fortune. But this time it's good. Planted completely and utterly. If I had known. I would not have taken this job. Not to mention the rotten reputation. Money is not gained. This is the end of the day. Just when Chang Yuanchao was in despair. Sun Chong appeared beside Chang Yuanchao and handed him a cigarette. Mister. Chang, you don't seem to be in a good mood. Chang Yuanchao took the cigarette with an expression of resignation. Sun Chong, good tactics, I lost. No longer new efforts? Can't bring it. Sun Chong lit a cigarette, grinned, it is a pity that you do not take the right path. Otherwise I still appreciate you. Our country's security legal advisor froze by you do not know how to refute. What's the point of saying this now? Chang Yuanchao's face was full of vicissitudes. Inhaled a mouthful of cigarettes and asked again. How in the world did you interrogate? Sun Chong slowly stood up and smiled. It's magic. We added magic. Chang Yuan Chao. Chapter 94, Be Confident. Chen Shu interrogated for three days in a row. The people from the national security had all gone numb. As long as Chen Shu opened his mouth, before each and every one of the arrogant and domineering guys at most two minutes of effort to adhere to the initiative to confess. The more I see, the more outrageous I feel. Lu Qinghai in this line of work for so many years, Froze did not understand. Other people interrogation is at least a process. And Chen Shu came up as a direct trial. Good guy. Other people at least have to come to some foreplay to take off their pants. Chen Shu this is not pants directly on ah. The most ridiculous is no matter how hard the mouth. Chen Shu a trial on the opening. National security crowds three views for the first time has suffered a violent impact. After three consecutive days of interrogation. Everything is finally dusty. After grasping a large amount of evidence. National security formally indicted the suspect. As for Chen Chu, after completing his mission, he hid his accomplishments deeply and continued to return to school. The only difference was that this time, Chen Chu had an additional title, National Security Advisor. This is not a false establishment, but the official certification, similar to the external staff, monthly salary, 
and the salary is also quite a lot. The most important thing is that usually there is nothing, unless it is the national security and then encountered a hard time will ask Chen Chu. Now Chen Chu is leading a double salary. Step into the monthly 10,000 big households. That is a comfortable. Of course, this is still Lu Qinghai help to fight for themselves. Would have liked to invite Lu Qinghai to have a meal to thank you, but the day of the end of the interrogation, Lu Qinghai took the plane to leave, did not have time to thank, only this all because signed a confidentiality agreement, since no one can know, even the only know a little bit of cats and dogs director son, apparently also by the national security side of the greetings, the outside world just declared that Chen Shu went home to visit his family only, as for Zhang Yunlei, Chen Shu has not had time to find Zhang Yunlei trouble, Zhang Yunlei has been invited to the police station to drink tea to go, some days no news, deservedly, who let you find me trouble, stabbed a big basket of it, strictly speaking, that can be considered a major crime of assaulting a police officer. And you're the mastermind behind this is sure to have a hard time. Joy to the world. Early this morning, Chen Shu returned to the office after a few days. Did not have time to greet the other teachers? People are all surrounded by a big pouring of bitterness. Chen Shu was away for the past few days. And the classes were simply impossible to attend. As soon as Chen Shu left, the seventh class began to uncover the roof. These days it was so noisy that it felt like it was back to the original point. Entering the classroom of the 7th class was just like entering a food market, and it was so noisy that it couldn't be stopped, it was really Chen Chu who left, and the 7th class immediately appeared in its original form. Chen Chu listened to the face full of helplessness, but in his heart it is also clear. He also relied on some small means of pressure on the 7 classes, but also did not really convince the hearts of the people. The good thing is that this trip to the national security not only hoard out a national security consultant, by the way. But also from the mouth of Yuing know a lot of things Wang Libang, just while the iron is hot, as soon as possible to take down Wang Libang. As long as there is Wang Libang to support himself, this seventh class is even half subdued. Not a moment later, it was time for class to begin, and Chen Shu walked into the classroom with a cold face. As soon as they saw that Chen Shu had returned, the seventh class instantly became honest. Chen Shu was also too lazy to say something. Verbal education is not much use, purely a waste of breath simply do not settle accounts, and then began to class. The absence of these days were less earned a lot of teaching points, sure to make up for it as soon as possible. Before class ended, Chen Shu called Zhou Feng and the others to his office. Old Chen, we didn't mess around these days. Zhou Feng thought that Chen Shu was going to settle scores in the fall and hurriedly said, we can all be honest, just Su Tianhao was the most rowdy. The other gym students naturally nodded their heads in agreement. After all, after seeing the power of Chen Shu's mouth, they were naturally filled with awe towards Chen Chu. You guys have indeed performed well these past few days. Chen Chu nodded slightly, affirming the performance of Zhou Feng and the others before saying, This time, I'm looking for you all to come here, mainly to do me a favor. What is it? I'm planning to organize a class party at the end of the month. Chen Chu hurriedly smiled and said, You guys help open up. Class party? Zhou Feng looked odd and asked in a low voice, Old Chen, who is this going to set up again? What nonsense, Chen Shu glared at Zhou Feng without any good humor. Do I look like the kind of person who would secretly set up a student? Teacher, be confident and remove the word like, you are the okay. Chapter 95, The Inner World. So what kind of party is planned? Chen Shu grinned and took out a poster from the drawer. Let's go here, how about it? The crowd took it and looked at it, and immediately looked at each other in disbelief. Above the poster was the recent fiery mess in Jiangnan City, the Puha Hospital Horror Haunted House. The horror coefficient was extremely high, the scenes inside were so realistic that it was impossible to do so, and all of them were real people playing the role of ghosts and monsters inside, which was really scary. Zhou Feng and the others had already heard of it long ago, but they just didn't dare to go there. Also, it's not impossible. Zhou Feng was embarrassed to reveal his timid appearance. The problem is that the others definitely won't be willing to go. Chen Shu was not in a hurry. You can go ask who is willing to go first, I will naturally find a way to take care of the rest. Good, good, Zhou Feng answered, took the poster and left. Chen Shu had also figured this out in the past two days. As the saying goes, a friend in need is a friend indeed, and the haunted house was the best place Chen Shu could think of at the moment. If he were to do it before, Chen Shu would definitely not dare to go to this kind of place. It was really scary, but after experiencing the copy of the teacher's pagoda, Chen Shu felt that his nerves were numb. Not only was he not afraid, but he was also looking forward to it. Haunted house adventure this thing is not in a hurry, after all, there is still a week from the end of the month, at this moment Chen Shu will have to think about how to solve Wang Libang's heart knot, Wang Libang and Su Zitao's old scores, Chen Shu has asked from Yu Ying's mouth clear, anyway, it's pretty much a crapshoot, 
The reason why the face is because of Wang Libang and Su Zitao Junior High School exams. Wang Libang want to copy Su Zitao. Su Zitao does not allow. The results of Wang Libang exams pull crotch to the extreme, to an ordinary junior high school. This junior high school Chun Chu also heard, a few years ago was not good. Originally not very self-conscious little guy, and made some friends, probably in junior high school that will learn bad. Obviously, Wang Libang put all the blame on Su Zitao. Su Zitao should feel is indeed their own responsibility. If at first to Wang Libang copy, Wang Libang will not change now. So, a willingness to fight a willingness to do that kind of. This situation makes Chen Shu do not know how to start. What is wrong ah? Their own failure to blame others? Su Zitao is even more outrageous. But also with on? Both people have problems? Three views are not correct. Should be properly educated. What should we do? Chen Shu scratched his ears and cheeks, and had no idea at all. However, right at this moment, the voice of the nine quarters yellow river pen suddenly rang in his mind. Little old brother. What's wrong? Chen Shu was stunned. Couldn't help but ponder over it. The nine quarters yellow river pen is a mythological existence anymore. There may be a method. So he said so to the nine quarters yellow river pen. The nine quarters yellow river pen heard it, and was happy. How big of a thing. Let me cut them down a meal on the end of the matter. Chen Chu. Master pen. Violence cannot solve problems. Who said it can't? The nine quarters yellow river pen sneered. There is no one under the sky that I, master pen, can't clean up with a single cut? And if there is, then I'll cut it twice. Listening to this confident tone of the nine quarters yellow river pen, Chen Chu could not help but weigh it up. The main thing is that he doesn't know whether the chipping in Juku yellow river pen's mouth refers to beating up people or not. After weighing it for a long time, Chen Chu decided to let the nine quarters yellow river pen try it out first. If there was danger, stop it in time. Only after hesitating for a long while did Chen Shu say, Master Pen, then I'm counting on you for this. All right, give me some labor fees first. The nine quarters yellow river pen asks you for 30, 000 teaching points. Do you agree? Chen Shu, you're really not polite at all. Agree. Chen Shu's words had just fallen, and at the same time, the system's voice sounded once again. Rai world ahead. Poison resistance not enough to point the way 103. The nine quarters yellow river pen unleashes its divine might, opening the Rai world. Attention! All the heart demons in the inner world are extremely aggressive and regenerative. Please pay attention to safety. Chen Shu had not yet returned to his senses, only to see the office was preparing for several teachers. Suddenly began to change. The body began to gradually twist and tear. The size also began to become large, and from the surface of the skin actually began to give birth to a fong mouth. Body is entangled in a rich black breath. Chen Chu's pupils violently shrunk, immediately scared did not dare to move, the body instinctively felt an extremely dangerous atmosphere, heart demon, seemingly sensing Chen Chu's gaze, the several heart demons suddenly looked sideways, when they saw their faces, Chen Chu was even more startled, the faces of the several teachers were no longer in proper shape, either extremely distorted or changed position, and were even torn to their chests, and all of their gazes held a biting killing intent, Chen Chu cursed, and almost without any hesitation, pulled out his legs and ran. Master Pen. Master Pen. Chen Shu hurriedly called out as he ran. Boom. Only hearing a loud bang. Chen Shu turned around in horror, and saw that the heart demon that those few teachers had transformed into suddenly rushed out of the office, its enormous size directly smashing the office door to pieces, and ran furiously all the way towards Chen Shu. Its speed was even faster than it should have been. Just as Chen Shu was about to use mimicry to escape, suddenly, a golden light swept out directly from Chen Shu's chest. Panic my ass. Just a few trash can scare you into this shit? This little old brother of yours is also a thief pulling no contest. The golden light swept out, immediately breaking the incoming few heart demons into pieces, leaving behind a ground of twisted pieces of flesh. Following that, Chen Shu only felt a sinking in his hand. A one meter long huge brush surfaced in his hand, only to see that on the ancient quaint brush, there was a picture of the yellow river setting in the sun engraved on the ancient quill. The atmosphere was magnificent. What was it if it wasn't the nine quarters yellow river pen proper? Chapter 96, Reverse Buff. Chen Shu looked at the pieces of heart demon flesh that those few teachers had just transformed into that were still writhing on the ground, and couldn't help but feel a gust of chills as he couldn't help but ask, Master Pen, are these few teachers alright? Not only are they fine, they also have to thank me for helping them cut down their heart demons. The nine quarters yellow river pen in his hand transmitted. This place I brought you to is called the heart demon realm. All people's heart demons will be current here. If you chop off their heart demons, you can guide people to goodness. Of course, this place is also treacherous. A little bit of carelessness and you will also be devoured by the heart demons, thus losing your sanity. 
but with master pen I protect you. Unusual heart demon naturally cannot hurt you. Unusual? This heart demon has a difference between strong and weak, especially those little guys inside your class. The heart demon that is quite powerful. With your current ability, there is no way to get rid of their heart demon. Only then did Chen Chu understand the situation he was in. Master Pen, you can't cut off their heart demons either? It would have been easy if I was in my prime. But I have been asleep for too long and my power is 10 to 1. Master Pen said in a deep voice, dealing with one or two would not be a problem. But if there are more, I would not be able to cope. Not to mention, there is still the burden of you. Chen Chu awkwardly scratched his head, because he was too lucky. He had drawn the nine quarters yellow river pen. According to the normal process, the inner world should be entered only when one had grown to a certain level. And right now there was nothing to defend oneself. But it's not a big problem. Anyway, this trip over here I'm here to slash that one Libang. The nine quarters yellow river pen added, after we behead his heart demon, we'll just leave right away. Chen Shu nodded slightly and looked around, but found that the school's hallways were all filled with heart demons, of different sizes and physiques and looked towards the classroom of the 7th class from afar, which was a real shock to see. The 7th class inside the heart of the devil are stirred into a ball, simply not humanoid. It feels like countless meatballs intertwined together, cannot see who is who. Master Pen, what's going on here? Chen Chu didn't dare to make any movement. Holding the 9 quarters yellow river pen he stood at the entrance of the office. Fortunately with the deterrent of the 9 quarters yellow river pen, the unusual heart demon in front of him didn't dare to take the initiative to attack. But instead, he retreated. The heart demon is too powerful and twisted. Everyone is tangled into a ball. You have to find a way to draw out Wang Libang's heart demon. The nine quarters yellow river pen said in a deep voice. Otherwise, there's no way for me to do it. And at that time, if you lure out all the heart demons in class 7, you definitely won't survive. How? How do I lure them out? Chen Shu was confused. How should I know? You figure it out yourself. That wasn't what you said before you came. How domineering those words were, letting you cut me down would be the end of the matter, but you still had to let me be the bait. After a moment of contemplation, Chen Shu had an idea. While holding the nine quarters yellow river pen, he approached towards the entrance of class 7, and when the distance was almost up, Chen Shu shouted at the top of his voice outside the door, Wang Libang, I'm going to tell your grandmother about your school's business. With just one sentence, a huge commotion came from within the seventh class, even the ground began to tremble followed by a large mass of twisted flesh squeezing out from the doorway of the seventh class, hissing and growling in Chun Chu's direction. Just in time, he was able to see that somewhere in the mass of flesh was precisely Wang Libang's hideous and incomparable face. Slipping away, Chen Chu immediately ran away, and after the heart demon that Wang Libang had transformed into squeezed out, it almost filled the entire hallway, and from that huge mass of flesh even extended out a dense thick arm, eyes, teeth, and rushed across the road. Those heart demons that blocked the way were so scared that they instantly jumped downstairs, not daring to block Wan Libang at all. Chen Shu hurriedly used his teacher's overbearing aura. However, that Wang Libang's heart demon only paused for a moment, but it still killed towards Chen Shu. The hegemonic aura was ineffective. Chen Shu was instantly confused, and immediately afterward, the system's beep sounded in his ears. Overbearing aura level is too low, unable to deter. Chen Shu's face changed slightly, and following that, he released his epic education technique, Wang Libang, stop right there, with a furious shout, that huge meatball heart demon managed to stop right in front of Chen Shu, luckily, I have an epic education technique, Chen Shu had just breathed a sigh of relief when he heard the nine quarters yellow river pen urgently say, are you crazy, ah, steeply, Chen Shu only felt the ground shake, the meatball in front of his eyes steeply swelled up crazily, and even gave birth to an incomparably thick arm that smashed over towards Chen Shu, and in a trance, the nine quarters yellow river pen instantly transformed into a golden light that blocked in front of him. But even so, an incomparably strong force still slapped Chen Chu out of the room on the spot. Blood flew horizontally. Boom! Chen Chu ruthlessly smashed into the aisle, only feeling that his internal organs were turning over, and his entire being was confused. How could the epic education technique not work? Epic education technique only produces an effect on beings with the ability to think. And not only is it ineffective against the heart demon, it will also cause its emotions to become more chaotic. ITM. Dare I say that I've also put a strengthening buff on Wang Libang. Chapter 97. I charged up. However, the berserk Wang Libang's mind demon had already swept wildly, once sweeping the marble guardrail on the building into pieces. Chen Chu forcefully endured the severe pain all over his body and hurriedly climbed up. Without even thinking about it, he was leaping down from the third floor, and when he saw that he was going to land on the ground, 
The Nine Quarters Yellow River Pen hurriedly released golden light under Chen Shu's feet, just letting Chen Shu roll out a good few meters away, but did not let Chen Shu get hurt. I'll stall for time. You find a place to hide first, and then come back for you after I suppress this fellow. Good. Knowing that he was a liability, Chen Shu lumbered up and ran, while the Nine Quarters Yellow River Pen swept out a burst of golden light, temporarily blocking the heart demon that Wang Libang had transformed into. However, Along with the continuous expansion of Wang Libang's heart demon, it was obvious that the power of the golden light was somewhat insufficient. Chen Shu used his mimicry skill and ran furiously along the way. However, without the golden light of the Nine Quarters Yellow River Pen to deter them, the wandering heart demons along the way also pounced towards Chen Shu. In the Li world, wherever there were people, there were heart demons. Fortunately, Chen Shu's speed wasn't slow, plus he had experienced the experience of a copy in the teacher's pagoda before and gradually calmed down from the initial panic. Running like this definitely wasn't a solution. Not to mention, there seemed to be nowhere to hide in the inner world. Chen Shu hurriedly swept the item bar, but there was nothing available, and the only powerful prop, the seven classes sole recruitment streamer, was still a copy of the limited edition, and could not be used at all. However, Chen Shu himself is not a sitting duck, immediately saw the school flower bed side of a digging hoe, rushed over and picked up, turned around and did his best to slam. Accompanied by a muffled bang, there is a heart demon received a hoe. The heart demon was fine. The hoe broke. The powerful reaction force was even shocked Chun Shu's tiger's mouth numb. Between the panic, a few heart demons had already swarmed up and held Chun Shu down on the ground ready to tear. When it was too late, it was too soon. Accompanied by Chun Shu's furious shout, the several heart demons were suddenly thrown out several meters away, and a faint layer of reddish colored light shone around Chun Shu. Mythical inspiration technique. Chen Shu was somewhat incredibly feeling the strength that was constantly pouring out of his body, and even the injuries that he had suffered just now were restored as if they were the first in a matter of moments. The power that I spent 100, 000 teaching points in exchange for is indeed strong. Chen Shu's heart was overjoyed, and he hurriedly used the mythical inspiration technique without even thinking about it at the time of the crisis. With the money in place, the effect was extraordinary. Seeing that the several heart demons that had just been thrown out were pouncing up again, Chen Shu didn't panic, and instead of retreating, plus there was also mimicry, he leapt forward and kicked a heart demon on top of a heart demon. When Chen Shu landed on the ground, the aftermath of this kick froze and cracked the marble tiles on the ground. Seeing this, Chen Shu could not help but tilt his head back and instantly look towards the remaining few heart demons with a morose face. Bottoming out, Lousy charged up. It was not known how long it took before a golden light swept across the sky. Nine curved yellow river pen this just found Chen Shu but see Chen Shu body radiates a faint red light, and is to see that the heart devil meatball full of ground is still wriggling, also cannot help but be stunned, leisurely flew to Chen Shu in front of him and said, underestimated you ah, although there are now inspired skills on the side, but Chen Shu is not yet inflated to the point of self-consciousness that he can deal with Wang Lebang, said in a deep voice, Master Pen, how is it? The pen master said in a quiet voice, originally I could deal with it, but after you messed it up so much, it's hard enough for me to deal with him, now I don't have much spiritual power left, and I can't go back for the time being, I have to rest for two days before I can unleash the divine might, however, you look a bit strong now, but unfortunately it's just brute force, it's fine to deal with ordinary heart demons, and it's still dead when you run into the more powerful ones, not to mention that this heart demon realm isn't as simple as you think, you think so simple, well, you are still too tender now, don't need to know so much, first find a place to avoid the wind, follow me, right, Find something to bring the meatball on the ground that is still alive and kicking. Useful. Chen Shu didn't ask too many questions. Rushed to hold back the nausea. Used his jacket to put those meatballs on. And immediately followed the nine quarters yellow river pen. In no time at all. He was out of the school. And everywhere he went was filled with heart demons. As if it was the end of the world. Occasionally there were a few heart demons that wanted to attack. But they were swept away by a golden light from the nine quarters yellow river pen. The rest of the heart demons all avoided and traveled. Here it is, right here. Suddenly, the nine quarters yellow river pen suddenly transformed into a golden light and flew back into Chun Chu's chest, commanding, don't ask too many questions, and don't look too much, just do as I say. Chen Chu was dumbfounded. In front of him was a huge and magnificent ancient city, situated in a park not far from the school, with a wall as high as four or five stories, and even soldiers in ancient armor could be seen patrolling on the wall. There are even people in the inner world? There's even a city, ancient. Ancient people, Chen Shu uttered in shock, don't make a fuss, the nine quarters yellow river pen hurriedly said, and don't believe what you see, these are not people at all, they are all heart demons, 
Only that compared to the hard demons that you saw before, these hard demons are very advanced and already possess intelligence. What you see is the city and the human beings who are similar to you. The nine curved yellow river pen paused and smiled wistfully. What I see are countless balls of flesh twisted into twist like, disgusting to death. Chen Chu couldn't help but shiver. Your little old brother can't help but be scared. Ha 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 ha. Put a million hearts. For the time being, it's fine. In their eyes, you're actually a meatball as well. It's just that this meatball of yours looks special. How is it special? Chen Chu subconsciously asked. Well, according to the heart demon's aesthetics, you look ugly. The ugly kind. Chapter 98 This words can be really auspicious. Not long after Chun Shu saw the city gates, just can see two teams of tiger-backed soldiers guarding the gate. And around the city gates there are still quite a few heart demons wandering around. But they do not dare to get close to the city gates. Thinking of the city gate is actually all twisted super meatballs. Chen Shu felt weak to no end. Cannot help but somewhat beat the drum. But if there was an accident, if these heart demons were to realize that they were not of their own kind, then wouldn't they be out of luck? However, the nine quarters yellow river pen had been chanting, saying that the most dangerous place was the safest place. If this were to stay outside, when it gets dark, the heart demons outside that would become incredibly brutal, just like Wang Lebang suddenly expanding, and their strength would rise steeply, and then they would truly be dead. This senior heart demon was different, because it had already developed a mind. It was able to control itself and would not be confused. Having no choice, Chen Shu could only walk towards the city gates with a stiff upper lip. Not long after, the soldiers guarding the city gates could not help but frown when they saw Chen Shu. The gibbering went on and on, not like they were speaking at all, as if they were like something whispering in a gust, old and eerie, hearing Chen Shu's cold hairs rise. This is the whispers of the heart demons communicating. Of course you can't understand it. The nine quarters yellow river pen said happily. I'll translate the translation for you. TSK, this guy is so ugly looking. It's disgusting to look at. Spicy eyes, I really want to beat him up. The summarized sentence is that you're quite a chic looking little thing. The nine quarters yellow river pen said, don't pay any attention to them, just move forward, and don't ever open your mouth, or else you'll be exposed if you do. Chen Shu silently hummed and stiffly passed through the middle of the two teams of soldiers. Fortunately the other party seemed to be simply mocking and did not have any abnormalities, and ultimately entered the city without any danger. This glance over, really with the TV show inside the ancient street scene is exactly the same. The road is quite a lot of pedestrians. Cars and horses like dragons, quite lively, immediately let Chen Shu have a kind of travel back to the ancient feeling. However, Chen Shu also understands that everything in front of him is fake. According to his own subconscious feedback to the picture only, only because he is a mortal eye, there is no way to see the real picture. Well, it was best not to see it, otherwise it would definitely be disgusting to death. Only Chen Shu's appearance instantly drew the attention of many people, both men and women, young and old, all of them instantly looked disgusted. It was good that Chen Shu could understand at this moment, because the heart demon is a combination of chaos, rage and all other evil thoughts. So in the heart demon's view, only an existence filled with evil thoughts is beautiful, while Chen Shu came to the inner world as a human being, and is also an existence that possesses reason, the evil thoughts were suppressed to the lowest level, and in the heart demon's view is that kind of ugly to the point that it has already lost the right to choose a mate to mate with. Master Pen, coming in, where should we go next? Chen Shu silently asked. First find a way to learn the language of the heart demon. The nine quarters yellow river pen said. Anyway, you will definitely come to this place in the future. And it's possible that you won't be able to return one day. So it's better to be prepared than to suffer. Well, that's a really fucking auspicious thing to say. But thinking about it, this is also the reasoning. In addition to Wang Lebang's heart demon, the other heart demons should also be cleared along with it. So it is natural that you will still have to come in the future. Save for a rainy day. Unfortunately. Mimicry skills don't work, can only mimic humans, no way to mimic the heart demon. Learning from the nine quarters yellow river pen would take years and months. Shen Shu began to stroll around to see if there was a bookstore or something like that. Utilizing the teacher's sweet power to learn quickly was the quickest means at the moment. Originally Chen Shu did not hold much hope. After all, the heart of the devil this thing is not human. The result just walked around a corner really saw a roadside stall selling books. Chen Shu hurriedly walked over, casually picked up a book is ready to look at. Nine curved yellow river pen rushed to stop, you must not look at ah, this is full of filth, specifically for the demons of the mind to see, if you read it you will destroy your mind, and instantly turn into a senseless mass of flesh, frightened, Chen Shu almost threw the book away, at this moment the boss of that stall smiled and squinted joyfully and gabbled a bunch of words, nine quarters yellow river pen online translation, guest, this is a good thing, it's not expensive, 
I'll charge you three pieces of meat. Chen Shu only then realized that the nine quarters Yellow River Pan let himself bring those few pieces of meatballs that were still alive and kicking for what purpose? Dare to say that this is still the currency of the inner world. Rush to the back of the jacket a brain all stuffed to the boss. The back of the strange nausea. Take the book and hurry to go. Ah. This. Instead. The boss looked at the bag inside the eight pieces of meatballs are confused. Chapter 99 Upper Heart Demon Chen Chu immediately looked for a remote corner after getting the book. The book looked similar to the ancient books inside the TV series, but nothing was written on the cover. So Chen Chu didn't dare to open it and look at it, and he vaguely felt that the book inside his hand seemed to emit a breath that made people not too comfortable. Master Pen, isn't this book dangerous? It is incomparably dangerous to normal people. Not to mention looking at it, even touching it will be infected by the filth inside the book and turn it into a low-level mind demon that loses its mind. The Nine Quarters Yellow River Pen said, You have me to protect you, since you are not affected by anything. Chen Shu did not hesitate and hastily used the teacher's sweetness power. Does it cost minus 100 teaching points to transform the Book of Unknowns into a dessert? Chen Shu, no. How did this teaching point dry up into a negative? System, what does it mean? Teaching points are negative? It can't be that you're giving me teaching points, right? Yes. Chen Chu's eyes glared. Is there such a good thing? This book contains a special energy that is sufficient to make up for the system's energy depletion. So it converts the excess energy into teaching points to be given to the host. This can still be whoring out teaching points for nothing. Chen Shu suddenly felt that the inner world had become thievishly fragrant. And it seemed that even the heart demon wasn't that scary anymore. In the blink of an eye, the ancient book in his hand transformed into a palm-sized piece of fruit pudding, which Chen Shu swallowed without even thinking. A few moments later, Chen Chu, however, felt his ears suddenly ringing with bizarre whispers, continuously, as if there was a person coming together in his own ears, using an unintelligible language to crazily rap, causing Chen Chu's scalp to flutter in a burst of numbness. No matter what he did, that weird whispering sound simply couldn't stop. Chen Chu instantly panicked a bit and rushed to seek help from the Nine Quarters Yellow River Pen, but it was the Nine Quarters Yellow River Pen that froze for a moment upon hearing it. Ha, huh, really? Chen Chu had an annoyed look on his face. Really, my head is about to explode right now. This is fucking outrageous, the Nine Quarters Yellow River Pen said in shock. This book should have come from the mouth of some upper-level heart demon. For low-level heart demons and high-level heart demons, this is heavenly music that can allow them to have an epiphany or even take the opportunity to evolve into a higher form of heart demon. But for you, a normal human being, that's going to be fatal. Chen Chu's expression had gradually become hideous. The whispering in his ears became louder and louder, Master Pen. Just don't explain. Hurry up and think of a way. Otherwise my head is going to explode. The nine curved yellow river pen obviously did not expect this situation either. And hastily said, I warned you a long time ago. You have to make. Wait for me to think of a way. And you can top it for a while. Nine curved yellow river pen immediately no sound. However, Chen Chu this side has been a headache. Unclear consciousness. The whole person lying down on the ground covering the head on the ground rolling. It felt like someone was drilling his head with an electric drill. The pain was unbearable. With a black realization, Chen Chu suddenly fainted. Little old brother, little old brother, mama yeah, you're also too unresistant. Seeing that Chen Chu had fainted, the nine quarters yellow river pen was anxious. However, at this time being in the heart demon's lair, it didn't dare to show itself easily, and fortunately there were no traces of the heart demon in this vicinity. Green mountains and green water, birds and flowers, the sun is just right. Chen Chu abruptly came back to his senses, looking around at a paradise-like scene, the whole person was suddenly a bit confused. The whispers in his ears disappeared without a trace. The stream beside him was gurgling. The grass under his feet extended all the way. Flowers bloomed all around him, and a resting pavilion could be seen in the distance. But a silhouette of a person could be seen vaguely. Prudent. Chen Chu did not dare to move. Honestly stood in place. Did not dare to move. Just now. I was clearly still in that ancient city. No. It should be inside the heart demon lair. Dreaming? but it feels like everything is so real again. And moreover, it seems that my thinking is not affected in any way. This feeling that seemed like a dream but was not a dream caused Chen Shu to become even more alarmed. And he could not help but resound with the whispers in his ears just now as well as the upper heart demon mentioned in the mouth of the nine quarters yellow river pen. All of this in front of me. I am afraid that it is only the picture that my subconscious mind wants to see. And that figure at the gazebo. Chen Shu couldn't help but swallow his saliva. Upper level heart demon. Even a low to medium level heart demon like Wang Libang Chun Chu couldn't deal with, let alone a powerful existence like an upper level heart demon. It was not like Master Pen was around at this moment. Chen Shu felt that a large danger had hung over his head, 
The book that he had just eaten should have been the travelogue of an elder heart demon in the inner world, recording the terroir and magical conditions of the various parts of the inner world, as well as the ways in which heart demons communicated with each other, and so on. There are also strong and weak heart demons, low level, middle level, high level, upper level, king, demigod, true god, and supreme. There are hundreds of strongholds in the Lee world, each of which is ruled by a king, even larger than the strongholds were the cities, each of which was ruled by a demigod. In the Lee world, there were seven true gods, chaos, tyranny, lust, greed, anger, jealousy, and overreading, and there were countless followers of the heart demon. And what Chen Shu had just entered was the Jiang Nan stronghold, believing in the true god of tyrannical eclipse. Of course these had little to do with Chen Shu. What he was most afraid of right now was contamination. The stronger the heart demon was, the stronger the contamination would be, and the superior heart demon would only need to speak a single word to him, and Chen Shu would instantly lose his mind and transform into a heart demon. But just as Chen Shu was contemplating, coldly, a thick and slightly puzzled voice came from behind him. You, are very strange. Chen Shu body stiff, mechanically twisted his head, do not know when an ancient scholar dressed in middle-aged man holding a folding fan looking at himself, Chen Shu mechanically twisted his head, already cockeyed, playing dumb, ABA ABA, scholar, chapter 100 relic, originally, Chen Shu had thought that he was afraid that he would have a hard time escaping, but he did not sense any abnormality, furthermore, the other party didn't seem to have any malice towards him, and was only looking at him with an odd expression. Chen Shu also knew that playing dumb was no good, and awkwardly took a few steps back, unable to help but lower his head and admit his weakness. The other party let out a voice, being able to resonate with me, you are qualified to know of my existence. You may address a certain person as Lin Jun, report your name, child. Chen Shu weighed his options for a moment before giving his name, although he couldn't fathom what the situation was right now. A man under the roof had to bow his head, a great man could bow and bend, and he had to wimp out when he needed to wimp out. Very good. I haven't sought a confidant for a long time. Lin Jun handed the fan to Chen Shu. Child, take my token and come to me. The token will guide you. Chen Shu confusedly took the fan. And in the next moment, he only felt that his body suddenly sank, as if he had fallen into an endless black hole. And when he opened his eyes again, Chen Shu realized that he had returned to the Jiang Nan stronghold. Little old brother, you finally woken up. The voice of the nine quarters yellow river pen then sounded in his mind. You've been sleeping for a day. Master Pen, I, Chen Shu was about to talk about what had happened in his dream, but he abruptly realized that he was inexplicably grasping a fan in his hand, which made Chen Shu unable to help but look startled, this fan, it appeared out of thin air, no need to panic, I probably guessed what was going on, the nine quarters yellow river pen cried and laughed, you should have met that upper heart demon, right, yes, Chen Shu hastily nodded his head, your resonance was too strong and managed to attract the other party's attention. So the other party chose to meet with you inside the dream. I don't know if I should say that you're lucky or unlucky to have been paid so much attention to by the upper heart demon. If you were a heart demon, that would naturally be a good thing. It's just a pity that you're a human and would only cause trouble. Chen Shu decisively intended to find a place to throw the fan. He he, the words are not yet finished. Don't throw it. This is a good thing. A token of an upper heart demon that is a symbol of identity. And it also has the aura of an upper heart demon so as long as it is an existence lower than an upper heart demon it will be feared, the nine quarters yellow river pen hurriedly said, moreover, the other party also controls the defilement and won't hurt you, so this is a good thing to use, upon hearing this, Chen Shu did not expect this fan to have this wonderful use and hurriedly put it away, master pen, that upper heart demon told me to go find him, what should I do with this, it's fine, after we finish this job, we'll slip away, don't worry about him, but it's just an upper heart demon, when Master Pen I recover a few points, I'll take him down in minutes, Chen Shu hurriedly asked, Master Pen, how are you going to recover your power, is there anything I can do to help, just find something that contains spiritual power, the nine quarters yellow river pen said, as long as I am able to absorb spiritual energy I will be able to recover, of course, you can also directly feed me teaching points, how many would that take, not much, a few tens of billions, there's no way I could have that many teaching points even if I sold my ancestors, when I didn't ask, Chen Shu looked up and realized that it was already high noon. After sleeping all day, he was refreshed and took a look at the mythic inspiration technique, which still had about three hours left. It just so happened that there was still a fan inside his hand that Lin Jun had given him. So Chen Shu did not want to delay since he was ready to move back to the school to clean up Wang Lebang's heart demon right away. Catching up with time, with the fan in hand, the wandering demons on the road didn't dare to approach. 
and instinctively avoided far away, and without any demons obstructing the way, they returned to the first middle school soon after. Wang Libang's heart demon did not return to the classroom of class 7, but was wandering around inside the school. Fortunately, the Juku Yellow River pen guided him, and it wasn't long before Chen Chu saw Wang Libang's heart demon mistreating a slightly skinny heart demon. His hands were ruthless, constantly tearing the other party apart, and when that heart demon recovered, he continued to tear it again, causing that heart demon to suffer immense pain. Chen Shu glanced at it and was speechless. Who was that torn heart demon if not Su Zitao? Wang Libang was truly poisonous. In the inner world, he still caught Su Zitao and beat him up. Really is a word. See once to beat once. Although Wang Libang is still berserk at this time, Chen Shu feels that there is not much of a problem. Inside his hand, there was still the folding fan that Lin Jun had given him, and it could be used to suppress it at the same time. With a thought, Chen Shu had already held the nine quarters yellow river pen in his hand, accompanied by a faint golden light, and had already opened the mimicry skill once again, and with a movement of his feet, he immediately ran wildly towards that huge meatball. Chapter 101 Wool Gathering After a long time of fierce battle, looking at the writhing meatballs all over the ground, the almost exhausted Chen Shu sat on his butt on the ground, panting heavily. The entire person was also extremely wretched, covered in dust, and there were even quite a few bloodstains on his clothes. Although he had the inspiration status and mimicry skill, he was after all just an ordinary person. His ceiling was just that high, and fighting head-on with the heart demon that possessed a terrifyingly huge amount of power was indeed an incomparable disadvantage. Fortunately, with the folding fan given by Lin Jun, he directly forced the folding fan into the mass of flesh at the last moment. And at the next moment the berserk Wang Lebang instantly let out a miserable scream and instantly crumbled into countless squirming chunks of flesh. Looking at the still intact folding fan in his hand, Chen Shu felt that he had truly picked up a divine weapon. The filth of the upper heart demon contained within it was simply not something that these low-level heart demons could withstand, and would instantly disintegrate when they were dipped into it. Fortunately, this folding fan could not be brought back to the real world, otherwise it would definitely cause big trouble. Looking around at the writhing meatballs all over the place, Chen Shu planned to pack it up and take it away to exchange it for a book. Anyway, the dessert is fine if I don't eat it. After he said that he would do it, Chen Shu packed the meatballs and divided them into several portions, and then ran back and forth, exchanging 10 or so books from the owner of the stall, getting more than 3, 000 teaching points, and all the books had been transformed into various desserts, because the system recognized that the transformed desserts also belonged to the system props, so they could be stored in the item bar. Throwing it away was naturally quite a waste. Not to mention, this thing might still come in handy in the future. Chen Chu's little plan was extremely loud, and because after entering the inner world, time and the real world would still be at a standstill, Chen Chu was in no hurry to go back. First, he would brush up on his teaching points here, and in the meantime, he would utilize his mimicry skills to improve himself, without delaying things, although there is still a risk, but the cost is relatively small. If something really happens, let Master Pen take himself to immediately escape on the line. In a flash, seven or eight days had passed. Chen Shu had already cleaned up quite a few of the heart demons in the first middle school, and even specially cleaned up the heart demons near the staff dormitory. It was just in time to live back in his own dormitory, and the familiar images also gave Chen Shu a few more points of security. However, right after Chen Shu entered Dreamland, he was once again conscious and awake to enter a familiar scene. Looking at the world of mountains and water and the figure in the pavilion in the distance, Chen Shu was instantly filled with embarrassment. These past few days, he had been busy earning teaching points and had forgotten all about going to find Lin Jun. Seeing that Lin Jun was already coming from afar, Chen Shu pondered in his heart what excuse he should use to get away with it. Not a moment later, Lin Jun arrived in front of Chen Shu and asked suspiciously, Why haven't you come to find me yet? Chen Shu had already thought of what to say, and his attitude became a little more respectful saying, Lin Jun, I've encountered a bit of trouble. I'm dealing with it. Give me a few more days. I'll come over to see you as soon as I've dealt with it. Lin Ju nodded slightly and with a wave of his hand, Chen Shu awoke once again. It seems like I still can't stay longer. Otherwise the next time Lin Jun meets me from a dream, when I find an excuse not to go, I guess I'm just not giving face. And this superior heart demon might not want to deal with me. The good thing is that these days did earn a lot of teaching points. That stall owner's collection of books can be quite a lot. It's similar to a wholesaler. Chen Shu just need to take the meatball to go and just change it and the teaching points that books can be exchanged are not fixed. Some books can even be exchanged for tens of thousands of teaching points in a single book. It was just a pity that one could not stay longer. Anyway, it's time to go. Well, before I leave, I'll finish wool gathering the boss's wool. Chapter 102, Making a Profit 
Chen Shu once again entered the city to find the boss of the bookstall. See Chen Shu this old customer came. The boss is also quite enthusiastic, guests are here again. Today to buy some books? Chen Shu immediately said in a mysterious manner. How about a big deal today? What big deal? The boss's curiosity was also aroused. Let's find a quiet place to talk in detail. The boss did not have any doubts and hurriedly closed his stall and followed Chen Chu. And in no time, he went around the corner. The boss was curious as to what big deal Chen Chu had in mind when he suddenly saw Chen Chu take out the folding fan that Lin Jun had given him, feeling the mighty energy coming from within the folding fan. The boss face also changed drastically, and he couldn't help but back away, but was caught by one of Chen Chu's arms around his shoulders. Boss, don't panic, guest, you, what do you want to do? The boss looked incredibly flustered as he said. I'm just doing a little business to make ends meet. Misunderstanding misunderstanding. Chen Shu hurriedly laughed. The big business I'm talking about is this. Chen Shu shook the folding fan in his hand. The boss shook his head in fear. I wouldn't dare to take this. After all, this folding fan contained the power of an upper heart demon, and could not even be touched. Chen Shu rolled his eyes. I didn't say I wanted to give it to you either. Ah, the boss froze. Then, then what does the guest mean by this? This thing is exceptionally valuable to me. It's just that I don't have many pieces of meat on hand right now. Chen Shu hurriedly said, So I'll pledge this folding fan to you first in exchange for all of your books, and then come back to you to exchange it back when I've gathered enough meat pieces. What do you think? When the boss heard this, he was relieved. So it's like this, the guest should have said so earlier. Even if you don't need to pledge this folding fan, if the guest needs it, I'll take it to you first. After all, he these books in the weekdays press also cannot sell. Just happened to meet Chen Shu this kind of wrongdoer. That is certainly can cut how many leaks on how many leaks cut. Not to mention Chen Shu these days also bought a lot of books in him. Other places a meat block can change dozens of books or even hundreds of books. He is now three meat block for a book. Has long been enough. Just the boss thought Chen Shu was a naive. However, this folding fan pulled out can really put the boss gave a big jump. This is definitely the upper level of the heart of the devil's breath undoubtedly. You can be sure that behind Chen Shu will certainly have a upper level of the heart of the devil's backer. Seeing this, Chen Shu suddenly felt a bit impatient. He had originally planned to press the folding fan here to exchange books, and then follow Master Pen to Bolt. However, the boss turned out to be so truthful and conscientious, which in turn made it a bit hard for him to do so. For a while, a person a heart devil each have some thoughts, but there is no delay. The boss quickly took Chen Shu to his own place, in a thatched hut on the edge of the city, books piled up everywhere, all of them are he collected everywhere at a low price. When Chen Shu looked, he couldn't move his eyes. This is at least a few thousand books, and also does not bring the same, at the very least is hundreds of thousands of teaching points to start. The boss naturally didn't mind doing a favor and smiled, take as many as the guest wants, I'll keep the account, and when I get enough meat to pay me back that's it, okay, I'll take it all. Chen Shu also did not intend to be polite and hurriedly said, you do the math, the boss was also happy, not even bothering to count, and hurriedly said, okay, no matter how you say you're an old customer. All the books here are counted as one, zero 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 pieces of meat. What do you think? Crap, what kind of conscientious businessman is this? Chen Shu was quite excited in his heart, but his face still had to show a thoughtful look, and only after a long time did he say, yes, but you have to give me some time. No rush, no rush, the guest can give it whenever he wants. The boss laughed, I'll be at the usual place anyway. The deal was reached, Chen Shu moved the books back and forth, the boss was relieved, simply left directly. Anyway, there is nothing valuable in the house. Find a place to go in style. See the boss ago. Chen Shu did not say anything to the door to close. Rubbed his hands. Cannot help but laugh out loud. I've made a lot of money. Chapter 103, Harvest. Chen Shu converted all the books in the room into various types of desserts, almost stuffing the entire item bar. The harvest was naturally quite a lot. And in one breath, more than 600, 000 teaching points were exchanged. This one breath had fed Chen Shu to the fullest. Now there was one more way to earn huge amounts of teaching points. Not only that, after using mimicry so often these days, all aspects of physical quality had improved significantly. And even now, without relying on mimicry, Chen Shu was able to deal with a low-level heart demon on his own. It seemed that he would have to come and go to the inner world often in the future. However, right now, Chen Shu was unable to stay longer. He thought that the next time he came, he should not be in such a sorry state as he was now. Chen Shu once again returned to the school. There was no way to bring Lin Jun's fan back to the real world, nor could it be stored in the system's item bar, so he could only find a place to store it first. Thinking about it, Chen Shu put the fan inside his dormitory. After taking care of all of this, 
Only then did he allow the Nine Quarters Yellow River pen to once again unleash its divine power. As his body sank slightly, the voices of several teachers exchanging words once again resounded in his ears. Chen Shu slightly shook his head, and his entire body once again returned to the office in the real world, following which Chen Shu arrived at the classroom of the seventh class, and activated the teacher's eye to look at Wang Libang's situation. Name, Wang Libang. Gender, male. Age, 15. Virtue, 97. Heart demon will be resurrected in 94 days. Intelligence, 57. Physical strength, 60. Aesthetic, 52. Status, aversion to learning, light of the righteous path, virtue will continue to rise in this state, and the state will disappear after the heart demon is resurrected. Vices, negligible. Talent, none. Study efficiency 113%. Potential 144. Comprehensive evaluation, F. Virtue has unexpectedly risen so much. Chen Shu couldn't help but be a little surprised. This level had already reached the excellent level. It was just unclear what effects would be brought about by raising the virtue that much, but it was definitely good. This trip to the Rai world hadn't been in vain. It was also in these two days that Wang Libang's changes did make it a little difficult for the seventh class crowd to accept. Originally, Wang Libang was the kind of person who didn't care about people, and didn't talk to people at all on weekdays, but all of a sudden, he cared about his classmates in the seventh class. This caused the crowd to immediately feel a great deal of pressure. Zhou Feng felt even more odd and came to the office to find Chen Shu to talk about this. Old Chen. Wang Libang has been too strange these past few days. How strange. Wasn't Su Tianhao fooling around with a few people today? He accidentally bumped into Wang Libang. And guess what? What happened? Wang Libang not only didn't scold him, he even gave him a hand, and even asked with special concern. Are you hurt? Good guy. Su Tianhao's group is ready to take action. The result is that Wang Libang suddenly came to such a sentence. Instantly give them the whole will not. Chen Chu pretended to be puzzled. What's wrong with this? Too wrong ah. Zhou Feng said with a stunned expression. If it were the past, Wang Libang would have pulled people's collars and fought. Chen Chu rolled his eyes. Isn't this good? It's just that I don't feel comfortable with it. It feels as if that person is Wang Libang and as if he isn't. Zhou Feng cried and laughed. The atmosphere in class 7 is too weird right now. Just adapt slowly. Chen Shu was also too lazy to say more. However, Zhou Feng had just retreated in front of him, and teacher Wu Wing came in the back. Little Chen, did Wang Libang hit his brain? It feels as if he's changed into a different person. Chapter 104, Something's Not Right. Wang Libang's huge transformation not to mention the 7th class was surprised. Even the teachers felt a little overwhelmed. Just now, when Wu Wing was about to go back to the office, Wang Libang took the initiative to come forward and ask to help the teacher to take the textbook. His attitude was very earnest. Wooing is not good to refuse. To be honest, she is all the way on the edge of her seat, alert all around. Three steps is a turn back, for fear that Wang Libang to do some kind of mischief. However, Wang Libang did not move at all, came to the office and handed the textbook to Wooing and said teacher hard work, and then turned his head and left. This is surely Wang Libang Ben Bang? Wooing told Chen Shu about the matter. Chen Shu was crying and laughing. However, it was true that he himself did not expect Wang Libang's transformation to be so exaggerated after his heart demon was removed. Of course, this was a good thing to rejoice in. At the very least, there was no need to worry about Wang Libang making a mess before his demon was revived. Seeing that the welcome party was approaching, Chen Shu did not fall behind in rehearsals and continued to try to make good relations with Deng Sijia and the others. After the rehearsal on this day, when the students were packing up and leaving, Yuan Wen suddenly clapped her hands and said to the crowd, Notify me of one thing. Tomorrow MS. Xiaping from Cloud Dance University will come to see our rehearsal. So students should perform well. As soon as the news came out, gasps of surprise rose up. Teacher Xiaping. Really? For a while, both male and female students were thrilled. However, Chen Chu was in the cloud since, and couldn't help but smack his lips when he took out his cell phone and searched. An old artist in her 60s, national level dance artist, internationally renowned choreographer. Even in the world's major top dance academies opened a personal show. The current cloud dance professor, visiting professor of the North Dance, the National Dance Association, chairman of the board of directors. Anyway, this string of names is enough to bluff. One of the ceilings of China's dance industry. No wonder this group of students were so excited. Even Deng Xijia and the others were all talking about it there. Looking all frowny. Chen Shu could probably understand what the mood was. In case they were looked at, then there was no chance that they would just bail out. Yuan Wen clapped her hands again and laughed. Anyway, tomorrow, everyone must adjust their state and present the best stage. Do you all have confidence? Yes. Many people hurriedly echoed. Only then did Yuan Wen let the crowd disperse. Just at this moment Chun Shu saw Zhao Ijo probing at the door. 
seemingly looking for himself for something, hurriedly walked up and asked, What's wrong? Something happened. Zhao Ijo pulled Chen Shu away without saying a word, hurry over and give me a hand. Seeing that Zhao Ijo didn't look like he was joking, Chen Shu hurriedly followed Zhao Ijo. Yuan Wen also saw a lot of security guards outside the window running over in the direction of the dance studio. And the students who had just come out of the dance studio were also in a group outside the dance studio with a puzzled look when they saw that the situation was not right. Chen Shu and Zhao Ijo had just arrived on the third floor when they heard the screams. Chen Shu's face changed. Followed by Zhao Ijo ran into the third dance studio only to see that it was the steel frame of the dance background stage collapsed. And underneath it was even pressed a male teacher who was screaming in pain. Three or four teachers were helping to lift the steel frame. But it looked like they were losing strength. This scene to see Chun Chu's scalp numb. Do not think to pull the leg rushed up. Hurried to help carry the steel frame. One after another. Security guards, students, and everyone else who could come came. Seeing this scene, men and women, young and old, all rushed up to help. One, two, three, up. With the concerted efforts of the crowd, the steel frame was finally lifted up. And the security guards also brought jacks in time, which barely held the steel frame up. Rescuers will be a while before they can arrive. But the male teacher who was pressed inside was almost unable to move. Listening to the sound is almost gone. However, the problem is that the jack is not stable. The steel frame is still shaky. This if you touch in to pull people out. The slightest accident. They will have to go in. However, just at this time, someone had already climbed in. Someone's gone in. Everyone hold steady. Mr. Chen. Be careful. Zhao Ijo. In this moment of concentration realized that Chun Chu beside him had already climbed in at some point, and quickly crept over, grabbing the person and hurriedly dragging him out, out, out. In the middle of the day, Chen Chu showed his head first, and the others hurriedly took a hand and quickly dragged the person out. Chen Chu, who had just caught his breath, hurriedly confirmed the male teacher's situation. Originally this anxious and panicked crowd took a look at Chun Chu in that check. Again is to check the pulse again is to check the injured parts. Looks particularly professional for a time actually no one to go forward. In the middle of the day, Chen Shu hurriedly turned his head to Zhao Ijo by his side and said, Old Zhao, come over and hold the left leg for a bit. Oh, oh, Zhao Ijo hurriedly went forward. How? How do I do it? Just prop it up. 45 degrees. Yes, keep this position. Chen Shu subconsciously looked at Deng Sijia not far away again and shouted, Deng Sijia, take the lighter and give it to me. Deng Sijia froze. How did you know that I have a lighter? However, in this situation, Deng Sijia didn't think too much about it, and felt out the lighter from her backpack and hurriedly handed it to Chen Chu. Chen Chu took the lighter, and asked the security guard to ask for the kind of folding fruit knife, temporarily disinfected. The pants cut open a look, suddenly a bloody piece, causing a lot of students scared to rush to turn their heads away. Chen Chu looked grave, looked up and said, Who goes to the infirmary to help me get alcohol and bandages? Ask if there is phenol sulfonyl ethylamine. A security guard hurriedly came forward, I go, alcohol bandages and what else? Phenol sulfonyl ethylamine, carbacillus is also okay. Ah, forget it, the infirmary is unlikely to have these. Alcohol bandages on the line, hurry up. Oh, good. The security guard hurriedly went to the infirmary to get something, while the others were spectating, only to see that Chen Shu had already started staring at the wound with his hands. The female teacher and quite a few of the students didn't dare to look at it at all while the others didn't dare to interrupt with their voices. The entire dance studio was quiet all of a sudden. It was only back to the crowd that they realized it didn't seem quite right. Chapter 105 slash marks. Because there were no specialized medical conditions, Chen Shu could only make do with what he had. The whole person was fully concentrated on the wound. The countless surgical images that came to his mind allowed Chen Shu to use the knife as if he had a god's help. The situation was considered fortunate amongst the unfortunate. Other than the left leg, the other positions were fine. Just a fracture. It should be that when he fell to the ground. He used his left leg to hold up a bit. And that was what saved his life. But it also led to his left leg basically being almost ruined. Not only was there a large amount of broken bones. But it also threatened the nerves and blood vessels. And the entire left leg had already turned blue. The only thing Chun Chu could do with the existing conditions was to salvage it. Along with one bone fragment being picked out. Chen Shu was already sweating profusely. The spirit was highly concentrated while having to overcome the fruit knife, and because there was no machine to pick out the bones, he could only rely entirely on the memories and experience he had gained in his own mind to judge the location of the broken bones. The judgment was almost the same as the situation, but also used up a lot of brain power as a result. Zhao Ijo on the side was mesmerized as he watched, and only after a long time of seeing Chun Shu exhale did he ask in a low voice, How is the situation? 
it's okay, not to the point of amputation. I've already picked out the few pieces of broken bone that threaten the most. Zhao Ijo gave a weak oh oh and closed his mouth. Something about my college friend being a little outrageous. Just then, the sound of an ambulance faintly came. Chen Shu's surgery also came to an end. Carefully wrapped the bandage before slowly getting up. A few moments, the ambulance crew finally arrived. The male teacher was carried on a stretcher for emergency treatment. Chen Shu this has not had time to take a breath. Fellow police officers have come to the front of the Chen Shu. Looking at Chen Shu hands full of blood still holding a fruit knife. The expression is indescribably odd, you help do the emergency disposal? Yes. Trouble come with us. Good. Without saying much, Chen Shu packed away the picked out broken bones. This was a situation he had already foreseen. Since he had decided to deal with it he had to take responsibility for it. Early on, Chen Shu had been mentally prepared. The greater the ability, the greater the responsibility. He couldn't just see death and save it. Following in the car, he arrived at the third people's hospital a short while later. The male teacher was quickly sent into the operating room, and Chen Shu waited outside with the police. The police officer, surnamed Long, was about 40 years old or so, and asked in a fairly amiable manner, Teacher Chen, why didn't you wait for the medical staff to come over instead of dealing with it yourself? The situation is urgent. I've studied medicine before, so I thought I'd help handle it. Chen Shu said with a straight face, we can't just stand by and watch something happen. Yes is such a reason, just you have to take the blame. Originally people are fine, was so you get in trouble. How do you do? This question is very soulful. Yes, how to do? Good intentions to do a bad thing, in the end, but also their own responsibility. Chen Chu hesitated for a long time, said, I don't do it, there will always be someone to do it, not to mention, justice lies in the hearts of the people. The other party compared a thumbs up and didn't say much more. After about two hours or so, the door to the operating room opened. Chen Chu and Officer Long rushed to welcome them. Doctor, how's it going? Officer Long hurriedly asked. The lead surgeon asked as soon as he took off his mask. Comrade police officer, did the patient have an operation before he came here? Officer Long subconsciously glanced at Chen Chu. What's wrong? The surgery has been completed. The patient is very lucky. The doctor who helped to deal with it should have been manipulating the knife for decades. The picking technique is very skillful. Did not hurt the blood vessels and nerves at all. Handled extremely well. And specializing in picking the fatal parts. The most dangerous ones will lead to necrosis of the bones. And will amputate the limbs if it is serious. The result is that people have made it right. And I'm just helping to clean up the mess. It's just that there are cut marks at the knife marks. It's reasonable to say that if it's a scalpel then it won't produce cut marks. The main knife doctor words to this. Suddenly glimpsed the police officer longhand also carries a transparent small evidence bag. The bag is also placed inside a folding fruit knife with blood. Lighters and some blood with broken bones. The lead surgeon was stunned for a moment and subconsciously pointed to the evidence bag. Comrade police officer. You, you can't tell me that the other party was handled with this knife. Ah. Officer Long gave a dry laugh. Yes. The main knife doctor's eyes glared. Crouching. Coughing. Today I am a long time to see. I am also a long time to see. Officer Long's brain was also a bit blinded. That. The main surgeon's eyes glanced again and saw that the blood on Chen Chu's hands was still not dry. His eyes glared again. You, you handled it? Chen Chu did not make a sound. At that time, he was thinking about saving people. And creating conditions if there were no conditions. Now that he thought about it, he also felt that it was a bit shocking. Instead, it was Officer Long who responded. Yes, it's him, the attending doctor. The whole person was wooden on the spot. Chapter 106, this is not scientific. The hospital orthopedic department office. The main knife doctor was resting, but his complexion looked a bit dull, and he couldn't stop muttering. This is not scientific. This is not scientific ah. The main surgeon's abnormality naturally drew the attention of the other doctors. I say, what's wrong with you? What's scientific or not? The others asked a mouthful of curious questions. The main surgeon slowly tilted his head and asked softly, do you guys think you can do surgery with that folding fruit knife? Ha! Huh? The crowd looked at each other in disbelief. What are you babbling about? Isn't this bullshit? How can that kind of fruit knife do surgery? It doesn't make sense at all, isn't it? The main surgeon let out a bitter smile, but I saw it and did extremely well, until now I still can't believe it a little, the doctors thought it was a joke, and they all joked, play is play, joke is joke, don't joke about our specialty, whoever can do surgery with a fruit knife, I'll kneel down on the spot and make him doubt his life, the main surgeon did not laugh, and looked very serious, the atmosphere of the entire office gradually condensed, you, are not joking, come see it all, 
The main surgeon hurriedly opened his computer and pulled up the video of the surgical process just now through the hospital's intranet. All the doctors immediately gathered around. And soon, the computer presented the picture. After the main surgeon removed the bandage, he only saw that the wound had obviously been treated once, and there were several obvious cuts with extremely small slits, probably around a few millimeters. Insiders look at the doorway, outsiders look at the scene. The whole office was quiet. Only the main surgeon restored the surgical scene through dictation and images. It was only after a long time that one person marveled. This is at least a veteran who has been operating the knife for decades, and I'm afraid that his hand feeling has already reached the peak. The crowd couldn't help but nod their heads, as it was impossible to see the inside of the wound with an extremely small slit, and could only rely on their own experience to judge. In this case, the other party had stuck the knife in through just a few millimeters of the opening, not to mention picking out the broken bones without even causing the blood vessels to rupture. If that's all it was, maybe if it was our old Dean, he would be able to do it. But, the lead surgeon slid his mouse and wiggled it around the cut mark. The other party only had a fruit knife and didn't have any other medical equipment to assist him. The office steeped into dead silence. I had thought that the other party was a veteran who had been operating a knife for decades, but it turned out to be a young man in his twenties, or a language teacher who had only taught himself a little general medical knowledge, and had done the surgery with the help of the surgical clips he had seen on the internet. The office was slow to move. It took a long time before questioning voices erupted. Impossible. Absolutely impossible. This is simply not in line with common sense. This was indeed too shocking, at least in the eyes of the doctors. It was simply a big, big, departure from the norm. I don't believe it either. The main surgeon looked indescribably complex, there were even comrade police officers to help testify, and it was done under the watchful eyes of many people, and I saw all the broken bones that were picked out. I even double-checked it. As he spoke, the lead surgeon dug into the pocket of his coat and took out the ID bag, which was clearly the bloody folding fruit knife, the lighter and the broken bones. Because after the doctor confirmed that the patient is okay, so Chun Chu's responsibility is not established. So naturally there is no so-called exhibits. Under the repeated pleas of the doctor in charge of the knife, Officer Long then handed the ID bag to the doctor in charge of the knife. In the middle of the day, a bunch of doctors in the orthopedic department sat or stood around the table, staring at the transparent ID bag on the table, all showing unbelievable expressions. Skeptical medical students. It wasn't just the orthopedic office. The operating room had a large number of assistants in addition to the lead surgeon. The news quickly went viral. The Third People's Hospital had more or less heard that someone had used a folding fruit knife to perform an exquisite surgical operation, only that the vast majority of people's first expression was not shock, but rather skepticism. Just listen to it as a joke. On the other end, Chen Shu and Officer Long were sitting inside the ward waiting for the patient to wake up from the anesthesia. Not long after, the male teacher's parents finally arrived and quite a few people came from the school side as well, hearing that the danger had been eliminated and there were no major injuries, the crowd was relieved, only at Chun Chu's strong request, Officer Long did not spit out and Chun Chu related, so as not to create waves, after a long time, Chen Chu and Long police officer ready to go back to school, just out of the ward door, outside the door is already standing a lot of doctors, and the main surgeon is certainly in them, a look at Chun Chu said, yes, this is the young man, Chun Shu hadn't come back to his senses yet, and a bunch of doctors were staring at Chun Shu with incomparably bizarre eyes. Chen Shu let out a dry laugh and did not panic. After all, there was a people's police officer next to him. Officer Long coughed and said, Comrade doctors, what is this? Cough cough. So what? Comrade police officer, we just want to ask this Mr. Chen a little question. Mr. Chen, can you answer some questions about the surgery for us? How were you able to determine the location of those broken bones without the help of instruments? Chen Shu's mimicry effect had already passed, and quite a few of his memories had already faded, leaving behind only some vague concepts, so naturally there was no way to explain it clearly. Officer Long glanced at Chen Shu, Teacher Chen. Some other day, Chen Shu let out a bitter smile and said to the doctors, I'm really sorry, it's not that I'm shirking, I'm more than willing to talk to you all, it's just that I'm too tired right now, and my thoughts aren't too clear so I desperately need to rest. Seeing this, Officer Long talked about the matter of helping to lift the steel frame today, and it dawned on the crowd. While the doctor in charge of the operation hurriedly wrote down Chen Shu's contact information, saying that he would contact him some other day. In this way, Chen Shu and Officer Long gradually drifted away under the watchful eyes of the crowd of doctors. Chapter 107 You This Talent Tree Point Forked Da. Having just left the hospital entrance, Officer Long's eyes could not help but look at Chen Shu with some complexity. From the doctor's reaction, one could tell that Chen Shu's hand was indeed too shocking, 
As a civilian police officer who has struggled for countless days and nights, what kind of people have not seen, except for Chen Chu like this? Teacher Chen, I'll send you back to school. Thank you comrade police officer. Officer Long was about to go and drive when suddenly a man's voice came from not far away. Hey, isn't this little teacher Chen? Chen Chu and Officer Long froze and turned their heads to see that it was none other than Lu Ikuan, the attending doctor that they ran into the last time they sent Grandma Wang to the hospital. Chen Chu hurriedly greeted with a smile. Old Lu, this is. Lu Ikuan came over to see Chen Chu and the police in a piece. Cannot help but be a little puzzled. Helped a piece to send an injured person over. Long police officer laughed. Lu Ikuan heard. Could not help but laugh, huh? I guess I know. Last time Mr. Chen sent an old man over to help do the first aid. The technique can be professional. Little Mr. Chen can be really good ah. Warm-hearted as hell. Comrade police officer. Make sure to give Mr. Little Chen a warm-hearted citizen award. Ha ha. I will definitely apply. Officer Long responded with a smile. By the way. Teacher Xiao Chen. I was thinking of going to look for you in the past few days. It just so happened that I bumped into you. I have a matter to discuss with you. Elder Lu please speak. I would like to ask you to come to our hospital for a lesson. Just to teach those maneuvers of first aid that you used last time. Lu Ikuan hurriedly said. Of course. What conditions does little Mr. Chen have? Just mention them. Ah. I. Chen Shu cried and laughed. I'm not a doctor either. There's no effect. It's not like you're practicing medicine. It's just for you to give lectures. Lu Ikuan waved his hand. What's more? There is a sequence of hearing. Specialization. Other regardless. Only this first aid technique. I call you a teacher or not too much. You can afford it. An old doctor in his sixties had lowered himself so much. Chen Shu was not too good to refuse. Besides, it was also a good thing. What he had learned through imitation if more people could learn it. It would also be considered a contribution to the rise of the nation. Lu Lao is really lifting me up too much. Then I'll respectfully decline. Like this. Lu Lao. I'll leave a contact information. And when I arrange a time, I'll contact you immediately. Lu Ikuan was happy. Then it's a deal. Okay, then I won't bother you guys. There are still a few patients to see. Goodbye Lu Lao. As soon as Lu Ikuan left, Officer Long looked at Chen Chu with more complicated eyes. Dare I say it's not the first time you've done this kind of thing. Chen Chu scratched his head. Officer Long, last time it was first aid. No knife. Officer Long froze for half a day. And only after a long time did he stifle a sentence. You're branching off with this talent tree point ah. First middle school. Seventh class. There was a lot of discussion. Most of them had heard about the incident at the dance studio today, where the steel frame fell to the ground and crushed a teacher. It just so happened that Deng Sijia and the others were at the scene, so the crowd gathered around Deng Sijia to ask about the situation. Deng Sijia didn't hide anything and told them what happened. The other dance students who followed along chimed in from time to time, rendering the atmosphere. Surname Chan climbed in and pulled the person out. It was dangerous at that time. That steel frame could have fallen down at any time. We hadn't even looked back yet. Mr. Chen climbed right in. Now that I look back, I'm still scared. If it really fell down, Mr. Chen would have suffered too. Is Mr. Chen so brave? Su Tianhao listened and said with a wink, I guess he must have wanted to show off. When Su Tianhao said this, the others also looked odd, and some even chimed in. Right, right. So many female teachers. He just wants to show his performance. And when the school leaders come and see it, he might get promoted and get rich. The crowd hemmed and hawed and joked. However Deng Sijia's group instantly became unhappy. Deng Sijia slammed the table. Some fire said, shut up. Other things can be said however you want. As far as this is concerned, whoever dares to talk about surname Chen, I'm not done with him. In an instant, the whole class was quiet and looked at each other. Even the dance students who followed Deng Sijia to hang out froze. The first time they saw Deng Sijia get so angry. Su Tianhao clasped his hands. He was not afraid of Deng Sijia, still said in a conspiratorial manner. Deng Sijia, why are you so angry? It's not like I'm talking about you. Su Tianhao, some things can be joked about, some cannot. Deng Sijia instantly got into it with Su Tianhao, staring coldly at the other party. I can see this for real. In that situation, a person wouldn't dare to go in. And surname Chen didn't even think about it. I can see that he just wanted to save people. No other thoughts. Su Tianhao sneered, not quite convinced, you're not him, how do you know what he thinks? Deng Sijia coldly retorted, then you're not him either, how do you know what he's thinking? This, Che, Su Tianhao skimmed his mouth, lazy to say, self-interested to go back to his own position to cross his legs and play the game. Deng Sijia collected the fire, also did not make a sound, it was the others who hadn't heard enough, then what? 
Deng Xijia did not respond, also do not want to say, but the other dance students did not say enough, then continued, after this pulled the person out, the most godly came, old Chen performed surgery on the spot, ha, many people in the class were dumbfounded when they heard this, doing surgery, is it the kind of surgery I understand, one person made a gesture of going under the knife, yes, that's the kind, a dance student spoke with a fluttering brow, he first checked, then he borrowed a fruit knife, and asked for this and that from the person next to him, that action and demeanor was simply, I didn't react at all at that time, I thought it was a professional doctor doing surgery, and my mind was full of thoughts of cooperating, when I reacted, what happened, he was then taken away by the police, ah, hey, Joe Fong and the others were listening in fascination, and abruptly came back to their senses, old Chen was arrested, not arrested, he's not a doctor, how can he just operate, Zhou Feng's face changed drastically, and he subconsciously looked at the crowd of physical training students on the side. The crowd was also a little flustered and looked at each other, not realizing that something had happened to old Chen. There was some buzzing in their heads. Zhou Feng looked gloomy and said hesitantly, We are now preparing. Su Tianhao's head tilted. Eat the banquet? Chapter 108 Daily Sacrifice Just because of the two words eat seat, Su Tianhao almost fought with Zhou Feng. Just then, a familiar voice rang out. What's going on? The crowd froze and followed the voice to see that Chen Chu was already standing in front of the classroom door with a serious face. In a flash, the entire class returned to their positions after making a mess, and even Su Tianhao reluctantly put his feet down. Chen Chu walked to the edge of the podium in a bad mood. I've only been gone for a while, and you guys are ready to go up to the roof, aren't you? The class was quiet for a moment, and only after a long time did someone mutter in a low voice, Teacher, weren't you arrested by the police? Nonsense. Chen Chu frowned and said, that is the police comrade asked me to cooperate. What do you mean by arresting? Forget it. These are not things you should care about. Turn over the textbook and prepare for class. As soon as the evening self-study ended, Chen Chu only returned to the dormitory physically and mentally tired and ready to rest. Just before arriving at the entrance of the staff dormitory, Zhao Ijo was waiting with a somewhat worried look. How's it going over there? Is there nothing going on with you? Everything is fine. Only then did Zhao Ijo breathe a sigh of relief and immediately playfully wrapped his arm around Chun Chu's shoulders. Shit, just how many things did you hide from us in college? Didn't hide it. Chen Chu shrugged his shoulders and said, Besides, it's all something that doesn't matter. Unlike some people who only play games in college and delve into how to tease girls, Zhao Ijo eyes glared. You directly report my ID number. Ha, <laughs> toad fucks frog. Chen Chu, question mark. Ugly looking you still play with flowers. Zhao Ijo is really curious about how Chun Chu will be so many things. Waiting for Chen Chu into the dormitory also asked a never-ending. You really want to know? Want to? Okay, wait a moment. Chen Chu turned around and touched out an orange from inside the small refrigerator and shoved it to Zhao Ijo. I'll tell you when I'm done eating. Oh, Zhao Ijo broke open the orange peel. While eating was about to ask a question, but saw that Chen Chu had already turned his back on him. The backstory. Steeply, Zhao Ijo felt the orange inside his hand it didn't smell good anymore. You teach language you take advantage of me again. Then you just scolded me. Tie. Two people suddenly a piece of playful. Unknowingly and as if back to college time. When exactly did you learn medicine? Never heard you say that. Chen Chu thought for a long time. And only then said in a serious manner. It's a long story. Then let's make it short and pick the highlights. Let's put it this way. I'm very good at sports. I sing very well. And I dance well. But, alas. Because my academic performance is too good. My parents didn't let me go in the direction of a special student. Zhao Ijo ate and ate, suddenly felt the hand inside the orange it is not fragrant again, I actually do not want to be a teacher, and then I studied medicine, ready to take a medical university to be a doctor, but my parents are too stubborn, have to let me be a teacher, can't help it, a hundred good filial piety first, my parents are also for my good, in the end, I can only enroll in the Jungnan Normal University, deep hiding merit and fame, Zhao Ijo rubbed his chin, a long time before he said, after all, your parents are also doing teachers. Well, yeah. Chen Shu pretended to have a deep face. The next moment, Zhao Ijo a move fierce tiger downhill, went up to pull Chen Shu's neck, forcibly put the orange peel to Chen Shu inside the mouth, you the girl to me to put aside this 360 degrees all aspects of the deathless angle of humiliation it. Fighting and messing around for a while, Chen Shu was really tired, rushed to send Zhao Ijo away, close the door and wash up to rest, just laying down on the bed, the daily 10 consecutive draws. I once again offered Zhao Ijo 50 years of singleness. Chapter 109 Hey? The matter of going to the hospital Chen Shu also thought carefully for a while and decided to go over there next Saturday. 
The day was set, so Chen Shu didn't have to prepare anything. When he went on stage, he just opened the parody and that was it. Although there was a mistake yesterday at the dance studio, there was no delay in rehearsals. The school had already dismantled all the threatening equipment last night, allowing students and teachers to attend classes without fear. Besides, Xia Ping is coming today. The school side went to the airport early in the morning to personally welcome her. Xia Ping and the first high school naturally have a great relationship. She was a dance teacher at the first high school in 87, and was transferred in 94. The water does not forget to dig a well. Xia Ping was very grateful for the care of the first high school. So after serving as a professor of the Cloud Dance University, almost every year for the first high school to fight for a lot of guaranteed places, and there was no need to mention that Xia Ping and Yuan Wen had a great relationship, whether it was an undergraduate at Cloud Dance University or a graduate student at Northern Dance, Xia Ping played the role of both teacher and friend in it. When Xia Ping met Yuan Wen, she first inquired about some recent developments before asking about the student. Teacher, I can find some good seedlings. Yuan Wen smiled. Five of them, both in terms of talent and physical condition are excellent, and they themselves are capable of hard work. Yuan Wen briefly introduced the situation of the five people. Four of them were already seniors. The only one who was a freshman, Deng Sijia, made Yuan Wen love and hate them at the same time. This Deng Sijia's talent is also quite good. She learns quickly. It's, Yuan Wen summarized one word after thinking about it. A bit horizontal. Xia Ping heard, smiled slightly, normal normal. After all, the times are different. Nowadays children have not had a hard life, by and large, or some petulance. How is her learning situation ah? Uh, how to say it? Yuan Wen said awkwardly, 200 or so points. Xia Ping was dumbfounded, crying and laughing. This score can't even touch the shadow of the undergraduate degree. What practice? The minimum requirement for guaranteed admission is 400 or so points. Go back and read the books first. Otherwise it's meaningless to dance any better. Yes, yes, privately I'll have a good chat with her. Xia Ping paused for a moment. What, still not thinking about marriage? Why are you asking this too? Yuan Wen instantly looked aggrieved. I'm being read by my mom every day. Teacher, you just, alas, you are is too high vision. Slightly down a bit of requirements, Xia Ping said in a serious manner, we women do not survive. After 30 years of age will decline in all aspects, you are looking at 30. It depends on fate. What? The ones I introduced to you before didn't meet your eye? Can't talk to each other. Yuan Wen hurriedly changed the topic. Teacher, let's not talk about this topic. The dance of the welcome party this time can be all choreographed by me. Then you can help me to point out. This is naturally no problem. But you can be mentally prepared. I will say whatever I have to say. I will not take care of my emotions. Okay. It was time for the afternoon rehearsal. When Chen Shu arrived at the dance studio, quite a few students immediately greeted Chen Shu. Good day. Teacher Chen. Good. Teacher Chen. You were super handsome yesterday. Ha ha. Thanks for the compliment. Originally. Chen Chu's popularity was good, and after yesterday's incident, the popularity was even more robust, and there were even quite a few students who sent drinks and water, all specially bought for Chen Chu. Chen Chu was not good at rejecting the goodwill, and simply accepted it as it was. Just let Chen Chu never expected is that this just sat down. The seventh class Lin Yu Chen this little girl actually also took a bottle of water walked to the front of Chen Chu handed over, teacher, for you. Chen Chu froze, oh, oh, thank you, for you than a heart. Lin Yuchen secretly compared a gesture and sneaked. Jia Jia said to give you some face and recognize you as her homeroom teacher in the future. After saying that, she hurriedly ran over to gather with Deng Sijia and the others. Not looking at Chen Shu. I'm warm to the world. The world is warm to me. Deng Sijia this little niece. Old haughty monster. Is this considered to be barely subduing this group of dancing iron head children? Chen Shu scratched his head and guffawed. Yuan Wen hadn't come yet. And the crowd was already preparing to start rehearsing. After all. Xia Ping was coming this time, so everyone had to perform well. M.S. Chen. M.S. Yuan didn't come. You come and lead first. Yes. Yes. Teacher Chen will lead us to dance for a while first. The crowd hurriedly sent out requests. And Chen Chu readily agreed. Playing the music. Chen Chu hurriedly went to his position and began to dance. Halfway through the morning. The director of the dance office. Yuan Wen and the others then guided Xia Ping to the dance studio. However. On the way. They heard sounds coming from the dance studio, and Xia Ping laughed when she saw this. This group of children are quite diligent. Yes, the director of the dance office hurriedly laughed. Professor Xie, let's go in here. Don't. How meaningless to just go in. Xia Ping pointed to the window. I'll just take a look there. The director of the dance office was a bit baffled. Yuan Wen sneaked in and said, the old used to it, 
often lying on the window to watch us dance in college, always giving us a fright. For a long time, every time we dance we all have to glance at the window first, the class teacher. The crowd then followed Xie Ping to the window, because it was sideways and not too noticeable. With this glance, the atmosphere inside the dance studio was extremely good. The crowd was dancing to the music with a cheerful rhythm. Yuan Wen watched from the sidelines, thinking that the atmosphere was quite good, and thought that she could leave a pretty good impression on the teacher as well. After a long time, Xie Ping couldn't help but nod her head, a look of great satisfaction on her face. After looking around, Yuan Wen and the others led Xie Ping to the dance studio. Inside the dance studio, they had just finished dancing and were about to take a break. When they saw Yuan Wen leading people in, everyone hurriedly stopped their hands and stood up to greet them, and they didn't even need to be introduced by Yuan Wen. The crowd had already applauded. Xia teacher good. Hey, students. Xia Ping which is 60 years old. Still temperament. Speak that is also amiable. And students greeted after waved his hand. Signaling the crowd to sit down. Good. Everyone sit down to rest rest. The crowd hurriedly sat down. Xia Ping's gaze involuntarily fell on Chun Chu's body. Raised his hand and pointed. Half jokingly said. This slightly anxious looking student. What's your name? Chen Chu. Hey? Chapter 110. Cute. The students burst into laughter. This in turn confused Xie Ping. Chen Chu also stood up with an embarrassed face and scratched his head. Professor Xie, I'm not a student. Xie Ping was stunned, and Yuan Wen on the side couldn't help but say, Teacher, he's Chen Chu, a teacher from our school, following a piece of the dance. I'm sorry ah, I forgot to tell you, which still didn't know that a joke had been made. Xie Ping looked over to Chen Chu in tears and laughter. Little teacher Chen, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, it's fine. It's fine. Chen Shu hurriedly waved his hand before sitting down. The good thing was that the atmosphere wasn't awkward, and in the blink of an eye, the entire dance studio turned into an idle meet and greet. As they chatted, the excitement came. Some students suggested that Xie Ping should dance for a while to give everyone a long look. Xie Ping that is very enthusiastic, not the slightest frame. Say dance. Music is put on the dance on a lark. Music together. That fan instantly came. A hand orchid pointing to the sky a hand in the water pointing to the moon, the body of a dance, really is beautiful beyond words, everyone was mesmerized as Chen Shu blinked his eyes, in the future, there would be one more dancing great that could be imitated, after a dance, the whole audience applauded, of course, Xia Ping that wasn't really here to perform, and began to correct the deficiencies, come on, hardworking students dance one more time, even Yuan Wen had to listen honestly at this moment, stop, the dance movements and personnel arrangement here would be redundant, Stop. The sudden appearance of a few people here is a bit abrupt and affects the view. Xie Ping had a serious face, and Yuan Wen nodded repeatedly. This action also seems too redundant, too soft instead of aesthetic. It feels like you are moaning without disease. Overall it barely reaches the passing line, only it can't be on the stage yet. If you really participate in any competition, you'll have to brush it down in the first round. Unconsciously two hours had passed. Xie Ping helped to recompose and also helped to choreograph a lot of movements. Many students felt Xie Ping's severity, really not giving Yuan Wen any face at all. Yuan Wen also accepted it with an open mind and did not look unhappy at all. Probably, this is how a strict teacher produces a good student. After the rehearsal, Yuan Wen let everyone go back to rest. Chen Shu was about to leave but was shouted at by Xie Ping, little mister. Chen, do you have time? Yes, yes. Chen Shu hurriedly walked up. Then let's have a meal together. Xie Ping laughed. I really feel sorry for you after making a joke today. Ah, this, Chen Shu also did not know whether Xie Ping was polite or really invited, for a moment did not know how to respond, and hurriedly looked at Yuan Wen for help, Yuan Wen hurriedly laughed, teacher, mister, Xiao Chen is the class teacher, and there is still a class to attend at night, Xie Ping froze, hey, the teacher who practices dance in the first middle school can be the homeroom teacher now, no, he teaches language and geography, ah, Xie Ping looked at Chen Shu with a face of disbelief, so you've studied before? The foundation is also too good. Self-taught a bit. Chen Chu smiled embarrassedly. It's not up to the Grand Hall of Fame. Pity. Xie Ping immediately said with some regret. It's too bad that you don't go to dance in this condition. Although Yuan Wen's choreography is a bit worse. But you dance out is another matter. Soft with hard. Self-style. Really good. If you are a student. I'll make a decision on the spot to let you bail out of the Cloud Dance University. Yuan Wen? Feeling offended. Chen Shu felt that Professor Xie Ping was indeed a bit too enthusiastic. Before he agreed to the dinner, Xie Ping had already pulled Chen Shu away, and while walking he said, Little Mr. Chen, do you want to try to take the graduate school exam? Your conditions are really good. 
I can help you contact contact, into the northern dance should not be a big problem, ah, this, it's so hard for me to graduate, you wanna stuff me back again ah, Chen Shu knows that prof, Xia is the heart of love for talent, but he can't afford it, other people are afraid that they will wake up laughing in their dreams, he really didn't want to go back to class, besides, if he went back now, he might not be able to teach anyone, Professor Xie, thank you for your love, but I quite like my current job, and I have no more thoughts of furthering my education, I'm really sorry, words are said to this point, Xia Ping also haha -ha smile, no longer force people to be difficult, also, everyone has everyone's choice, I respect you, anyway, I this road for you to stay, really one day to change the idea, directly come to me, I give you to leave my contact information, good, good, memorize the phone, Chen Shu without saying a word to find an excuse to bugger off, what to eat is exempted, at that time there must be a bunch of school leaders, that also eat a fart of a meal, Chen Shu ago, a side of Yuan Wen saw, cold not eloquent said, teacher, in the school inside have not seen you so pain me, yo, the little nymph is jealous, not really, ha ha, you are almost 30 how come you are still so cute, Yuan Wen, chapter 111 IQ crushing bureau, ever since Wang Lebang's heart demon was removed, Wang Libang's change was indeed somewhat bizarre. How can I put it? There was a feeling of being possessed. Almost every day, Chen Shu could see Wang Libang wandering around in the hallway after class. What's he doing? Helping people. Yes, but whenever you run into a student or a teacher, go up and ask if there is anything you need to help. You do not let him help him with you anxious. As a result, many people would rather take a long way around than pass by the entrance of class 7. For fear of running into Wang Libang who would say, Do you need help? especially with a harmless smile, the feeling was even more frightening. At first, Chen Shu only thought it was a good thing, but now that he looked at it, it was clearly overkill. Something could easily go wrong in this situation. A heart demon is probably an amalgamation of all of one's negative emotions, and by extinguishing Wang Libang's heart demon, I have actually erased all of Wang Libang's negative emotions, causing Wang Libang to lose the ability to think normally. Chen Shu watched Wang Libang wandering around the building through the window and his complexion couldn't help but become a bit gloomy. Still, he hadn't thought this through. It's true that things like heart demons can't be helped by external forces, they still need to be controlled by themselves. This kind of counting on me pulling the plug will only lead to big problems instead. Chen Chu frowned, already recognizing his mistake, then naturally he had to find a way to save it. However, what was outrageous was that as time passed, the resurrection time of the heart demon had actually continued to lengthen. The other day it was still 90 or so days. But now, at a glance, it had already extended to over 120 days. Even the virtues had gone crazy to over 110. This was something that Chen Chu inexplicably had an ominous feeling about if it was not suppressed. Right now, Chen Chu had two thoughts. Epic education technique reverse education or stimulating Wang Libang's negative emotions. However, it seemed that neither was desirable. However, just as Chen Chu was pondering on what could be done to bring Wang Libang back to normal, Director Sun's phone call came. Director, what's wrong? Director Sun's tone was a bit anxious. Xiao Chen, hurry and bring your class Wang Lebang to my reception. What happened? Chen Shu hurriedly asked. How could it be such a coincidence? Just worried that Wang Lebang would make a mess. But as a result, he followed. I haven't figured out what's going on here either. A lot of school leaders have come. So hurry up and bring the people here. Good, good. Chen Shu hurriedly walked out of the office and called out Wang Lebang. Wang Lebang, hearing Chen Shu's voice. Wang Lebang ran to Chen Shu's front without saying a word. There was a complete lack of his previous arrogance and domineering behavior. There was only a humble appearance. Teacher, is there anything you want to find me? Sure enough, his nature had changed. Come with me for a trip. Okay. Wang Lebang didn't ask the reason and followed Chen Shu. On the way, looking at Wang Lebang's constant humble demeanor, it really made Chen Shu is not quite comfortable. Lebang, do you still remember the previous home visit? Chen Shu mentioned it to see how Wang Lebang would react, but see Wang Lebang face colorful said, remember, teacher, I finally understand your good intentions, but also a deep understanding of my mistakes, I have been in the introspection, please rest assured that teachers, I'm trying to correct their own mistakes, and must do have a let everyone rest assured and useful to society talent, it's not normal, this is not Wang Lebang ah, Chen Shu really felt a bit sorry for Wang Lebang, and in his heart, he made up his mind to think of ways to restore Wang Lebang to normal. Not long after, Chen Shu brought Wang Lebang to the reception. This glance swept over. Really is a lot of school leaders are in. Even the old principal are here. There are ten or so police comrades. Chen Shu's heart sank even more. The police are here. I'm afraid that something big has really happened. 
Director Sun then hurriedly introduced, This student is Wang Libang. This is Wang Libang's homeroom teacher Chun Chu. As soon as the words fell, a police comrade with a bandaged arm hurriedly walked up to Wang Libang and said rather excitedly, Student Wang, on behalf of Task Force 603, I would like to express my gratitude to you. The other police officers also gathered around, most of them looking surprised. And again, they couldn't help but give a thumbs up. The waves of the Yangtze River push forward the waves of the future. I froze and didn't realize that the one who struck yesterday was a high school student. We are really old. Worthy of a heroic family, a tiger's father has no son. Young man, the future is boundless. The crowd of policemen were filled with admiration and emotion both in their demeanor and tone. Chen Shu was also confused upon hearing this, not reacting at all to what was going on. On the contrary, it was Wan Libang who straightened up and said with a straight face, It's all what I should do. Good. Very good. At this moment, the oldest police officer came out and patted Wang Libang's shoulder and said, Classmate, come with me. I'll discuss something with you. Good. Wang Libang hurriedly followed the old man. Chen Shu couldn't help but smack his lips at the old man's police rank. It appeared to be an extraordinary character. The school site actually hadn't even figured out what had happened yet. They just thought that Wang Libang might have acted heroically. But even if he had acted heroically, it wouldn't have caused such a big commotion. When everyone was seated, the bandaged police comrade recounted what had happened. The 603 transnational drug-related case involved a huge armed drug cartel, involving hundreds of people, an extremely large amount of money, and an extremely bad social impact. After nearly half a year of efforts, a month ago finally found out the location of the boss behind the scenes in a villa in Jungnan on vacation. Prepare a month later, the police quickly set up a task force, deployed hundreds of elite police and a large number of special police on its mastermind and the main backbone of the implementation of the arrest. But the boss behind the scenes is too cunning. Even in the villa area set up an underground passage, with dozens of armed outlaws absconded to the Hushi compound, to avoid the police encirclement. The police tracked all the way, in order not to hurt the innocent, then has entered the River West compound to continue to implement the arrest. Just last night, on his way home, Wang Libang discovered a group of people behaving extremely unusually, purposefully carrying out all kinds of counter-surveillance. Wang Libang originally observation and thinking ability is different from normal people, and immediately opened the anti-tracking mode. The other party probably didn't take a high school student seriously at all. As a result, Wang Libang took advantage of his defenses to sneak attack one of the lone. On the spot, the other party was knocked out, seized the silenced pistol, the first time to call the police and route reduction, reasoned out the other party's base camp in the neighborhood of the three-story rented room. The most outrageous thing came. Wang Libang even single-handedly killed the past. In the first floor killed two criminals on the spot, both headshot, to rescue the hostage family of six. But because the hostages fled when the footsteps were too loud caused alarm, resulting in Wang Libang up the stairs when the gunfight occurred. The police who were mapping the area heard the commotion and rushed around to evacuate the crowd. When the SWAT team went up, they saw a scene that was beyond their wildest dreams. The hallway was full of bullet holes, and there was only one cell phone in the corner shelter where the gunfire was loud. Wang Libang himself has turned out of the wall, along the metal water pipe climbed into the third floor, killed three people on the spot, injured two people, the mastermind and the remaining three members directly jumped out of the window to escape was Wang Libang all the way in hot pursuit, because it is night time, the police side thought Wang Libang is plainclothes, rushed up to support, wait until they capture to the mastermind of the time to see Wang Libang that young face, as well as, that a youthful voice, police uncle, there is nothing to do I will leave first, when the bandaged police comrade finished speaking, the entire reception area fell silent, Chen Chu felt very outrageous and felt his heart jumping after listening to it, this kid, is bold and daring ah, but think carefully, as if this thing with their own unrelated, probably because Wang Libang's heart demon was destroyed by himself, Wang Libang's negative emotions have been minimized, in other words, this kid doesn't even know how to write the word fear anymore, he's so brave, he really single-handedly took on the armed gangs, and even showed off an IQ crushing game, chapter 112, relief, the school side was already too amazed to speak, to be honest, it was hard for them to visualize this kind of picture, especially since the main character was still Wang Libang, a senior student. The bandaged police comrade couldn't help but let out a sigh of emotion when he finished. Now that I think about it, I feel that it's quite unbelievable. But after we learned about student Wang Libang's family background, we feel as if it's not that outrageous. That's right. There was originally an army over at the Hashi compound. He grew up in the army as a child, and was also exposed to firearms training, combat training, and specialized knowledge in detection and mapping under his father's influence at an early age. A police officer couldn't help but laugh. Good guy, 
I was still in the army did not transfer to the things only contacted. He contacted since childhood. I'm afraid that if really compared, I'm still not necessarily better than him. The crowd couldn't help but laugh. But this matter, I still have to explain the situation to all the leaders of the school. Wang is just a case, and an unrepeatable case, so please keep it a secret on the side of the school, and don't make any announcements, so as not to cause a bad influence. The school side naturally nodded repeatedly. After all, although this kind of thing could help the reputation of the first middle school to instantly catch fire all over the internet, but Wang Libang himself was not an example that could set a typical example. Otherwise, in the future, if a student really got tough with criminals, it would be troublesome. We came over this time, firstly, to praise Wang Libang's great help to our police, and secondly, to be able to do it alone without any hostage injuries and create all kinds of conditions to suppress the criminal gang's ability in that kind of situation. We also saw the professionalism that Wang Libang students themselves showed, and it even attracted an extremely huge amount of attention within our organization. A total of 12 local police academies across the country have thrown out the olive branch, taking out a special enrollment guaranteed, master's and doctoral degree places, and the Huaxia Public Security University also exceptionally took out a special enrollment guaranteed places, skipping the college entrance exams, you can now enter the study. Of course, in addition to all of this, we also have to give special thanks to student Wang Libang's homeroom teacher. Hey, Chen Shu suddenly froze. Why did the queue come to me? The gazes of the school leaders landed on Chen Shu's body, and Chen Shu hurriedly got up, just to hear the bandaged policeman say, Teacher Chen, thank you for cultivating such an outstanding student. Last night, student Wang Libang was full of praise for you, saying that you, the teacher, is a lighthouse for his life. He said that he used to be a non-student, and then under your education and guidance, he thought about becoming a useful talent to society, and without you, there would be no him now. Ah, this, Chen Shu couldn't help but scratch his head. No need, no need. Teaching and educating people is originally my job, and I'm also very proud of Mr. Wang Libang. Don't be modest, Mr. Chen. You have truly set a good example. A police officer hurriedly smiled and said, the police station has gotten a banner for you as an outstanding citizen, but we didn't have time to send it out yet, and we only realized that you are also a hero when we asked. Sacrificing oneself to save others, can't afford it. This made Chen Shu quite embarrassed. To be honest, he really wasn't very good at dealing with this kind of scene. However, Wan Libang did indeed make him unable to do so. This originally thought that in addition to the heart demon will go out of order, but it is hard to be crooked. So that Wang Libang embarked on a path that is too positive to be correct. Well, that's all. As the police said, Wang Libang is an unrepeatable case. Anyone else would have been rushing to get his head handed to him. Only Wang Libang could do it the right way. Just then, Wang Libang and the old man also came back. As soon as the old man came, the police officers also got up. Even the principal didn't dare to sit down and hurriedly got up. No need. No need. The old man smiled and waved his hand signaling the crowd to sit down before saying, I think everyone already knows what's going on. I just had a good chat with student Wang. So, student Wang tell us about your choice. At this moment, Chen Chu's heart was not complicated. Although once Wang Libang left, his mission that was limited to three months would definitely be cold. But trading the reward for Wang Libang's future, Chen Chu felt that it was quite worth it. Wang Libang nodded slightly and said with a straight face, I intend to go to the cloud police. The crowd froze. Chen Shu also felt somewhat incredulous. The cloud police was ultimately local, but the Chinese Public Security University was the highest institution of learning. Lu Bang, have you considered it? Considered it well. Wang Libang nodded and said, being close by, I can accompany my grandmother more, and I plan to go back when I graduate from my senior year of high school. Right now I still want to stay in the first high school and continue my studies. Chen Shu guffawed, and in his heart, he felt doubly relieved. It wasn't a loss to go to the inner world and almost put your life on the line. Wang Libang's matter was naturally not publicized. Wang Libang himself was also the lone wolf in the class, and no one was curious about what he was following Chen Chu for. Seeing Wang Libang return to his seat, he looked at the faces of these youngsters in class 7. Chen Chu couldn't help but think about the future. Three years from now, if one by one, when I send you all into the various universities across the country, how gratified I will be. Chapter 113, The Per River Hospital. Chen Shu was inside his office planning his next plan to temper class 7. As of now, Deng Xijia's group of dance students had already accepted him, and with the addition of a crooked Wang Libang, half of class 7 was already under his control. The remaining half of the country was Zhuang Rou's gang of vocal students, Liao Kunyang's gang of art students, as well as Su Tianhao, Li Yang, and Yan Mao. Then again, 
Zhuang Rou's group isn't too rowdy compared to the other small groups, and doesn't really target themselves. Chen Shu was somewhat puzzled by this. However, he thought the Zhuang Rose group should be easier to subdue. It was just that these vocal students were not like Deng Sijia and the others who had collective activities at school. And according to the school's arrangement, they should be in their second year of high school before they would have unified vocal training. Chen Shu naturally couldn't wait that long. He had to study some new routines. The routines that had been used before definitely wouldn't work now. If only they were all slightly simpler like Zhou Feng and the others. However, he couldn't think of anything for a while. So he still had to think about the class party at the end of the month. To Chun Chu's surprise, Zhou Feng took the poster of the haunted house and wandered around the class. And surprisingly the whole class signed up to go together. When Zhou Feng told Chen Shu about this, Chen Shu felt that something was very wrong. Why are they all going? Chen Shu asked suspiciously. No one is not going? Zhou Feng shrugged. It's quite exciting. So they're all going to have fun. Chen Shu felt odd, but didn't worry too much. Contacted the staff at the haunted house. Set the date and number of people. Heard that it was the whole class group. The staff also gave special discounts. Let Chen Chu help publicize it. The day was set for Friday night. After all, Chen Chu still had to go to the hospital early Saturday morning to give a lecture. In the blink of an eye, it was Friday. The collection was at 7.30. Chen Chu came to the entrance of the haunted house at 7 o'clock. Not to mention, there were really a lot of people coming to play. Vaguely heard all kinds of cries coming from inside the haunted house. To say that this haunted house operator is really rich, directly rented a whole rotten building, transformed into an abandoned hospital-like, roughly want to play into the nationally known haunted house that trend. Just outside the door of this haunted house atmosphere is also very good. A glance at the whole abandoned hospital ragged, overgrown weeds, even from a distance can smell a strong disinfectant flavor. No wonder it was able to spread throughout Jiangnan in just a few days. The students arrived one after another, one after another. Chen Shu swept over with a glance. Many of them had a nervous look on their faces, while others were quite excited. And there were also many girls who acted extremely scared. This looks all too scary. I'd better not go. A lot of girls have shown their timidity. But at this time, there is no need for Chun Chu to comfort them. So he heard Su Tianhao frown and say, Don't spoil the fun. If you're here, just go in and have some fun. It's not real. It's just a scare. Someone else chimed in. Right. Besides, we're here. Nothing can happen. I don't know if it was because of the pacifying effect or something else, but there was really no one spitting. Seeing this, Chen Shu didn't ask any more questions, and after taking the tickets and giving them to the staff, the staff gave everyone a green glow stick and a map. In groups of two or two, everyone's cell phones were handed over, and then they entered the Puha hospital in turn. As a result, naturally, only Chen Shu was left to go in alone. Chen Shu was indifferent, and was the last one to enter the hospital hall. When he entered, it was pitch black. There was only the faint light emanating from the fluorescent stick in his hand, and the visibility was only two to three meters away. The strong smell of disinfectant came to his nose. Chen Shu frowned and looked around, but there was no green light at all. There was no one. He was alone. It was reasonable to say that he had only come in a few minutes apart. Could it be that everyone had already gone deeper? What the hell? Chen Shu swept a glance at the map and continued to walk forward. The back door of the Per River Hospital. The staff office. The seventh class crowd was all crammed inside a room, split into two waves, all staring at the surveillance images on the screen. Su Tianhao sat on the table with his legs crossed, looking at Zhou Feng who was holding his hands across the table and said, Zhou Feng, are you sure you want to bet? Bet. Zhou Feng sneered. What? You don't dare to play? What's there to be afraid of? I'm just afraid that surname Chen won't be able to withstand it. Su Tianhao said with a strange look on his face. But I'm curious. Deng Sejia, when did you guys side with surname Chen? Not to mention that Su Tianhao was curious. Zhou Feng and the others looked at Deng Sijia and the others beside him and were also curious. Right, when did you join our camp? I haven't heard anything from Old Chen either. You don't have to care about that. Deng Sijia was too lazy to explain and said to Zhou Feng, You don't have to worry about anything, just bet directly. Okay, Zhou Feng sneered. Su Tianhao, do you want to play pokies? If you guys lose, you'll have to listen to Deng Sijia in the future. If we lose, we will all listen to you in the future. Zhou Feng originally wanted to say listen to me, but thinking about it, he seemed a bit unable to suppress Su Tianhao. Deng Sijia didn't have any opinion and nodded slightly. Su Tianhao was happy, you seem to be overestimating surname Chen, right? My home this haunted house. Ten went in, nine have to cry, and one is lying out. Which so much nonsense, Zhou Feng hadn't said anything yet. Deng Sijia said in a cold voice, just say whether you'll gamble or not. Fine, Su Tianhao looked at the crowd around him. What about you guys? 
Those who followed Su Tianhao around naturally had no problem with it. Nodding their heads, Zhuang Rou's group nodded after discussing for a while. Liao Koen Yang skimmed his mouth, said he wasn't interested, and left with his own people twisting their heads. Li Yi Yang, are you playing or not? I'll watch the show. Yan Mao, er, this can fall asleep. Su Tianhao glanced at Yan Mao, who was already lying on the sofa asleep, and lazily asked, this guy class 7 sleeping fairy, sleeping from morning to night, it feels like he never woke up, I'm just so many people, you, er, Wang Libang people? Zhou Feng shrugged, going home to accompany his grandmother, not to participate, Su Tianhao was also indifferent, alright, that's it, I've arranged for 10 staff members to wait, Su Tianhao grinned, badgering, but if he scares the hell out of me more than 5 times, count me as the winner, Zhou Feng answered without even thinking, yes, it was Deng Sijia who frowned, Zhou Feng, do you have a plan? Zhou Feng gave an okay gesture, confident, this was still a haunted house that Chen Shu had taken the initiative to propose going to, and Zhou Feng believed that Chen Shu must be a bold thief, old Chen has never let me down, besides, this was the man who could make Zhou Yangsheng cry, chapter 114 it's all good, just not scary, tick tock tick tock, the hallway was broken and silent, but the sound of water drops could be heard, Chen Chu, holding a glow stick, had already arrived on the second floor, however the door to the stairway to the third floor was locked by an electronic lock, and one needed to find the key card on the second floor to be able to open the door, Chen Chu stood in the middle of the hallway and walked towards the left without much concern, the level of the designers of this Puha hospital is still there, especially focusing on the shaping of the environment, the entire abandoned hospital into the 70s and 80s kind of old hospital style, which does add a few points of thick spooky color, monitoring room, when Su Tianhao saw Chen Shu going to the left, he immediately had a bad smile on his face, getting ready for a good show, it'll be weird if we don't scare him half to death, Zhou Feng and the others also changed their faces slightly, and they could not help but move their gazes to one of the wards, after walking a few steps, Chen Shu came to the door of a ward, just holding a fluorescent stick a sweep, but saw a silhouette hanging in midair, a pair of dirty and with bloodstained feet suddenly appeared in front of Chen Shu, and the ground is also neatly placed a pair of red cloth shoes, however, this scene only caused Chen Shu to skim his lips, it was just a model, this haunted house is quite good whether it is the environment, the atmosphere, the props, just not scary, no fun, Chen Shu directly walked in, not even bothering to look at the model hanging in midair, playing the glow stick around looking for the keycard, in the middle of the monitoring room, seeing that Chen Shu was not even scared, Su Tianhao could not help but frown, somewhat disappointed, surname Chen was so bold that he didn't react at all, when Zhou Feng looked at it, he was even more confident, Chen Shu stroked his thoughts while looking for the keycard on the side, he was shaking half a day, froze and did not hear any movement, which still do not know that it is by the seventh class of the little guy's hole, carefully searching, Chen Shu can probably guess what this group of little guys are doing now, ha, is estimated to be pretending to be a ghost hiding somewhere ready to scare me right, the little guys are a bit skinny ah, Chen Shu's eyes narrowed slightly, and a bad smile could not help but appear on his face, only after a long while did Chen Shu walk out of the hospital room, strolling idly down the hallway, not a moment later, Chen Shu saw the doctor's office, and could vaguely hear movement inside, on this side of the monitoring room, seeing that Chen Shu had already arrived at the door of the office, everyone was holding their breath, on one side was anticipation, and on the other side was gloating, it was only because this doctor's office had specialized actors to play ghosts inside, even if you haven't personally experienced it, just looking at the monitor has made people shiver, because this actor is a professional in both attire and acting skills, if they were in an ordinary haunted house, many of the staff would probably be playing with their cell phones, and the so-called ghost impersonation is just a set of clothes and masks, that's all, but the Periver Hospital invited these are professional actors, not only in makeup and costumes are specifically referenced to a number of hit horror films to design, and actors are also extremely dedicated, not only did not play with the phone, but really have been wandering around in a particular place, and not the normal way of action, more or less in a very strange way, or crawling, or leaning somewhere, or twitching, just from the surveillance, knowing that it was an actor still felt very scared, not to mention the others, even the few juniors who followed Su Tianhao around were all nervous, brother Hao, this, this can't be a ghost that was really invited, right, Su Tianhao rolled his white eyes, the corner of his mouth twitching, try inviting one for me, I've already said that they're actors, and they're quite professional, my dad went through a lot of trouble to invite them here, that's too scary, just kidding, if they don't even have this much skill, why would my dad hire them, Su Tianhao raised his eyebrows and said, brother Hao, you don't look too scared, of course I'm not afraid, 
It's not like you cowards. You're just a bunch of wimps. Brother Hao is just bold. Cowardly. Su Tianhao clasped his hands, somewhat dejected. In his heart, he couldn't help but recall the scene a few days ago, when he was let out of the haunted house by the staff with a big cry. Well, the surname Chen will definitely be scared half to death. Su Tianhao thought so, only to see that on the surveillance screen, Chen Shu had already sneakily entered the doctor's office. Ha! Huh? The crowd saw that Chen Shu had touched into the doctor's office as if he were a thief. Not to mention that he had even thrown a glow stick at the door. What was this intended to do? In the midst of the pitch blackness, Chen Shu tiptoed and groped his way forward. Although visibility was basically zero, it was not a big problem for Chen Shu. Using mimicry for a long period of time had already improved Chen Shu's five senses perception ability by a considerable amount. Basically, he had already adapted to the pitch black environment. Hearing voices was only a basic operation, and Chen Shu could even see a figure leaning against the wall in the corner of the hospital office, seemingly waiting for his appearance. These little guys still want to scare me? Chen Shu had a bad smile on his face, and was already silently touching the other party's vicinity, squatting down and slowly stretching out his claws towards the other party's feet, grabbing the other party's calf. Crap! In the next moment, the other party was so scared that he directly jumped up and jumped out a meter away, crashing into the opposite table. Following that, Chen Shu reached out and moved the table, the corners of the table rubbing against the ground emitting a slightly ear-piercing sound. Mimic! In the middle of the day, Chen Shu's mouth made a bizarre clicking sound. It was as if bone joints were rubbing together. Ka! Ka! I'm fucking! Accompanied by a ding-dong collision sound, the other party almost panicked in fear, knocking over a number of tables, chairs, and benches, and rushing out of the office in a sorry state. Chen Shu couldn't help but snort a laugh. Just here and still want to scare me? You guys are also a bit too tender. Let's see if you still dare to disobey me in the future. Only then did Chen Shu get up and walk out of the door, picking up the glow stick that was thrown at the doorway and leisurely walking towards the other side of the building. Monitoring room. Well, the crowd looked at the surveillance screen and gradually fell into silence. Chapter 115, I understand. The entrance of the haunted house suddenly caused a scream. The staff subconsciously looked over, only to see a raggedly dressed costumed ghost actor suddenly run right out of the doorway, followed by slumping to the ground in a flash, gasping for air. No, why did you run out? When the person in charge saw this, he glared and hurriedly walked up to ask, Who? Who? The other party gasped for air, frozen gasped without saying a word. The person in charge of a look, good guy, the face of the special effects makeup has been spent, and play the ghost of the actor's lips are white. Good thing there are other staff rushed to the end of a cup of water over. Rushed to say, don't be anxious, don't be anxious, first drink a mouthful of water. The ghost actor drank the water before he was able to get his strength back. Damn. Scared. Scared me to death. The person in charge and the staff immediately looked at each other. Ha! Huh? The person in charge was displeased when he came back to his senses. What the hell? The costumed ghost actor had palpitations and his voice still shivered a little. I was waiting inside the office when a hand suddenly pulled my thigh followed by the table that seemed to be moving, and the most terrifying thing was that I heard a clicking sound, it felt as if it was the sound of bones rubbing together, damn, I still have goosebumps all over my body right now, when the person in charge heard this, he hurriedly took out his walkie talkie, come over from the props team, props group of staff rushed over, the person in charge asked whether to put any props inside, what did not put ah, on the original those things, other staff said, could it be a string of scenes, just as the crowd was searching for what was going on, the intercom of the person in charge suddenly went off. Hey, hey. When the person in charge heard it, his face changed and his voice steeped in respect. Young master, I can hear you. What does that actor do for food? Su Tianhao's voice was quite irritated as he angrily cursed. Surprisingly, he was scared off by the surname Chen. This is fucking called professionalism. Deduct his salary for me. The person in charge took the scolding and immediately glared viciously at the actor who was pretending to be a ghost. Yes, yes, young master. Only then did the other end of the intercom go silent, and the person in charge glared at the ghost actor with extreme displeasure, you heard it all, you're really a disgrace, to be scared like this by a guest, the ghost actor's heart was aggravated, but he could not speak of his suffering, in that situation just now, who could stand it, he could only droop his head and say, I, I know, however, the ghost actor thought carefully and felt that something was wrong, that was not a human voice just now, was it, the ghost actor was puzzled, but there was nothing he could do, he could only find a place to rest for a while, just took a bottle of water and was drinking it, when suddenly, another female scream came from the second floor, ah, poof, the costumed ghost actor took a mouthful of water and sprayed it right out, tilting his head to look at the entrance of the haunted house, but in the middle of the morning, 
Another female costumed ghost actor in a bloodstained hospital gown with long, disheveled hair covering her face rushed out, and without looking, she fell on the doorway with another scream. The person in charge and all the staff were confused. The staff rushed forward to help the person up. No, why did you run out too? The actress was stunned and cried. I suddenly heard the sound of a baby crying ah, did the props team put it there? Ha! Huh? The staff of the props team quickly shook their heads, stating that I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Following that, the intercom of the person in charge rang again. What the fuck are you doing? Two have run away at once. Deduct money. Deduct the money. Deduct the money. Su Tianhao shouted anxiously. The person in charge can only nod his head and answer yes, and when the intercom is silent, he also looked at the actress who was still crying in a bad mood. Really? Forget it. Stay aside. The actress is still a little stunned, crying and wiping tears and left. The result just walked not two steps. Saw the actor who was there to drink water dressed as a ghost smiled bitterly at her. No. One. You also. Don't say anything. Have a drink of water to suppress the shock. Actress number two also received the water with a bitter smile. And while drinking it, she silently sat next to number one. Well, I understand. Um, about five minutes later, actor number four also rushed out of the door and was there gasping for air. Before he had a chance to speak, the person in charge walked up and said, What sound did you hear again? I, I didn't hear anything. I saw a figure hiding under the bed, smiling at me, and his face was fucking green. Deduction plus one. In the middle of the morning, number four saw both number one and number two sitting there drinking water and froze slightly. You guys too, take a sip of water to calm your nerves. This is the first time I've been scared like this in my entire life. The second actress was still there wiping her tears, her face full of grievances, which is so scary ah. Chapter 116 you put it here. Puha Hospital. Third floor. After finding the electronic card on the second floor, Chen Chu was already hanging around on the third floor. Where are the others hiding? Hiding quite well. The several wards on the left side of the building had all been searched but no one had been seen. Chun Chu took out the map and glanced at it. The entire route was from the first floor to the sixth floor, and when they reached the sixth floor, they passed the barrier, and then they could directly take the elevator down. It seemed that the others were hiding upstairs. Soon, Chen Chu found the key card to the fourth floor, and after opening the door, he went directly towards the fourth floor. By the time he reached the fourth floor, the construction had already changed. It was no longer the previous floor room structure, but a huge ward. Countless white curtains emitting a strange odor separated one bed from another, completely blocking the line of sight, and Chen Shu also heard the sound of metal banging, and there was also the sound made by leather shoes stepping on the ground. Ding! Ding! It was as if someone was banging on the iron frame of a metal hospital bed with a steel pipe. Then came the muffled sound of thumping. It sounded as if something was constantly slamming into the wall. There are quite a few tricks. Chen Shu grinned, and right at this moment, he suddenly saw an arm reaching out in the distance beckoning. At this moment, it was a bit of a horror movie flavor. Then I'll have to play along with you guys. Chen Chu's eyes swept, and then he looked up, and immediately came to an idea. Only to see that four meters high overhead were a bunch of concrete beams, and they were all protruding out, just right for people to stay. Thinking of this, Chen Chu backed up a few steps, a few arrow steps up stomping on the wall of vertical backward jump, just grasping the beams, force a flip directly up. The monitoring room suddenly burst out some neat shouts. Crap! Watching Chen Shu easily climb up to the beams, directly entering the blind spot of the costumed ghost actor's field of vision, everyone was dumbfounded, playing arrow on a grave. What the hell? Is Chen a monkey? How can he even go up there? Continuous stomping wall jump? I fucking. Could a haunted house escape game hard to be played by him into parkour? Surname Chen is here. To play the evil road speed pass? Su Tianhao's minions couldn't help but curse at once. Taking a look at Su Tianhao's face, naturally, there was no need to say. It is unsightly. Zhou Feng's side was basically already in a celebratory mood. But seeing this scene, they were all still a little confused. Even Zhou Feng was no exception. He was thinking that Chen Chu must have a score before choosing the haunted house. So he took this opportunity to plan to help Chen Chu out. So he privately made a bet with Su Tianhao. Only only never expected. To be able to play like this. Today is really a small knife slash, la. Too sound, ass. Open eyes. But Si Chen Shu has followed the beams of the room carefully climbed forward. Not a moment to look down. A person holding a steel pipe is knocking the bed frame. Waiting for Chen Shu show up. He didn't realize that Chen Shu was already on top of his head. Chen Shu forced a smile. Another flip. Hands grasping the beams. Feet have touched the white curtain shelf. Stepping on is a shake. In a flash. The entire bed frame made a violent creaking sound. Shaking extremely violently. Scaring that person shivered. 
The steel pipe didn't hold steady and fell on the ground. Chen Shu is still shaking. The other party also do not know what is going on. Scared out of his wits, turned his head and ran. While running, he also shouted, Mom yeah, damn, run, ha. Huh? Chen Shu's movements were stunned, feeling that something was not quite right. That voice just now was clearly the voice of a middle-aged man. It was only then that Chen Shu realized afterward. What the hell? These ghost impersonators weren't the little guys from class 7. This, Chen Shu immediately cried and laughed. Good guy. He had just scared the staff of the haunted house all over again? Thinking of this, Chen Shu hurriedly jumped down, picked up the steel pipe and was ready to apologize to the people. However, this just walked out. A figure rushed over head on, and slammed head on Chen Shu's chest. Ah, don't come over, don't come over. The other party is still a nurse-dressed actress. This looked up just in time to see under the faint green light. A person holding a steel pipe slowly reached out towards her. Just now the sudden violent rattling of the bed frame gave the actors a fright. After all, there was nothing like that in the script. Not to mention that the shouting just now was a co-worker. This actress dressed as a ghost nurse was so scared that she was screaming and crying. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Chapter 117, just a little bit fee class teacher. Don't be afraid. I'm a guest. Are you alright? I'll help you up. Chen Shu stretched out his hand as he explained. The crying actress then vaguely saw Chen Shu's apologetic face. Her cries gradually stopped, and she choked on her voice as she said, You, you're playing with a haunted house which in turn scares the actors. Also whole so netherworld. Not with you like this. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Chen Shu hurriedly apologized and explained after helping the actress up. I thought it was that group of troublemakers from our class that scared me. The actress then stabilized her mind. You're a teacher. Ha? Huh? Yes. The actress knew what was going on before she told Chen Shu that Su Tianhao had arranged for them to scare Chen Shu. Chen Shu actually guessed it, and seeing the actress walking with a limp, apologetically asked, Are you okay? The actress said with some aggravation, Broke my foot. Chen Shu could not help but feel a bit embarrassed. Sorry about that. This way, I'll carry you downstairs. No need. No need. The actress hastily refused, but she still couldn't resist Chen Shu's insistence. Chen Shu carried the person on his back and was planning to go downstairs. However, when he just came to the door, he realized that the situation was not quite right. Chen Shu took the key card and swiped it several times, and although there was a reaction it just couldn't be pushed. It should be that the two actors that you scared off just now accidentally unlocked it when they ran away. Chen Shu, then what should we do? The actress hurriedly said, go on up, I have a key card. Oh, okay, in this way, Chen Shu carried a ghost nurse dressed as an actress towards the fifth floor. Surveillance room. Zhou Feng and the others were all dumbfounded. For the first time in their lives, they had seen a person who came to a haunted house and was able to carry an actress on his back. Crap, he can even tease a girl in a haunted house. He's starting to get it on. Brother Hao, surname Chen is going to abduct your family's employees. Su Tianhao was upset at the moment, listening to the ear chattering annoyed to death. Angrily said, shut up, don't bother me. A group of juniors hurriedly shut their mouths. Deng Xijia laughed coldly without a smile. Su Tianhao, this has been scared away by Chen Shu for four. Well, there is still one on his back, and he still does not admit defeat? Su Tianhao laughed coldly. Don't be complacent too early. The more this haunted house comes to the back, the more scary it is. There are a whole lot of organs and equipment. The surname Chen may not be able to carry it off. Besides, our bet is only to scare surname Chen five times. What does it have to do with the number of actors? Zhou Feng clasped his hands, his face a little dejected, you just won't shed a tear until you see the coffin, then we'll see, old Chen will definitely convince you. At this moment, Chen Shu has carried the actress on the way to the fifth floor, only to know that the actress is called Hu Yao, or professional actors from the class, then Chen Shu is still two years older. On the contrary, when she heard that Chen Shu was already a classroom teacher, Hu Yao couldn't help but be surprised, you're already a classroom teacher when you're so young, it hasn't been regularized yet. It's just an agent. That's also very impressive. Hu Yao asked, Is the class of our boss's son manageable? Well managed. Chen Shu paused for a moment. It's just that it's a bit expensive for the homeroom teacher. Hu Yao couldn't help but giggle and burst out laughing, and suddenly became a little sad as she laughed. I'm sure I'll have to be scolded this time, and I'm afraid I'll have to have my salary deducted. Chen Shu apologized. I'm sorry. It can't all be blamed on you. In the end I'm still not educated enough. My guts are too small. We have three actors on this floor who are quite timid. This time we have to go back and watch more horror movies to strengthen our guts. Hu Yao's words turned around and then said, Yes, right, you must not have bumped into those seniors downstairs. They have been in this business for a long time, more than 10 years, quite professional. You must not have bumped into, or certainly give you a big scare. 
Well, Chen Shu was silent for a moment. They were even more lousy than you when they ran away. Hu Yao, are you a classroom teacher to the point where you're not even afraid of ghosts anymore? Probably. Hu Yao suddenly felt a lot more balanced in her heart. At the very least, she didn't have to be scolded alone. To give you a reminder, go to the fifth floor you have to be careful. Used a lot of imported equipment. Still quite scary. Hu Yao laughed bitterly. I'm just timid and afraid of being scared by the props, so I didn't dare to go to the fifth floor to work. Thanks for the reminder. Not long after, Chen Chu had already arrived at the fifth floor on his back. It was another different scene, with only a narrow passageway opening. Apparently the entire floor was a maze. I can't remember what's there either. Hu Yao let out a bitter smile. It's fine. Chen Shu carried the person on his back and directly walked in, and only just took two steps, when suddenly the lights flashed, and Hu Yao behind him instantly screamed, her hands strangling Chen Shu's neck in death. Ah! Chen Shu looked at the mirror in front of him with a speechless face before realizing that there seemed to be gravity sensing underneath his feet. Ah! Oh oh oh! Sorry! Sorry! Hu Yao woke up only to realize that the female ghost in the mirror across the street was herself, and couldn't help but cry. After being scared by you once I'm too timid now. Oh oh. Ahem. Can you let go? Ah. Ah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh oh. Are you okay? Hu Yao hurriedly let go and touched Chun Chu's neck with a worried expression. It's fine. Don't be too nervous. Okay? Okay. I'll try. I'll try. Chen Chu was somewhat speechless, but there was nothing he could do about it. The pot that he had caused. He had to carry it even if he cried. Chapter 118. Can't afford to play? After walking not much farther, Chen Shu saw a fork in the road ahead. Which way? Hu Yao has only just slowed down. Weakly said. Which side to go is the same. Both will lead to the operating room. The right side is the organ. The left side has a person. To go to the right side. The right side should not be very scary. Uh, okay. Chen Shu twisted his head and went towards the right side. The result was only just walked into a few steps. It seems to have touched some organs again. Only to hear a muffled bang. The road behind was blocked by the organ door. This could make Hu Yao scared. Chen Shu could feel Hu Yao's body was shaking. After a long time, Chen Shu suddenly opened his mouth. If you're too scared, why don't I sing you a song that's a bit more joyful? It's not impossible. Chen Shu coughed and brewed for a moment. While the effect was still fresh, he instantly pulled out a standard spring festival gala singing voice. After another 50 years, let's meet, send it to the crematorium, burn it to ashes together. You a bunch, I a bunch. Who doesn't know anyone? I'll send it to the countryside for fertilizer. Hu Yao's body froze at once. Just, ah dear friends, who exactly will be burned into ashes first? Burn you first? Burn me first? It's all human bone ashes anyway. Hu Yao's body couldn't help but shiver as she laughed and scolded. Where did you get such netherworldly lyrics? You're too skinny for a homeroom teacher, aren't you? Singing like this, Hu Yao seemed to have really slowed down. Hey, that said, you're pretty good at singing, Hu Yao realized afterward. You're so full of energy even when you're carrying me on your back. The high notes went up so easily. You're not a vocal teacher, are you? No, I usually just like to sing. Chen Shu laughed, and had already walked a good distance while talking. Nothing more than to divert Hu Yao's attention. Otherwise the neck was strangling. Then you're too talented. Hu Yao also felt that Chen Shu was quite warm. Thank you. I don't seem to be too scared anymore. Wait, don't go first. I remember that there is an organ there in front. Chen Shu's footsteps stopped and he looked towards the front, but he couldn't see the situation clearly in the darkness. Hu Yao was taking a deep breath there. Chen Shu then asked, probably what organ? I can't think of it. Anyway, as long as you walk over will trigger. Oh yes, there is a skull in the forefront. As long as you press it seems to be lifted. A lot of guests are here scared to give up the right to be let out by the staff. Oh, then you come down for a while. I'll go over and take a look. Hu Yao just came down and couldn't help but grab Chen Shu's clothes. Teacher Chen, you you can't leave me alone here. Not to not to. Chen Shu said in tears and laughter. I'll just go over and take a look. I'll be right back. Only then did Hu Yao let go of her hand. While Chen Shu walked straight forward a few steps, Hu Yao took a glow stick to help shine it. The vast majority of the organ equipment in here was gravity sensing. So, just don't walk over it. The skull at the very front was probably only 7 or 8 meters. Not much of a problem. Chen Shu hurriedly retreated a few steps and prepared to help run. Chen. Mr. Chen. What are you planning to do again? Fly over there? See what you're saying. I'm a normal person. How could I fly? Chen Shu took a few running steps and then jumped, leaping across a distance of 7 or 8 meters, jumping to the front in a single breath. And just after landing, he did an unloading roll, and then got up and lifted his hand and pressed down on the skeleton. Only heard a click. 
The skeleton after the surgery door opened. Above the green logo light also shows surgery. When Chen Shu leisurely walked back, Hu Yao Yan was silly. No, you told me you teach language. The monitoring room. Zhou Feng waved his hand. All sit down. Base fuck don't six. Base fuck. Su Tianhao violently slammed the table. Furious. Is not unable to play. Is not play can not afford. He took my ghost house here as an athletic field? Do you want me to give him another pull? Then he can go up to the roof. Chapter 119, you're really a little wit. Chen Shu once again carried Hu Yao towards the operating room. Before he could even go in, Hu Yao wimped out again. Wait a moment, wait a moment, I'll brew up. First, oh, Chen Shu was not in a hurry, and stopped at the door of the operating room. The door just opened a slit, glanced toward the inside, still a black piece of paint. Immediately afterward, he heard Hu Yao's sobbing sounds coming from behind him. Uh, what are you doing? It's going to be scary anyway. I, I'll cry first. Chen Chu, you, you're really a little wit. But Chen Chu didn't care. Carrying Hu Yao on his back, he pushed open the door of the operating room, feeling the temperature drop all of a sudden. Chilly. There were a lot of bandages with blood scattered on the floor. And the walls were covered with a lot of surgical tools and bottles with formalin soaking the broken limbs and arms. The smell was very nauseating. Where is the exit? I, I don't know. Chen Shu helplessly shrugged his shoulders. Still could only find it himself. Followed by Hu Yao Yao just shouting there. Brother Lu. I'm Hu Yao Yao. Squeak if you hear me. Don't scare me. Suddenly there was a sound of ding 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 ding. Followed by a middle-aged man's voice. Hu Yao. What are you doing here? Crosstalk? As he spoke. He only saw a figure covered in scalpels peeking out from the darkness. The special effects makeup was gruesome and truly horrifying. Hu Yao was as if she instantly saw a loved one. Her crying couldn't be stopped. Brother Lu. Hey hey. Why are you crying? Oh oh. You go far away. I am afraid. Brother Lu was confused. Hurriedly retreated a few steps. And again looked at Chen Chu. This. Who are you? I'm here to play haunted house. Playing is fine. Trouble this visitor not to carry the staff away. She broke her foot. Under Brother Lu's leadership. The next process had a scare. Directly took a shortcut to the sixth floor. While waiting for the elevator, Brother Lu was also quite speechless when he saw Hu Yao's crying appearance. Hu Yao, what's wrong with you? Still managed to break your foot? And even let the guests carry you on their backs? It's really excessive ah. Before Hu Yao could explain, Brother Lu hurriedly rushed at Chen Chu. This guest, I'm really sorry, our staff has caused you trouble. Chen Chu let out a bitter smile and hurriedly explained. No, no, it's actually all because of me. I scared her and she accidentally broke her foot. When Brother Lu heard this, he just assumed that Chen Shu had taken the blame on himself. After all, coming to a haunted house you could still scare an actor pretending to be a ghost? So Brother Lu glared at Hu Yao. Listen, how kind this guest is, taking the blame on himself. Why don't you hurry up and thank him? Hu Yao immediately looked aggrieved. Tears in her eyes. Yes, I'm sorry. Chen Shu let out a bitter smile and didn't know how to explain. Not long after, the entrance to the haunted house. Hu Yao limped out under the support of Chen Chu and Brother Lu. This time out, the staff that had already been standing guard were also rushing up to help assist. Chen Shu hurriedly apologized to people when he saw them. Sorry, sorry. After apologizing to the staff, he hurriedly went over to apologize to the row of actors pretending to be ghosts. The mood of the group of actors was also quite complicated. Not only had they been scared into such a sorry state, but because Chen Shu had angered the young master and had his wages docked, they were quite angry in their hearts. However, on second thought, they were all professional actors, and they had been made to feel so miserable by a guest, and it was indeed their mental quality that was not up to par, so they could only say that they were not professional enough, and that blaming Chen Shu in turn was a bit of an understatement, so the crowd laughed dryly and said it was fine, no need to apologize, brother Lu walked over to take a look and was confused, why are you all out, all of the actors unanimously looked at Chen Shu, their eyes filled with grudges, chapter 120 young man, the road is wide, Right at this moment, the students of class 7 also came out from the back door in droves, swarming towards the entrance of the haunted house. Old Chen, Zhou Feng and the others were about to give Chen Shu the good news, but they saw that at this moment, Chen Shu already had a cold face and drank in front of all the staff. All stand still. This 7th class crowd instantly settled down, not expecting Chen Shu to be angry. How dare they touch Chen Shu's mold, and honestly stood in place, not daring to make a sound. This scene instantly confused all the staff. The person in charge was also stunned, only to see Su Tianhao stood in the forefront of the team, honestly stood there, frozen did not dare to move, shocked, anyone who works for the Su family doesn't know what kind of temper the young master of the Su family has, and he's not afraid of anything, 
Chen Shu gave a sentence to scare so honestly. Is it fun to play teacher? Chen Shu walked over and questioned in a cold voice. No one made a sound. Chen Shu grunted in a bad mood. Why don't you hurry up and go apologize to the others? Someone was not too happy and muttered in a low voice. It's not like we're the ones who scared people like that. Chen Shu's eyes glared. If it wasn't for you all joining together to trick me, could I have scared someone like that? Go apologize. Zhou Feng was sensible and immediately led the people over to apologize. Su Tianhao's group is naturally not happy. After all, Su Tianhao is considered half the boss, which has the boss to the staff to apologize. See Su Tianhao did not move. Chen Shu was about to open his mouth, but it was Deng Xijia said, Su Tianhao, go chanting, apologize, don't play around. Su Tianhao skimmed his lips and really followed Deng Xijia to apologize to the crowd. This made Chen Shu a bit stunned, but seeing the crowd apologizing to the staff one after another, he didn't get entangled. On the contrary, the group of staff members were immediately flattered, and hurriedly waved their hands and said it was fine, it was fine, until Su Tianhao walked to the front of the actors, reluctantly said sorry. This scared the ghost actors, and they all got up and waved their hands. No no no. However, Chen Shu had already walked up and said with a straight face, Su Tianhao, how is this apology not sincere at all? Bow and apologize. You, Su Tianhao was instantly upset, tilted his head and was about to say that this haunted house my family opened, but met Chen Shu's cold gaze. Hmm, yes, sorry. Su Tianhao hurriedly bowed, his voice a few points louder. Only then did Chen Shu let go of Su Tianhao and then approached the person in charge, and hurriedly said, sorry, I'm really sorry, so what, I'll take care of all the damages this time, as well as the actress who dressed up as a ghost nurse with a broken foot, the treatment fee and lost labor fee are all on me, the person in charge secretly glanced at Su Tianhao's complexion, Su Tianhao's mouth turned away and didn't bother, no need no need, seeing this, the person in charge hurriedly said, on the contrary, it is our actors who are not up to the mark, making you look at the joke, the guests don't have to bear any losses. Chen Shu did not give his heart, but the person in charge froze and did not want it. Seeing this, Chen Shu folded over and rushed to apologize to those actors. Hu Yao is there to rub her feet. Chen Shu said to go to the hospital to see, because just now Chen Shu checked, found that it has been swollen up. The situation is still somewhat serious. The others saw that the situation wasn't too good and urged Hu Yao to go to the hospital. Only then did Hu Yao agree. Chen Shu hurriedly went over to give Zhou Feng and the others an explanation and let the crowd leave. Only then did Zhou Feng secretly report the good news, talking about the matter of the bet. In fact, just now, Su Tianhao followed Deng Xijia to apologize at that moment Chen Shu had already guessed some hints. After saying that, Zhou Feng instantly had a look of quick praise me. Young man, the road is wide. That's right. Chen Shu was quite pleased in his heart. And in this way, Class 7 was basically under control. Although there were still some Iron Head children represented by Li Yang and Yan Mao left, they were already unable to make much of a wave. Chen Shu also did not say anything more on this matter, letting everyone go home and rest early. As soon as the people left, Chen Shu went to the dressing room and waited for Hu Yao to come out, ready to be sent to the hospital. About half an hour later, Hu Yao only removed her makeup and changed her clothes, popping out on one leg with the help of other actresses, looking quite good, dressed very delicately, quite a beauty girl. However, at this moment Chen Shu which has what other mind, hurry to send people to the hospital is the main thing, without saying a word, the person aback, hit the car went straight to the hospital.